We have made a little pouch. It's a, again, another way to put a zip in. It's a really big long zip that goes all the way over the top. And then when it pulls out, it pulls out into a little tray. That is now, such a good idea. You can add the, the little um, lady that's on there, the little nurse lady. She is optional. Okay. So you can add her if you want to. If not, you can just have the little kind of dotty background box as well. Uh, what that is sitting on is your uh, bird panel. And this one is uh, where you quilt the background and the kind of birds pop out into the foreground. That's the one okay. just down at the front there. There you oh, go. There See, Jimmy's on it. I love the colour. In this one as well. Yeah, this one's green. been really popular. It, initially, you, when you see the panel without anything on, you think, oh, is that a bit light? Is that a bit kind of wishy washy? But then, as soon as you start to stitch in that background where it sinks back a bit, then everything just pops out and it's, uh, it's a really, really nice one to do that. A nice technique gorgeous. one, that one. Remember that um, we're still on Fabazine sti number one. Yeah, yeah, we're still we? going. We're still going. So, uh, at the uh, what haven't I done? Uh, uh, Embroidoodle that you've got one? there. Yes, yeah. so we always put a, a little embroidery piece in there. We've had design teams do these in a number of ways. That one is attractors. When we've had them in the past, I think um, uh, Tracy and Patty have done them sometimes with colouring in That's pens lovely. as well, so doodling as, as well as sewing. Um, Love it. And then what have we got? We've got up the back, we've got the cake carrier, which I know is driving Ooh. everybody mad because it is actually <laughs> full of muffins. So if you take, because um, it's got one big long loop, which is your handle for carrying okay, everything, yeah. it's proper sturdy. You, you it, don't it need is, to support it. Is very it. You'll sturdy. be absolutely fine. And then if you open oh. one side up, you've got the cake design on the outside. So it's completely reversible, this. So if you've got sweet things, you can use the cake side. If you've got savoury things, you can use the pasty side. What a wonderful idea. <laughs> Do you know idea? how hard it is to Love make Cornish that. pasty fabric? Love it. It's because we, you know, we can just do whatever we like. <laughs> uh, wrapped and unwrapped. Are there how wow. many left? One, two, three, four, five. Not me. There's five muffins left. <gasps> I know Janice had a blueberry one last night. We started at eight, because it was eighth birthday, eight muffins. And just gradually, they're just slowly disappearing. <laughs> oh, well, I've not had breakfast yet, so uh, so uh, we're we'll going to lose another one, are we? <laughs> you never know. Okay, that's fine. Right. Um, oh, so, we've got something else at the front there as I well. I know. There's there's a couple more. So the crazy paving template is that big kind of blue piece that's coming up and over. Um, there's a lovely picture of it, and and um, that one's done using the template. So the acrylic templates you get are all full size, and they have the seam allowance included. So all you need to do is stack up your fabric cut them out and then put them back together to make a really fab crazy paving Amazing. design and we had another one last night which i'll go and find a little bit later on that one is done where all of the blocks are rotated yeah so you can kind of create lots of different um different things as different patterns as well within that okay. so the templates that you've got i've actually just put some colored fabric behind them so you can see the actual shapes of the fabric of the um templates yours will come uh, as Clear plastic with a, a just a protective film on. Amazing. Uh, oh, we've got one more. This is such good uh, value. One more at the front, the little um, placemat as well. Oh yes. So that's a yes, piece of one. English paper piecing. Yeah. Um, you can sew this with the machine if you want to, but that is one of the other projects, and that is all twelve. So what you, you get, are getting so much. Yes, you really, we have really overcooked it. Is um, <laughs> we've it's had to get such a lovely mix of well boxes because, though. Yeah, the elephant as well. Remember, you are going to get those scissors, that gift of purchase if you're in the UK as well, which will fit beautifully into the elephant, which you can decorate in so many ways. Hayley, I've got to ask for someone who's new to say, is this a good way to buy because you're getting the fabric and all those components? Yeah, because included. it's it's kind of like a compendium of different crafts. This one, so um. Uh, Everything that we do is mainly fabric based and what you start off with is you start off with that big fabric panel and you can cut everything out from there. There's always a mixture of levels of projects in there and there's uh, always YouTube videos on our YouTube channel okay. to yeah. support every single one. So if you miss any of the demos here because to get through 20 projects yeah. in uh, you know five one hour shows is a tall order and we do try and get as many in as we can but there are always videos and they're going up on Friday. Amazing. Amazing. Well, we are very busy again. In fact, three quarters of the stock jump. of issue six has Ooh. already gone. I am not surprised. I really am not surprised. Now, remember the five pounds saving that you can see there on the screen. You're going to get that. If you're going for issue six, details there for you. But just keep hold of that figure for now, because we do also have the button fabazine for you. Now, I, for one, well, I learned something last night watching, actually. I didn't know our buyer was frightened of buttons. I didn't know either until last night. 
Oh. Should we name him Shamer? Yeah. Okay. Sophie, who is the buyer for Soft Crafts, she's like head of Soft Crafts. Scared of buttons? I mean, what? Uh, she, and I've never noticed this until us, she's going to hate us. Then until got she mentioned it, I'd never noticed that she never wears any clothes with buttons on. I had no idea, and I've got sugar buttons with buttons coming out next week as well. Right. Okay. Now, oh, hang on. Meg's um, looked up what it's called. A, a what? A Cam what? A camponophobia. Cow-phobia. Oh, cam powder phobia There oh. you go. Every day's oh. a school day, Catherine. Do you know, I'd be interested to know if everybody else has got that same phobia. I, I have heard I know of it one before. Of the, I mean, Sophie's is, is fairly specific in yeah. that it's the plastic buttons that she doesn't like. Oh. She doesn't mind if they're covered in fabric. Wood? Is wood all right? Wood's fine. Right, it's I'm okay. The, Let's leave it's them. mixed plastic buttons that okay. she doesn't like. And I know that there's a, another person that I'm aware of that, and um, you know, the, the big kind of tins of big, mixed yeah. buttons that grandmas have? Yeah. She's frightened of them. Really? Do you know, isn't it <laughs> it's interesting? The fact they don't match anything that upsets her. But that's why I love buttons, because of one exactly. of those tins. I absolutely adore them, and this is why I love this particular so, Fabazine. This as well. one we've gone well overboard with. Um, there are eight projects in here, but there's an, uh, there's nine actually. There's two batoonies. I've I did a little fib there, um, but there's an awful lot in here. So we'll start with the bag, I think. Okay, yeah. So you've got a tote bag. We did a demo on this last night. It is a full size tote bag, and it's the one with all the little uh, pink buttons on the front. That's the one. Just there, there. It is. So this one has nice big long handles, and it's just absolutely beautiful to do this one and it's random squares of felt that's cut this leftover felt you're going to use in one of the batoonies later on but really really cute really nice to do as well i had a really good idea about this last night okay what do you think i was watching and i thought i know there's lots of buttons included but you know when you buy new clothes and they've always got spare buttons yes sew them onto your bag and make sure you always take that bag out with you and then if you lose a button <laughs> that's you've always genius. got your spare button that's genius i love it it'll fit go with every just outfit make sure you've as well. got needle and thread in your bag <laughs> keep it in your bag well that's why we made it gray because and it, i tried it in a couple of different colors before i settled on gray and the gray i think just worked so well because it kind of goes with everything yeah and there are a few buttons on there you do get a hundred um pink slash red buttons in the kit you're actually going to get 103 or 104 because when i uh, wow. sewed this i realized that i'd lost a couple <laughs> so um I, we've asked the girls to put an extra three or four in each of them but what i also did was i went through the box that i got from my nan and took out some of the pink buttons that would match yeah and added those in as well so there's you know a little memory piece Aww. in there as well so Oh, I think it's oh, a that nice is, thing to do. Know, that is lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, now, what else have we got? Because, so this, oh, what about the calendar? This I love. So this is a perpetual calendar. So when you get uh, close up on that, what you'll see is all the buttons that are on there have uh, numbers on. This is the one we're going to demonstrate next. All the buttons have got numbers on. And what you can do is you can move each of those numbers onto the different pockets so you set it up differently for each month yeah. and then you've got pockets that works similar to an advent calendar but okay. you can put in you know your, your shopping list you can put in the appointment cards janice is going to fill it full of sweets just each <laughs> month more sweets <laughs> but it's it's a calendar that's going to last forever for that somebody that is such a good idea and the pattern that's printed on there is very very clever because as it kind of as you create the folds to start yeah. creating the the design we've kind of spaced everything out so everything will perfectly match up and that's the one we're going to demonstrate which is here and we're going to demonstrate that in just a second once we've got through the rest of them because I know we've got to do all of the projects first <laughs> <laughs> I love 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 the idea now we've still got more to go through so we've got the checkerboard as yes, well so we? this is actually um, a crossword this is clever. It's a little crossword. Um, you've got nine whole buttons in there. So each of those buttons are cut from MDF and they've got nine tiny little holes in. We give you like a serving suggestion in the booklet of just kind of general crafty words that you can add into there and make it work. You don't have to fill all of them in. You could just do three like I've done there. Yeah. You could maybe put names in there. You know, there's lots of different options that you've got to, to kind of fill it in. And there's 34 buttons in there which will fill the whole board. You get the frame as well. Yeah. 
um, and you've got all 34 buttons in there. If you do not use all 34, then use them on other things. Maybe you've got a, a bag that needs a closure and you want That's to put your idea, initials yeah. on, something like that. You know, you've got lots of fun with these, I think. And also you can paint them if you want to before Such you sew them on. Idea. If you do paint them, just obviously be careful of um, keeping the paint away from the holes because you don't want to fill the holes up. Okay, lovely. So up next, we're going to look at the Yorkshire buttons. Yorkshire buttons. Now you've got loads of spare samples of these just I behind have. your counter. So we've made a little sunglasses case with um, sunflowers on, and then you've got uh, the Yorkshire button templates. So you're going to get four different sizes of Yorkshire button templates to be able to create all of these to add on. And we'll show you a little bit later how you can make those Yorkshire buttons. So that, that's proper Yorkshire these. buttons there, where they're actually yeah. kind of uh, put round something, either stuffing or another old button just to create that shape. But we've kept them flat to make them into sunflowers as Lovely. well. Lovely. So oh, that's you know, the sunflower just... case. We've got the uh, necklace as Ooh, well. Yeah. So oh, that's, I could have worn oh, this. Yeah, you've got two actually. So there's one on the um, little display stand there. And that one's layered up, so you've got two layers on. The one you've got is just flat ones. So if you did it that way, I dare say you'd get two out of it rather than just the one. And we've put that nice kind of neutral horn-coloured buttons in there because that actually goes quite well with your top, doesn't it? It does. If I'd have known beforehand, <laughs> I would have worn that, although I've got a... a You've got a ruffly thing. thing. Oh, yeah. I don't think it'll sit with your ruffly I thing. I would definitely have worn that. Mm. Look at idea. Next time. Um, so the hummingbird is the next one. Now this is a really big panel. I've just popped it into a, a frame so you can see what's going on. But what you can do is you can take this and make it into a bag or a cushion or anything you like. So you've got that splattery background and then the buttons are just stitched onto there. The colours kind of match in with the background. So um, you can see it on the panel that's just behind Catherine there. The design's printed on there. So you've got the colours there to follow. So you're stitching kind of uh, by numbers with buttons. Yeah, oh, that does, does that make sense? Beautiful. Yes, it does so make sense. So painting by numbers, but with buttons yeah, and fabric. Yeah, definitely. It's yeah. such a beautiful design as well. Oh, Love Jimmy. It. That's, well that done, was that clever, man. wasn't it? Well, isn't he clever? I know. He's on it this morning. He's for these snazzy oh. directing, switching between before and after. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Look, watch, it's showing watch, off it's now. Showing off now yeah. <laughs> there we, look at that. Well oh. done. <laughs> right, so okay. the next we've, one we've, we've got, got is the Batoonies. Yeah. Now you're getting two of these, you're getting a small and a large one. So your small one will be either a hedgehog, a spider or a bat, because we've got quite a variety of them. So we're putting different ones in so people can have a look. And I know as end of call offers or end of website offers or whatever they are now, um, you can get different Batoonies <sighs> there as well. So the B, super cute this one. Um, He's made out of MDF, so the panel that you get has the MDF buttons in there and you can colour those in. Now, I've made a mistake on mine because he's got too many... I should have put another yellow bit oh, on, the, yeah, I on his bum. I don't know. Right. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to string so him up. I apologise for that. Yeah. Do you know, just, it, it doesn't, don't string him up. <laughs> that is great fun, isn't it? Do you know, when I saw this last night, I didn't realise how big he was. It's just quite chunky, it isn't is it? It is very chunky. But I think great for like conservatories, gardens, those kind yeah. of things. Obviously, if you're going to put it in a garden, it is MDF. Googly eyes. Googly eyes. Googly eyes. <laughs> I put think, some googly um, eyes if on. you are going to put it in a the garden, then once you've painted it, make sure you seal it with something yeah. because it is MDF, which, if it's not sealed, is porous. But um, the foam should be absolutely fine. I love that. Actually, for something like that, you could just bring it in and out each yes. time you want to and take it the, outside. And also, the, the little spaces that are in between there, um, that's leftover felt from the bag that we saw. We put extra felt in so you could do your bag and then. You'll be all set. So, what's left? What's left? Uh, I think we've we done covered everything, haven't we? Let's get oh, the details. The clock. Oh, the clock. clock. Yes, there is one more. There's yes, a clock. There is. Right. So, there's a great big clock in there, which is full size. You get all of your numbers as well. You've got the um, outer ring, so you can create a raised rim for the button. Okay. You've got uh, a clock mechanism in there, which has got an extra high spindle on, which means if you want to decorate the whole thing with buttons. Yeah then you can do. Amazing. So you've got lots of options there. Wonderful. Honestly, you are getting so, so much. Let's show you everything you're getting all in one picture. 
in this particular fabazine there. So this is your buttons fabazine, 49.99, 582, You've got that five pounds saving again. So much so we've had five pounds from the first fabazine we've got five pounds from the second fabazine as well the one day special itself you are saving even more so you've got 10 pounds carried over there you're saving another 15 pounds getting both of them together and we can split this down into flexi for you as well two payments are just 39.99 you are getting so much fabric so many components in there as well if you break this down per project it works out at how much was that three pounds and 81 pence wow see wow. any of those you'd be quite wow. happy with for that you re you really the reason we can do that and bring that value is because we put everything together we only have to print one piece of fabric yeah to get all the kind of components in and that's where we can um you know help make those savings and the but the button one is that there's actually so much stuff in there we've had to go and get bigger boxes yeah, this is because I just proper you busy overcooked so that one. Yeah, and there's thought, something oh, for well, all the nice family. Oh, that'd be nice if I just added that as well, and I just added that, and then before you know it, you're like, oh my gosh, it's so big now. Oh wow. Well, we also have happy hours for each hour, so we haven't even mentioned this hours yet. Let's look at this. Oh, this is nice. You've got three half meters of cotton poplin here. Now there is a choice of colours, like in the pinks that we're seeing there. We've got blues. We've also got natural for you. Purple. And we've got grey. Oh, I like all of those. Pick any two, any two. Eight pounds saving here. Seventeen ninety-eight, seven nine zero, six zero three. I can't pick my favourites. I don't think I'm going to go grey and purple. Just made a decision. Although I want them all really. But yeah, love it. Love it. There we are. Seven nine zero, six zero three. Remember that price will go up at the top of the hour. So grab that bargain right now and check those baskets out. Okay, to you, we're going to do perpetual calendar. Those um, fabrics that we've put on, they will work perfectly with the templates okay, that we yeah. put on because it's nice to have at least three, ideally five or six colours within those. So they work really well with Got those. It. So this is my perpetual calendar. And as you can see, it's one huge long piece of fabric. And what we're going to do is start to, to make it. So on here, there's a... a really fine print so you can see it's kind of printed in the stripes there but can you see this really oh, fine yes. print that's round here yeah now that's what you're going to aim for because you've got your little inner boxes and your little outer boxes so when you fold these up we've made it so you've got you're going to go box to box on there so i'm folding this one so it hits that top line there oh, i get it yeah and then i'm going to take it up so then that top line matches with that line there and that's how you're going to fold it because if you have a look if i just move this along a touch you'll be able to see your pattern will it then does, continue perfectly all the way down look, look at oh, that he's on fire this morning isn't he i know somebody's had their breakfast cereal where you have three of them um <laughs> <laughs> so you can see it's designed to kind of work perfectly for you but that's the only thing you need to bear in mind is kind of look at those boxes and fold to those boxes so okay. we're going to put ah, that iron was on oh no it's fine it? yes everything is fine no, we're fine. Well, okay. Hayley, I so, do have an ouch pouch here. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's nothing well, in I've it. Taken but... I took all the, the um, <laughs> stuff out of it because it um, was branded. <laughs> Oops. So I, uh, it's fine. No, we're all good. We're all good. I only just caught a little bit. Right, so I'm going to start pressing these in place. I'm just going to roll that tiny bit further over because that's our first step. We're going to press each of those in turn into place and then fold it back up and line it up there. So you're going to do that all the way up and line up those. And you'll be able to see when it's right because you can see that the pattern continues. Yeah. Once you've pressed all of those in place, I would definitely just pop a, a pin in the top of it. I'm just going to move this a little bit further away from my hand so I don't do that again. There. It's all right to go on the counter. It's fine. It's one of the clever lifty up ones. It's not actually touching the counter. So. That's where we, um, we start. Once we've been there, 
what we're going to do is take it to the machine and we're going to put buttonholes in okay. each of these. Yeah. Before we do that, I would definitely recommend um, just drawing a, a line with a heat erasable pen across the centre and just mark yourself the centre right. of each of yeah. these got because it. then when you're, you're putting your buttonholes in, it you've got that up. kind of mark to aim Perfect. for. So let me get rid of, we'll just put okay. one in. Just well, so we you may have spotted as well, move. everybody at home, that you can get the calendar on its own. Look at the price, twenty nine ninety nine, which is a great price. It really is. 225030. But if you consider that this is one of the projects in the Button Fabazine, or part of the one-day special, of course, if you're going for that, it works out at just £3.81 because you can break that down. It is ridiculous. It really is. So it's, uh, well, it's a bit of a no-brainer for me. 7284. 446 is the item number for the one day special. You're getting absolutely everything then. So that's issue six, the fab Fabazine there, and of course the button one. In total, 21 projects. And we're not just giving you the instructions, as you've seen, everything, all of the fabric. All of those, co those components, uh, various different mixes of themes and also abilities can be used here. In fact, there's something for all the family because there's even the MDF thrown in there as well. And if you're in the UK, don't forget you do get those scissors as well. Ah, it doesn't get much better, does no, it? No, there's Hayley. a lot. There's an awful lot in there. So, um, to add the buttonholes, what I've got here is I've got a buttonhole foot. This particular machine uh, does automatic buttonholes. If your machine doesn't, then what you need to do is create um, a zigzag down one side, um, uh, uh, move it to a wider zigzag to step it back and yeah. forth between the bottom and the top of the button, zigzag back up the other side, and then you're there. Okay. So you can do buttonholes without it, but you actually don't need that big a hole for this because what you're going to do is you're going to use the back of the button to create the fixing that stops the numbers falling out. So oh. what I've done with mine is I've, um, if you just completely close your buttonhole, if you've got an automatic one, you'll get nothing. If you just leave the tiniest gap there, then you'll yeah. make a really tiny buttonhole. Okay. Yeah. So I'll pop this onto the machine and what I usually forget uh, when I do buttonholes is you have to, the first one I always forget, you've got to slide down, if you've got an automatic one, you need to slide down that little stopper on yeah. as well. So we'll pop that into place there and then we'll just select buttonhole on this machine and away we go. And it's important not to kind of push and pull with this. The machine will, if it's an automatic one, it will do its own thing. Um, now, if you haven't got an automatic one, as we said, when I take this out, you'll be able to see exactly what you need to do. Oh, you is. need to do a, a little zigzag up one side, a larger one across the top just to secure it, back down the other side, and then the same on the bottom. Wonderful. So let me just snip away some of these threads. And then what you're going to do is once you've got all of those in, you're going to rip those open to create those buttonholes. I mean, you could even go smaller than this. Okay. I would recommend if it's, it's in, you know, it's entirely up to you, but all you're trying to get through is you're gonna try and get through that little, let me just hold it there, that little kind of yeah, yeah loop so you see on the back you, of the button. Yeah, so you can see one. if I pop that through there, it's just wide enough to hold it in without it falling out. So you could even go smaller than that. I mean. If you wanted to, you could even just, instead of um, sewing them, just use a, an awl yeah. and poke holes into the fabric so you kind of widen the, um, hole, the, the fabric out but without actually cutting it. Oh, that's it. a good idea. So you've well. got options yeah. to, as to how you do these. So I like once holes, you've done though. that... Just, just for the decoration purpose, I think it looks <laughs> Well, yes, why not? Yeah. Oh, am I still attached to my machine? What a wally. There we go. So once you've done all of those and you've put them all in, you've folded them all up so that that pattern matches beautifully. Then what you're going to do is like we've done previously, where you might have seen with advent calendars, you're going to put lines of stitching all the way up. So you're going to stitch all the way up, holding all of those pockets in place. So you've got oh, yeah. all of your vertical lines of stitching and you're going to put one either side as well. So that's okay. what creates your pockets. Now, we need to make the buttons. Okay. Right, Next okay, step is we're making yeah. the buttons. And then we'll need to come back to this. Actually, while I've still got it, you need to come back to it. There's another really faint light blue line around all of the edge. And that's what you're going to cut it to once you're finished. And then once you're finished, we're going we're gonna to bind it. And when we bind it and we get to the corners, I'll just use this corner just to show you. 
and when you bind it you're going to take your uh, piece of binding and there's there's loads of it because it's to go all the way around there even might be enough to go all the way around and uh, put two little tabs on the back like the one that we showed you earlier oh, that's so, so just kind of, of yeah to hang yeah it. just um you know once you've gone all the way around then see what you've got left because sometimes if you've made a mistake you might have to move it you might have to tweak it so we're going to come here and then to take it around the corner we're going to just move it around the corner okay and then it'll push itself out into like a, a see on the back there like a triangle shape yeah so i just come that way and that way yeah. there triangle shape what i would do is just flatten that out and bring it over right, and that's okay. what will create if i just get my fingers out of the way that's what will create your 45. Ah, so you've got okay, a so you get nice, corner. nice mitered corners on there as well, and you do that all the way around. I would uh, prep all your corners and pin everything on rather than sew as you go, because yeah. I think sometimes when you get get it right under the machine, it's a little bit difficult to okay. actually manipulate that. So I prefer to put all of everything in first, and then just if I have to tweak as I sew, then that's what I'll do, and that will give me those nice little mitered corners okay. on my, um, you know, just which kind of just finishes else. it off really nicely. I've just thought of something else, Hayley, as what, well. What, what, if what, you've got, well, either Fabazine's on their own, but especially with the one day special, because you're getting absolutely everything, 21 projects with all the materials included. If you're not sure what to give somebody, get the one day special, make everything up. You've got 21 <laughs> gifts there. <laughs> Haven't you? No, you seriously. have, absolutely. To cover all ages, male absolutely. and female, right through the year. You know, the calendar could go to Auntie So and So. You know, you might have a new baby in the family, could hang the bee from a, a mobile. You know, it's. You've got the dragon. Well, that's the baby from the mobile. Yeah, from the mobile. <laughs> just, just clarifying. <laughs> You know, you've got to be so careful these days, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, but certainly you've got the enjoyment of making everything, but then you've got the gifts to give as well. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So what you then need to do is you need to make up all of your buttons because obviously we've um, made the pockets, we've bound the edges, so it's, it's looking nearly finished, but we need to put the numbers on there. So you are going to get um, your pieces of fabric. Now, these are done exactly to size. You just need okay. to cut them out. Um, don't go any larger and don't go any smaller, you need to try and keep exactly on that line. So, um, you also get the tool in there, so that's these two pieces here. There's a flexible rubber piece and then there's a solid plastic right, piece. Got you. And that's gonna, what, that is what's going to be your tool to add the fabric to the button. And then you've got your front of your button, so that will be the, the outside piece that you see. And then you've got the back with the uh, little ring shank on there, yeah. so you can attach it into those buttonholes that we made earlier. So. I'm going to pop that onto there and then just push my front piece in. Now, because this is see-through, you oh, can actually clever. see that was a pretty good shot because that's nice and, and centred. So I'm just so going to leave clever. that and not touch it. But uh, if you didn't get it dead centre, you could take it out and reposition it a couple idea. of times and then gadget. you can just make sure you've got it dead right. And now once it's in and you're dead happy that you know, you've got everything centered, then what you're going to do is make sure that goes right to the bottom and then push in, tuck in oh. all of these side bits. And what you want to do is just make sure that you go round, pushing them right down on that yeah. side. So you've got a nice sharp, crisp edge okay. there. And just push that this down a little bit genius. more. This is genius. I'm just disappointed in one thing. What? We, we didn't get Sorry. to see you with the mallet. I know, I forgot my, um, I forgot my hammer. Oh. I forgot my hammer. Sorry. But we don't uh, need it with this, do we? Well, you can just, if you're strong enough, I'm going to get off my little seat. That might help. Oh. So you can use the hammer to push it you down? You can use a hammer in to push it. I mean, it's, it's gone in. It's not quite as, as far as I'd like it, but um, I would definitely recommend a... A little bit of a tap with a hammer just to get it there. Oh no, we're all right. Oh, oh look, we're in. I just, that is such a good little gadget. Now, top tip though, when you uh, put your backs on, try and make sure if you've put little buttonholes in that um, the shank on it goes kind of left to right on the back. So if I flip mine round, mine's not quite straight oh, I know on the why. back. Yeah. Because that extra width that you've got, let's see if I can, I can't turn that now, so it's proper in. Um, but when you put that onto your calendar, that width means that you're not going to have to secure the back of the button. That yeah. width there is enough to kind of hold it in place. Yeah. So really, really cute. And then what you can do is every month you just move all those buttons round so that you've got um, 
your calendar set up and then you'll have always have some spare pockets because what we've done is rather than just give you f um, five rows where sometimes you know on calendars where they put five rows on and maybe the um, first day of the month is like a Sunday or something yeah. and then that means that you have to put the last day of the month where the first one would yeah. be yeah we haven't done that we've given you six rows which means you can have everything set out properly which means you're always going to have at least um nine or ten spare pockets so, so if you've clever. got other bits and pieces that you want to you want to store with it then you absolutely can I, I love this idea, absolutely do. There you can see the calendar made up. In fact, while we're looking at the calendar, we're going to flash up some more pictures for you as well to show you or remind you some other projects. So this is the tote bag. This again is in the button fabazine or the one day special. There you've got your, your crossword. That's such a good idea. And of course, you can create the letters yourself. You decide what initials or names or whatever you want to put in there. There you've got your Yorkshire button. And you, once you get going with those, I think you're going to be making dozens of them. The button necklace. There's a possibility that you might get two necklaces made with spare. More depending on how you use the buttons, actually. There you've got the hummingbird, which is absolutely beautiful. If you want to use the buttons there, as you can see in the image, you can do. Uh, there's our bee. Um, you're getting more than one of those, actually. You're getting the B, but then it's a choice of one or two others. And what, sorry? You've got a clock in that one as well. The, yeah, there's the clock. We haven't got a picture of the clock, but you do get the clock included with the mechanism with the higher spindle as well. Now, in Fabazine number six, this is one of the projects, which is beautiful. Again, part of the one day special, the background quilt, which everybody's fallen in love with. I'm not surprised it's gorgeous, isn't it? We've got the crazy paving templates. You do get the templates included, of course. Uh, let's see what we've got next. Now, this is the one piece bag. I mean, that's all made in one piece. It's reversible as well. So yeah, we're going to decide which way do round. that in the next show Lovely. with you. Um, okay, so that's 12 o'clock that today. We'll see that. That one's, uh, I mean, fascinating to see because you think then well how how on earth does that go together and remember this is reversible so if you wanted to take out one of those pieces replace them with the plain fabric like the ones that are in the um, bundles then absolutely you could do that and you could make yourself two bags brilliant brilliant looking forward to that oh the bookmarks these are such a clever idea don't forget you're getting all the components <laughs> that seems to be the, the phrase again. of the show <laughs> <laughs> Love it, love it. Now, if you want to add more beads and sequins and things yourself, you can, but you will get the elastic. Of course, you'll get the instructions. You will get certain components to put together there as well. There are three bookmarks that you've made. You are not getting the muffins, uh, unfortunately, not <laughs> but you do get the panels, of course, to create what you're seeing here. And again, reversible. So you've got kind of the sweet side. You've got the savoury side. I mean, just using that as a picnic or piece make two. or carrying it out to your patio or your decking if you, you know, you're having uh, afternoon tea on the lawn or something. And also, obviously, there's lots of bees, lots of insects yeah. around. It's a nice way to kind of just cover things back up yeah. as well. The only thing it doesn't do is stop people stealing those muffins. No, they can still the, get in. We've found that's, the, that's the next step now is to add electronics <laughs> into it to make a burglar alarm <laughs> for your muffins. <laughs> then we have the travel pouch. And this is a great project for, you know, teaching you to work with new materials like the PVC there as well. You've got that lovely zip included. Or oh, the ouch pouch, which we've now discovered you need to keep your first aid you need equipment to inside there <laughs> uh, just in case. <laughs> uh, oh, a dragon as well. Oh, I love the little dragon. Oh, I mean, fabazines are so all sweet. about really kind of mixing it up, expanding the skills, trying new things. That's what fabazines are all about. And that's why we have such a mixture of different techniques, different projects and different skill levels yeah. in well, there. Well, we've still got some more to talk about. We've got the scrunch bag with all the pockets here as well. We're going to see this in, in a little while, I think, with Hayley. That is, I love the design of that. Uh, we've also got for you, of course, we've got the elephant. Now, the scissors are your gift with purchase while stocks last, one per customer, but you can decorate the elephant. That comes in the, in the one-day special or issue number six, and you can decorate that however you wish. Then we've got the embroidered doodle, which is <laughs> wonderful. You can embroider part of it, colour part of it, do whatever you wish with that as well, but, you know, a lovely project once again. Wow! 
three pounds and 81 pence per project if you are going for the one day special you're carrying over those five pounds savings from the two fabazines we're giving you another 15 pounds off on top and we're splitting it into flexi for you two payments of 39.99 item number 728446 almost 65 percent of the stock has now gone Right, Hayley. Hi. I think we're going back to well, Hayley now. I had, I, I had my big long scissors, but then I've, What's I've in your put hand? them, not the right ones. Oh. I wanted my, my um, special ones that fit oh. in the elephant, but I've put them down somewhere, so that's that's fine. I'll, I'll have the other ones. It's okay. okay. Yeah, they'll, they'll turn up at the end once we're done, won't they? <laughs> so, um, this, I've just pressed these just to kind of start... Um, getting everything together so we can start pulling these into um, the, the project. So okay. that you can either have as the front or the inside of the bag. And this is one where I would probably recommend splitting these out again because obviously you can see the one that we have got here that's finished where we've got the pattern on the inside and on the outside. So you could swap those over yeah. and add some plain in so that you can have uh, two. So you can have one with it on the inside and one with it on the outside. Okay, lovely. So, what we're going to do to start off, first job is a couple more buttonholes. Now, we've just put one in, so I'm not going to actually put another one in because we can see where we're going. You need here and here. Okay. They're marked yep. on the panel for you. Ready so done. Yeah, they're marked on there. Not, I haven't sewn them, but uh, no, all you no, need to no, do is sew them. The marks are, are there, done. ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me just move this ironing board out of the way. And you're getting the um, thread to close, the kind of cord to close the... Um, bag in there as well not going to fall over this time excellent so the first step you're going to do is put those buttonholes in once you've got the buttonholes in then we're going to go face to face with these two pieces okay. and one of them i have not trimmed off just yet and we're going to stitch those together so we're going to go all the way around the edge and leave a little gap there to turn it right side That's out it. yeah we're going to turn it right side out and then uh, press it nice and flat next okay. step is to do exactly that same process with these two pieces so that's the lining of our pockets and the outer of our pockets we're going to put them face to face and then again all the way around the edge leave a gap turn it right side out and then press it back into the circular shape as well okay so once all that is done i shall switch over to this one so you can see how we've con actually i'm just going to sneak across and get the other one because oh. i know i've left this one with a, a little bit that we can have a look oh, at watch. Watch yourself, watch yourself with the iron. Sneaking. Sneaking. There you go. <laughs> I'll, I'll replace it with this one, though, you see? Okay. Then you've yeah. got another one. There. <sighs> Fixed. <laughs> so. Row. We'll just flatten this right out so you can see how it's constructed. Um, oh, do you know what this is reminding me of, Hayley? And it's, it's so bizarre, what I'm going to say. But... Go. When, many, many years ago, when I was at school, we went on a Victorian day and I was one of these scully oh, maids. The yeah, and my mum had to make me a heart. Oh! Yeah. I think you'd suit it, though. <laughs> I think you could pull it off. <laughs> I could see you in a maybe, maybe drama. I'll, maybe I'll wear one tomorrow. <laughs> not. <laughs> I could see you in a period drama, though. I think it would work. Do you know, I would love to be in a period drama. <laughs> I, I'd I could, love to I wear one of the big dresses. Off. I could see you pulling oh, it off. Yeah, I want to wear one of those dresses. <laughs> oh, one of the fancy I know you can't breathe in the corsets, but I'd, you know, I'd put up with that for right. a day. There you go. I flattened that back out so you can see um, exactly how this one's constructed. So we've, we've got those two panels and we've put them back to back. Once um, this inside one is... Right, so once... You've got those two panels together, the two outer panels, and they're stitched in place. What you need to do is stitch both of these lines in. You've got little lines marked on here, and they are for the channel that's going to take the cord that's yeah. going to allow you to scrunch things okay. up. So you need to stitch both of these in, and you need to stitch them all of the way around because you're going to get your access from the front, from those buttonholes that you put in very, very first thing. That's how you're going to get your access to put your cord in. So That's you can it. stitch the full kind of 360 on these and you'll be absolutely fine. Okay. Once that's in, you're going to add your pockets on. So you're going to take that panel that you made where you just took the, the two inner pieces, doubled them up and stitched around the edge. And um, you can see on these, I've top stitched 
both sections and I would probably do that before you construct everything yeah. rather than trying to do it after. So um, they've been top stitched and it's just to create a nice kind of sharp edge on there. Lovely. Once it's together, then you need to spend a little bit of time making sure that you line things up because if you have a look on the front and the back of here, I'll flip it between so you can see, what happens is those um, pointed pieces, so those kind of heart shape elements that are within there, you need to line up the points of those with the inner point on that right. darker piece yeah and that. i would plenty of pins on this yeah. and i would pin every single one there are um, eight points on there i would pin every single one and then once you've got that in place you are going to do that circle that's in the center there and we we specify which circle it is because it's the kind of the edge between that inner brown circle and the one that's got all the little kind of um lines in it yeah because that will line up perfectly with that inner circle on the other side yeah. and if you stitch in those quite i mean i've stitched in cream so yeah. you can see where i've been but if you are not as confident that you're going to be quite as accurate i'll probably use a darker thread okay Got and you. then you'll be able to hide some of those but um that's uh, you know that's where we're aiming for. This one's a little bit more about accuracy because the okay. actual construction of it is reasonably simple. But because we've added the pattern, that's going to, and stitching to that pattern is going to add that extra kind of level of, of detail to it. Because now each of those pockets kind of creates the absolute kind of perfect pattern between this them. Is such a useful and project. It has got, kind of, you can see there, it's got that little piece centralized in it. So adding that extra level of detail is, is where it kind of comes to life. So this is fairly simple you've got a circle in the center and then radiating out from each of those circles and i've actually put a um a heat array i can still see on this one because i haven't taken it off i actually drew the lines on with a heat erasable marker first yeah that's a good idea, and then actually. stitched to yeah. those lines and plenty of pins make sure you keep everything nicely lined yeah. up um, and that is how that one will kind of come out for you and you'll have those beautiful um, pockets that all match up on the inside all match up on the outside and then your final step on this one is to add that cord um, so a safety pin on the end or, or the other option you've got is I sometimes actually kind of stitch into the end okay. with um, something like a not necessarily a paper clip because sometimes they can go around and, and get caught but something just like an old piece of plastic so yeah. maybe just taking a, a piece of plastic off um, something like a, a, a bottle like an old okay, yeah. drinks bottle or something yeah. like that and just cutting a nice long flat piece of plastic which you can actually feel and get hold of and okay. slide all the way through plastic needle out of a, a kids kit brilliant for that as well uh, but because obviously you can't get this um, thickness of cord through the eye of that needle and you don't really want to because it'll all it'll do is double it up and make it twice as yeah. hard to get through so what I tend to do is stitch that to my piece okay, of cord so it's it. flat and then pull it through okay. and then a couple of knots on the end and that will secure everything up and then you can kind of have all your bits and pieces in the pocket you can have all your you've got this kind of big pocket in the center there as well and then once you're done scrunch it all up. I love this for so many reasons. It's it's a nice simple project. Just take care as you say with lining up those those stitch it's, lines. It's, it's so useful. You can tell you've really thought about the design that you've used here but there's also areas I'm just looking at the little white dots on the pattern there. If you want to add little sequins yeah. or beads well, the, that would look beautiful. The other sample that is now over there is um, the one that's got little bits of embroidery, little beads, little kind oh, of um, other bits and pieces on there. On yeah because uh, Tracy's done a really nice job and she's kind of hidden them <laughs> and there's little, you can it. see little yeah. bits of embroidery on the um, on the bottom nice. there as well in the in the gold bit. So Love yeah, it. she's she's done a lovely job, and um, you can you can add so much more to this. All of our projects, we kind of give you the the bones, and then you can add so much more to it. Yeah, and then it makes it personal to you, doesn't it? As exactly, well? exactly. Amazing, just so much for your money. <laughs> Let's have a little recap. We're nearly at the end of the hour, would you believe, as well. Let's have a look at those pictures again. This is the best way, really, to get a feel of what you're getting here in the one-day special. Remember, when it comes to the one-day special itself, you are getting 21 
individual projects to do and there's a real mix of projects here I mean there's something to keep you going for a long time there's something for all the family to appreciate there's something for everybody to get involved with in the family and if you do want to gift them you can now we're looking at the perpetual calendar first of all one of the larger projects but such a good idea and you're going to keep reusing this and reusing it and reusing it of course you've got the tote bag as well a fun project there for you again very useful isn't it you know make sure you keep that with you you've got the crossword as well you can decide what words go in there or names or whatever you want to you know make there with those buttons because you can stitch those letters in the Yorkshire button I absolutely love I think they can be quite addictive to make as well and you're going to be sewing them onto all sorts of projects then you've got the button necklace uh, lots of buttons there, they're beautiful there, the flat buttons that will sit nicely as well if you do want to create that necklace, but of course you could use those buttons for other reasons. We've got the hummingbird as well, the most gorgeous panel. I mean that is pre-printed for you and then if you want to add those buttons you can see the effect is just glorious. We also have for you that wonderful bee. Now there's more than one of the button projects here. You will get the bee and you'll get, you know, there's very, de depending on which, you know, how lucky you are with the others. Uh, there is a spider in there. No, I think it was a bat as well that you may get. There is also, also the clock, which we don't have a picture of a finished sample, but the clock is also included. And it comes with the mechanism and all the components as well. Now. In Fabazine number six, still part of the one day special though, still part of those 21 projects, this is what we're looking at. So we've got that wonderful kaleidoscope there. Then we have the beautiful quilt backing, such a gorgeous image isn't it to work on, love it. Then we have the crazy paving, now you do get this templates to create this effect, which of course you get to keep so you can use it for all sorts of purposes afterwards as well. Also you've got your one piece tote bag. That is reversible, so you can switch it around. When you see that at 12 o'clock, we're getting the bookmarks. There's enough to make three of these as well. The feather bookmarks, which are gorgeous, very useful. Um, not the muffins, but you do get, you do get, there you are. There you can see that beautiful carry there, the picnic carry. You don't have to actually go on a picnic. You can use it in the garden, use it around the home. Then your ouch pouch, I just love that. I love the name. It works, doesn't it? Ouch pouch. So keep all your plasters and all your first aid bits and pieces in there. Then you've got your travel little pouch there as well. You do get the zip, you get the PVC and the binding to create that. Uh, do you know what? There's so much. We've got the doodle, we've got the dragon as well. There's the dragon for you. We still haven't got a name for our little dragon. Oh, somebody please give him a name. Um, I'm hearing a few names being suggested here. There's the scrunch pouch there with all those pockets in that we've just seen with Hayley. The pouch, which is wonderful. The MDF elephant there. The scissors will be included or will be included in your order. One per customer. If That will be your gift with purchase if you're in the UK. And then there we've got our embroidered doodle for you as well. Wow. Almost 70% of the one day special has now gone all the fabrics the printed panels bindings buttons galore all those components included as well of course now we haven't got long left but i just want to remind you very very quickly of the happy hour deal as well make sure you check your basket out before the clock strikes nine because the price will go up so you've got your choice of poplin fabrics so you've got pink blue and natural purple or grey and it's a pick of any two there you're getting three half meter pieces 17.98 is the price there you are saving eight pounds seven nine zero six zero three so is that really six half meter pieces then uh, yeah, pick if, you're picking, if you're picking mixing any two three in each color option yep absolutely ah. and six is perfect number to use with the template i was gonna try and squeeze in the button clock but i'm gonna leave that till the next show because Amazing. i think we're a little bit a little bit tight yeah Okay, yes, I don't think we'll fit that in now, but Hayley, we're together again at 12 o'clock, aren't we? So yes. make sure you're with us as well, because we will be back. We will be seeing that clock. We'll be having a look at various other items as well. There is more to look at on the website, of course. The, you know, it's also part of this show, but stay with us. Menu following. We'll see you very soon. looking forward to this we've got SAA mixed media coming up next then we're quilting antics with Anthea and then we've got Decker patch a little later on this morning hello my name's Stuart and I'm the managing director of Oakwood Archer 
Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media or art journey, join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dies, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dies, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dies and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. A very good morning to you. We were, we were, I'm not going to lie, we were pithering then. A bit of pithering, we were having a little chat, little chin wag, little chat. Next thing we know, we only had 10 seconds left before we came on the telly. Uh, so, I wasn't ready for that. I didn't do, I haven't done a lunge, I haven't done a stretch. Hang on, bear with. 
<laughs> right, we are talking, the SAA is what we're talking about this morning, that's why I do for every show. Uh, and we're talking, now this is one of those shows where it's technique based, okay, I'm not going to lie to you, the counter itself, to look at it you think, wow, I've, I don't need any of that, you do. You really do, and I'm not alone when we talk about this stuff. This is the stuff that will take your work from, from where it is now, it will take it to the next level. And it's all about having the right tools for the job. We talk about people like Matthew Palm, we talk about people like Alu, who I'll introduce properly in a minute. And these are the stuff they use on their projects to go from that one level where we're all at at the moment to take it to that professional level where we all want to be. It's all you about using the professional tools for the job. And a bad toolman, a bad crafter always blames us tools. We all do it. We all do it. It doesn't matter what journey you go on, whether you've just started watercolouring, where you've just started making clay models, you all say, oh, it must be the product, or it must be this and that. But it's not. If you've got the right tools for the job, it makes the product easier. It makes your end goal a lot easier. And that's what we're going to about to talk about this hour. Right then, let's kick straight off because this is going to be one of those fast paced shows where we don't really spend much time on the counter because it's all about the products itself. So, here she is, the lady herself. It's been ages since I've worked with her. It's been absolute months. Um, be upstanding if you can for the one and only It's our Lou with us. Good morning, Lou, my love. How are you? Hey, I'm good to you. I'm very well, very, very well, thank you very much. Um, and I like these sorts of shows because these are the sorts of shows where you learn so much. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because... And, and like you said, it's a bit like hunger appeal. It's like, well, what am I going to do with that white stuff? Well, this is where it all sort of starts and you sort of build your arsenal and then it extends everything that you've got into more and more mediums and more and more sort of product then and and it is a really important stable part of any artist's sort of um product based toolkit really so yeah you're really right there thank you very much thank you well, thank you thank you thank you thank you but it's also this is also one of those shows to fill your bottom drawers up for giftables these are perfect giftables for any crafter this is a, yeah. this is one of those shows where you're not buying into kits you're not buying nope. into cards you're not buying into canvases and mixed media because, oh, I don't know what they like. I don't know if they do mixed media. I don't know if they do cards. I don't know if they do sewing. It's not one of those shows. This is all about product base. These are things that you are going to use. It doesn't matter what you do. You can use them on everything. Right then, Lulu, yeah. I'm going to let you set up your camera for your first demonstration. While you do that, jump to the website and shop ahead of me. It's the quickest and the easiest thing to do. Uh, Thecraftstore.com is where you're looking at for these. So we have got things like your double end pens on there. We've got Zestit on the show as well. Now we spoke about this uh, a couple of weeks ago and I found it for the first time. We're going to speak about the difference. There's three different mediums of the Zestit that we've got on the show. We've also got the glitter paints on the show as well. We've got your pearl paints on the show. We've got your um, PVA glue, but in two different stages for two different types. I've also got pearl powder, and I've also got the SAA accessory pack, 10 glue spreaders, six bottle pens, and three pipettes as well. And you're also gonna get a spritzer in there, which is well worth having a little go, which is your little spray bottle that you're having. Uh, become a, uh, the Craft Store Freedom member as well. Uh, it's well worth becoming a Freedom member. Um, I can't tell you why, but I did a little voiceover, did a little voiceover yesterday. A little voiceover. It took me many a time to do the voiceover, uh, but there is there's big things coming up if you're a Freedom member. Just saying, just saying. Um, I can't remember the dates either, uh, but it's later on in the month. It is this month, but it's worth. It really was the worst anecdote, but it's worth becoming a Freedom member because I know what perk you're going to get from it because uh, I had to read it. But anyway, enough about that before I get told off. So let's look at the dual tip pens, shall we? These are your dual tip pens that you're getting here. Now you're getting 12 of the pens themselves. Uh, they've got two different ends on. That's why they call them dual tipped. You see what they've done there? Uh, you've got the, uh, I might have to come around the front for this one. Uh, you've got the 0.3 millimetre and you've got the 1.3 millimetre end that you've got on there. Shall we have a look at a pen itself? Uh, so you've sort of got one little knobbly bits on it, which we'll ask our Lou what to do. So first of all, you've got your proper pen. Okay, so you've got your, uh, you've got your beautiful pen that's in there. So that's the one end, so that's your normal sort of bullet end. And then on the other end, you've got like the, you know when you're a kid and you have them pens and they draw like two lines at the same time? And you never really know what to do with them, do you? You never really know what to do because it just draws lines. Well, let's find out, shall we? Right then, Lou, we're going to come to you first. 
Um, I've got these pens home. What do I do with them now? What, how can I use them? Right, well, everybody loves, um, at the moment, well, I think everybody's really interested in doing cursive writing and calligraphy, and these are a brilliant way. And these are really highly engineered, believe it or not, um, to, to allow us to do that. They've got three ends, really. They've got a chisel tip that's got a small cut out with a V, and they've got the fine chisel tip there. Now, these are absolutely stunning for your calligraphy because you can make all these marks, but people also forget that you can do oh. lots of watercolour techniques with them. So they're really made simply that you can do some colour work or anything you want to do. I'll do some alphabet. I've just drawn some squares out. So if we put, I'll do it in dark so you can see. So the first thing is you can put your line out straight. Now you always use them at a 45 degree angle. So that means that they're away from you like that. So half a 90 and then we can just put it across. So I'm only going to do one like that. So you can do it easily like that. You can do the other side. And then this is when it starts to get. So if you have the notch at the bottom, we can get two thin lines, a constant thick line, so we can change it. And then we can do two. So if I wanted to change this up, then again, I'm done. So down there and then. We've now got lots of different ways of doing it, but this looks a little bit boring like this but what we can do is get a tiny bit of water then and just I... colour these out now i've done a really rough sort of guide there but if you wanted to um sort of do your own letter in i was going to do the craft star but oh i just got carried away with my tees <laughs> but you can start to see it splits to different colours so you know we can use we can use these in lots of different ways now if you use them upright, we get our own oh, look at that. letter in. And then I'll just do this. Oh, I can't put my T on, it's up there. <laughs> and if you keep it at the constant um, degree, you it won't move. So this one you keep upright and you keep it straight. Um, so it's really simple. You just start and you just, if you're a bit unsure about your lettering, put a little box like mine, like I've done there, and then allow your letters to sort of fit within that. So I've just done something really simple. So I've got that there. This is where now I can add in some more parts. So I can add an extra part in with the thinner bit, and I'm going to go all the way along my upright letters and then a really simple way of showing you how to use colour and texture with this so it won't take me long to finish it so I've put that in there get my, my watercolour and just colour that little bit now you do need because you, you, it's not instant you do need to sort of put a little bit of water on and then leave it because if you don't it, it you wait for it, it to be instant. It doesn't work instantly. It needs time to sort of blend out in the paper. So that could be any colour added with any colour. I'll also show you another little trick, which is cool. So I can do that now. I've just added water to that. What I can do now is get something. I'm going to use the plastic. I'm using a chisel tip there, and I'm just going to add the water to that. And then if I wanted to, I can now paint in that. So we've got a couple of ways of dealing with it. We can use it straight. We can use it at an angle. You can also use it to do um, sort of calligraphy style. But then we can, we can add stuff to it. So if we wanted to, we could sort of add decoration within this with I the different colours. I suppose, um, look, if we, if, with the chisel, I suppose with the chisel tip that you've got there, the way you've done that, it sort of does your shading for you, doesn't it? It does. It does because if you think you're keeping it upright, so if you're keeping this upright like this, you know where you can um, shade. So it's a bit like, do you remember when we was a kid and we used to write our name with two pens? So yeah. I'm just going to do big letters like that. I know, as you've just said, that that, 
is just everywhere that I need to shade. So I'm just putting some light hatching in. And then what you can do is then colour that. People forget that you can colour with these pens. And I'm using quite a strong um, paper as well. So you, you will get a different effect. But when this bleeds, you start to see different colours. Now up here, you can see we get a pink and a blue and a purple come through. Because it splits to its colours. It splits to the colours that make it that colour. And the blue looks pink. So you've got lots of colours within that. But then when it's dry... You can go back over it. Once it's dry, it's permanent. It doesn't move. But you can. You shouldn't really do this, but I don't. I, I, I did it, and it, I liked it. What I did was I just got one end, and I got a darker one. Let me show you properly. And I just... Sometimes it works better than others. And I'm just colouring that end there, not the other one. And then if I'm quick, I can get two colours look. Oh. So... It's sort of, you're just colouring the one. So if you, I'll colour the, the larger one now. Don't, you know, it just sort of seeps into it a little bit. You you won't damage it. I might have to do a bit more. You'll know when it happens because it sort of steeps up the, up the barrel. And you need, you'll get your own way of working with it. It's not enough on there, you see, but you'll get it. And then, no, I need it a bit longer. But you can see just there, yeah. if you get a little bit of a problem with it, what I mean by that, you shouldn't get any problem with any pens. But if you wet that and you're a little bit worried that it don't work again, just give it one, two, three. Give it clean and it's good to go. But, yeah, you can get all these wonderful shades in between. I love these. I really do love them. And they, they make your writing, if it's not great, they make your writing really quite nice. So you don't have to do anything. They so, do indeed. They, they, no, it really does for the sheer fact I'm not the best writer, as it were. I, my my handwriting, I can do single letters, but when you start doing bubbles and stuff like that, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that at all. Uh, but with a simple set of pens like this, with that chiselled end that you've got, and then you've got the two pronged end as well, that's the end that's going to give you that fancy swirl. So you can all write your name. You can all write, no doubt. So you're going to be able to do those fancy swirls. And as Lou said as well, you take water to it, take your water brush to it. This could be a pen set that you have on the go. This could be the one that you leave in your bag when you're stuck when we're eventually allowed to go out when you're stuck in that hotel room overnight and you want to do a bit more coloring or you just want to do mindfulness as it were and just little doodles and you want to add a touch of water a touch of water here a touch of water there you can do that with these pens remember you're getting 12 colors in theory though you're getting 24 pens in this it works out to be a pound pen because it's double it's double ended you know double ended 24 pounds 99 pence 875 002 is your item number is what you're looking at for this one right then this next Next set is what I love this next set right now there's three different options you can go for here. we're going to go through them all with our Lou but let me tell you the options what they are first so the top one first this is your uh, this is your cold wax painting medium I'll give you the details for all of them then we'll hand it over to Lou and then we'll see what they all do so your cold wax painting medium this is for you can see what it does on the tin it's used for oil paints uh, to uh, impart the body to so the texture that you've got in there um, and then you clean your brush with the soft that you're getting in the bottle. So this is your actual product. This is your cleaner, as it were. Eleven pounds and forty-nine pence. Seven eight four six one nine is your item number. Then we've got the pencil blender and the blending sponge as well. This is busy already. I think this is. I'm. I, I'm sort of going to say it under my breath. Is what you'd use for parchment. You know the colours to make your colours like all nice and swish. I think it's this. I reckon it's this. Uh, this is your, see, so uh, an easy, clean, and convenient way of using zested pencil blend. So it will blend your pencils. You know when you get a pencil and you colour it in, but you still get the graininess? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this is right. We'll, we'll find out with Lou. And you get that graininess, and it looks, like a, it looks like a child's drawing. With this, it makes it smooth. It's going to make it smooth and everything will bend like, like it is a watercolour. Uh, 9 99 for this one. I think this is the one I need. Uh, for your pencil blend and then you also get your solution in there as well. And then last but no means least, this is like your resist. This is your uh, brushable wax resist. So you can use this for resist with water-based and mixed media. Apply with a brush or a painting knife. Uh, clean the brush with a zestic solvent. So the zestic solvent is this one just here. But this, I think it gives you that resist. A bit like uh, heat embossing. 
I'm guessing. We'll find out. I wonder if you can use it with stamps and stuff. Let's ask, shall we? Twelve ninety nine for that one. So each one's individually. What we're going to do now is we're going to hand it back to Lou, and Lou's going to go through one of these individually. If you've got any questions this hour as well, thinking, oh, I wish you'd just go back and just answer that question, email me in. Studio at thecraftstore.com is the quickest way to get a hold of me. Um, and we'll put our questions to Lou. OK, it's one of these sort of shows where we can sort of bounce off each other uh, and lose via Skype as well. Right then, Lou, are we going to start with the cold wax painting medium? Yeah, absolutely. Fabulous. Um, cold wax means basically it's a medium that you can apply to paint with cold. A lot of things you need to warm up, you don't. This is a cold wax, so waxy residue. It can be applied with all sorts of different things, but it's mainly made for oil paint. However, this allows you to use pastels, pencils, and, and it becomes workable like a paste. So what I've done is I've got a little piece here. I'll show you this side here. So this, you can use your spatulas um, and you, you don't need a lot. It's it, it's so smooth. This one is the orange zesty smell. So you've got a wonderful um, aroma with this, but you do get... Um, you, 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 it's got no, uh, let me get this right, no phthalates in it. And it's, I try to remember, it's got so much in it, but it's got an orange oil in it, which makes it really nice. So it's now transparent. Now, normally you put something on, on your paper, it would make an oily residue, yeah. but it, it's now oh. more or less dry. Now that, you think, well, what's it done? It's actually coated my paper i can have it as thick as i want or as thin as i want but i can actually now apply it and get like a paint like surface for my pastel nice. i can mix it with so if i just do that so these are the oil pastels we've had before you get a little bit with it and you can make it into a paste ah so you've got, I mean, I'm doing it on paper. You wouldn't do it on paper. You'd mix this up and then on a palette and then paint with it or dry with it. But then I can now really push that out. So you'd mix it up. Now I've got some little bits. You'd need, you need, you really need to, what's the word, blend it. So all these little bits, these would be on your palette while you're mixing it. If you see what I mean, I'm doing it on paper, yeah, yeah, but yeah, as yeah. you're blending that in, you can see now how how different that paper looks. You've got a soft watercolour effect, whereas that's quite hard to do. So it's like painting. It's a painting medium and it doesn't give any residue there, any residue, but you can apply it really thick. So if I've got some thick paint, I add that to it and this anything now will brush off that. It's a, coal, it's a wax resist. So it's a really good way of getting texture and emphasizing you know medium and um, depths troughs like little peaks and troughs in all your work but it's a real i love this because it allows me to just how, how can i put it apply it to a surface and build up layer and layer but i can also with my little palette here i add a little bit of color in just to show you that i've got one of the perlex from the bottom i've got a tiny bit in and if i just get a little bit of that on my finger i can now brush that in as well so what i've got is a two layer and i've got a beautiful sort of glimmer now that resists water so because it's it, it's sort of it's waxy but not oily if that makes sense so no, that, makes that one sense. was the brushable wax resist um the next one is the painting medium this is coarse so this one does the same thing but this is like it's a lot thicker so you're going to get a lot higher texture a lot of medium in this now i'm just going to put a tiny bit with this again let's use a different color you do have to um like i say mix this quite quite a lot but i'm just showing you in here but once you get to sort of using these on mixed media you just now this doesn't apply the same can you see it do, It doesn't rub in the same because this is made to sort of be which one can put you put it in your paint like that and then you apply it and it's almost like um so, you know like a structure paste yeah which one was this one we're using lou and which one was the first one because i think we've got, the first one was a brushable wax okay so the first one was the brushable wax down at the bottom yeah uh, this one is now this the painting medium that we're looking at now 
Uh, the details for the, yep. for the wax, I don't want to just get confused, that's all. Uh, so the details for the brushable wax is now on your screen, £12.99, uh, which is this one just here. Uh, so this is the one you use to resist the water base and mixed media, uh, apply with the brush. And the one we're using now is the painting medium, which is the one at the top. Uh, so this is your painting medium that we're using now. Uh, Eleven pounds and forty-nine pence. Seven eight four six one nine is your item number. Right then, let's go back to Lou now. That's all cleared up. Yeah, I've just taken it off. Now you would, like you say, you put all you'd, all this mixing would be done on a palette and then put on here. You'd put it on your canvas in it with a mix it with oil paint, so it it's open longer. But this you can see this cold wax painting medium doesn't mix the same way as that because this what what this is doing is it's really for paint so it imparts body into paint oil paint so that you get like structure paste with it so the cold wax painting medium is to make oil paints and anything like that oil bars or um, it gives it structure because you wouldn't normally be able to use a water-based product with your with your wax or your oil based you see so this is for the other side to make a structure okay the next one is you've got the brushable wax resist which is that now which is now dry now i can spray if if it's dry enough it was can you see it beads off it oh, yeah. just beads off so it's it's like an oil a resin now i shouldn't say this but i've used this I sh well, I shouldn't say it, but I used it to wax a surface. So what I did was I painted the surface and I waxed it and I got a beautiful shine. So that's how wonderful it is. It gives like a sealant to it. The next one, which is a bit cold wax solvent. This solvent thins down all these products. So it allows you to get a different consistency and texture and it's also very good for cleaning on your your medium as well so cleaning your brushes and everything is this way okay. and you can use to me it's like a thinner um and although the name says wax solvent you know they've took a lot of time to make sure that this is a nice thing to use so it's it's a it's well worth it in any way to get this into your arsenal. You won't use a lot of it. You won't need a lot. But now we're going to go with... Um, the pencil, this is the... Let the me just try blend. this. Oh, yeah. This one is the busy so far, Lou. There's loads of people buying this pencil blend at the moment. I want to show you this. This is amazing. You can use pencil blend with the sponge. Now, this is... You can use it on parchment, on anything that you've got home. The parchment is notoriously, 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 what the blooming heck was that word? <laughs> notoriously difficult because it, it, you can see it all. You can see the glue, you can see everything. This doesn't leave a residue, it doesn't go through, it doesn't leave an, um, like a, you'll get an oil based stain on some but it doesn't leave it. So here I'm just going to show you how simple this is to use. I'm going to get a tiny bit. The first one is I'm going to use this and I'm just going to do a little bit of red. And then I'll get, let's see, a colour that, a colour that's going to show up but looks strange. Right. Now these colours are best not put together. So we've got oil pastel and we blend it. Now if I try to do that with my fingers, I start to get it, it starts to get really chunky now if i show you with the pencil blend doing the same on the opposite side and it doesn't really matter if you decide that you want um mad colors because the blend is brilliant you get a tarty on or you get a piece of kitchen roll i'll quickly show you how to do it fold 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 and keep folding and you'll end up with a point like that okay that all you do is dip you don't need to push it right in don't you not you know and that's all you need and you can just see a little bit there but it doesn't it doesn't damage it your paper it doesn't give it like a, a really awful greasy look i've got a torty on and i've actually just sharpened the end well not sharpened it i've uh, cleaned up the end i'm just going to dip that in there and you'll see it straight away oh yeah right now i've got the control of using it like a pencil this is an oil pastel now i would if i'm using a dirt like keeping it for one color i would just dip it down the side only because 
if I, if I keep doing this on the top, I'll, you know, I'll put the red on the top. And when I'm forgetting, I might dip it in, but it doesn't matter. So there we've got one colour blended. Wipe it off. Put your next colour on. And then blend this in. Now, it does blend the other way. Yeah, great. But it doesn't blend as well because what I'm doing is I'm using the whole tip of my finger. This it allows me to blend the two together and that's the best bit and then you can do this which is even nicer put a little bit on your pen and blend that in so yeah. this is a perfect way of so blending it, all your is it just for oil pastels or could, could we do it with pencils and things like that no i'm going to show you now oh so we've got a lovely blend there so next we've got these are the these are the ah. pencils I've been using. So I'll go down to the bottom one. So the same thing here. I want to go from a dark colour. And I'm being really rough and ready with this because I want you to sort of see that you don't have to be ultra neat, ultra tidy, you know, to get really good results. So I've just got that on there. I'm going to put on maybe a little bit of orange to brighten it up. So in theory, it's going to no. make your pencils and your waxes go a lot further, isn't it? Because you don't need as much on it. It turns all your mediums really into like, in theory, like watercolours and things like that, where you only a little goes a long way. It does. And you're really surprised because the texture paper, we stay, if we're doing pencil colour, we te stay away from texture paper simply because it, it's hard to get into all the little nooks yeah. and crannies, but when you're using this, now it's gone a little bit dark, and the only reason it's gone dark is because I um, I it's already had pen on it, and the ink's not dry. So what I'm getting here is a smudge, but just want to show you how brilliant this is. It is so effortless. All the times that I've spent trying to blend pencils, I don't need to do it. I just need to use this product. Seriously, and it takes all that effort out. You can even get a really sort of watercolour effect just by adding the, the blender on its own. I'm really d dirty in this bunch, but it doesn't really matter because I'll just wipe it off. So, again, blend it out with your pencil. Look at that. Now, what I'm going to do is just put a tiny bit on the top because this is the best of it. You can work on top. So, I don't particularly like that. I want it lighter and a bit more colour and a bit more vibrant. So, go on the top go all over here you want and I'm really going scruffy now so but now because I've got this I can now blend everything together this is a real plus plus parchment all those really delicate things that are really difficult to blend on but now this all does it for you and it's and it's a really good value one as well it's so worth I'm just having going to a show you a look it's... at this one um already for 9.99 we're approaching 50% of the stock. I knew this was going to be the busiest one. Uh, for the sheer fact, as you've just seen them from uh, pastels through to your pencils, it literally takes your pencils now and it gets rid of that graininess. It gives you that professional looking uh, finish that we see on all the finished samples that we show you here in the studio. You can now get that at home as well. And as you can see, Lou, we're still watching you, Lou, but you, as I said, you're just being quite rough and ready as it were. There's no real precision. You're just going in it, but it's the blending tool that's doing all the work. It is, and that's the main thing, because you said something before, we blame the tools, but if you've got a good tool like this, then you, you, the confidence you get from doing this, it moves into all your other work, so you're happy to have a ch take a chance or maybe work with different colours that you wouldn't use, and it, it it's just, it takes that worry about ruining something away, and I've done that really roughly, I haven't took any time over it, and, oh, that's me getting a bit vibrant with that, um, <laughs> But heavy handed mouth gone really heavy because you can now sort of bring that colour up as well. This is this is one of the best things you can have with your that. pencils, with your pastels. But I love the fact that you can layer it up and, and if I wanted to, I can put a bit of this on the top. This is oil pastel. So I can now, because I've got the blender on it, I can now put the oil pastel on top of the colour. I can't I could put watercolour on it if I wanted later, but now because I've got the wax, it won't accept the watercolour, but I could put watercolour on top of that with the blender on it as well, and it would smooth it out. So I hope that sort of no proves how good that stuff is.
Uh, I was meant to say, just before you did that a bit of wax in there, that 50% of the stock has gone. Now 60% of the stock has now already gone on our blender. For 9 99 I would be getting a few... Well, it's going to last you a long time anyway uh, with what's in there, what you're already looking at. I'd also get hold of the wax as well. Uh, the cold wax. And I was going to ask Lou, and she covered it beautifully, uh, to give... Wouldn't you have done that beautiful bit of work? You know, when you spend hours doing that work and you think, oh, now I'm going to have to put it in. I would, I, and Lou said she weren't meant to mention it, but I, I, I don't give a hoot, I'm going to say. Uh, I would use it and I would protect your work with it. I'd put it all over just so it gives it that wax coating so you are going to be able to keep it. It'd be good for your journals and things like that. 9.99 though, uh, for your blend as well, worth getting hold of. 759-225 is your item number. Right then, paint is up next. Uh, oh, the, by the way, those little spatulas that you saw Lou using, uh, I've got those on the show. It's part of an accessory pack that's coming up later on. Uh, let me quickly give you the details now, because Lou will be using these over the course of the next uh, 30 minutes as well. Uh, you're getting things like you're getting 10 glue spreaders in there. You're getting six, uh, six bottle pens. You're getting three pipettes, and you're also getting the one spray bottle as well. The spray bottle, fill it with water, fill it with your micas. Everyone's got a spray bottle. This is a good spray bottle from the SAA is what we're talking about. Uh, and your pipettes for your ink and stuff. Well worth having a little look at these. And your spreaders, you can never have enough spreaders. Uh, 680856 is your item number. Right then, paint is what we're going to look at now. Uh, glitter paint. Now, once again, I'm going to be honest with you. When you look at this, I think, well, what am I going to do with a set of glitter paints? The colours that you've got here, yes, they're beautiful, but a little goes a long way. I'm lucky enough to only have a few of these colours. Uh, they were sent for Molly. Um, and we're still using our bottles. But now I've found I've started using them on my projects as well to give it that little bit of a glitter, to give it that little shine that you want. Uh, and Lou's going to do a quick demo with these as well. But it's the colour swatches. The bottles are very, very deceiving. Once you get these in real life and you see the sparkle and shine that you're getting there, it's not just red. Look at that. You're getting hit incidents of green and gold that's sparkling through there as well. It's like it's full of mica, but it's really, really not. And you're getting all of these bottles, six, 300 ml bottles for £23.99. 024911 is your item number. Um, right then, Lou. It is one of the, yeah. it, To look at it, you would go... It's just, it's just bottles of glitter. I, I, I don't need that. I, I used to use that when I was a kid. It's really not, though, is it? This is something special. Well, when, when we're, we're children, we sort of use stuff with no care and with abandonment, and, and we lose that as we get older. And these are the colours that really attract me because they're nice, they're glittery, and they're, they, they just allow other colours to shine. So it's, it's all about sort of bringing that, you know that childness back into work, and I don't mind it in a, I don't mean it in a childlike way. What I mean is just the the, the, the vivacious colours, the glitter, and all that. And I really like this because one, the glitter is not everywhere, and it's not you know I'm not finding it for three weeks clogging my plug hole. <laughs> and two, it, it's in a glaze. Now I've done this just one, two, three strokes. You know I I, I never ever do something. I don't do it and then say, oh, I did it this way and I haven't. All I did was like that with the spatula. And you get this great textured effect. Now, this is the silver. We've got the gold. Now, what I like about these are you get that glaze with them. So I can mix this with any paint I've got, any paint at all. I can put them over the, the paints I've just done. I can put them over the pencil blend. So you're getting a huge amount of paint for very little money. I can mix things with all the paints I've already got. The next one is, this is, I, I think the pink, um, I don't know, the pink and the blue I really love. This is like a watermelon color, I call it, where it's got a green glitter to it. We've got the green and the green glitter, the teal, blue, and the blue glitter. And we've got the red. And you see it's got a red and a yellow glitter. So what happens is, I just painted it like, really messily but then i'm using what we've got on the top of the show when we used our pens these create fantastic glazes so when you're doing a small a glaze you need very very little now i'm going to put it in my little pot here you know my um assistant is uh he's got all my stuff here he's, he's brilliant now oh, yeah, that looks quite dense but when i start to put this over different colours, what we can get is like a tartan paint. I know people used to say tartan paint, that's <laughs> ridiculous. But you can 
if you overlap all these colours one after the other when they dry, you get a tartan effect because the layers are transparent, you can still see. So I'm just going to show you what I mean by this. Now, I've still got that colour. Um, it is quite uh, viscous. So to me, I would just dampen your brush, but don't try and make it too runny. So I can make it really thin and smooth. And So there it is on the blue. Well, let's see what it looks like on this. So it starts to starts to look like more of a purple. So you can see, you can still see all the colours underneath. Now you're getting a lot of paint for your money. So that's the same colour, but it looks very different. It looks t entirely different. Now what I can do is also get the pearl X from later. Yeah. And I've got because this has got a medium in it, and that by that I mean it, a medium is the glue in our binder in a paint. I can now put a tiny bit of this with it. So this is the Pearl X. Mix up my glue. So now I've got a glitter glue. But now look at this colour, because now I've made a, a like a copper colour. I'll show you here. And it's got glitter in it. Now you may not see it when it's now, but when it's dry, you will see the green shine through. So those people out there thinking it's just for kids, we have now got the best bronze, glitter bronze, you can think. And you can do it with all the colours. I've done the two most sort of opposites just to show you. Leave that to dry. I can now well, dry that off, actually. Get more paint. Once that's dry, I can now layer it. And I've got a bronzy, greeny look. Look at so, that. All that, mixing with any of your paints you've got, anything, you, you know, your acrylics, whatever you've got, you can mix with it. You can mix, let me just show you this, is even, even, you know, you can get a watercolour effect by, if I just get, say, I get, oh, let's go for this greeny one here. So I'll put some water in here. Now, this could be a watercolour pencil, anything. I can now make that my own colour with glitter, and I'm using a watercolour. So it has the same qualities as a paint, but you've now got the, the glitter element in it. But this, the permanence uh, is different because watercolours react. This now, when that dries, it's very subtle when it's wet, but you can see the green coming out. Now, you can see it's changed colour, but all that from just mixing it with everything you've got. So it, it, it's to me, it's like um, an add-on. You can add, add it to everything you've got, and I like that. And if I wanted to put it on a three-dimensional object, I could put it on with the spatula and spread it in and out of, of like, let me just show you. And this is, oh, I ain't got enough. And you can sort of really scrape it on and off so you've got textures and glitter build up textures. So I could put it on like that and then get another colour, and then I could build it up, and it's... Just be careful. You don't need too much because I'm forever um, putting out too much. So you can see it's transparent again. But can you see now? I can start to get a tech, another colour. So let me do it again there to show you. You get purple now. So and then really, I can put so in the really, blue again. We're not getting, we're not getting six colours at all, are we? We are getting more than oh, six no. colours with these palettes. No, I mean, this is all your paints plus these six colours. So, you know, all, every paint you've got, watercolour, acrylic, every paint you've got, adding this to it, you've now got as many as you want. But just to show you how transparent it can go, I've got, sorry, I've got a little bit of green on my brush, but you'll forgive me, I hope. So we'll you can just you. see, this is on the grey, but if I wanted a nice transparent colour, you've got a really soft, and it's great, unicorn colours, magic colours, fairy colours. And then this is drying now, so I can show you. You can just see the build-up of glitter. So we've got pink, green and yellow and gold glitter in there, but it's not full in your face. If I wanted to, while it's still wet, I could drop in other glitter. You can. You can also, before I go on forever, you can also <laughs> build it up. Now, I put it through a stencil and it will actually stay like that. It takes longer to dry, but you can build it up so you get the intense colour and the texture, so it's not just a paint. 
It's like it does round because there's not enough stiffness in it, but it does stay quite high as well, especially through stencils. So you can build up your own texture like that. And I can even put that on top of there now and you'll get a different colour again. I love it. I just love it. That's what I mean by the tart and you get you get the different, different stripes colors. in it. But for things like MDF projects that you may have, oh, yeah. that you want to use, um, like obviously go in with your gesso first, then go in with your colour over the tops. The colours that you're yeah. getting are colours for all year round. Yeah, you get that luminous pink colour that's in there, which is absolutely an amazing colour. But think of like the candy shop stencils uh, and dyes that you've got that I bought you a couple of weeks ago. Then down at the bottom, may I say the dreaded C word, the Christmas. Uh, you've got your Christmas colours down there as well. So you've got your red, you've got your green, and you've also got your gold in there. Uh, absolutely Absolutely amazing. I really, really love it. £23.99. 024911 is your item number. Uh, something else that I need to tell you is your pencil blender. It's now limited stock is what you're looking at. If you wanted the pencil blender, it is now limited stock. Worth getting hold of for £9.99. 759225 is your item number for your pencil blender. Right, we're moving from glitter paints. We're now moving to pearl paints is what we're going to look at now. Um, these are stunning. They are literally like liquid gold. They are absolutely beautiful. Look at those. Now you're getting six colorways. So you're getting all six of them that you see here. So you do get, let me turn them around so you can see the actual colors rather than the labels. Uh, you're getting the red, the green, the purple. You're also getting your blue, your gold, and also your silver as well. You're going to get all these. These are your pearl paints, £18.99 from the SAA once again. So we know we're talking quality when we're talking about these. Um, pearl paints, Lou, what's, what can we do different with pearl paints? Well, pearl paints, these are really lovely and creamy, and they are very, very um, one-strokeable paint wise because I was quite hmm let me see how good these are and I've used these for a long long time I've used all the scholar scholar whatever you want to call it stuff from all oh, right right through my um career as a teacher this because it's it's safe for students but it's also good because the last thing you want is rubbish materials because you do blame it on yourself but these is a one stroke coverage now it's always use it from the lid um, and that's just the way I am, but it's quite a gel and you don't need a lot. You really don't need a lot and it just covers and it's great for MDF material, fabrics, um, collage. And I'm not putting over, now that's it, one layer, right? Now that is good coverage because that's now made a great glitter card. So what I wanted to show you is we, we get stuck. This paint is so cost effective, it's untrue, because we get stuck for things that we we need to match. So a little trick I did the other day was I'll get a piece of paper and just show you. I wanted to create um, a piece of work. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do nine things at once. No, it's all right. Um, I wanted to create a piece of work that was sort of mixed. There we go, I've got it now. Mixed, and, I, and this was the clean-up. And I thought, I'm going to show you with this because this is the, you know, the, the actual cleaning the stamp and cleaning the stencils. And I just thought, oh, my word, look how dense that is. And that is just me rubbing it off with a paper towel. So when when, I, when we're using colours like this, it's really difficult to get the right colour to mount and, you know, mount your work. So I thought, well, I'll show people what to do. So what you do is, I'm going to cut out a little bit of this, but I want the mounts to do to, to go on this piece. So easiest way, I've got too much water on my brush here, but just want to show you. Put a light coat of paint on right. one colour like this. Now, I would do a couple of these. Right. And I've, put, I've made it like this because... I'm going to show you why it just works so well. You couldn't do this with ordinary... Well, you could, but it's very expensive if you start using paint in this way. And then what you do is you get your next colour, which is in your your um, mixed media piece or whatever you're using, and down here, give it a good shake, and then use the lid. And it is very creamy. I'm not going to use too, too much, but... And I'll show like, you again. I like the shake, Lou. I like the shake. These these are all made for people to be able to, if you mean the shape of the bottle or the shades, I don't, 
think no, I like, I, like this, I like the technique of the shake of the bottle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do we have to shake them, though? Is there something in them that we they need to be shook? No, no, no. no. Okay. It's just me. I shake oh. everything. I'm pretty good <laughs> at shaking. <laughs> so, what, why I'm doing this is, one, you can create your artwork with it. Two, I want to put this piece of artwork in a frame with a mount, and I can't because I haven't got the right colour paper. Now, using this, I can now just chop this out, and I'll quickly show you how... I did this the other day, and people were going, oh, why didn't I think of that? So I thought I'd do it in real time. I'll use my big scissors because these will take me forever. So just cut out what you need. Keep the little bits because you'll be able to use that. Oh, I've just cut my tape. I've cut my piece. Never mind. Right. Get that. Get your next one. And then chop it where you want like that. And I've now got a matte layer. Doesn't matter what colour for all my pieces of work here. So... I am, this is the bit that gets me. I have now got all the colours that match this piece of work. So if I just chop this bit up, I know it, it's, you'd do it a little bit better than this, but I'm just trying to show people that you can make all your own papers, all your own um, bits of backing paper, layering paper. So I'll just show you that on there now. All the colours match. So I don't need to go out and buy expensive papers now. I've got the paper that... And that going in a little frame is perfect. And then what you can do is just... I just think it needs a little bit of something around here. Dip the paint on your finger and just rub it into the side. And then you can use it like all the other paints you've got. You can put it onto your mixed media. I've got a piece here just to show you. I'm going to put a bit of blue and pink in it. So now we've got like a distressed edge like that. So then we've got wow. like a frame. I'll just show you it on this. I've got this frame here. I can use the pink as a blending tool on here. So it's like a blending medium and just highlight the gold, uh, the wording on here. You can use this because it's a creamy texture and not too thin. I can now apply it like a wax and it'll dry like a wax as well but it won't be overly shiny it'll just catch it so hopefully you can just see yeah. the paint and then if you've got a frame like this that you want your work to go in like that this just show you with my finger this is the paint for it now i'm just putting it on with this i'm going to rub it off so you've got different colours. So here we've got a light colour. And then on the inside, you get your brush, dry it, and just... I'd take the glass out, but just on the inside, you'd go a little bit darker. And then you've got, like, a frame, handmade. I'm just putting a, a darker edge so that you can see that you can get different tones by different thicknesses of paint. So I'm just doing that, and then I'm wiping that off again. And now, if I put that in there, put it straight, I've now got a matching frame, and everything matches. I could put blue with it, I could stamp on it. So it's an all-in-one all paint, great for MDF, great for collage. But just to show you that you can make your own background papers with this, as well as your own pieces of artwork, that's why it's such good value, because you get a lot for your money. And it is good coverage. People think when it's cheaper that it's not going to be good value, but that is. Well, it's been going for a hundred years now, so I hope that showed you some little tips and tricks. And there's no, the really, other colours again. It really does, and this is the thing that we were trying to get across um, in these shows. Just because of the price, don't think they're inferior. They're really, really not. These are still high quality goods is what we're getting back as well. Right, we're going to speed this up slightly because I'm conscious of the time and I've still got two projects uh, to get. I want you to see as well, demo-wise. Right then, let's move to the glue itself. Now you're getting two types of glue here. You get your multi-purpose medium and you also get your master medium as well. Uh, £9.79. Now one says red label, one says black label on there. Uh, but you've got uh, the names on this. So you've got your multi-purpose and you've got your master medium. Um, Lou, for £9.97, pence. first of all, that is a lot of glue that we're getting here. What's the difference between multi-purpose and your master media? I understand the multi-purpose, I think. It's more the master yeah. medium that I don't quite understand. Right, well, um, this is... Um, we've all used this in school. Um, we've all used it 
Is, is this that price for two or one? Yeah, no, it's for both of them. Oh, wow. Right. Now, this is your, is your matte medium, uh, gel medium. So, the master medium is the painting aid. So, for instance, your gel mediums and all the things that we glue, collage, and all those things with, this is your master medium. This is the pigment, in, uh, this is the binder in paint. This is the stuff that makes that stick to your paper. So, you can use this as a glue. It dries clear. It washes off your hands quite well as well because it's made for school. Um, it's got no latex, wheat or gluten or phthalates in either of them, so it's really quite safe. But the main thing is this one's an all-rounder. Collage, fabric, medium, anything you want. A lot, of, a lot for your money. And this one is like the next step up, putting it in your paint, put it in your structure paste, put it in anything you want um, to create what we would with a gel medium there is a difference now i've decamped mine into these little bottles so that you can so i know i know that this one is my master medium but, but there is a dif difference one's more opaque than the other and i'll just put a blob on the paper just to show you one's more opaque there we go and you can actually leave these to dry on um silicone and the you've got jewels but i'll show you you might not be able to see it one's got more of a that one there has got more of a more translucent and that's your multi-medium you will know and your thicker white opaque one is your master medium you saw, so with this you saw, saw paint, that Lou, when you poured them out you could see the difference in the consistency when you poured them yeah exactly and that is such a good glue it's very very strong you can mix corn flour with it and create like crackle you can mix other stuff and make really sort of strong um bonds with it with fabric but i just want to show you that if you do get the next mediums these are a great binder so we've got these two you can use it for glue with fabric collage anything you want anything and then it's also if you've got any powdered pigments this allows you to now make a glue binder. Now, just show you what I mean. This allows me now to make this, these um, powders that I've got into the most amazing paints and most amazing paint, but with a translucent set that is stunning. Oh, uh, Lou, we're going to let you run to the end. I'm just going to give a, a details for the powders because that's the last thing I have to do. Oh, uh, yeah. The details, the glue details on screen, £9.97. pence. I was going to ask, uh, Lou, if you could add the powders to the glue, but now you can. And we're going to go back. Uh, we're literally going to take it right up to 30 seconds till the end of the show. Uh, and then I'll say my goodbyes. Uh, so you've got your two glues here. You've got your multi-purpose and you've got your master medium as well. £9.97. 967821 is your item number. The details for your powders. Now you're getting all these powders that you see here. There is a lot in there is what you're getting. The details for your powders are about to appear on your screen now. Uh, £39 and 99 pence is what you're looking at. 077967 is your item number. They're also on a flexible payments as well. Two flexible payments of £20. Oh, there's, there's me. Look on my iPad. Uh, on your iPad as well. Uh, what you're going to get there though is absolutely amazing. Lou, if you would, just talk me around these powders themselves. What would you use these powders for? Right, well, the powders are amazing. They're like dried pigments uh, without a binder. So you need a binder with them, but these are like jewels. They're like all the mica. It's crushed up mica, mate, and then put um, a colour pigment with them. So if you think of everything, all the colours you've ever wanted, these are the basis of them, but you need something to fix it like a binder, otherwise it will wash off. But it also adds to all your other paints. It adds to the brushable waxes. This is like the creme de la creme of Micah's. Absolutely beautiful. And the actual quality of this. Perlex has been going for years. And they've been doing those. these for years. Uh, literally, look, I look silver silver fingers uh, that's there. I'm covered in this stuff. Uh, but a little goes a long way because I only opened them and that's what I have. We've only got 45 seconds left, Lulu. Uh, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you, Lou. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Are you back with a one-day special later? I am. I can't wait. Yay! Is it and it's say it with flowers, so it's for everybody. Oh, is that studio light at six o'clock this evening and Lou will be back. Uh, have a good day, Lou, and I'll speak to you uh, probably tomorrow. Thank you, my love.
See you soon. Oh, Bye. I miss our Lou. I love when we have Lou in. Uh, she was the one. She, who's she? The cat's mother. Uh, she was the one that uh, sort of got me into the world of craft. Our Lou was. She was. Uh, anyway, we've only got 15 seconds left. I'm going to go and wash my little grubby little fingers that we've got here. Uh, while I do that, I'm going to hand the baton over uh, to our Catherine, who's going to take you through to the next hour as well. Start checking out your baskets if I wish you. Go on, you know you want to. Uh, yes, indeed. Quilting Antics is up next with our Anthea and Catherine. I wonder what she's going to demo today. Let's find out. Everyone stay tuned. It's Craft Yourself Silly's eighth birthday and join us when we're going to launch the Fabazine number no. six. Twelve fantastic projects, as always, you can see some of them here. We're also launching the button fabazine as well, which is one you can see up there. So really excited. So join us for our one day special on the 9th of April, 6 p.m. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace, and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia, and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers, and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. Over time, I want Craftoscope products to build you a complete library of dyes, stamps and stencils, which you'll enjoy using whether you're new to crafting or you're a seasoned crafter. My products will complement everything that you have already but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me for my shows with Craftscope. Hi, we're the team from Daisy Bee Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy and we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. We decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie, hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. For the past six years, Achanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. 
nothing else is changing will be the same agenda that we've always been. We're, We're just, just getting a brand new name. Demonstration led, full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to the Craft Store, your home of everything crafts. Well, hello everyone. I would so do that in an Irish accent, but I can't do it. But we are travelling around the aisles, as you can see here. Now, perhaps you've seen some of these characters before. Perhaps you've never seen them before. Whatever happens, we've got some antics going on in the studio this morning because Anthea's here. So we will be showing you lots and lots of goodies. We do have some new todays as well. But maybe you're missing one or two items. Perhaps you've spotted them in the past and you're thinking, oh, why didn't I get that? Well, ne now is the chance to sort of go back and maybe fill some of those gaps as well. We've got some great deals on the show for you as well. Shall we say good morning to Anthea? She is here in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. Good Hello. Morning. How are you? Very well, thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. I'm so pleased to hear that. Now, you've brought all sorts here again today, Anthea. We've got some great projects. We've got, of course, we've got our book. That's what we're starting with as well. So if you don't mind, we'll chat through this. Come on then, let's do it, okay, Catherine. Okay, let's, Let, do, let's it do it. Let's do this. It is a trip round the Isles, of course. That's what we're seeing here. So we are, of course, visiting England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales. Yep. That's what it's all about. Tell us about the projects in this book then, Anthea. This is probably one of our most well thought out books that we've ever done so you've got for like if you are a, you know a, a serious patchworker you've got your four cushions and they all mean something because you've got a block in the background that's pertinent to the area even though it might be a, a nod or stylized it's pertinent to the area and then you've got some applique that that like goes with the area too so if you just wanted to do a pieced cushion it would look fantastic if you just wanted to do an appliqued cushion, it would look fantastic, or even turn them into a bag. Uh, you can do whatever you want with them. Um, but you've, you've got there, you've got lots of different elements that would suit lots of different, you know, interests, shall yeah, we say. Yeah, definitely. And then we move on, and we've got the door stops there, and they're just unashamed fun. That is what they, <laughs> they, they, they are. They make you smile. They're just supposed to make you smile. They definitely um, do. And we link them again round the aisles. So you've got a cushion and a doorstop that that match each area of the British Isles. Brilliant. Um, so we've got there, uh, as you're looking at your book there, in, in your cushions, you've got England, you've got your pony. So that could be your new forest, your Dartmoor, your Exmoor. Yeah. could be any of those ponies. That hair for Ireland, did you know that Ireland has its own recognised subspecies of hair? Well, I didn't until I heard you say this previously. Yeah. And that was the first time I'd ever heard yeah, it. Yeah, it's got shorter ears and it's got the white on it. Amazing. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a recognised subspecies, which uh, I, f I feel quite knowledgeable. <laughs> <laughs> you are very knowledgeable. And then we've got, obviously, your stag for, yep. for Scotland. And then this is magnificent. Wales jury was out for Wales, so we've got a choice of two. <laughs> ah, we will come back to that. So let's have a look at the details for the booklet there, because of course you can go for the booklet. You've got the templates in there. We have got add-on kits to go along with this, but twenty-four ninety-nine. You are saving twenty-seven pounds, and that is a genuine saving because if you were to buy these patterns individually and top them all up, that is a saving you would make. Five nine four one two one is the item number. It works out actually at two pounds and 78 pence per pattern which is incredible and don't forget once you've got the templates you can reuse them on other projects as well now let's have a look at some of the kits then because of course we've just talked about the uh, the cushions here now I do believe you've got England over with you I have indeed wonderful yeah. okay so we're looking here there's England with Anthea with our gorgeous pony now it's not available as a kit but of course, you've got the template in, template in the booklet there, so you can create with your own fabric, so you can still Catherine, create... Catherine, you know, I was having a little think well. about this, actually, because this is English paper paste, okay. and they're not massive things. Now, just to have a fess up, I, I decided I wanted to bring this back, because lots of people have asked me, um, you know, they've missed it the first time, yeah. and these sell out. 
So I thought, well, yeah, right, let, let's do that. Because what I wanted to bring, I haven't got it finished. <laughs> you know? So let's bring it back. I got in touch with the mill and lots of these fabrics, by coincidence, are out of stock and actually on the looms at the minute. Ooh. So I couldn't top up the stock I had. So there's not right, masses I get it. on each one. But as it's only English paper paste, yeah. you could adapt one of the other kits. So Amazing. I would possibly um, go with the stag because you get your brown for your yeah. um for your pony so if you're into horses and you want to do this now i can't say belt and braces it will work exactly but i think you'd be you'd be probably okay. okay and of course the full instructions for all of the cushions are in the book so you would need the book of course but once you've got that so perhaps if you do want to do the pony do go for the stag but let's have a look at the other options as well so we've got the irish hair who oh, is just gorgeous isn't he wonderful and you can see the fabrics that you're getting there in front there we are, 39.99, There is a, a flexibility on this as well, so two payments of £20. Keep an eye at the bottom of the screen for the booklet because, of course, that is a different item number. I can tell you that the Irish hair is limited stock. You've been shopping ahead on that one. I've got a feeling, Anthea, there are people that have probably bought kits before and made one of them, or maybe a couple, and wanting to complete the set, something like well, that. Well, I think you're right. And these just sell and sell yeah. and sell. But I'm I not do surprised. know that when we bring them on and they sell out, you know, there is disappointed people. So, yeah. um, so probably um, get in while you can. Definitely. Now, I can see why this one has always been very popular. He is magnificent. This is your Scottish stag. Isn't he gorgeous? He is absolutely gorgeous. And, of course, you've got the castle in the background there as well. Aileen Donnan Castle. Yeah. Do you know, we, we, although the windows are on the, uh, on the drawing, we never actually got round to putting windows on. And every time he's been, I think... Oh, I should have put windows on. <laughs> oh, so you can, you can. Well, make sure you finish yours and put your windows in there. There and you soon go. This at home going, oh, we've never put the windows on there. <laughs> Come next time, they'll be coloured in. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Right, so that's our stag. Now, we have got the Welsh grouse as well. Now, there's a little bit of a story behind this one. If you want the Welsh grouse, of course, you can go for this one. This is what you're going to get. But you did learn that there is another... Another well, bird. Well, there's a story. So when we did our research for this, um, and we really did research this, this book really well, and I got to Wales and I thought, oh, what's your national animal in Wales? And I really wasn't sure. And we weren't doing domesticated. Yeah. We were doing, like, you know, wild, wild, wild animals. You know, your stag, your, your hare, blah, 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 blah. And in, in desperation, I actually rang up the Welsh tourist board and I said, this is what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. What is your national animal? She said... Well, it's a sheep. And I thought, if I go on national telly with that, I'll be lynched. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, 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 no. I know there's lots of sheep in Wales, but I'm not saying that. So, I, no, that's domesticated. I need a wild animal. And she said, well, a dragon. <laughs> well, we were doing a doorstop anyway. And I thought, again, it's, I just didn't feel that it was respectful enough. Yeah. So we did our own research and... Uh, and on Snowden, uh, apparently you're doing a, a black grouse recovery project. So we thought, right, as a nod to that, we would do the black grouse. So we brought, we bought, brought the black grouse. And then afterwards, because I do like your feedback, and several people went, what are you doing a black grouse for? I went, well, <laughs> you've got this recovery project going on. Apparently you're really proud of it. And it's a beautiful bird anyway. Um, and, and several people went... No, we like red kites. And I'm like, well, why didn't your tourist board tell me that? <laughs> so, uh, so you've got your red grouse, which is from our, our homework, our okay. kind of art your fail. Your black grouse. Yeah. It's, it's not a fail because it's a beautiful animal, a bird in its own right. Yeah. And I, I think it's gorgeous and I would have that myself. Yeah. But we've also, as Catherine's about to tell you, we've done a red grouse. So you can get that. Amazing. And, uh, so if you are going for the cushion kit this is what you're going to get so we've got the black grouse there so you've still got the details on the screen you've still got the flexi buy but if you want the red kite and i did don't I have a red grouse I've you got, did i've got red you grouse did. in my brain it's yeah not a you're grouse. getting your, your blacks on your reds red mixed kite. up now <laughs> <laughs> now this is your red kite there's the bird itself there you are 
So if you prefer to go for that, you can get the kit for the applique to create the red kite. $15.99, You're still going to get the fabrics for the black grouse as well, but you can use those somewhere else. So it gives you those options there. That's if you go for the cushion kit, you're still going to get the black grouse. The across. kite is magnificent, but I've got to say, we are still suffering from lockdown blues. So for a year now, I've been locked out of my shop. And everywhere that I inhabit, it's like uninhabitable now. <laughs> We're like a year, like dragging a box out and it's like half full and move on and all the rest. And I simply couldn't find the kite. Oh. I've turned well, everything we upside the down. We can so, see uh, the so you've got the picky, and, but it, it's magnificent. And I'm really gutted because it, it's, it's a real fantastic thing that... Um, that we, we can see with, that yeah. gorgeous applique kit so do bear that in mind if you want to go for that option of course now we've talked about the dragons we've talked about the doorstop so let's have a look at them of course this is our english dragon this is george there he is so of course you're getting the fabrics here to create george himself 29.99 is the price there's a five pound saving today as well eight six four three nine zero and of course he is very heavy because he is a doorstop so difficult difficulty wise anthea is right, it difficult so or is it quite well, an easy has made um made these doorstops i didn't actually make them okay. but i did write the pattern on her behalf and basically she's making um a body so you've got two sides and a gusset that goes up the middle. So it goes kind of from the back of the head all the way down to, to the bottom. So you've three pieces there. And then after that, you make an arm and you sew it on. You make a leg and you sew it on. Each piece is, is made individually and added on. So when you do it that way, all of a sudden it becomes bite-sized. So I'll just be clear, you're not going to be taking on this project if you're not a twiddler and a fiddler. If you okay. don't like, you know, messing about for ages, this is probably not your thing. But if you are one of those people who likes to um, play around, likes to manipulate fabric, likes to, you know, put the details in, this is right up your alley. Um, and I think you'd be fine with him. He's, he, and, well, I love And the him. best thing is people now have sent me completed ones, so I know it works. Oh, <laughs> and, brilliant. I know that people are he doing them successfully. fabulous. I absolutely love him. There he is. That's George we've got yeah. for you there. And then, of course, we move into Wales now. Of course, it's when you think of dragons for Wales, it's got to be Die the Dragon. And, of course, a red dragon. He's magnificent. It must have been a very popular one, this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. And... You know, and if you don't want a red dragon, if you, you know, want a green dragon, just um, just get the book and, and go your own way. But if you want a red Welsh dragon, this is arguably a Welsh red dragon. <laughs> I say arguably, there's no arguing in it, is there? Uh, he's great. I mean, he looks... <laughs> would you trust him? Um, of course. He, he looks... <laughs> I don't know. He looks like he could just burn your bottom, doesn't he, when you're not looking... Uh, yeah, he's, he's got that glint in his eye, I don't hasn't know, he? I, I mm. quite like him because he, he is a lovable doorstop. But I can imagine, he's got grunt, hasn't he? What my husband would call grunt. You could see him just setting off across the floor on his own. <laughs> he's, um, you know, he's, he's great. He, he is he's great. fantastic. And I think, you see, you see, that's the kind of thing that when the grandchildren come, I would pretend that he gets, gets up to mischief in the night. I'd give him, yeah. a, I'd give him a character. I'd move him around. Yeah, and, tell a story You know, like with you do with the elf on the shelf at Christmas. Love well, him. Have a dragon and look at his wings as well. If you do want to add a little bit of wire or something into those wings as well, you can You don't need them. to on those because how she's done them, she's just folded over the top. Can you feel the hem in the top? Oh, yeah, thick? yeah. Compare it to the, um, the George dragon. The George dragon has got wire in. Yeah. And you can manipulate his wings where the die dragon, she's just turned the top over and it makes it thicker. You can sit. Do you know, it's nice to be able to position those as well and, and yeah. to hold its shape as it does. Beautiful. There we are. Right. So let's mind living boxes and get carted about all over. Yeah. Not like at home where you're going to put it exactly. out and it won't yeah, get course. crushed. Yeah. They're great fun and they're usable. That's the nice thing. Now, of course, no dragons when it comes to Scotland, but we do have Nessie. Now, I absolutely love Nessie. <laughs> I, this this one really does make me smile. It's it's the swimming cap. Yeah, I mean, remember what we said. These are a bit of fun. They are unashamed <laughs> fun. And if you don't want Nessie to wear a swimming cap, don't put it on. But uh, originally she was going to be called Vanessa. <laughs> oh, I like that. She's I, I I love her. She's fantastic, and she's probably of the four the easiest to make. 
Oh, She's I got love less it. Um, less twiddly bits to this one. Oh. So if you want to make one as a starter, she's probably a really good place to start. Yeah, love it. Do you know, it's reminding me, this is happening a lot today. Certain things I'm seeing in shows that I'm doing are reminding me of days gone by and little stories. When, oh, I'm going back, I'm going back a lot of years again here, but I once went on holiday in fancy dress. But we also, we went as friends, we also all wore old fashioned swimsuits. And I made mine, and it was red and white polka dots. <laughs> and I'd got, I'd got the heart, I'd got the bloomers, and I'd, oh, it was just, and that's we just reminded me. We need photographic evidence, Love Catherine. It. Next time we want there, photos. There are photographs that exist, oh, right. actually. There are. You need to bring them in, Catherine. <laughs> Well, there we are. There's Nessie for you. And of course, when it comes to Ireland, oh, it can't be anything other than our leprechaun, can it? Oh, I love him. Look how he wobbles about He's as just well. a great bit of fun. He, he really you know, is. He's, he's just supposed to make you smile. Look at this. I, you know, I love to spin them all the way around so you can see everything there. Of course, you're getting all the fabric to create our wonderful, wonderful creation here. All part of the instructions in the book, of course. If you've got the book, bottom of the screen for that. But if you want to go for our wonderful leprechaun there, again, £29.99. £5 saving on this one as well, 864390. I did change now, the buttons. I'm going to keep kit. the booklet with me just to make sure we've got a copy of that or I can refer to that as we go down the counter. Bottom of the screen, keep an eye out for those details as well. So, all of those are also in the book. Of course, all the instructions, all the, the templates and everything. If you want to go for the fabrics to create exactly what you're seeing there, of course, you've got those options to go for those kits as well. Then, we've got another book for you, actually, Over the Hills. So, uh, this is a different pattern book altogether and just as beautiful when it comes to the projects in here, Anthea. Thank you. I think this is a bit more country living, is how I would describe yeah, the next Yeah, that's a good set. way of describing it, I would say so. Oh, look, straight away, Mr Fox is in there. He's lovely, isn't he? he? He's just a little bonus extra. Is it? Meg asked me earlier, she said, have you put any extras in? And I went, no, no, no. I lied, didn't I? <laughs> Straight away, <laughs> Mr. Fox is there. No, I think, I think, let me get my book. What, what the fox is, if memory serves, we, there's a textile landscape in there and it's got a hair um, jumping out of the frame. And we put the fox in as an alternative to the hair. So if you didn't want the hair, you could use him. Because oh, there's I several yeah. projects in here that all use that hair. So it just shakes it up a little bit. So you've got that, um, given you a couple of sizes. I've also done some squirrels and resized different drawings. If you look on that back cover, you'll see quite a few different bits and bobs. Pulled them out of the, out oh, of the book and, uh, and put them on there. Beautiful. So we've got various different projects again. And of course, we've got those kits to go alongside it. But if you're going for the book, you're saving eight fifty today, £23.99. That's all it is. 070686 with those extra bonuses already included in there. So keep an eye on the details for the book because if you want to go along with the with the um, the kits for the fabrics, of course. Oh, look. You were just setting up when we did our meeting and I didn't get a proper look at this one. <laughs> oh, I'm in love. Yeah. Now, the Highland Cow colours are slightly different, but don't worry because when you've made yours, you won't even think about it. Uh, Highland Cows come in lots of colours. So they're they all a variation do. on the same. So you've Wonderful. got the, um, the seven fabrics that make up the colours um, are slightly different because originally when we made those colours, we had, we had whatever fabrics we had and now we've moved on. They are a variation on the same theme. You won't be disappointed because I actually think the new ones are nicer. Um, we've, we've settled on some different fabrics that we can just keep repeating on. So, um, so what you would do is, depending what colour your room is, you would decide how you arrange the fabrics. Yeah. So if you want to go more green on the front, you put the greens to the front. That. If you want to go more purples to the front, you know, you'd do that, etc., etc. So you would be able to match up with your... Uh, your decor that the best way and also if you turn them over it's a fantastic cushion on the other side too it really is isn't I mean, it? some people that. would buy that as the front yeah so it's like a double a yeah. side yeah love it absolutely love it now we've got a couple of different options here because you've got of course your highland cow that we've just been looking at and we've got the swaledale sheep for you as well so you did get the sheep in <laughs> we did oh 
And you have got the real wool here, is it? Merino wool, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it's on a knitted back, so um, you just hand stitch that on. Um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the, uh, the actual applique when we get to demo. Um, but he's great. He's, he's got attitude. And if you've ever walked across a sheep field, particularly if you've got a dog, you've seen that look. You've seen that sheep come <laughs> up and stamp its foot. It's my field. Get out of my field. <laughs> it, you know, it's got attitude. Um, we love it. Oh, never mind the worried sheep, it's the worried uh, walkers, I think, when looking at that sheep there. 277752 is the item number. Two payments of £22.50. You've got those two different options there. Oh, I just love them. They're gorgeous. And, of course, 100% tweed fabrics. Oh, just stunning. Right, now, here we go is the next one. I'm just going to pick our book up again. So two applique designs in this one. You're also getting the thread in this one as well. So you've got a choice here. Now, you do get templates for both in the book but you've got the fabric to create one of these so if you do want to do one of each go for two kits when it comes to the fabric so this is our here we go 44.99 is the price for the fabric kit 758.250 and again remember the patterns and the templates are all in the book that's at the bottom of the screen there they are gorgeous that applique case surprisingly easy is it it is yeah because it's large pieces so you're not fiddling with that you, you know you, you put your background together Cut your large pieces, put them on, easy peasy, job Lovely. done, and then the stitching. You can just take your time. I mean, you don't, you don't even need to do the stitching if you don't want to, you know, if it puts you off. But if you do want to do the stitching, you could go further. You can, you know, you can just go to town. They are beautiful. They really are. There we are, 758250. Now, if you want a small project, maybe the next one is for you. So the Hanging Heart, again, part of the, the instruction book, details there. But if you want to go for the kit to create this, this is beautiful. I mean, you could hang that on the back of a door. You could hang it on a door handle. You know, you could hang it on the wall. You could gift that as well. You could personalise it, Anthea. Uh, yeah, put some scent in there. Put some lavender oh, or something lavender. in it. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Beautiful. Um, I was just thinking then, I was having a daydream, actually. The, the twisted cord on the top of that, I added that myself um, just because I wanted to hang it. I'm going to put the instructions for the twisted cord, oh, the twisted oh, cord yeah, it is a on nice, my Facebook nice page. And then if you want to add one, they'll be on the Facebook page for that. Amazing. Yeah. 19 99 for the kit, 791103. And then another one that I really, really adore actually is this next item. This gorgeous little bag. This is our field bag. Now, you do have handles there. We've just clipped these handles together just so they, they're not flopping down so you can see the full detail on the front there. But, of course, you know, by the time you've opened this up, I'm not going to take the, the pin undone, but you've got a generous size bag here, actually. You have. I think it's, you know, if you're just going out for a drink with a few friends and you want to have some fun, it's a great little fun bag. If I love you it. wanted to make it for a young person, it's you know a fun bag again if you wanted to use it as a, a little makeup bag yeah or a little toiletry bag or your crocheting hooks it's a cracking little size and the, really the decoration is. on the front you know if you're getting into your slow stitching you can just take it further and further and further you can add different colors in your thread you can do so much and you've got all the inspiration from the textile landscape in the book you've got the little hanging heart you've got the hair cushions you can take inspiration from all of those projects and it can all come together in well any of the projects Definitely. not just the bag oh, I love it. Um, I love but it. it's so sweet it, it's just a really good bit of fun Love it. 34.99.613.231 is the item number. And remember, bottom of the screen again, for the Over the Hill pattern book. There you go. Right, some other items we've got to tell you about as well. We've got the Village Green quilt pattern booklet now it does say quilt then i know that you've been you know it's one of those collective things you, we've got another block coming up to tell you about as well but you could buy the quilt pattern as well and maybe just use templates for other objects yep. as well if you wanted yep. to uh, well actually i've got some things to show you here Ooh, that, nice. that we've done uh, because it's it's the last the last row if you will we've just got borders next month uh, but it's the last row this time, so I thought I'd give you some extra inspiration. Wow. Um, but the this. pattern book, get the pattern book. You don't need to make it as a tweed quilt. I mean, I like it that way because it's it, our it thing. It is absolutely and, and I've got to say, it does, it, it, it goes to an extra level oh, look with at the, the wool. Sheet there. But if you don't want it in wool, you can just make it in whatever you want. 
Wonderful. Well, if you do want to go for the block, if you've been collecting, this is block nine. $29.99 is the price. So obviously, if you have been collecting along the way, then uh, you do definitely want this one. So we're looking at the village scene across the centre there. 697342 is the item number. So this one, you've got lots of little, lots of different fabrics, yeah. but you've got small bits because it's your roofs, it's your walls, it's of your little trees, your animals and so on and so forth. Love it. Now we do have another book for you again. Now this is another quilt. This is Birds of a Feather. So if you're going for the quilt pattern booklet, 2399, 187323 is the item number. But again, we have a new block for you. So if you are creating that quilt in its entirety and you've been collecting along, we're up to block four. And this is what we're looking at here. This is the block that you're going to receive this time. 29.99 again, 854.667 is the item number. I love this one as well, Anthea. It is absolutely beautiful. I loved, loved, loved making this quilt. It's just a joy. Um, it didn't tax me. It was easy to make. It just all made sense. Um, we love our birds anyway. I love how the herring bones just work for the feathers. Um, you know, you've got all the little phrases in there. Michaela designed this one, and as we all know, she just takes everything on to the next level. And, but what's, what's better about Michaela is yeah. she moves Literally. it all onto the best level, but she drags us all up with her. <laughs> so, because she's just she's a she's fantastic. So um, her work is is divine, and uh, she does have a fairly large following now. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Eight five four six six seven is the item number. If you're going for block four, and it's busy on that because half the stock has already gone, so we know lots of you are collecting those. Lots to consider, lots to look at, but we want some demonstrations, Anthea. Can we hand it over Ooh, to you? Oh, well, I'm enjoying myself, Catherine. Can we start again? <laughs> Can we do the top start again? Right. So I've actually got a few things to show you this time. Um, okay. And look at me, no sewing machine because I'm like, oh, I'm prepped. I've just noticed, yeah, yeah I've, where I've is prepped. it? So I've, I've done what I should do. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I wanted to start with um, so the first things on the counter uh, were the cushions. Okay. So you've got the patchwork there, and I just wanted to show you um, the, the Scottish one. Let me get my book. Where's my book? It's here. You've got some uh, flying geese in there. Right. Now, there's lots okay, of different yeah. ways of making flying geese. So um, this is one of the flying geese units, just a little diddly one here. And I wanted to show you how we've done it. So in the book, um, what I've done, I was really proud of this because I'd like done loads of uh, diagrams. I felt, I felt really like accomplished when I'd finished it. So um, let me go to me. Uh, you see, you've got lots of diagrams for everything. But this page in particular, oops, let's shove that over and put that there, shows you how to do the flying geese without any waste. So it's telling you here um, that you need to cut one square, which is nine and a half, and four squares, which are four and seven eighths. So, um, so here we are. Now, I was really clever and I got ahead and I did all this and then I thought afterwards, I wish I'd chose some plain fabric and I wish I'd done it in darker thread and all the rest, but hey-ho, I'm organised and that's, that's the best thing. So you've got your large square and then you're going to have four of these little squares. Easy peasy, just follow okay. the diagrams as you go. Yeah. So to begin with, what you need to do is put a, draw a diagonal line across your smaller squares, put them on your bigger square, corner to corner, and you'll see straight away that that line, you can tell you've got it right because the line continues right the way across. So you're okay. not going to get that wrong. I've got a question, Anthea. Go on. And it may not matter, but it's something I've spotted, so I better ask it, just okay. in case anybody else has spotted it. Can we show that picture again? Can we show the book? Well, there, right. When we look at your diagrams there, Anthea, the one in the top left-hand corner. This one? Yeah. No, the other one. That one? Left, it must be your right hand then. Yeah, that one. You've crossed the squares over in the opposite way. The, right. Well, I was just going to come to that. No, no. Well, when I, when I did mine, so, um, so I started sewing down. If I'd had that one over the top as I was sewing down, yeah. it can just you know, wrinkle up, can't it? Right, okay. So what I actually did when I came to sew, I started with my first one, yeah. I got to about here, I lifted it up and I put, I mean, I'd had a demo first, you know, I knew it worked. I put that under and then when I carried on, um, 
it was smooth, it was flat, and it was right, all going. Yeah. It was, di you know, in the, you know when you're wearing cord trousers and they've yeah. got a nap, haven't yeah. they? You know, one way's smooth and one way's rough. Well, that's smooth. Okay. That was rough, but this is smooth. So um, I just want to explain to anybody because I know we've got lots and lots of newbie crafters now. So. Um, so what we're doing here is we're going to sew with a quarter inch seam. So I've, I've drawn this line on here, but that's not the sewing line. What we're going to do is sew a quarter of an inch away. Um, right. And if I just explain that a bit better. So if I was joining these two together on the edge, I'd be using a quarter inch seam. Yeah. I'd be sewing a quarter inch away from this raw edge. I'm treating this drawn line as a raw edge. Yeah. So I'm going to sew a quarter inch each side. Now, okay. if I come to the one that I've done, here's one I did earlier, Catherine. Oh, <laughs> whoa, look at this. As I said, I wished I'd used darker thread. Um, in fact, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just get my pen and I'm going to just draw on the thread okay. so that you can see where I've sewn. Oh, yeah, that helps. Yeah, that's coming out, yeah. isn't it? So, um, so, right, so I've got my drawn line through the middle and I've sewn a quarter inch each side. Next step, quite scary if you've never done it before, but look, we're looking at our drawings, gives us lots of confidence. Cut up the middle. Right, okay, yep, yeah, got it. Yep. Yeah. And that gives us two of these, which move on to the next drawing. Oops. There you go. Can you see? It's, yes. it's looking like it should. Yep. Right, OK. So we take another of our, because we cut four of these squares to begin with. Put it on here. Yeah. Right. Put it on here. OK. So a quarter inch away from that line again. Yeah. And then we'll cut it again. And when we open it out, we will have one there, one yep. flying goose there, and the other one is there. Got it. So as we cut up that line once we've sewn, we're going to create two of, whoops, two of these, which is your finished flying goose. Now with the tweed, um, so some people don't reinforce the seams, don't do anything about it. Okay, I'm always yeah. worried that they're going to fray. Tweed's a very different beast to, yeah. to cotton. Don't be scared of it when, when I'm saying that. But I don't want to spend all this money and all this effort and find that the kids have had a pillow fight and the seams have come undone. So you've got two choices. What you could do is on the seam here, you could do a zigzag, a blanket, one of your utility stitches. Yeah. You know, you get the ones that look a bit like overlock stitches. Yeah. And I never know what they're called and what they do really, but they're great over the edge there. Or if you look at this side here, I've top stitched. Again, I'm just going to colour it in. Where's my pen gone? Here it is. Oh, actually, I'll colour my nice. stitching yeah. in and then you can see. Yeah. Look. Can you see? I've, I've got, done a I've line of stitching, top stitching you know. I think on it adds there. To it. So fairly close to the edge. And the difference is now look at the two sides top stitched and not top stitched. Yeah. This one, it's it's staying where it needs to be, and it looks permanently pressed. Yeah, I do like that top stitch. Yeah, I think it adds to it. Yeah, I think there's two ways of doing it, and neither's uh, neither's right and neither's no, it's wrong. Just whatever you That's going to give you a very flat. It's going to give you a very perfect edge. Where this one, you, if you're one that likes imperfections and likes things to look like they're doing their own thing, then 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 go this way. But if you okay. want it all, you know, perfect and flat that's the way so follow these instructions and you will end up with four of these and no waste amazing and Absolutely. it is simple when you see it explained like that it is very very simple 24.99 don't forget if you want to go for the booklet with the nine projects 594 one one we'll just give you a proper recap there's something else i haven't shown you as well but i know you've already found it so let's just show you all of the items that you can be creating again all nine projects don't forget you're getting the templates so you can reuse those templates if you're wanting to go for the actual fabric watch out for the kits that will apply appropriately but do you know what you've got this to keep and you can use it over and over and over again i'm just going to spin that around so once again you can see the different projects that are included in there and of course we are going round the aisles so you've got you know scotland ireland wales and of course 
um, England as well, projects that correspond so beautifully for each of the aisles. Now then, I'm expecting this to suddenly go, just in case you haven't, haven't spotted it. Anthea loves to bring these wonderful kits like this, where you get, I, I'm not going to call them scraps, Anthea, because it's just the most beautiful fabric. But these are kind of ends of pieces, aren't they? They're yeah. whole mixes. The, the small they vary. pieces. So, yeah. treasure. Treasure, that is, is a treasure. perfect way of calling so it. So, when the mill are making sample books, um, this is what, it's kind of a byproduct of that job. Okay. Uh, and I go along and I buy it all and then we make it all, you know, yeah. we pick it out different sizes. Now, just to say, because we've had a year's lockdown and things haven't gone like they are, the mill haven't been producing these like they were. Okay. So I've got what I've got. And then when it's gone, it's gone. There is, when they're there gone, is they're no gone. More. You heard um, it. And, you know, um, things still haven't. I know next week we're like open again. It's like, yeah, it's going to start. Yeah, the world not, will spin it's again. It's not going to be immediate. That exactly. Everything's still there, exactly. Though, so if you want these, get them while you can now i was thinking coming down in the car yeah um you've got your textile landscape now i'm not going to commit and say these will do anything in particular because they are they're not square they're just small pieces of treasure so your smallest is kind of this and your longest this and everything in between um you might get a, a bundle that's all this size or all this size or, or various sizes but wouldn't these uh, go great in the uh, textile landscape you've got your hair of hearts you've got your yonder field bag if you wanted to make those projects but go in your own way no you are not guaranteed to get large pieces in here but if you just want pieces to play with and get a different effect perfect absolutely perfect and a much cheaper way to do it as well because you get far more fabric because of how it's been um you know acquired so uh, there we go. Sounds like it fell off back of a wagon, that, doesn't it? <laughs> right, where are we now, you know, Well, they're busy, Anthea, as I expected them to be. Very busy. Almost half of the stock has gone. Some of you had already found them, but now we're putting them out there flying. Uh, <laughs> grab them quick and check those baskets out. Now, that's your treasure. I love that word, treasure. That's exactly what they are. Let's revisit the Village Green, though, because we've got the Village Green quilt book. Now, we're going to bring the details up for this. I'm just going to open it out a little bit because, of course, you're going to get so many templates in here as well. You can create the whole of the quilt, but you can break this one down and use those templates in many, many projects as well. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to turn to the front again so you can really appreciate that quilt. I know we ha do have the quilt in the studio actually it's hung behind Anthea so we will have another look at that there it is there's the whole quilt now you may have been collecting the blocks as you go along we've got a new block for you it's actually the central one but we're looking at the details for the book at the moment 23.99 we are then going to bring up the details for block number nine which is the current block so I'm just going to remove the pattern book just for a second because, of course, when you're going for block number nine, the fabrics that you're going to get are going to create all those little houses, the village green there. You know, those small elements are all going to be included in here. You've got, you've got, oh, you've got all sorts, haven't you? Look at the little chickens there, the sheep. Oh, I love them. They're my favourites looking over the wall there. They're just my favourites. I love the smoke coming out, the chimneys and everything. Because I wanted to um, explain to people how the drawings work in the book. Yeah. So, uh, should we take a couple of minutes to do that? We we can. We'll just give the details for this, then we'll have another look at that. So, twenty nine ninety nine. If you're going for the block itself, six nine seven three four two is the item number. We'll do the same with the birds of the feather, and then we'll get back to Anthea hopefully, because uh, we can explain a little bit more about those blocks. Now, birds of a feather. First of all, we're looking at details for the book again. So again, I'm not going to show you everything, but oh, look at this inside here. It's all beautiful. Twenty three ninety nine. What I've done in the one eight seven three two three. Sorry, sorry, Anthea. Catherine, I interrupted you. Um, what I've done in the centre is I've given you uh, two drawings of the full quilt. One is coloured in, yeah. and one isn't. So if you're just getting the book to do your own thing, you've got one you can colour in. Amazing. So what I might be tempted to do is photocopy it for my own use only. And then yes. you can try a couple yeah. of different colourways, just, you know, pencil crayon, just colour it. It's such a good idea to do that, though, so you can see those different colour options. So there's your book, 23.99. Now, of course, when it comes to the block, when it's this particular quilt, let's just take that out of the way for a second. Block number four, 
is what we're looking at today. Now, these are the fabrics, of course, that you're going to get to create block number four. And this is a really good size block as well. We're going to show you the block that you will be creating. So the details are in the book, of course. The fabrics are what we're looking at on the screen now. In that fabric pack for $29.99, is the item number. That is just stunning. It really is. There we are. Right, now then, we will get back to Anthea now. So, Anthea, what were you saying about the, the right, block? Right, so we're on the, the centre row. It, yeah. It's like, you know, it's our finest hour, and we want it to go really well. So I, ju I just wanted to show you how the pattern works in the book. So you've got... Um, three pages of the background now they're all numbered you've got 5 10 15 and then open it up you can see that overlaps there these are the sizes this is how far you are across the drawing okay. so as yeah. you facilitate these together but these will give you your pattern pieces for the grass um, because the large pattern pieces you want the whole that you know you want the whole thing there so don't cut your grass until you've finished all your houses because if you're if, if you've made them a bit short or whatever if, if you've got any issues you can always alter the size of your grass and when you do do it initially i'd just cut it a bit longer or don't cut the the length back from what you've got so on here your measurements go across 5 10 15 20 all the way to 40. so that's the background now what's going to throw you if anything is the drawings it's the opposite way around because when you do a plique and you're tracing, you know, you're doing your fusible um, web method of a plique and you're tracing from the background, your finished thing will be a mirror image. So you've got here, so on this one, I'll just set them up again, it's starting at five there for your background coming across. On this one, you're starting at five at the opposite side and going that way because once you've appliqued these, the whole thing will flip over and it will be as you, you know, it, they'll match then. Um, but, but that's the way that so you've, you've got it all reversed. Um, and, and what I would do, what I did is I made each little house and uh, I've got, in fact, I'll show you what I've got. Um, do you know the more I look at this something, the more I love it. Gorgeous, do you know what I would it? do as well? I'd I'd want to make the full quilt, but just looking at the templates in the book there, I was thinking how great would these that with snow on the roofs? So yeah. I'd make cushions as well to theme throughout the year. I'd have well, a spring, Catherine. I'd have a summer, I'd have the autumn, and I'd have the winter as well. Catherine. We can, we, can, no. we, can, we can come to that, but Seriously, I'm just going to say you've got those there. that it's not cushions, it's all the projects. You've got them in the book, actually. Have you? So, um, yeah, I just wanted to say that what I did with mine is I made all my applique bits, and then, like, for the church, this is a Teflon oven sheet. So uh, put it on, you can see through. And then I assembled the church, and I put the windows on. Yeah. And I've, I've um, hold on, put my teeth in. Uh, I've done like diagonal lines, you know, to look like leaded windows. Yes, yeah. So I did all that while I was working on just the church and likewise with the pub and each house. And then I put the blocks of houses together and so on and so forth. So then when I got to the actual assembling the row, each um, building was complete and all the detail was done on it while it was a small, manageable piece. Okay. And then I could just lay them on, yeah. put them on and put my grass on. Um, I've also, in this book, which I don't often do, because um, Michaela designed this, so it, it's all her work, but I've done you quite a big write-up of my experience when I, when I made mine. Where, oh, it'll be on the back of one of these, I think. Um, I've actually written out, come out, come out, whatever you are. So you've got each bit, so let's turn this around the right way. So you've got um, the windows, the church, the pub. You can see they're underlined yes. when you get to the big shop windows, the bakery. So any differences in mind to the drawing? Yeah. Because like the, the antique shop window, I got carried away and I did something I shouldn't have done. And then, so I changed it slightly. But I've written down what I did and, and my experience. Oh, you know, so I thought, that, I thought that it might just be helpful going yeah. through that big row because yeah. it's quite daunting. Um, you know, I, I got halfway down and I'm like, ah, nothing fits, <laughs> and I had to jiggle around. So, so I've kind of explained how I made it fit, you know, by making the grass. I just changed the sizes a little bit. And, you know, if I needed to do that, chances are you do as well. But it's also holding your hand and saying, 
if you've got to make those changes, it doesn't mean you've made a mistake. It's a unique difference. Okay. Yeah, so just having that confidence. Can I just check as different. well, Anthea, yeah, when it comes to Village Green Quilt and also Birds of a Feather, because we're on to Block 9 of Village Green and yep. Block 4 of Birds and a Feather. Anybody watching today who's seeing this for the first time, can they still get the previous blocks? Yeah, so if they're not available and you've started after this month, um, that advice will change because okay. I've got to draw a line somewhere. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're just starting today and they're not available, speak to someone in the call centre and we'll we'll make it okay. we'll make it work. So we're not okay. going to you're not going to buy today's and we'll leave you high and dry. Wonderful. But yeah. we do know many of you have been collecting these as you go along, of course, as well. Don't forget about the pattern book, uh, Village Green, twenty three ninety nine eight five six five nine three. The more I look at this, the more I genuinely fell in love with it. There's the antique <laughs> shop. Love it. Oh, the bakery. Do you want to see bakery, what there? else we did, Catherine? Yes, please. So, well, on the back cover, we've given you, Michaela made a little wall hanging um, and used three of the houses. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So, you know when I said about making them in the little blocks? Yeah. These were made and then put on. Uh, and then in the centre of the book, I've jumbled mine up now so I can't show you. We used the washing line from uh, blocks, well, row six. Yeah. Laundry bag. Oh, look at that. That's a good idea. And you've got your instructions for that in there, and we've, we've drawn it up, so you've got, you can do that. Quite useful um, for, you know, smelly children. <laughs> They're great gifts to give as well, though. Absolutely great gifts. Now, this, the purse instruction isn't in there, but you've got your toadstools, and it was just like, oh. you know, just a little idea, a little coin purse there. Um, you know, if you've got grandchildren and you just want to make a little something or whatever... They're just, you know, we just wanted to show you that it's not just a quilt book you've got. There's also in there some drawings for using the, the blocks to make cushions, how you might lay them out. There's a, a, a few suggested ones in there. So you've, you've, got, you've, you've got way more than a quilt. Well... So many ideas, isn't there, there? I, do you know, I just love everything that you show us, Anthony. I really, really do. Something I just want to bring to everybody's attention again are our treasure pieces there. Limited stock now. You are going to get 300 grams. 300 grams. Do you know, I do have to do the spin on everything. I just feel I have to so you can see everything from all angles because, do you know... This is quality stuff, isn't it? This is your tweed, of course. Contents may vary. Twenty-six ninety-seven, three pounds saving. Grab yours now and check those baskets out because I don't think they're going to last. Eight four two seven two three. There we are. Now we've got about nine minutes yeah. left, Anthea. Um, what else do you have to tell us, about? Catherine? I will try when I'm uh, packing the orders to give you like if there's a lighter coloured, a dark, whatever, to oh, try lovely. and give you the rather than the really nice the same, I'll try and yeah. give you the biggest select. I mean. I can't always because it's what it is, yeah. but um, I will. I will do my best. Right. So finally, I thought, well, it's not finally. I've got loads. I could go. I could do another <laughs> hour. Um, I just wanted to have a look at the sheep and the the cow cushions. Oh, wonderful. So, uh, so really quickly, I'll just uh, show you the fabrics. So you've got here. You've got seven. Um, they're just. It's country living. It's wonderful. It's. They all go together. That's the best thing about tweed. You don't even have to try. No, you know, like with your cotton, you can so be right like there. agonizing for hours about shades that yeah. go together. Well, that's the easy thing about tweed. It's for lazy people like me. You don't need to try, it does it for you. But as you've got them here, if I oh, got that. all the ones that have got some kind of purple hint and put them together, can you see I've got a purple cushion? Oops, let's pull that back a little bit. Can you see? That's a purple cushion. This has become purple because I've put it with I the purples. See, yeah, I can see that. If I take this and put it with the greens, oh, put it in the do middle. Do you know, you are so right, aren't you? Look at that. Yeah. Let me just uh, try and get it looking a bit more green. It's gone green because I've put it with the greens. So Because each of these fabrics has got so many colours woven into it. Even when you look at like this kind of gingery, biscuity colour, um, well, ginger biscuit colour. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you get looking in there, you've got golds, you've got browns, yeah. you've got just all sorts of naturals and everything. It, it, you know, the whole lot of things. I mean, that's not just red. You've got blue and you've got gold in there. Um, you know, they, they're just... It works for you. So have a play around, place your colours how you want. Now, your actual applique, 
I've blown up the, the size of the applique because I'm going to show you how we do ours. So you've got your sheep and I'm just working on the head here. And you look at that and it's a tiny little scale. Oops, shall I turn it round? Um, it's a tiny little scale on your, on your actual cushion and you might be a bit frightened. Not a problem. So what I did, you've got to think about what's behind and what's on top. Okay. And you can use your photograph to help you. Yeah. Um, so we've got here, we've got, let's think about this. We've got the long part of the horn there. And then we've got this other part here, which is just a darker detail. And the purpose of that is because it shows how the horn twists. Right, yeah. So which you can see the point. longer bit is going to be underneath. Now, if you cut the whole horn, or the both horns, should I say, and join them in the middle, and that's going to be hidden behind the head, that space is always going to be right. It can't be anything other than right, because you yeah. cut it as yeah, one piece. It. So then the detail, if you cut as one piece and put it on top, we're not bothered about that bit, because we're going to cover it up. But you can see straight away that you've it works, it matches. Yes. Yeah. Then the ears, the ears were a little bit... Um, You've got to just think, a sheep's ears, they're kind of behind the head, but in front of the, in, in front of like the, light bulb the horn. Yeah. I was yeah. going to say, you so have you had a light bulb put, moment. Put your ears on. Yeah. And then the face. So when you look <laughs> at the face here, you can see oh. it's, it's a large face, but we've got a tiny little bit for eyes there, and we've got a small mouth. Well, who fancies fiddling about on such a scale? Because I know I don't. So the answer is... I'll turn that over and then you can see, cut the whole face in white okay. and then that yeah. bit that goes on the top, the black bit, cut it's like a molar tooth look. If you cut <laughs> that and put it on top, the white is now sticking out ah. the sides. So then you've, you've got these fiddly little white bits yeah. without having to fiddle about. Yeah, of course. And because you've cut the whole head, you know that everything is going to work with everything yes. else. So yeah. it's just kind I, of... You know, that, that really helps, actually, because, as you say, working on a smaller scale, because you've yeah. really blown that up large. Yeah. But it just shows... You know, because you're not wasting fabric. You, you're making something more substantial, you're making it's, it easier. It's, it's tiny. Exactly. It, it, it's, you're not going to exactly. waste it. But particularly if you're a newbie and you're watching this and you'd be thinking, oh, right, I've got to cut those tiny little bits. No, you don't. Cut a whole head yeah. and then cut the, the coordinating bit on top and put it on top and because we've cut these eye shapes away you've then got your bit and I think we just did the pupils I think we just did a few a few black stitches on there now just a note of caution the legs on okay, the drawing yeah. in the book I've kind of done about both three legs. minutes Anthea, just to give you a time check as well I've done both legs as one piece um, okay. there is some work Catherine can you see they look very ungainly oh. <laughs> and the reason <laughs> The reason that I've done them as one piece is because someone sent me a photograph and went, are my legs right? And she put one on this corner and one on this corner. And I'm really sorry, I'm not going to reveal your name. And, and I, I don't know, she looked, you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't even think of decent words. So I thought, no, put the legs together and join them at the top. So if you cut those out in one piece... They're always going to be distanced correctly. You know, that is so clever. That, that makes so much sense and to do And finally, it that way. they are in situ on the sheet because you need to know where this line goes because somebody else put their legs quite low down and, and I kid you not, it looked like the sheep had grabbed its own fleece, lifted it up and it was like going to run away. <laughs> oh, you really so could have there. some fun with these, so actually. It's, so it's there so that you can see. <laughs> it just helps you with your placement. And again, if you've got one of these oven sheets, they're, they're really... And if you can get a PK mats, but I just use an oven sheet. And assemble your bits on top of there. If you put your legs there and your head at the top, yeah. you know, it's all, you're going to have the, the right distance, yeah, aren't you? And yeah. you can see through these. Um, so when you're working with the fluff, I think what we did for the head here, we actually got the scissors and we, uh, we just cut a bit away so that the, the head would sit in. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we didn't. So the head wasn't like mounted on top of the fluff. Yeah. So if you look at our sheep on the cushion, the head sinks into the fluff. Oh, it does, yes. Yeah. Just so we're good look here end there of the lesson. Is, there it, oh, <laughs> look. I love his little top knot there as well. 
Yeah, oh, it's wearing it. its fleece, isn't it? Like a, a sheepskin coat. Yeah, <laughs> not lifting its fleece either, which is uh, very but good. It, these the are just there. the little tips that yeah. just help no, you really achieve really good tips, success. Cynthia, really good tips. We are looking, of course, uh, for the details there, for the cushion fabric packs. And you have got the choice of the Swaledale sheep or, of course, our Highland cow, which is absolutely gorgeous. And, of course, you're going to make the cushions. They are stunning. There's a little bit, of, well, a little bit, a lot of luxury about tweed, isn't there? And I think every home should have a little bit of tweed somewhere. Doesn't matter where it is, I think everybody deserves a little bit of tweed. Love it. 277-752. Very, very quickly, of course, just going to remind everybody, of course, all the patterns are in the book. And for these particular ones, the details at the bottom of the screen, 2399-070-686. Those fabric packs are separate item numbers. Anthea, thank you so much. It's only one hour today. Just one hour, and then I'm back on the 26th. And we're having a trip to Japan. Are we? We're off, we're off to Japan, yeah. <gasps> and if, I, if I pull my finger out, um, we've got a new quilt launching oh, on Japan. Oh. And I've got to say, oh. on my dining table, in amongst all my heaps of other stuff, Amazing. it looks quite good. Amazing. <laughs> Literally seconds left. You timed that to a T, mm -hmm. Anthony. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stay with us, though. We've got much more coming up. See you soon. Yes, don't forget to check those baskets out. Coming up next, we've got Decopatch, and then we're going to craft ourselves silly with Hayley again with the One Day Special, and then later on, we've got Daisy Bee Crafts. Hi, I'm Pat. I'm Mark. From Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce, we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use, only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have. So we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we're going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving and other forms of passementry. Mark and I work hard 
designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we are mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. We also have a great little team of other artist friends who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. A very good morning to you. I hope you're well. It's Saturday morning. Um, what do you do when you're on a Saturday morning? You get up, you have your breakfast, then you're about to sit down and do a bit of, well, a bit of crafting. Now, crafting, now this is crafting with a difference, what I'm about to tell you now. For the sheer fact, this is crafting for the entire family. I would say whether you're two, well, maybe not two, uh, but let's go for four. Whether you're four to 94, I reckon you will be able to do this craft. It's a craft that will take you through the years and you can really go as far or as little as you want to with it. It's a craft that you can pick up and put down at any time that you want. Maybe it's something you're going to do to take your mind off another hobby that you already do. This is also a craft that I reckon you could quite easily sit in front of the TV and do quite happily. We are talking about Decapatch is what we're talking at this hour. And you're looking at some of the stunning samples, what you've got now. But before we go any further and I introduce our guest for today's show, what I'm going to tell you now is I had a sneaky little look at the show before we came on. And I've looked at the stock levels. Some of this stuff is like literally low, low stocks. Things like the mushrooms that we had on last time, the start of March, last time they were here, they've sold out. We've bought them back, but I've only got a few of them. Uh, we literally handfuls left. So if you want them, i desperately get in quick. I would definitely shop ahead on the website for you. Uh, we've also got big bundles on the show for just under £20 that covers everything. So really do shop ahead. But I'm not alone. He's the Decker Patch expert, some people call him. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm going to call him as well, to be honest. Uh, it's Adam yeah. Nigel. How are you, Nigel? I'm right. very good. Uh, thank you, Adam. Nice to be back. It is good to have you back yeah, here. Because yeah, yeah. it's been a while. I'm saying this just before we came on air. It's been a while since I've done Decker Patch now. So for those people that may have not seen it before, or they've been channel hopping and they've seen the new name of the craft store, yep. what is Decker Patch? Just give you a quick uh, quick run through then. So basically Decker Patch, if you think of decorative patchwork, it, it is one way of looking at it. We're using a special paper, okay? It's their own paper. That sheet that I've got there is typical of one of something like 300 designs running currently, and it's a very tough paper. It's printed in a way that when you tear it, you don't get any white edges. It's printed on a clear base, and that really helps you when you're actually creating your uh, pieces, because you, you know it makes the colour flow through the design. Um, and we can work with this using Decapatch's glue varnish, a, a combined glue with a sealant, to adhere the paper to pretty much any, any surface. So if you look on the tabletop around me here and with the samples in the, the studio, you can see I've got things that I've worked on, on just on card. That's a little plastic dish there. Okay. And then we've got things like this bowl. So we've got the larger bowls, so the bowls that look a little bit like these as well. So look at the detail that you've got in it. And is it because of the way the paper is made, you get the edge in it where it all looks seamless? Is that where you yes. get the seamless look yes. from it's it? Yes, it's a very thin paper, so you know, even if you have to put several layers overlapping, that won't notice when you actually get your finished result. Look at these, they're absolutely 
beautiful. They really, really are some of the samples uh, that you've got in there. And what a quick way to decorate your home, to bring a pop of colour into your home as well. Uh, a really, really nice way. And also then children's bedrooms, like little ornaments that you want to make for children. Uh, you can do that with this. Well, they can make them themselves. This is how easy uh, it is to do. How stunning is that? Yeah. There's, there's one, a work in progress one that I had a little dabble with last time. You can you see there, as, there you, as you start with the, the actual uh, plain sort of uh, craft paper coloured object and then just build it up, just cover over with the glue varnish and, and you get that lovely sheen as the uh, varnish shows through as it dries. It's very, very durable. And it also goes to prove as well that you can pick it up and put it down at any time you want. So this is not a project where you have to do from beginning to end, otherwise, it's ne otherwise you're going to get lines, you're going to get creases, you're going to see the joins. With this one, you pick it up, you do a bit, the doorbell goes, you pop it away and you leave it. Maybe you leave it for a week, maybe you leave it for two weeks, maybe you leave it for a month. It all depends on your schedule. But if you come back to it after that month, two months, three months, it's going to be exactly the same stage of when you left it, the day you left it if that makes sense. Right then, let's go through some of your options for you as well, because we are busy already. Uh, first of all, we've got under the sea. So these are sort of, they're not, they're your shapes, but they're not card, but what are they made out of? Because they're quite rigid. Yeah, they are rigid. They are made uh, from a pulp in a, in a mould, so a, a, a PVA and a waste paper pulp, and then they are covered with the brown paper afterwards. Um, but the, you know they, they, they won't they won't blow over. They're they're pretty solid. Those they really really are. They've got some weight to them. So if you are going to use them as decorative paperweights or yes. something like that, would be absolutely beautiful. Yeah, if nice. you're theming a room or a bathroom, especially sort of the under the sea theme that you've got, and I can really see them in a bathroom, sort of on a mantelpiece with some little succulents that you've got knocking around there. Or even if you're going for your 3D box frames and you've got some of your decoupage papers and you've got some of your 3D elements and you want to sort of build a scene, what a beautiful way to build a scene that you've got here. Maybe you've already got the papers at home. Well, now what I'm going to do is give you sort of the shells, the shells that you can jazz up if you were. And don't just think decoupage. What I want you to do is think outside the box with this one. For the sheer fact, yes, we're talking about decoupage here and you put the decoupage glue on and you put the papers on, but they're yours. So if you want to sit and paint them, you sit and paint them. You do whatever you want to do with them. If you want to take them home and you don't want to cover them with paper, you want to cover them with paint, you want to go in with detail, with your fine brushes, you can do that as well. We are going under the sea. A bit of white gesso over the top. You can't go wrong. Uh, £11.99. pence. Uh, now, you've got five different shapes in here. So, contents will vary sort of on this. But you are going for that under the sea That's theme, the aren't we? That's the theme. You might get a dolphin or a whale or a, a shark or something like that. In, in there. It just depends. We'll, we'll put a nice mixture together. But you will get a five under the sea themes for £11.99. 773-718 is your item number. If you want to go for the under the sea, but we've also got the animals on the show. Now, once again, the contents will vary. It's exactly the same price, different item number. Uh, but you're going to get different animals and, and all on an animal themes here. Uh, so you've got sort of things like your lizards uh, that you've got in there. Uh, very expensive to buy when you go abroad and things like that, because these are the ones that are sort of climbing up the walls, like the oh, ceramic yes. ones yes, yes. that you've got there. Uh, quite easily to put a small hole in the back, put a little hook on there, so it would stay on the wall for you. Uh, so you've got things like your lizards, you've got your dogs, your cats, your goats, your chickens in there. Once again, contents will vary, but you are going to get with that animal theme that you've got. For £11.99, 242714 is your item number for this one. I love them already. Now, we've now got the texture pack, so maybe you've got your shapes already at home. You're thinking, well, I've got my shapes, now I just need something to jazz them up. Or maybe you're even thinking, I like the idea, Adam, but the shapes really aren't for me. I like to do bowls. I want to do my plates. I want to do that big mirror that I've got in the hallway. Well, now you need the papers. So what we're going to give you first, these ones along the bottom, the five that you've got along the bottom, absolutely free. Okay, these are just thrown in as a goodwill gesture to say congratulations on buying them. Uh, the rest of them will cost you £24.30. 977513 is your item number. Now you've got pack A and pack B. You can go for them individually if you wish, but obviously the saving is in this big bundle and you're also going to get the freebies that's also thrown in there. Right then, so you've got texture pack A and texture pack B. You're getting 18 sheets um, total with five sheets that are worth are free. Now these are big old sheets as well is what you're looking at for these. 
Uh, this is just one of them. Now, it doesn't matter about the crease in the middle, because obviously when you put the glue onto your animal, or wherever you're going to put it, the creases will disappear. That's the whole idea. It's a specially made paper for the job you're getting itself. Now, the papers that we're getting here, though, nice there, you get a lot of paper for your money here. You There's do. a lot of projects waiting to be done. You do, yes. I mean, like you say, the, the sheet size is, is roughly A3. So you multiply that by the number there, and that's a lot of coverage, really. What's different with the texture papers, as you probably saw, Adam, there's quite a lot of additional embellishments. So there's some gold and uh, other decoration that sort of really shows. So that like one you've got in your hand there, yeah, like these. you can actually feel that. It's, it's absolutely... Look at that. Now, what I'm going to tell you to do is we thought about it. And we thought 24.30, that's like, that's wrong. We, did, we knew something didn't look right with this. We've made a few phone calls. It's actually 21.98 is what you're looking at for this, for the brand new price. Because uh, then you've got your free papers thrown in as well. So it's another saving that you're already going to get. £21.98 for pack A and pack B. Uh, but as Nigel was saying, you've got that gold running all the way through there. So maybe it's still Murray's uh, that you want to get, uh, which is absolutely beautiful then you've also got your papers that also run all the way through that what you've got here uh, i absolutely love them but pack a and pack b you're sort of going to get doubles up which is nice because then you're going to get sort of the same uh, in each wing so if you are doing larger projects it's a lot easy to do uh, right then we've got a few gremlins in the computer at the moment but on this side but i've got a bigger bundle i want to tell you about this next one i think you need to look at okay for the sheer fact now let me bring up the details because I'm going to explain this to you. For £19.99, pence, you are getting your papers at the back, which is 40. So you're getting 40 of the little ones, or this is where the contents will vary come in. So you're either going to get your papers this size, or you'll get 20 of the half size of the half size so would it be, would it be that size yep that size that you hold in there uh, so it'll either be 20 of this size or you'll get 40 of this size okay now obviously that's where the contents will vary and it all depends on how it comes out of the factory but what you're still going to get is first of all is a great little bargain and second of all you will need this for a later bundle i'm about to show you because of all the papers that you are getting here this is what I want to draw your attention to. This is phenomenal value for money. You are getting your decoupage glue that's in there as well. This is the glue that's been specially made to work with the papers and made with the projects. You're then also getting the pink bottle. Now explain the pink bottle to me. Okay, so this is actually a top coat. It is a, a varnish that has a hypoallergenic quality to it. So what you will get is uh, an additional barrier that you will apply once the regular glue varnish has dried. Uh, and that will mean that you can do things where it's going to come in contact with the skin. So, for example, if you wanted to do a bangle or some wooden beads or something like that that you were going to wear or something, even if you just want to give it an additional uh, protective coating, that's where you would use that. I would definitely say be using this on most of your projects just to give it that other coating. Yeah, the glue is perfectly fine, don't get me wrong, but I would definitely, if it's going in a children's bedroom or something like that, mm. I would definitely be popping this on as well. You're getting all of this for just shy of £20, £19 and £99. A cracking little value. You get your decoupage glue, 100 grams of that. You're getting, you're getting 70 grams of your varnish and you're getting your brushes and you're getting your papers either this size or you'll get your uh, half a four. So you'll get sort of your A4 sizes in there as well. Uh, you can't go wrong. Absolutely love this little bundle for £19 and 99 pence but we've got a bigger bundle for you as well if you wanted to go uh, this is the and now we've called it the pro set but that will i like the name the pro set but it also if you're not a pro you can still use this i don't want you to be put off by the word pro okay for the sheer fact yes you get more of your glue in there but now you're also getting gesso now, whether you're a pro or not, you've all used gesso if you've done mixed media projects. Maybe you do your MDF, and this is what you're going to use it for. You're going to use it for your MDF. Does this work on the case of, and I've sort of seen decoupage before, that if you put gesso down first, you're going to get the true reflections of the paper yes, underneath rather than the brown if it's MDF? It's, it's not going to dull down in any way. A lot of the papers won't stop the light come bouncing back through. But what you will find is, obviously, if it's going down onto a white base, you'll just get that reflectivity and it will just be sharper and, and more vibrant. 
I adore this set as well. £29.99. This is the Decapatch Pro set. Now, once again, I want you to ignore the word pro in this because all it really is is a bigger bottle of glue. Yeah. Okay? It is a bigger bottle of glue and three bottles of your gesso. And you're getting three of the different size brushes. Now, once this has gone, this has gone. Now, whether you are using Decapatch, I would be having this in my collection anyway, just there as a backup. For any decoupage that you do, any decoupage papers that you see on the craft store, this is going to work. And you've also got your three little bottles of your white gesso. And you get the high quality brushes that are in there. Good three sizes that you get as well. Well worth popping into your basket. So far, I think my basket starts to do up to about 60 quid, which means I can now split it onto those two interest-free flexible payments that you've already got there because I'm adding this next bundle into mine as well. I would literally go for the smaller set with the papers. I'd be getting this anyway for any other projects that I've got coming up and then I would be going for this. Wait till you see the price. Normally, you would look at the price of this and you'd go 30 quid, 35 quid. For all the elements that you've got in there, you've got your papers in there, you've got your glue in there, you've got your brush in there, you've got all of these elements that you've got in there as well. You've seen the first bundles, they were 11 99 for five. Look at what you are getting here. And these are huge, you've got your big bears, you've got your mask in there, you've got your seal in there. Should we bring the price in? Three, two, one, let's do it. You are looking at 19 pounds and 99 pence, a half price deal. It's worth, it's well, just shy of 40 quid. 40 quid is what you're looking at for all this here. Uh, the little football is an actual money box that you've got with stopper so you can get the money out so you haven't got to cut it. You've got all that there. You've got the little camel. You've got the bear. You've even got the tiny little birdhouse, which I adore, with the little door that sits on the back. So literally, you can have a little peek through the back door. I love it. Absolutely adore it. Uh, so remember, if you're putting these outside, if you sort of, um, we'll ask, once you've varnished these with the glue, mm -hmm. are they able to go outside or do you sort of need to put another coating on, like sort of I, a Mod Podge and stuff like that? I would give it an additional coating. I mean, the Decker Patch, um, also on the website, if you shop by brands, you will see we've got these uh, products which are additional top coats in different finishes, ultra glossy, matte and satin. Um, which folks can buy and that will give it an additional coating but what I would say whenever you're putting cardboard things outside is, is just bear in mind that the outside will be protected but it will, inside it, won't. It, the inside will so whether you're able to paint it from the inside and get to it that way to just to give it that bit of longevity having said that we've got things at home that I've done that we put outside five years seven years ten years for you know for as long as I've been decapatching really that are still there still that fairly vibrant the, the light fastness of the papers is very good uh, and they do stand up to a lot of hammer really so give it a little go yourself give it a little go so you've getting you've got things like the bird as you've got the live bear there which make a beautiful little door stop that you've got there as well uh, no doubt you could cut this little feet and put something in the bottom of the feet to weigh it down. You also get a little glue in the brush and you get the tiny little police car. The post box is amazing because well, that could also be a money box if you wanted it to because you can take the lid off. Uh, imagine making little scenes at Christmas and things like that where painting it in the right vibrant reds that you've got. Uh, then you've got your sea lion. Now if you were clever enough, I reckon you could put <laughs> the ball on the sea lion's nose and that's how you could have it. Um, and you've also got the heart. That was a very good impression of a sea lion in my ear. Uh, from there, um, you've also then got the mask. A wearable mask that you have got. Uh, absolutely adore it. Uh, the shapes themselves are worth over £30. The shelves themselves are worth over £30. That means everything else just comes in shy of £9.99. Uh, for your glue, your brush, your papers. Uh, oh, you've also got your little hat in there as well. Love it. 559378 is your item number. Well worth having a little look. Uh, toad stools as well. I haven't got many sold out. Toad stools have gone. Well done. There wasn't much room. <laughs> I've been waiting literally yeah. years to do that till I sold the mushroom. Uh, but they've sold out now. They've now gone. Well done if you've got them. Let's jump to the website because everything's on there for you. Uh, you can shop online, thecraftstore.com. It's the quickest and the easiest place to go with this one. Uh, for the sheer fact, you can shop ahead of me. So once again, you've got those little uh, papers in there. You've got the varnish in there as well. 
I love that little kit. So the, do, will the contents vary on the kit that I've it, got here in the studio? Will. The, 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 the large kit, yes. There's all sorts of different things that we've got. So it'll be different animal shapes, different masks, different, different boxes, a picture frame, you know, just a nice representative selection. What I try to do is put it together so that there will be something for everyone. Uh, it is. We've also got the decoupage paper kits as well. Uh, well, I'll show you all that later. Could we just quickly look at the photo of the big kit online? Because I just noticed it's a different photo to what I've got here in the studio. I think there was a robot in there. There is, look. Yep. Uh, so, the, so contents will vary. So you may get this. You may get the stars, the frame, the angel, the horse that's in there, the bird, the little bags, uh, the, um, the uh, starfish that's in there. So you might get this one. But I just wanted to prove that everyone is different. So. You, you are buying into something, you're buying into quality is what you're buying into. It doesn't matter what you're going to get. You're into a hobby that's going to last. And to put it aside, the six weeks holiday is not that far away for the kids. What are we talking, June? End of June? It's not that five. If you want to dip your toe into the world of crafty waters, this is the best way to go. Because this is a bit of decoupage that anyone, really anyone can do. And let me show you how easy it is. I say I, <laughs> I just stand here. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to show you how easy it is yeah. to decoupage. Okay, so here's a little something that I was just having a dabble with earlier, uh, which is already dried. So I'm going to show you two things this morning. One is I'll show you the basic technique. And then if we've time, I've got another little experiment I'd like to try for the first time. If you just let me know when I've got five minutes. Yeah, we can do to, that. To show you. But I'll steam in first of all with the regular demo and uh, we'll go from there, Adam. All right. So all I'm doing, I've, I've given my glue varnish a good shake earlier just to mix it all up nicely. And all I do is just brush them on nice and flat onto the surface of whatever I'm working on. Now, this is a, a reasonably easy surface to work with because it's a nice flat tissue box, rectangular tissue box. So how much glue do we put? What sort of consistency are we, are we Is it a thin layer? Is it a it's thick just, layer? It's just, is it just a layer? Just a, just a thin layer. Um, and just make sure you've covered it and just brush it. I mean, one of, the th one of the things is it's just a nice relaxing craft and a nice relaxing activity to do. What happens if it is our first time and we do go a little heavy handed? Does it matter? Don't worry. Don't worry. Brush out. You, you know, I tend to pick up the paper on the, on the brush. And you can just, you know, you will find it is fairly tough to work with. So, you know, if, if I was a bit heavy-handed with my crafting and I was doing this sort of thing, you see. You know, I've seen this when people, people come and see me at events and they say, can I do one of your little workshops? And then they realise they've only got ten minutes before they've got to go to the next one. Then it all becomes rather frantic. <laughs> then so they're rushing away to get the paper on and they'll do this and they'll do that and what's the drying time like on the glue how long are we looking before it's you dry? will find that it will dry fairly touch dry within a matter of a few minutes and and as i say if if you if you brush it down now i don't know whether you see as i'm doing this i'm not being terribly careful but i'm actually being quite quite rapid and quite uh swift with it and I'm doing that because I want people to understand how good the paper is to work with so I can pick that up like that I can just go put it down like so and then just some people like to smooth it with their finger is there a um a, a, a tendency is the wrong word but is it there is a tendency to for your first time you use bigger bits of paper is it easier to go small paper large paper is there a rule there is no rule i've torn some bits here which i'm comfortable with working with based on experience and you know you're looking at the size of probably three postage stamps if you like for that but equally if you're just going to do something say if you wanted to go around that corner there then one of the smaller bits will just give you a little bit more control you, you're not suddenly left with bits that you've got to tuck in you know anybody that wraps presents at christmas you know knows what i mean where you get that funny bit sticking out forever yeah and, we've all got a funny yeah. bit <laughs> uh, so that you don't get the creases it folds around like really and it looks really professional doesn't it like you don't get the creases in it or it's it as i say that is the difference when you work with this paper you really begin to understand you know 
that it works, that it works and, and uh, it works with you and, and it will pull itself taut. And the other thing is with the decapatch glue, you see that, that's drying now, but that that I did earlier while I was setting up, um, the sheen's already there and it really doesn't dull down, it really brings out the colour in the, in the print. So again, just working on this. And if you wanted to, you could go for, uh, obviously you could go for your extra papers as well, uh, which the details on your screen, pack A and pack B, you're getting 18 sheets in total with five sheets for free as well, uh, for £21.98. Uh, these are large sheets, so if, could you do it in a whole sheet if you didn't want the patchy look? With a bit of practice, yes. Uh, and again, depending upon the shape of the object, but if you're going onto a flat piece, what I would do is I would tend to you know, this is where the, the brushes in, the, the larger the pro set would come in, the bigger brush, I'd, I'd do a band of, of glue. And I'd almost do it, almost like you were wallpapering, so I'd just lay a little bit on and just work my way down underneath and on top, just nice and flat. And uh, it, it, will, it will work. It will work. Uh, so it's well worth having a little look at the Pro Kit as well, if I was you, because uh, you get those three brushes in there, and you also get that large amount of glue, and you also get uh, the little bits of gesso as well. So it's well worth having a little go at the gessos, because remember, if you uh, coat your work in gesso first, it gives it that base. Not that you need a base, but remember, as Ali only says, if there's a, a little image or a face that you want to really make pop, if you gesso it underneath, it's got that white key, so the white is going to shine through rather than the brown of the craft card that the objects are made of. But this object, once it's gone, it's gone. Forty percent of the stock has already gone. Eight zero one five nine eight is your item number. Twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Uh, please do not be put off by the pro set. It's literally just more glue and gesso and three brushes. That's what I want to get across yeah. to you. So if you're brand new to this, you think, "Oh, I'm not a pro. I'll just go for the little bottles at the moment." This is exactly the same. You're just getting more brushes, more glue, and you're getting in three pots of gesso as well. Let's go back. So we just carry on building this up, and uh, they normally tell me at this point in the thing, I suddenly get a smile on my face, which is not, not uh, a natural look for me, anyone that knows me, because it really is such a, a feel-good product, you know? It's, it's a lovely activity to do. And you can use all the bits and pieces from earlier uh, decapatching projects. There is no waste. You know, you can save those little bits and you can just do this very randomly. And even that, I'm, use your brush, you can use your finger to smooth it down if you wish. You can just disperse it. And the glue dries clear, I'm guessing. The, yeah, the glue is drying see. lovely and clear. I mean, that, that is a... Look at that. That's nice. Just the regular glue. Now, that is actually on a, you know, the sort of, if you go to a party and you have little white plastic. Yes, one of those uh, little plastic, plastic trays. Plates. That's what that is on top of there. So you can see there what we were saying about vibrancy, that that is marginally more vibrant because it's got the light bouncing back through. Because even on that heavily decorated pattern, some of the trim there is actually white printed. You can't, you can't see it unless you really unless study you really it. it. But the light's going to bounce off it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so. And once it's done, it's quite sturdy because obviously you've got the layer of paper, then you've got the layer of glue on top as well. It gives it sort of like a, a paper mache you, sort of coating. As absolutely. Well. That's the easiest way to describe it. Absolutely, yeah. You, you're really beefing up the, the surface, Adam. And uh, it's, it's, it's just a, a very durable surface and you can give it additional treatments of of the varnishes if you wish if you want to gain a certain finish if you want to make something more glossy or if you want to really we, we do a matte varnish that really I've got a an example there with the the matte it maybe doesn't uh, with the camera picks it up the glossy if you give it a wiggle if you, um, we'll be able to see, just, there's just the mat at the just bottom. Just at the look. bottom, it, it really sort of mutes any, any sheen, whereas others will bring it out uh, marginally more. But it does give it that added protection. So, yeah, so we can, we can go on with this and we can just build up a random patchwork. Um, and, and this is a, a technique that, I mean, a, a, some folks really like the idea of just taking random colourways and 
putting them all down in a mishmash and it just builds up into a, um, an abstract piece. But equally, as you've seen with some of the samples I've got here, we've taken it and we've taken the design and, and really tried to pull the different features out of a design to, yeah, to, to really. that bowl there, for example. That you've got all the flowers. So obviously, this would be one piece of paper that you've got down at the bottom of the base of the bowl. But then they've cut around the flowers themselves. But even when they've cut them down, if you run your hand over the bowl itself, you no. can't feel a join. No. You can't feel where one starts and one actually finishes. But I know, because I, I, I saw the bowl before I come in and I asked the questions, but flowers like these here, so this flower just here, has been cut out and stuck on separately. That is not part of the paper itself. Yeah. But you would never know, even running your nail over it, you would never be able to feel the bump in the paper. It feels like one whole piece. So you imagine now doing projects like this at home, taking that bowl, maybe you're going to use it, uh, fill it, fill it with flowers, fill it with um, dry flowers, potpourri. People still use potpourri, I don't really know. Uh, but fill it with those sorts of stuff and going to have it as an item in your home. What a way to bring colour into your home as well uh, that you're already doing. I absolutely love it. Maybe you're going to go sow seeds, feed the chickens. It's entirely up to you what you want to do with it. But you can do this because you have made it. It is your project, and that's what I'm trying to get across. It doesn't matter what the decoupage police say. They're not going to be there. <laughs> you just enjoy the time. Enjoy the time that you have took to make it. I absolutely love the process of this. I think it's an amazing little process. Again, when you get to a, a situation, you know, you, you've got all the bits sort of overhanging. If you wanted to neatly trim up the edge, you can do that. I cut a, a strip of this, so I'll probably just lay that on, just match it up by hand. I've just gone over the top here, and then I'll apply some more of the Decapatch Blue varnish to it. And then we can just go, as I did, down the edge there, down the edge. Work it over and just down. And we'll continue, continue to the edge. Remember, shop ahead of me on the website as well. There's loads more on the website. You can also look at all the projects uh, that we've got on there as well. I think you will find, if, if there are particular colourways of paper you're looking for as well, on the Shopping Buy brand, we do have, that we make up for you, some uh, special uh, themed, just by colour, uh, colour sets. I love it. Here we go. So it's really easy to do. Get the kids involved. Get them into crafting. They will sit very happily doing this. I know that from experience. I find children open up more as well. They talk to you more when, they, when they're crafting. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, they're off the social medias. They're off the, the phones and the tablets. And they're, they're actually engaging, as it were. Yes, yes. You know, and, and a lot of people, when I've seen them at events and things, have bought it to do with children, grandchildren, for, for that purpose, because they want to get them thinking about actually how you make things and how you do things. And, and this is, is a very easy introduction to that. It's good hand-eye coordination as well. Yeah. And it's, again, a lovely thing. You can buy the little packs for kids' birthday parties and things like that if you want to put your own um, inexpensive home-based party on. You can, you can do that quite happily. Very true. Uh, we are busy across the board is what we have. Now, uh, while we leave our night uh, doing his uh, little lid for you, we've got some other things on the show that I want to show you. Our first one is our decoupage papers. Now, this is a bundle and a half. You've got four packs. That is over four, 200 sheets is what you're getting. Uh, there's literally wad upon wad upon wad. This is traditional decoupage as well, so all you simply need to do is cut, the, um, cut them out. 
of the project that you see there and just build them all the way up. There is something in there for every single occasion. Uh, you've got from uh, Mary and Joseph that's in there. You've got candles and sweets in there. Uh, you've got angels. You've got Christmas. Uh, you've got, yeah, literally you really need to take time and just explore the bundle. You've got weddings in there as well. We're also going to throw in vellum included in this as well. £19.99 and pence is what you're looking at. And look at the saving, £30 saving. It's normally £49.99 and pence for 200 sheets. But in this tower... You're getting it for 1999. 459591 is your item number. Uh, from there, though, we've got another little glue bundle that we're looking at here. Now, I like this little bundle a lot. Once again, you get your original glue uh, that's in there. Maybe you're just topping up uh, with your glues that you get there. But this time, you also get the glitter glue as well. Now, this is the sparkly glue. Now, Nigel, do we need to use both of them together or do we just go in? With the sparkly glue, or do we have to put the green glue on the bottom? No, and the sparkly glue on no, the top? they are the same base. Your sparkly glue in the orange has just got a little bit of very subtle mother of pearl uh, finish, I would call it, uh, uh, glitter added to it. And I can show you, he said somewhere, the sample. Which one? Which one? Tell me what it looks like. It's. Uh, well, I've got some on here, sorry, and some on here. Okay. So, on the poppy, can you see, as I move that around, can you just pick up the little bit of glitter? Oh, yeah, we can see it at the bottom. On there, and also, more visible, on this canvas that we did, just there, you can see... You get more of a wiggle forward and backwards, just so it catches the light. I can see it here in the studio because I can see the real work, but you can see the sheen on there. Is that just the sheen from the glue? Yeah, yeah, that's all that is. And also, interestingly, because the paper's so fine, it picks the uh, texture of the linen canvas and shows, shows through. So that's quite a nice effect with its, within itself. So you can get both of these for £11.98, £11.98, so you've got in your normal glue and then you're also getting your glitter glue in there as well, nice little bundle uh, if I was you. Uh, would it be possible though Nigel, if you could put, would it be, to make your glitter glue go further, mm -hmm. could, obviously because you wouldn't see the glue, your glitter glue underneath your paper would you, so would you, go, would you say go in with your green glue first? Just to give it a you coat can, and then put your glitter glue on as top. As a top coat, you can do that most certainly, Adam. If if that's yeah, if that's how you want to. So do if you it. want to make your if you want to make it go further, because obviously you're not going to see it underneath, are you? You're not going to see that sparkle because it's it, you've stuck your paper on top of it. Uh, so I would go in with your green glue first, and then I would go in with my sparkly glitter over the top with the little brush that you've already got there. Eleven pounds and ninety eight pence. Eight three seven three eight seven is your item number, and finally. Uh, we've also got uh, 30 sheets this time of your decoupage paper. Assorted designs, once again, loving this um, uh, leather look that you've got going on. Now, obviously, contents will vary. A little bit of pasta. That would be nice on a little outside of a jar, maybe. Then you could pop your pasta twists or your twirls in there. Uh, you've got your alphabets in there as well. Oh, you've got your little orange segments. Uh, love these papers, a little bit of William Morris-esque look going on there. Love all these. These would look nice on bowls, uh, apples and your greengrocers. Greengrocers. Uh, it would also look nice. It wouldn't, you, oh, if you're a greengrocer, feel free. But I was, I was more thinking about a fruit bowl. Uh, on the outside of your bowls, obviously, it's not the glue. It's not food safe, so do not put it in contact with your food. But you could have it on the outside of the bowl if you wanted to. Or underneath a glass dish, so it would shine through, but you've still got the glass on top. £19.99, and pence. One eight one seven three nine is your item number. Saving £13.60 and pence is what you're looking at on that one. Uh, where are we at to, Mike, Nigel? Oh, I'm just uh, merrily working my way around the, uh, the lid of this tissue box still. So you can see it's how it's building up there. I've put the edge in and, and instantly that, that sheen from the uh, glue varnish is, is starting to take effect uh, and coming, coming through. So that that we're, we're doing, and it's a fairly it's a fairly immediate craft. You know, you don't have to dry anything. You can just keep working. 
as you say, if it's something that you want to just have half an hour at and go away and do something else, no problem there. You don't have to worry about it. It's a tabletop. It's a tea tray. It's a sitting in your caravan or your conservatory yeah. craft. It's, it's something that you can just take with you and have a little bit of uh, mindfulness, isn't it? That little bit of rest and, and reflection and contemplation about stuff. You know, just something to lose yourself in with a bit of music in the background. Great. It is beautiful. Uh, we've had an email in asking if we could look in more detail at the bars that you've got behind sure. you. Sure. It's absolutely beautiful uh, what you've done there. Is that a glass bar? How is that? Is this is oh, no. it's actually papier mache base. You would never think no, so. No, no. And what we've got here is this was a, a paper which is available in a number of different colourways. It's a sort of oriental uh, looking design. Um, but you may have picked up there's some additional embellishments which are actually peel-offs uh, that have been added just as little accents around and about it's been with me quite a, a few years now it's been up and down the country one or two knocks but it's it's very good i used to have actually a bisque one which was lovely um and it somebody dropped it at a show uh, and believe it or not it broke on the inside but the paper held it together beautifully on the outside and I got away with it for the rest of the season but then a friend of mine said I've got something we can use and, and she made this for me and it's it's lovely uh, and of course the pink snake skin which is a different design as well on the top there it is absolutely stunning and once again as Nigel turns that around and you can see the details in it you can't see any joins no there are no joins in there you would never know it literally looks hand-painted, like you've literally hand-painted everything on there. But if you get up close and look, you can see where we've actually torn around. So you get the motif, you get the, the, the eye sees the whole uh, flower, but actually the, there's little bits where we have overlapped. But as, as you just go past it quickly, you think that, you know, that is quite a... Quite a stunning piece. So it really, I've, really is. Yeah. So things like these, you remember, take all those old things that you've got at home, you think, oh, I don't know what to do with them. Uh, my director at the moment was just saying his uh, wife had a go at one of the little figures. Yeah. She had a go at one of the little figures, and from that little figure, she then did two dining room chairs. Yes. As you do. Um, as, but she went from the figure, she thought, oh, I can do this. Once you've got that, I'd say a dining room chair would be easier than a little figure because they're fiddlier. Yeah, um, dining room chair, certainly. I mean, over the years, I've, I've had someone who did their uh, staircase, their banister, and all the spindles coming down. You can imagine what that... Oh, my word. Yeah. The only thing is, you you know, you you can obviously go over it because it won't come off. If you get it on, it will be there. So be sure. But equally, I've seen violins, I've seen uh, guitars. I had a, a chap who regularly used to come and buy the sort of animal prints because he would do all the uh, these uh, guitars that he made because it was such a fine uh, paper to put to apply on top. It didn't affect the, the sound quality at all that was coming from it. So it was, you know, uh, re really, it's really inspiring when, when people see the paper and think, yes, I know how I can apply that to my crafting. So in theory, it's easier to tell you what it won't stick to than what it actually <laughs> will stick to is the honest, is the honest answer around here, isn't it? So we've, we've already heard vases, we've heard guitars, staircases, uh, but remember, once it's on, it's on. Tables, chairs that you put it on as well. Uh, you can put it onto masks, sea lions, obviously the sea lion that I've got here. Uh, but you can really go to town with all of these. Uh, you could go to town with them. I absolutely adore this bundle. This is my favourite of the show. For the sheer fact, you get a bit of everything in here. You can start off easy, I would say, with the mask because it's large areas. And the paper that you're getting included as well, you're getting five sheets. And these are big sheets, once again, that you're getting in there. So literally, you know it's going to cover the mask, but obviously you would tear it down and you... <laughs> there you go, I've done. Uh, but uh, you can really tear it down if you wanted to, but you've got the mask itself uh, that's already in there. So that would be an easy project, but then you can move to some of the more delicate projects, things like the little police car that you've got in there. You've got the letterbox uh, that's in there. You've got the sea lion, the bear, the camel. Now, obviously, contents will vary. 
on this. As we saw in that picture, you might get a robot, there's a doll in there, you might get an angel, a frame that's in there, a little handbag, a dog, who knows what you're going to, but what we can guarantee is you will get some amazing projects that will all sort of work, that you will be able to do. They look like wood carvings in that picture. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. For £19 and £99, you don't just get those. You're also going to get the varnish glue and we'll also throw in a brush as well. So literally, this is a ready-to-go kit. The minute Pop It and Pete drops it on your doormat, you are good to go. You can open that box and you can start decoupaging straight away. Uh, you're just getting um, the shapes are worth over £30 alone is what you're looking at. So you're getting all of that for £19 and 99 pence. Absolutely absolutely amazing. From there though, it's like a little add-on kit that we've got. I would say this is definitely worth going for. Now this is your pro kit. Now what I want you to do is ignore the word pro for the sheer fact anyone can use this. Absolutely anyone, whether you've decoupaged or not before. Because you are getting a large amount of your decoupage glue that you've got in here already. That's going to last you a long, old time because you've seen the little bits that Nigel's using here in the studio. Literally dips his brush in and that's it. Uh, it doesn't go, you're not putting it on a thick layer. Then you're getting three tubs of your white gesso. Always handy to have. Maybe it's going to be MDF projects that you're going to start doing. This is the perfect way to go. Then you're also getting your three brushes included as well. Super fine brushes. So you've got ones for your larger areas, your medium areas, and also your small intricate detail areas as well. Love this little bundle. £29.99 is what you're looking at for this one. Uh, worth having a little go. 30, 40, 50. That'd be 50 quid. Just try £50. We'll get you all of this and the bundle that I've just showed you before as well. Maybe you're thinking... 50, Bit stiff, 50 quid. We'll go for this next one because you're going to get more papers included with this one. Now, contents will vary. Now, when I say contents will vary, it's more the papers I'm talking about here. You'll either get the small ones that I've got in front of me, but they're not that small, to be honest. Uh, you either get 40 of those or you'll get 20 of the half sheets, which all works out to be the same size. Okay, so that's your half sheet. So it's two together each half sheet, or you'll get 40. So you either get 20 halves or 40 of your little ones. Either way, you're getting the same amount. Let me put it that way. 19 pounds and 99 pence. I would definitely be putting some of this into my basket as well. You're going to get the glue. You're going to get your brush. And you're also going to get your, oh, well, I love, I love this because if you're child friendly, so if you're going for children friendly, it's well worth having a little go. If you're making jewellery and things like that. Uh, it's worth having a little look at that one. Uh, 19 pounds, 99 pence, 585380 is your item number. And right then, gift pack now. We've got a subject A and subject B. So you get both of them though. You can go for them individually if you want to, but you are going to get both of them that's in there. You've got A and you've got B. You've got the gold flecks uh, that run through there as well. So it gives you that sort of, oh, look at that. Gives you that expensive look that you've got going on. Absolutely beautiful uh, in there. They're large sheets as well. When you open up the sheets, they're really large sheets is what we're looking at uh, with these. Don't worry about the creases down the center. Once you put your glue on, they'll disappear. They'll disperse on their own. Uh, I love the packs. And you're also getting five free ones as well that's already in there. Uh, there's five free ones that you are getting in there. They're very light papers, these are. They're five miles. Uh, and you're getting your five free as well. So you're going to get all these, pack A, pack B, and I'll give you your free ones for £21.98. Good little price on there. Right then, let's go animals is what we're looking at next. Uh, once again, contents will vary, but I can tell you, you will get five animals is what you're going to get in there. Do you know any more of the animals that are in the collection? Oh, absolutely. So you're getting, so you've got sort of domestic pets, you've got farmyard animals, you've got jungle animals, you might get the odd dinosaur or two okay. appearing. So, you know, and all those, all those sorts of things, yeah. So all those you could be getting, is either pick and mix of what you're looking at here, yeah, 11 pounds and 99 pence, 242714 is your item number on this one as well. And you are going to get a five, a, a configuration of animals, it could be a dinosaur, it could be a leopard, it could be a cat and a dog and a cat. Who knows what you're going to be getting, but what you're going to be getting are high quality objects for £11.99, 242714 is your item number. Or you might want to go under the sea, you might want to go all Sebastian on me, the crab that is from the Little Mermaid, uh, that was the reference. Uh, but you can go all under the sea is where we're going uh, for £11.99. I said it and I thought well, no one's going to have a clue what I'm talking about. Uh, but uh, 11 99 for you go under the sea, so you could go your Little Mermaids in here, you've got your seahorses, your fish, your dolphins and your uh, starfish that's in there. But once again, you will get five themes, so it could be a shark 
that you're getting. It could be a whale. It could be a sea lion that you're going to get in there as well. It could even be a fish. 773-718 is right. Right, Nigel, this is the time. Right. We've got about six minutes left. Okay, so this is, glass jar. this is where I was going to try something completely different. There right, okay. So... Previously, when I've been on, I've shown this lovely glass vase, and last time, Yanis, who was presenting, said to me, oh, could you do it underneath the glass? And I came away, and I said, well, it's done on top, really. But then I started thinking, and I thought, well, actually, next time I'm here, we'll try it, but we'll try it back to front. So what I'm going to do, and this may or may not work, but that's the beauty of live telly, isn't it? is have a little go and just see if we can get, because we were saying what won't it work with, we'll see if we can actually get it to a deer. Now remember the glue will dry clear is what you need to remember yes. in this as well. Yeah, so I'm going to try and even, even that out. And what I'm going to do is just tear that down a little bit more. And we're going fairly quickly on this but instead of actually doing that's another little feature Adam this is not a manufactured um, error it's to rest oh, your brush on to rest your no, oh now you tell me yeah. oh here we go there's me trying to rest paint brushes on everything I love that oh yes not on the big one so what I've done is I've actually got that in there and it's I'm going to take a moment or two to, to dry, but rather than apply it with the brush, I've done it with my fingers, and then I'll just go round, and we'll see. And I'm thinking here, please don't anybody ask, can you do wine bottles? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I'm thinking here that maybe it's the sort of thing that you could put some of those little LED lights. Yes, that would be nice. Things like plates and stuff, like glass plates. Yes. And that would look beautiful with this uh, sort of thing on. Because remember, you've got that protection. Once you've put the glue over the top, you have got that protection. You can also pop varnish onto it as well. Yep. You could also go in with your uh, paints, I'm guessing, as well, and paint the inside of the jar first. Yes, you could. You could. This will take a, a moment or, or three to, to go off. But I think as that is going to dry as a clear... I think you've cracked it, Nigel. I think you've cracked it. I think it does work. The really go to town. Could you do a larger piece and put it in, and then would the glue sort of mould to the curves? Wouldn't you put the glue in and then you'd sort of... I think you, you would need to uh, certainly... Support it. I think it, it will pull it taut to a certain extent, but as I say, this is all a bit of new territory for me today. So it's the best way some, to do it on live telly. Well, I thought, why not? You know. <laughs> so, I mean, you can possibly see here. You can see that where I've glued, but you can imagine the effect. When that's dried, that's really going to come through quite nicely, I think. Well, it is. With the translucent paper that you said it was made of as well, you pop a little battery-operated tea light in there. Yeah. And you're going to see that light reflecting through for the sheer fact, as we, as we saw on the plate, that you've got that see-throughness that you've got there, which is absolutely beautiful, uh, that we're talking about at the moment. I, I love this little technique. But you, especially doing this on the bottom of glass plates, then you could still use the glass plate if yeah. you wanted to. Yeah. Because you've got that surface of the glass. Yes. Obviously, it. I wouldn't wash them. Yeah. Just uh, move that. Move that round. And again, once this is dried on the inside, you could probably just go back in with the brush paint over to seal the paper that you've already put in there. And it will, you know, instantly it's it's already starting to cure and, and come through with a higher level so it's one uh, one jar of mustard that's uh, been saved from the recycling that's good don't yeah. <laughs> so much so much more you can do with these sorts of jars this is the thing take what you've got around your home once you start on this project you will then go oh, what else can i use what else what, oh, I've got hiccups. Uh, what else can I decoupage? Uh, and then you will. You'll just start finding stuff. As, as, 
I, my director said, Mr. Baker, he's like, his wife started with an animal, started with one of the animals, and then moved to two dining room chairs. Didn't even do a bear or a post box. No. Nope. Jumped straight, straight from in. a little animal to two dining room chairs that he now hangs his clothes off. But, but that's the, the moral of the story there is that once you've got the basics, you are good to go. You can start doing anything. Worktops, tables, uh, upcycling is a big one at the moment. I know Catherine's into our upcycling as well, and she's forever decoupaging at home. That's all she ever does. Uh, but there's so many things that you can do with the decoupage kit once you get it home. Um, let's go uh, back to Nigel. Oh, you're doing the bottom now. You're yeah, getting just, brave yeah, now. getting brave. <laughs> We're just ex just experimenting, and I suppose the thing is that it's it's probably nice for the viewers actually to have somebody to come on and just say, you know, I've not tried this before. Let's let's see how it turns out, um, and that's really what what I wanted to share with with people today, because you know I'm not a natu natural crafter, and I'm actually quite pleased with how this is is responding, and I can see lots of application for that. There is. There's so, there's so much more to do. Um, you, you made it slightly difficult yourself with a smaller jar. I did. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you did very well. I you did. come out of this very well. I did check I could get the brush in and get <laughs> round before. <laughs> it's worth having a go. How long have we got left? We've only got 30 seconds left. No. I know exactly. Do you know when you're back? I don't know, no, but I'm sure it won't be too long. If, it uh, won't be too long until uh, so you start stocking up while you can. Uh, thank you, Tony. It's always a pleasure. Thank you, Adam. Lovely always show. a pleasure. Thank Never you. Never a chore, as it were. Uh, very busy for this little bundle as well. Uh, get your hand on it. The details on the screen. 559378 is your item number. £19.99. We've only got 15 seconds left. Don't you go anywhere. Start checking out your baskets. There is so much more to shop for. Here in the wonderful world of the craft store, the shop that never, ever shut. I'll see you in an hour. Yes, indeed. Coming up next, craft yourself silly with its eighth birthday. Then join myself and the girls, Josie and Nina, for Daisy B Crafts. Oh, I'm excited about that. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue, and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us and crafting with La Blanche. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping.
if you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter. I got into crafting years ago. Ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people and that's just um, the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn, there's always something uh, that you want to get into, it's fabulous. My Let Leona Lou show is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. Um, I get to work with loads of really cool brands, um, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful um, viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leona Lou shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. the past six years, Achanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing. We'll be the same Achanda that we've always been. We're, We're just, just getting, getting a brand new name. Demonstration led, full of inspiration and variety with our own dash of personality. Welcome to The Craft Store, your home of everything crafts. Very good afternoon to you. Yes, thank you for joining us here at the Craft Store. Now, this is our second live hour today for the one day special. Do you know, we've got such a lot of goodies for you as well. And of course, we've got Hayley joining us again. She's been a busy little bee. Uh, I've been watching you today. You've been busy on your Hello. computer. I've got You've a lot been... of demos to do. You... <laughs> we better get on with it. A lot of we? demos. Well, not right now. We've got to do the thing. We've got to do the admin first. Oh, all we? right then. All admin. right then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been very, very busy when it comes to the one-day special itself. We are three quarters of the stock already gone. Now, if you did miss out earlier on, if you've not seen any of the shows, do stay with us because they say value for money. So what is the one-day special? You have got not one, but two Fabazines. What is a Fabazine? You are hearing me cry. Yeah, I'm crying it because I can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> Hayley, for anybody okay. that hasn't seen before, yes. just explain... Because it's very clever, actually, the Fabazine. It's um, fabric and uh, a magazine with all your instructions in, but you don't just get the fabric and the magazine. You get all of the bits that come with that kit to make absolutely everything that is within there. So what we do is we take one large piece of fabric and we print all of the bits that you need on. So you're not getting, say, half a metre of this fabric and half a metre of that fabric, cutting out shape and then wasting the rest. You've got absolutely everything you need on one panel and we squeeze as much in as we possibly possibly can as we well can so if we've that, got kind actually. of um extra little gaps we'll try and put say because we were going to put one bookmark in we found a space we could fit three in you've got three amazing <laughs> we just you keep really adding have. and adding with this <laughs> yeah it, honestly if you haven't seen it do have a look we're starting actually because we're going to break this down for you the one day special you're getting two fabazines but you can go with them individually as well. Now, issue six is one, the one we're going to look at first. On its own, if you want to just go for issue number six, $44.99, there is a £5 saving. That will carry over to the one-day special, but we'll concentrate on this for the time being because in this issue alone, you've got 12 projects. We've got 12 projects, you? yes. So we'll go through these quickly uh, because we have uh, we'll need to get as many demos as we can in. So okay. you've got your bag, which is your uh, reversible single-piece tote bag, which is on the mannequin in there now that one is one of the demos we're going to do in this hour so hang fire for that one this is really cute i think it's such a lovely design this one because it's actually one continuous piece of fabric and one continuous stitch that you're going to do to make this um, now coordinating with that you've got the little scrunch pouch which i still have over here which we showed you in the last hour how to put this one together and that one it opens up and it's got lots of little pockets in the sides there 
and then when you're ready you just pull that drawstring and it all scrunches up and everything's held inside. That's one and of my favourites, actually. beautifully with that because it's uh, designed to match all the same colours. It does, and I just that turned our bag inside out because it's actually reversible. <laughs> it, it is reversible as well, which means um, if you are a canny crafter and you want to get twice the amount for your money, you could just back both of those pieces with plain, add another piece of bias binding, and that's two bags that you've got. Clever. So uh, the idea. scrunch pouch is sitting on uh, what the result of the template is, which is the crazy paving template. Yeah. And that's a quilting template that is included in there. There are five pieces and it. it's quite a nice big block. That one makes 10 inch block. So you've actually finished. got your acrylic pieces, your you five have. acrylic templates um, here. Obviously so we've just put a bit of key. fabric on the back of those so you can yeah. see them, but they are clear acrylic and they'll come to you with the seam allowance already included. Amazing. Um, so back to where we were, we've got the um, clear see-through pouch, which is doing two things. It's another way to put a zip in because that's a decorative zip and it'll be on the top of your finished product and visible. Yeah. Um, and then also you're working with PVC. Yes, so a different material. Yes, perhaps. so it's a slightly different material. Maybe if you haven't worked with yeah. that before, we've got some Love good it. tips about working with that. You've got your bookmarks, and as we said before, originally it was going to be one. You're going to get three. Now you're going to get the fabric panel, and there are a few little beads included. These are the examples that Patty from our design team's done, and she's thrown everything at these. She's put bits of colour. She's added her own bits of our own stash in there. But what you're getting is the starting block, and you're getting the elastic to uh, make them into bookmarks Such a good idea. and you're also getting the felt to back them with as well Wonderful. so in front of that you've got your little placemat your little kaleidoscope placemat and that's a bit of English paper piecing bit. which has been done oh, by wow. Heather and then in oh she's also actually done the crazy paving sample that we just saw as well so next to him you've got the dragon I couldn't remember. Oh, I thought we'd named nameless. him. I was trying to remember his name, but oh. we hadn't named him. Um, so that's the dragon. That was a tractor who's sewn that one, and she's done a beautiful job. Um, a tractor's also done the little embroidoodle that's next to you. I love that the arms and legs move on the <laughs> dragon as well. Beautiful. Yes, they are um, Oops, opposable, so you can move there. them about as well. So you've got... lie down, Hayley. I'll just sit there for a <laughs> you second. You haven't got his legs quite right, <laughs> have you? <laughs> so that's uh, the embroidoodle... That you can colour in, you can stitch in. It's entirely up to you how you fill that in. But it's just there for you to have a little bit of a play with. Yeah. So underneath that, you have your bird panel, which is your kind of... Um, you're quilting the background of this rather than the foreground of this. And this is beautiful. This is one that Sarah... Uh, not Sarah, sorry. Leslie's done for us. She's one of our newer design team members. I'm just going to lift the corner a little bit. Oh. <laughs> we haven't got the images we had earlier, so I'm just going to try and tease this yeah, out a little there bit. There you go. Because it needs to be seen. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, really of beautiful. all the things that we've brought, this is the one that seems to attract uh, most people's attention, I'm not this one, because actually, it's, it's yeah. beautiful. And initially, when you see it, it looks quite light and delicate, but then as soon as you add that stitching in, it really kind of comes to life. Um, so the next one we've got is the ouch pouch, which I know you think is. I was a fun. Uh, this is one of my favourites, actually. I love the pouch with the pockets <laughs> in, but this, I just think this so is so Leslie, clever. Leslie um, has sewn a sample of one of these. That one's actually the one that I sewn, because uh, I've got Leslie's here to show a couple of bits for um, demonstration in a little bit. So that's, um, it's like a little box bag, so it folds out into a little tray, and then you can zip it up and enclose everything together. And it's, again, it's another way of putting a zip in. It's one big, long one that goes all the way up and over there. Love that. And if and you didn't then, want to put the nursing, because that's optional, you do get it printed out, but if you didn't want to put it in, you could use that for jewellery, pencils. Oh, absolutely. That's why we've made it there. optional yeah. to, that you can applique Love it on it. rather than have it as a as printed directly on, because then you've, you've just got a few more options, haven't you? Um, then we've got the picnic carrier. And oh, that's yes. Sarah. That one's the one that I've done. Sarah's done uh, quite a tricky thing with hers because you get two panels in there so if you've got a little bit of extra tape that you can add in what Sarah's done is backed hers with a plain fabric rather than the patterned fabric and that means that she can actually make two so you're going to gather all of those up together and then pop the longer one through all of those and that will close it up and allow you to have nicely covered cakes or buns or scones or pasties because one side's got cakes on one side's got pasties and uh, we did have some muffins. <laughs>
<laughs> you can see, actually, yeah, you've got your sweet and your savoury side here. <laughs> I haven't had one. I still haven't had one, although they smell absolutely gorgeous. You can have one after this, oh, then. We're down to four now, I mean, uh, you know, the genie's out the bottle now. Oh, <laughs> there was eight for the eighth birthday of Crafty Sal Silly, but four of them have disappeared. <laughs> that is such a lovely project again there. I think we've Ooh. got them all in there now. No, we, we haven't. Oh, we, we missed haven't. one. What we have missed? two very important things out. Elephant. First oh. of all, we haven't even told you about the gift we've purchased. <gasps> Yeah. Because everybody purchases it's a good if you're in the UK. I mean you can buy outside of the UK, but we can only ship the scissors to the UK. One per customer. The scissors are ten inch. These are beautiful as well, worth twelve ninety nine. I'm just going to do my very oh, very do the demo. Do you know, do it the took demo. ages to get this demonstration right, you know, Haley. I love it. There we are. But the advantage of the 10 inch scissors is, is they're really long, which yeah. means that you've got nice long blades, about six inches with a blade on there. And that means that for cutting long straight lines, for cutting the panels out, the fabazines and things like that, they're perfect for that. And the scissors form, the blades form the trunk for the elephant. And which that you also sample get. has been done by Patty. We went through that last night, how to put that one yep. together. Really, really simple. There's actually two ways you can put it together. You can do it like Patty's done there and leave the um, element sticking out over, which means you can hang more bits and pieces on there. Okay. Or you can do it so those elements are flat. Yeah and um, it's completely flat. Maybe use it as a bookend Amazing. because, you know, you know you that can... it would make a really good bookend, actually. And, and as you say, decorate it however you wish. That comes flat packed for you. So you've got the option. But what a great way to hold your scissors. It's fun, isn't it? So there you have it. You've got your 12 projects there just in that issue. That's issue number six. It's part of the one day special. And I'm saying part because, of course, you're getting two. But for the buttons, the button fabazine, that's what we're looking at next. You can again get this individually, but it forms part of the one day special as well. Now this time, Hayley, very, very different in the way of projects. Yes. But you've got nine more projects here, but these, these are big projects. Yeah, these? these are all huge projects in here. So um, what you've got in this one is, we'll start with the hummingbird. That okay. is uh, a panel and you're going to get so many buttons to go with this. <laughs> There's a lot. And what we're trying to do is kind of colour theme all this together so that some of these will work together. So that one is one we're going to do a quick demonstration on first off. And this one, you're going to layer up those buttons to kind of create that pattern. The pattern's already printed on there for you. So you're essentially just following the colours underneath you. See, I've left a little bit on the head and a little bit on the wing there that hasn't been done yet. So you can see those colours are underneath yeah. there ready for you to follow. It's a beautiful print. You've just got to add the uh, buttons over the top of it. I mean, if you wanted to, you could use that in its own right yeah. as a panel because yeah. it's so, so pretty. It is. Look um, at this. So that one's going to, it's more like a button art kind of thing. But then okay. if you wanted to, I've just put it in a, one of our little frames, but you can make it into a cushion or bag or anything you like. Okay. Lovely. Next one, um, you can see maybe the little hedgehog just hanging off the corner there. Oh. That's one of our buttoonies. And these are a, a kit that we had on a show, uh, not on a Chanda show, on a BBC show. And they absolutely flew. So um, there's a little hedgehog there. You could get the hedgehog, the bat, or the spider in your kit. Okay. But then you also get a bigger one made from MDF buttons that you can decorate yourself. He's quite a chunky monkey, isn't he? Yeah, look, look at them. Honestly, Swizzle. this is much larger oh, than that's you realise. Oh, swizzling that. Uh, look at I was watching from home last night and I thought, oh, I love the bee. But when I came in today, I was amazed how big it was. Yeah, he's quite a chunky monkey. And it's got little spacers in between it, so it has a little bit of movement. And those spacers you'll make from the leftover felt from one of the other projects within the button kit. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's magic, I'm not moving. Okay, down from there, you can just see the necklace that's on the yeah. uh, little stand there, which matches. Actually, just stay there, Catherine. Oh. It just kind of works. There you go. <laughs> I said I should have worn it. I should have. You've got, got, the got another one here. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh. So, there's two different ways you can put this together, and we've given you the instructions in the kit to do all of this. Um, there's probably enough buttons there to actually make two necklaces if you want to, uh, but we've done it so they're layered up like the one on the front. The one Catherine's holding there is single layer. If you put them together like that, you'll probably get two out. If you put them together like the one on the front there, that's all got the buttons layered on top of each other, then you'll probably just get the one. And actually, if you Love turn it. that over, there's two different the one looks on the, to this. So this yeah, one. just flip it, yeah, flip it over for me. Oh yes. There's two completely different looks Look. to this. 
So you can make one necklace that I has really like that, you know, two I different hate. looks because you're layering everything up. So I do like that after the button necklace, we'll go down to the button bag, which is oh no, let's do the crossword. Let's do the crossword. Oh, oh. I like the crossword. Uh, I've added an extra word in. Have you? <laughs> yeah, from this morning. We did a couple of letters, and now I've added garment. Oh, in. so you have. <laughs> it's fun and games, isn't it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so this is one where we are going to get 34 of those special nine-hole buttons. Yeah. That's one to cover every white square on the crossword. We do give you a suggestion of how you know words you could put in if you wanted to fill the whole thing, but if you don't want to, you can make your own version. And uh, there was another version kicking about that was done by Sarah. And she put, um, you know, a, a little kind of phrase or a saying in there as well. So you can do different oh, things be, in there I mean, if you It want could to. be a gift for a wedding, though. It could be the yeah, bride and groom's easily, name. If you, can, if you can find the space to put those, if it works out, of course. Uh, yes, such a clever letters idea again. across the middle. Yeah. Three E D D I N G. Yeah, you could yeah. get wedding in there across the middle. And um, so then you've got the uh, Yorkshire button sunglasses holder or normal glasses don't have to be sunglasses just sunflower sunglasses um, and Yorkshire buttons are traditionally uh, made on a little loom so we've given you four different sizes of little looms and you've got a few different samples oh. of ones that have been made as sunflowers to go on that pouch I mean that's it, it that's just nice, is sunflower isn't it? isn't it yeah there we go. I've got another one here in white. And then the traditional the Yorkshire one. button, you've got, I know you've got there another little piece of felt behind there, which have. is a, a tractor. Again, she's done all these for us um, and she's made them into the proper style of buttons. So you can do both. So there are tools within this kit to kind of keep you going with things for other projects as well. Lovely. Oh, wow, there's so much, isn't there? We haven't finished, though, because... Bag. Oh, why haven't we done... We've, we've not got done bag, the we've, There's two massive projects still in there. Oh, we haven't done the calendar either, have we? We haven't done the bag. Yeah. So the bag is a tote bag, and yeah. it's got all of those um, little buttons on there as well. So you're going to get 100 buttons to put on. Yeah. We're actually putting 103, 104 in, just to make sure you don't lose any in the roll under the sofa. Um, and you don't have to go find them then because you've got a couple of spares, <laughs> haven't you? So um, that one's really fun and really, really straightforward to do. We went through that on six o'clock last night. I had to put that one together so you can catch that one on Rewind. And the last project that is down the front there is the Perpetual Calendar. Now, we'll show this one again at four o'clock because I know a lot of people have been um, asking about this one. So we're going to show this again. So this is such a good idea. It's essentially like um, the advent calendars that we make yeah. at Christmas. But this one is done in such a way that you can change the numbers on the front. So we've put self-cover buttons in and we've put little buttonholes in each of the um, pockets. So you can move those buttons around. So you've essentially got a calendar that will last forever. So Amazing. you can either put sweets in it like Janice wanted to. That wasn't what I had intended, but that's where she's gone. Um, <laughs> you can. I was thinking more if you're going shopping on Wednesday, you can do your shopping list, put it in the pocket. It's ready to go. If you've got an appointment, there's a little hairdresser's appointment because we can all go soon. Um, and uh, I've just been chopping mine off. I just got really annoyed with it. <laughs> Chopped it off. Nobody can tell it's curly, it's fine. Um, you can put appointment cards in there, yeah. you know, if there's little Reminders bits and pieces that you have. Reminders you have to bring things in exactly. for people here at work. <laughs> I think so I need one of these, Perfect Hayley. for that. And it's very cleverly printed so that um, when you lay it out, you're thinking, oh, well, there's loads of big white gaps in there, but actually when you come to put it together, it folds up, it folds up, it folds up and Lovely. creates a continuous pattern all the Wonderful. way through. There is also a clock project, but rather than yeah, dwell on that, that now, we are going to see that in demonstration. Do it, so, do it. Very quickly, let's just give you the details there. Remember, of course, if you want to go for the buttons, uh, that is a separate item, bottom of the screen there. But, you know, you've got a £5 saving from issue six, a £5 saving from the buttons fabazine, and then if you... Go for the one day special, you're getting both of those with an extra £15 there. It works out at, do you know, it's less than £4 a project, I think. Just under £4 a project. So, 
Uh, you can split it down as well. Flexi buy option for you on this one. 728446. This is how most of you have been buying. And I, I did think earlier as well that, you know, this is a good way. If you think about the family you've got and you want to give to people and you've got all sorts of different tastes, different ages in there, You've got the joy of making everything. Then you could gift everything you make as well. So think of it that way, possibly. 728446 and over three quarters of the stock That's has your gone. That's Christmas shopping done in one hit. I know. <laughs> Christmas shopping done. <laughs> right, now then, we do have a brand new happy hour deal for you. We've had them throughout the hours, but it changes each hour. The price will go up at one o'clock. This time, we've got the medium weight calico. Now, I've got that here, actually. Three meters of this. Oh, this is a actually it says medium, but this is a really good. It feels really thick and heavy. Well, we've got a much much heavier one than that, so we would class that as a medium. But I think for for a lot of people that would be a, a slightly heavier weight one. But we have one. Um, I think it frightens people when they wash it usually because it turns into cardboard yeah. until you iron it and then it's fine again. But um, yeah, it really kind of stiffens up quite a lot. So that we class as a medium weight, but for most people that would be a kind of good quality quilting cotton. And you're getting three metres in length. And what's the width, Hayley? Uh, it's 150. 150 wide. Yeah. It's huge. It's so huge. I can't possibly open it out and show you properly because I've got a counter in front of me. My arms aren't long enough and I'm not tall enough either. <laughs> £11.98, £3 saving, 340799. I think we need to get to demonstration okay. time. OK, OK, OK. So um, I'm going to have a quick look at the button art panel that we've got. And all I've done so far is take the panel and just pop a hoop over it because I just want to put a little bit more tension on some of these bits because it's easier when you're flipping back and forth okay. to be able to do that obviously you're not going to be able to keep the tent the um, hoop on all of the time because once you get kind of so far you won't be able to move it because yeah. you'll you'll be kind of overlapping certain course, areas yeah. so what you're going to do with this is just first of all think about which um, bits would be in front and which bits would be behind because you want to kind of layer the buttons up on top so you're kind of bringing yeah, the sense. foreground forward so the the tail bits here they'd be towards the back and this back wing here that would be towards the back as well so what we're going to do is literally just sew the buttons on now i tend to um de do a double um piece of thread on here and by double thread i mean threaded through taken all the way back down to the bottom and then a big knot in the bottom just to hold it all in place okay and what we're going to do is stitch these on so you want to start with your kind of smaller ones for the tail first but in some of the colours, especially these purpley ones, we've got some of these little triangular buttons in there, which can you see work really well oh, yes, for are. those little do, ends of the um, feathers. Now, that I'm going to put on last, though, because I just want to build up a layer first, so that has something to sit against. Where's this one? So that shank isn't kind of wobbling around. Okay, you see the yeah, difference when it. it's just kind of resting on there. It's far more stable. If I take that away, it'll be kind of flopping over and yeah. wobbling about so that's why i'm going to put that one whoops on first okay so we're going to come i would use a slightly smaller one than this to start off with i'm going to come in from the back and down again and to start the buttons off what i would recommend that we do is i'll just flip that over so you can see rather than tying a knot in this what i'm going to do is open up that double thread and just go through it right okay yeah and then that's not so, going anywhere yeah, got it. it's nice and solid um, and even with my double thread on there what I'm going to do is stitch through these three times and also think about the direction that you're stitching in do you want to stitch them kind of side to side like that or do you want to have them stitched I've lost my thread where's that gone oh so my finger there we go do you want to have them stitched top to bottom so they kind of go um, looking more like the vein down the yeah, centre yeah, of the, the um, feather. Are all so, the buttons too whole? Or just no, there's hole? a mixture. There's a real mixture. And it's fun to play about with the colours on these. It's also fun to play about with um, the way that you stitch them on because I'm actually going to start overlapping these to create that yeah. kind of um, that effect of more texture. I started with quite a see-through button, which doesn't really help me. But... <laughs> Um, what you'll do, actually, I'll get, a, I'll get a one that's a little bit easier. There we go. There you go. Because you've got two hole and oh, four hole. One. And because I'm going to overlap these, instead of kind of moving that to there and stitching it on, yeah. I'm going to keep it 
over to here and I'm going to come up through that hole and, but I'm going to be kind of right close I'll just put it I'll put the needle in first so you can see I'm going to be right close to the edge of that button before I add this one on uh, yeah. and I'm going to flip that too. over so I've got clear bit to clear bit and just build those layers up and I would go through each of these three times um, and if you're working in a hoop then yes you can kind of span your way along but I wouldn't span too far find that again there if you you're go. worried about the threads coming a little bit loose even if you were you know sort of sewing over that three times I suppose you could feed that needle through at the back each time uh, yeah you could if you wanted to, to if you um, are worried about it coming out then what I would actually probably recommend is a little dab of glue on okay, the back yeah. of each one that you've sewn yeah so once that's see I've done three on both of those now okay and then I'll flip it over and then on the back there, I would just run round with um, even just a super glue or something. Just dab, dab, dab all the way round and add a little bit of extra stability Definitely. to that. But if you can kind of, I'm not going to do all of these because we'll be here all day. But that's the basic principle of it. You're that's sewing them on, just the overlapping them as you go. And just thinking about the colours because you can see this is now coming into that darker purple. Yeah. So... Of the, even with the darker purple ones, you're going to get two or three different shades in there. So I can go darker again there and add that on. And then I can go, um, it's coming up in towards the blue. So I'll probably put another couple of purples in and then start adding the odd kind of blue one into there to just kind of oh, start I'm, to I'm, I'm, you know, graduate I'm how those, those colours. coming through actually, just yeah. laying those buttons you on You just there. need those little bits of kind of pops of colour. Now, if you're not a sewer, you could still do this, uh, but you would need to use a good glue okay. to put them on yeah. instead. So I am going to um, stop with this one because all of these buttons that I'm using on here at the minute, these are all um, left over from the hummingbird that's over there so all okay. of these ones on here and there's another two packets of green down there somewhere oh, wow. these are all left over so i've got nearly enough there to do a whole second hummingbird really we give you so much. tons just so you've got um we make sure i'd rather have everybody have too much than not enough <laughs> but that doesn't work with cakes apparently as well, they keep apparently not. It's apparently not. I don't even look. I think there's something magic going on under there and they're so disappearing on their own. So if you can give me a second, I'll just okay, set yeah. up for the, to show you a way we can use these leftover buttons. Let's do and that. And then um, we can do the button clock. Let's do that. Right. Okay. Almost 80% of the one day special has gone. Uh, we do have queues on the phone lines at the moment. If you can hang on there, we will get to you. We do make sure we do that. Uh, of course, using the website and checking out there is the quickest route at the moment. But thank you for your company and of course for purchasing as well. Now we've got a few more images to show you as well. So taking all the projects from the one day special so this is crossing over the two fabazines we might just be lacking images of one or two things but we'll mention those afterwards don't forget your scissors is gift with purchase anybody who's purchasing what was that Haley? elephants never forget do they no, maybe I should be an elephant then because I'm in trouble for forgetting something today. Uh, but the scissors, I haven't forgotten about the scissors. Gift with purchase. If you're in the UK, we can ship those to you. If you're not, unfortunately, don't get the scissors. But it's one per customer as well. Do bear that in mind. But what a great gift for the birthday as well. So there's our elephant with the scissor holder. He's fabulous. I love this one. If you missed this one earlier, if you can catch on Rewind, the earlier show from 8 o'clock today, Hayley, we did go through this one. This is such a useful item. You've got so many pockets inside then that opens out flat. You can store all sorts in it. There we have... Oh, put, look, no wonder he looks forlorn. He's still not got a name. He looks a little bit... Well, I'll make, him a, I'll make him a friend and then we can name the pair of them. All right. OK, we'll okay. do that. Okay, there, oh, this is our ouch pouch, which I absolutely love. It doesn't have to be for any first aid equipment in there, but it can be. Do like that a lot. And then we've got our organiser. This is our see-through one. You're getting the zip there, you're getting the binding, you're getting the PVC as well. Maybe you've never worked with those mediums before. Here we have our magic, our magic little um Oh, the picnic, picnic carrier. Yes. yes. You don't get the muffins. You have to provide your own. And the magic is that they disappear. Yes. Not that they go. appear, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we see, even from the image there, they started with eight. There was five on the image, but I know there's only four underneath there now. Then you get the book. There's a disappearing bookmark as well because you get three of these. 
there you are you can see a couple of them there you can change those add further bits in if you want but you will get some beads and elements there within the bundle to create some beautiful beautiful items there you've got your one piece bag now this is totally reversible as well also the binding will be included there for you that matches that pouch as well there's our crazy paving quilt you do get the templates there are five acrylic templates which are yours to keep forever of course if you buy the one day special or this particular issue Oh, everybody's falling in love with this. This is our backing, our background there. It is gorgeous. And if you want to stitch into that further, or add beads or further detail, you certainly can do. There's our kaleidoscope placemat. Do you know if you've never done... We've run out of so many projects, before. we've run out of music. I've <laughs> noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know, I'm just gabbling on and I'm thinking, am I supposed to be talking or do we normally play music at this point? There we go. Oh, now bee. we're into the other one. Now we're and into the hedgehog. <laughs> And then, of course, the hummingbird and with the buttons there. That is beautiful. Now, if you wanted to go for this project individually, that would be $29.99. If you're going for the one-day special, because you've got 21 complete, and I mean complete projects, with leftovers, I'm sure, with the buttons and everything you're getting, it works out at just under £4 each. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. That could be the front of a bag. It could be a cushion. Yeah, it, it, could can be, be it could be anything you want picture. it to be. There's the necklace, which the necklace, matches yeah. your top beautifully today. It certainly does. <laughs> the sunglasses holder, which have got uh, comes complete with all of your tools to make your yeah, buttons. You could put your mobile phone in there if it fits oh, yeah. as well. Yeah, that's a good idea. There we've got our crossword. And then, of course, the bag. I had a good idea for the bag earlier. You did. Shall I tell it? Yes, do it. Right, you get loads and loads of buttons, 103 actually for that project, so you've got spare. But if you didn't want to use those buttons and you want somebody who sort of saves all those buttons when you buy new clothes and you're keeping the little plastic bags, sew those on your bag. Just make sure you've always got that bag with you because if ever you lose a button and you always do at the worst moment, you've always got that button with you. Just remember to put a needle and thread in there as well. There's our calendar. <laughs> Yep, and then the last project that's in there is the clock, which we are going to have a look at now. Hooray! So, um, this comes in two parts, and when you have a look at it kind of together, you can see that it kind of forms a button in its own right. So, okay. you could just decorate this up as it is and just have a clock, which is a button. No problem. Lovely. But what we've done is when we've bought the clock mechanism, we've made sure that the spindle that's on there is long enough to accommodate if you want to actually add buttons and sticky buttons onto it as well. So let me just show you how that goes together because I think this is the bit that people always worry about is yeah. putting the clock mechanism in. So you're going to take the backing piece. You do need a, a AA battery for it. That is not included because can't put batteries in the post. Okay. So that goes over and then we pop that underneath there and slot it into the hole so there's plenty of wiggle room on that hole you'll not be it's not so tight that you won't be able no, to get it through be fighting with it so then we put the uh, little gold washer on and the nut as well and if you've got a little adjustable spanner it is definitely worth spending a minute or two just uh, putting a little bit of a tighter tweak on that and just make sure once it's on and it's tight that it's the right way up because there is a little hanging hook yeah. on your mechanism so you want to make sure that that's going to be the right way up when you're finished. So once we're at that stage, obviously we decorate it first normally, but what I wanted to show you was even this, I mean, that is a pretty thick, chunky it button, is. that one. But we've still got enough clearance to get this really thick, chunky button past the hands. I'm not going to put all the hands on. I'll probably just put the hour and the minute on just so we can show you. But if that goes kind of flat against the... Um, base of the panel let's put it around so you can see it there you go and then if I just push these on now you need to push them on straight from the top so you need to be kind of directly over the top of it you have to give them quite a bit of a, a push don't you as well to the, get it to um, hand, the hands aren't so bad the um, hour and minute aren't so bad okay. this one which is the seconds I would say don't put that on until you're completely and utterly finished with your design because this has got a little kind of hole in the center there which goes on to the little spigot yeah. that's in the middle see that little silver spigot that's in the middle of there yeah once you get that on it's very difficult to get off okay so i would say make sure that i mean these i can take this on and off now 
and I can adjust things. Okay. But um, you can see there, just by putting that hour hand on, whoops, you've got plenty of clearance there to really you kind of go wild. Yeah, definitely. If I just spin that round a little bit so you can see, loads of you've room. got loads of room there. So you can put, you know, quite a lot of depth into your design. You could even layer your buttons up and you've still got loads of clearance on here. So what I'd be tempted to do is um, put them in maybe little, little stacks, little layers. And you also, with this, get all of your numbers as well. So, see, that's still going to clear. That looks like that blob painting. Yeah. And you're also going to get 15 is not 15 is not a time. There you go, 12 is a time. <laughs> I'm like, oh, 15 is not a time. You, <laughs> Do get, you know, this is a lovely project. If you get all your little numbers as well, so you can yeah. add those on as well. Oh, and Jay, and you've you can got either. Your own craft room or sewing room. What a lovely clock to have in yeah. there. And it, you can personalise it. And all of the buttons that you. Uh, what I recommend is do this last. Yeah. Do all of your other projects. Take the buttons that you've got left over or take that button box, which everybody's got, and pop them all onto there. Love it. I don't really, really like this project. So I think I've, so got, I've still got it. loads of demos to get through, so I'm going to okay. take this apart. Do you mind doing some numbers for me? And we'll do that um, Mobius bag, which is the one-piece continuous bag. Wonderful. Right. While Hayley's getting ready, let me give you the details again. Of course, for the one-day special, that means you are getting issue number six of the Fabazine. You're also getting the button Fabazine as well. Is that how you say it? Yeah, button, I think yeah so. still a Fabazine. It's, it is a limited edition, that one as well. You're getting all of the components. It's not just the fabric, not just the panel. You are getting every one of the components that you need. I mean, it's huge the amount that you're getting here. All instructions, I mean, there's enough to keep you going here, but what I really love about this, I think there's something for all of the family, because you've got the MDF in there as well, if you wanted to paint that up, you know, you can let other people get involved if they don't stitch, you know, just choosing words for the crossword even, and having fun with that, let everybody get involved as well. Now, we have got a £5 saving on the individuals, they're carried over, and we're giving you an extra £15 on top, and it's all under one item number with the one day special as well. And we've got Flexi on it, so we can split this into two payments of £39.99. 728446 is the item number. 21 complete projects is what you're getting here for that price. It's simply amazing value. 80% of the stock has gone. If you break it down, the price per project, it's just under £4 per project, which is just amazing, isn't it? Now, we do want to remind you about the happy hour deal as well because it's very, very busy. I'm just, I know it's hard for you to see what I've got here, but, you know, I just want to... When I pick fabric up, I always like to do this, even though you can't feel what I'm feeling, but I like to know the quality of it. I like to know the weave of the fabric. This is your calico. Like a fabric inspector now. <laughs> I, I am a bit picky about my fabrics, I've got to say. Uh, yeah, we have some fabulous fabrics here, don't we, at the craft store. We really do. This is a great buy. No wonder it's so busy. If you want more than one three-metre length, then you can put multiples in your basket. Hayley, would they be cutting one length if people put multiples in? Bridget may swear, but yes, they will. Ooh. <laughs> Who wants Bridget to swear? <laughs> Eleven pounds and ninety-eight pence. You are getting quite three <laughs> meters. So if you want six meters, then you put two lots in, and that will give you a six meters in length. It's hundred and fifty centimeters wide. It's your medium weight calico. Calico is just fabulous, isn't it? You can use it for all sorts. That price will go up at one o'clock, which is about in twenty-four minutes' time. Three four zero seven nine nine is the item number, and it will go up by three pounds per three meter piece as well. So if you are getting more, you really are saving money. Right, OK, let's get back to Hayley. OK, so we are going to do the what we call the Mobius tote bag, which is okay. the one that you showed there before with the um, continuous strip of binding all the way around. So it is a one-piece bag. So I have got one huge piece. If I just hold that like that, you can see it's just one continuous piece. But I've actually uh, backed it. So the only thing I've done before coming to you guys is cut both of these pieces out and round the edge of this panel you can see there's a little kind of grey line printed on a slightly darker line printed on the um, the darker side okay now yeah. that all you need to do is keep your stitching when you go around the edge in between that line and the edge of the fabric because gotcha. all you're looking to do is seal those two pieces of fabric together okay. that's all you need to do yeah. So from there, you need to then decide which way you want to be right way out. So I've got one that's that way, so I'm going to make one that's the other way. And then I'm going to line it up on top of each other. 
so it is spot on there we go plenty of pins i would recommend for this and then we're going to sew all the way around this bottom edge so all the way around the base of the bag so where you need to start is you need to start at least a centimeter away from that top edge okay, and this will yeah. come clear um, in a little bit and i'll just make sure that you are all lined up and then you need to stop a centimeter before that same point on this edge so if i just flip that over you'll be able to see so i need to stop about here okay. So it doesn't have to be exact for this because you're going to sew back over it anyway. You just need to be, mark your start and stop positions and then uh, put a few extra pins in. And then I'm going to sew all the way around that bottom edge on rough. I can go a little bit further in from the previous line, okay. but I don't want to go past. I can be on this line, but I don't want to go past this line because you've got a one inch bias binding, find the end, that's got to be added on to here as well and you want to stay kind of on that line but not over it because if I just kind of put this little bit of binding either side you'll see if I stay on top of that line I've still got like just under yeah. four, an eighth of an inch there yeah so you're not going to be able to see my stitching okay so I will I need a couple of minutes just to pin the last of this and then I'll pop it on the sewing okay. machine we'll whiz around there and then we'll have a look at putting lovely the binding stuff. on lovely stuff then right well let Haley do that right we are still busy on the phone lines do bear with us if you can go to the website that would be fantastic let's have another quick look of course at the one day special right in front of me straight away I've just got to point this out actually because when it comes to the acrylic templates that you're getting to make that crazy paving effect and you have got a full project, you know, to do. These are yours to keep. I mean, think about the price of acrylic templates. They are absolutely brilliant. We sell so many here at Achanda, you know, for all sorts of reasons. But just consider the price of those individually and what you would normally expect to pay. These would be 14 99 I still think that's an absolute bargain at that. We've already mentioned, when it comes to the one day special, individually if you were going for the Hummingbird, 29 99 I do remember from this morning that if you were going for the calendar, because there's an awful lot involved in that one as well, that is also 29 99 Something I didn't point out this morning looking at that actually was the amount of buttons you get to cover. I know what I've paid for a small pack of self-cover buttons in the past that have maybe only had three or four buttons in and I've paid three or four pounds for them just for those few buttons. I mean, you are getting so much here. Of course, you're getting your plastic buttons as well in all sorts of different colours for so many different projects. I mean, you've even got the little tool, for, you know, for using, for self-covering those buttons as well. You've got the little shapes, the little looms there for creating your Yorkshire buttons. It just goes on and on. There you can see those MDF buttons with the nine holes in there for your crossword. I mean, it, I'm not going to go through everything because it would take me far longer than we've got, but absolutely everything to create those those 21 projects are all there. Two payments of 39.99, 728.446 is the item number. Now maybe, maybe you want to split things further for other reasons. Let's tell you how our flexi basket works. What is flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for FlexiOrder, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Oh, do you know how weird is that listening to yourself when you oh, stood here? Oh, it's very, yeah, very strange. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Something else that's making me smile as well. I mean, so much current attention has gone to, to our sets and it looks amazing. And Haley's loving her little desk with her stool. Little desk. But she's just said, I can't reach the pedal for my sewing machine. So she, luckily she's got a stop start button on the sewing machine. 
Feet free. Okay, I'm, Hayley. I'm fine. I'm nearly all the way round. But when I am using the stop, um, stop, stop button, I do like to go a little bit slower because you have to think a little bit more to actually get your finger up to press the button. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just coming up to um, that point where I said we need to stop. Uh, which is that point which is um, about a centimetre from the top. Yeah. And then I'm just going to pop a couple of back stitches in there just to secure that. And then we can pop that out. Now, if at this point you've gone a bit close to any of the edges and you've left a gap, it's not actually the end of the world because we're going to put that um, binding on there as oh. well. And this is one project that you're going to work everything the same way round. So you're not going to have to turn anything inside out. Because I know some oh. people get mixed up at that point when you have to start flipping stuff inside yes. out and turning it upside down. And this is all done the right way up. So one great, big, long, continuous piece of binding. And all I've done to prepare this is simply fold it in half. It'll come to you flat like that. And all I've done is fold it in half and pressed it. Okay, that lovely. is it. So we are starting at this point here. And what you need to remember with this is you need to start um, on... There's not very many corners on this, there's only two. You need to start on one of the corners and you need to go up the handle. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop that over there and then we're going to start pinning this in place. And uh, pins or clips, whichever you prefer, but whichever you're going for, plenty of them. Okay, yeah, is what I'm going to say for this curves, one. You've got a lot of that. curves and you've got a long way to go. Yeah. So um, I'm just going to continue pinning this all the way around and obviously we've given you bias binding on this and that is because we've got all of these curves to go through and if you need it to help go around the curve if you just give it a little stretch on that outer edge which is the, the edge that you want to curve can you see that just oh, yeah. doing it almost yeah, by itself oh you were you were wrong <laughs> sorry not not <laughs> That was me talking to Catherine about the conversation we had prior to coming on air when she goes, oh, Domo, what's that? I hope it's pizza. It's not. He's got a load of fruit and a watermelon. So the, I'm the, guessing the it would be, it would be an interesting and watermelon. pizza. That, that's but... good enough for me. <laughs> strawberries and watermelon. Ooh, it would be an interest. Oh, I tried to feed watermelon to the ducks the other day Did you? because on the, on the internet it says ducks love watermelon. So I've got some watermelon uh, and Frank was like, this isn't peas. Turn his beak up at it. Yeah, she did. She oh. just didn't like it. She... So I fed it to the chickens who loved it. <laughs> and then started a fight with the quails. The quails were like <laughs> mad for it. It's great. Oh. So yeah, I'm starting quail fights with watermelon. <laughs> maybe we've anyway, just got a on another dog. note, <laughs> maybe I have. Actually, they're supposed to really like grapes as well, and she wouldn't eat the grapes. Really? No, none of them would. There's three, and none of them would. It's all about peas and sweet corn. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's vegetables. Oh, God, they go mad still, for peas and sweet corn. Still mad five for them. a day with the vegetables. Right. So here's where it starts. We're getting up to the, the top here, and here's where you think, oh, well, I'll have to cut it off and move it round. You don't. It's one continuous handle. So what we're going to do is we're just going to keep going. And I'm going to keep going all the way down to where we started off and show you how to join that bit. Because obviously this is going to take a little bit of time. So I'm just trying to do it enough so you can see where you need to be going with this. I don't necessarily need to do the whole thing to show you. Um, because once this is pinned in place, you are going to start in that same point that we started pinning it, and you're going to sew all the way around in one continuous okay. loop as well. This is a useful bag as well. I mean, it's a really quite a generous size as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice size, actually. If you're just kind of nipping out for a couple of bits and pieces... Then it's a really kind of nice you know, size. I, this one. I would keep. I would use one of these for something like you know if I was pottering around the garden or the house and you know I needed to take bits and pieces with me as well. I mean, you could use it for other things as well. But we, just you know, how many times do you go upstairs to do a job and yeah. you've forgotten something? Back down you go. <laughs> well, what you can do as well is if you've got any of the extra fabrics that we've put on today, then you can always make a, a pocket yeah. and put that on yeah. there. But all of that I would do before you start. Yeah. So add all the pockets and keep them well away from your edges. Okay. And then um, you can top stitch a pocket on. You can add extra bits and pieces on. You can maybe add some. You know um, the calico, of the happy hour then, Haley. If we, if we wanted to sort of double up on what we've got on the panel, absolutely. so use the decorative. The calico will work. Yeah, calico will work beautifully for it. You'll just Ooh, need a little bit then. of extra bias binding. Make two You'd of see, these. See, just slowly work my way around there. I would put probably a few more pins than I've got on here. I'm just trying to get round as 
quickly as I can so I can get to this point and show you where we're going. Now, one thing with this though, because it's one continuous piece, think about how you put your pins in. Because if we're gonna start and we're gonna sew on the machine, we're gonna pop it onto the machine like that and start sewing this edge. Okay. Now, just think about how it's going through your machine and keep this edge on the top. Because as it's moving through, it's gonna change direction, yeah. which means when we yeah. come to here, we need to actually flip it over to ah. keep those pins on the top edge. Yes. Because when we come down here, we're going to come to the point where we're actually going to overlap. Where am I? There we go. We're going to overlap this part here. So I just need one more in before we get there. So then, Hayley, when then it comes here, to your bobbin thread, does it need to match yes, the top Yes, I would definitely match it for this. Um, okay. I mean, I will sometimes sew with different colours on the top and the bottom, but for this project, definitely, yeah, definitely match because it. Because of that flip so that you're doing. So when you get to there... You can see that is now completely encased. And it is such a neat technique, this one. You're going to come all the way around that bottom. I'm just going to put a, a few random pins in here because I need to show you what happens on the other side. So we're going to come ugh, around the bottom. There we go, around the bottom. Oh, do you know, all notch. day I've been looking at this fabric and thinking, How why do, do I recognise that fabric? There's something about it that's, that's telling me I've seen it before. Oh, and it's just pennies dropped. What is it? I've got one of the Carpe Diem journals with the feathers on it. Oh, is it similar very, to that? Very, very similar to that. The colours <laughs> are the same. Oh, right. so I need to get this just to match my planner now. So, this is going to go all the way up here, all the way up there, round the top, back down, and it's going to come all the way to here. So, what you want to do is when you come up this side, if when you put your pins in, pin them either side of that, and leave yourself a good kind of two inches either side because what you're going to need to do is when it comes back around to this point, you're going to need to be able to lift that up right, got you. to slide that in. And that's why we didn't sew right to the top yeah. on here so that when we're coming to this end, we can pop that on, hide that back underneath, and then you've got zero joins in this clever. and it's one continuous so that is very clever. When you start sewing, I would definitely recommend that you um, start at the end. You started pinning, yeah, and work your way around because what you can do with that as well is you can hide your starting point by going back and forth at that point, and then all the way around. And then when you finish, you'll be finishing there, and you can just go again back and forth on that little edge just to, to hide where you've started. Love it. What a lovely oh, project Just in again. time as well. I know. I'm I know. smashing it today with the demos. Well, do you know, shall we remind everybody of all those projects once again, Hayley? Because some yes. are larger yes. than yes. others. But it. to be quite honest with you, with 21 individual projects in the one day special, there's a lot of big projects here as well. 85% of the stock oh, is now gone. <laughs> we did have a lot of stock. It's been busy throughout, actually. Um, if you haven't got yours yet, if you're sitting on the fence, I wouldn't wait too long. I know we have another live show, but we do make those sales in between as well we did find that from this morning from eight o'clock it was busy at eight but by the time we came back on at 12 a lot more of the stock had gone let's go through those projects then so working with the one day special so we're covering all 21 here very very quickly are we are we doing this starting at this end shall okay, we okay go 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 okay so we have the pouch don't the we scrunch bag. with all the pockets yep, in the scrunch bag with all the pockets in and then you've got your elephant which contains your gift with purchase which is your uh, fabulous scissors and then just are. in front of that you've got your plastic pouch so that's going to teach you about working with visible zips and working with a slightly different yep. material across from that you've got your bookmarks which you're going to get three of in front of that uh, you've got the placemat sleeping on that <laughs> you've got the uh, dragon um, and then on, underneath everything that you've got there, you've got That's a fabulous quilt, panel man. with the bird on, um, which is really, really lovely. You've got your embroidoodle, which you're just holding up there. Your ouch pouch, which I know you like the name of. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I just love it. Um, and then finally, we've got the bag, which we've just done the demonstration of. I don't think yep. I've missed. Oh, <gasps> pie thing. Picnic You're just carrier. not wanting to point out the muffins, I mean, that's what it is. picnic carrier, not pie thing. Well, it could be a pie thing <laughs> because be it's, pie there's thing. two different sides. So you yeah. can have the sweet side or the savoury yeah. side. And there and we've the got bag. our bag, of course, that you've just shown us. <laughs> so that covers issue number six, I think. We might yep. have covered it all. But then, of course, with the one-day special, 
you're also getting the limited edition button fabazine as well with so many buttons i can't tell you um now then nine projects well, in here we believe we've classed batoonies as one but there are two There's separate batoonies two. so that's your yeah so that's how you get your nine. nine whichever you want yeah. to, whichever way you want to look at you it you will all get so you've got B. two batoonies the large bee and the smaller either spider hedgehog or bat we're going to yep. pop in there and then we're going to give you the necklace and if you're canny with what you do you can probably make a couple of them as well you've got your tote bag which um, has got 100 and 304 buttons in but Catherine's got a great idea for that <laughs> <laughs> you've got your crossword panel there as well with your nine hole buttons so you can create those ones that kind of stitch stitch sayings and words into them you've got your sunglasses holder so you can make those yorkshire buttons we're going to try and do yorkshire buttons in the next hour Lovely. i'll start one off so we can kind of get cracking on it and um, you've got your perpetual calendar in there as well and your clock and your did clock. i get it all yes i think it's like one of the, the was so, it the generation we, game that had the travelator did we say the button necklace? yes we i did, did that. that one right okay and you might be able to stretch <gasps> into two of those necklaces as well you know how they've made us a new counter yeah maybe they can make us one of those little travelator things and they can just go past us oh why didn't somebody think of that i don't know we've got I'll a, have a word with frisbee it. now we'll ask we will find out right now then Haley, you've got one more live hour yes so uh, uh we are gonna do uh we're gonna do the perpetual calendar again because i know that people have been asking about that and especially those self-cover buttons yeah. they want to see again so that's fine we'll do that one again and uh what else had i planned i had a list oh you, you did mention lost it my no. list i did oh. mention oh yorkshire oh, buttons, buttons. Yorkshire we'll buttons. do yorkshire buttons and if we've got time we'll try and squeeze the dragon in there as well oh we're still so nameless make sure you get your emails in with name suggestions studio at the that's for four o'clock today name. Check your baskets out as well. We are busy again on the phone lines. It's been a busy, busy hour again. Just make sure you check those baskets out. Then you will, if you're in the UK anyway, you will also get your free gift of those scissors as well, which are 10-inch scissors. Um, we've got just over five minutes left to get your happy hour deal. Many of you have gone for this as well. So make sure you grab yours. If you want more than three metres, just put, put in multiples. You get three metres anyway. So if you want six metres, put in two lots. If you want nine metres, put in three lots. And Hayley will upset Bridget and Bridget will <laughs> cut those in one continuous I'm going to take a five. video of her being angry and put it on the internet. <laughs> this is what happens when you want a one -on one <laughs> i'm not really she's very good i wouldn't you know i wouldn't be able to do any of this without bridget because she sends everything out oh bless her oh good old bridget there <laughs> well check those baskets out that's the end of uh, my presenting day today actually so i will see you again tomorrow coming up lots more though see you soon See, I'm forgetting everything. I had to think if I was in or not tomorrow. Daisy B Cross coming up next. And then we've got Domo coming up as well. Well, that looks interesting. That's where the fruit is. Celebrate is also to follow that. It's Craft Yourself Silly's eighth birthday. And join us when we're going to launch the Fabazine number no. six. 12 fantastic projects, as always. You can see some of them here. We're also launching the button fabazine as well which is one you can see up there so really excited so join us for our one day special on the 9th of april 6 p.m hello my name's stuart and i'm the managing director of oakwood archer Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter.
Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint but with me and the SAA I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. Yes, indeed, a very good afternoon to you. I hope you are well. Now, if you've been watching me on social media, I am so excited to do these shows. So I have not done one of these shows for months. And I mean months. We normally like ships passing in the night is what we usually are as we walk through to the studios. Now, I'm going to let you know now, because I want you to really shop ahead of me for this show. We've got returning favourites that have sold out in the past. We've got Dogs and the Swan, the Alphabet, sold out and gone before. We've managed to get them back for this hour as well. And we've also got brand new stamps on the show. But what are we talking about? Obviously, we're talking about Daisy B. And it wouldn't be Daisy B without our Nina and Josie. How are you girls? Hi. Hi. We're Are you well? well? Yes, yes very very well. Well. As I said, it's been months since we last worked together. It's been very upsetting. Like Every time we're just like waving to you across just the studio, yeah. I was like, Adam. <laughs> I think last time you were here, we did um, scenes. That's how long ago it oh, was. Oh, yeah, we're dads. dads. It was your dad's yeah. scenes? Yeah. That's the last time. I wish I'd got a better memory. <laughs> Nina doesn't really remember don't. the journey down. I don't. So. <laughs> Less, yeah. Uh, but we have got returning favourites. As I said in the opening, we've got returning favourites that did sell out last time yeah. and we've managed to get them back this time as well at a cracking little price. Uh, but they all work really well with the brand new ones that you've bought us. Yes. Yes, they do. I, the way I design, I do it so that everything works with each other. So a lot of these samples that you'll be showing do have a lot of the other things that are within the show as well. And that's, the, and that's what it is. It's all about value for money. Now, I'm going to show you the size of the stamps because literally the package does not do these, the size any justice because these are huge. 
Look at what you are getting. So you're getting three separate stamps is what you're getting here for £16.99. You're getting the wellies, you're getting the umbrella, and you're also getting the sentiment in there as well. But just look at what you can do. The snippability in here is absolutely phenomenal. Because not only do you get the wellies, but I'm guessing, guys, you could turn the wellies into planters if you yes. wanted to oh, as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they I don't know why gorgeous. I sounded so surprised by like, that for a really good idea. <laughs> All right, I've been doing it for a while. <laughs> Do you know what? It, I got really excited about the idea of it. it, it I thought it was a really good idea. Thank, oh, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but you could turn them into planters. So if you cut along the top or you stamp more of the daisies in there, you could go around and uh, down another route as well. The wellies would also work well. We've not got them on this show, but no doubt they're on the website with the footprints that you've bought us in the past. Yes, oh, and there yeah. are some samples yeah. of those as well. Well, Adam, you see. See? and the paw prints, there's some paw prints as well. Would you like taking work? your dog? For like taking your dog out for your wellies and your boots and things yeah. like that. But look how beautiful. They're also worked on so many different levels. For the sheer fact, whether it's weddings, whether it's birthdays, even sympathy cards. I reckon you could go down the route yeah, with these sorts of designs. Because they are, first of all, they're beautiful. And just in the black and white, yes. Yes. they're standalone images. And they're also images that would never date. Yes, it's true. They're very, um, they're very wide range, but I think they're so nice. Like, if you're not even just like a walker, I think an umbrella is sort of, is such a lovely image, and a floral umbrella just makes you think, oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Summing it up perfectly. I'm, I'm on it today. It's just that is Saturday. Editorial gold. Um, that's just nice. Just it's nice. nice. <laughs> but it is. But I'm thinking the minute I saw the umbrella, I, I came in early when we came to look at the show. I know we do check these shows out before we go live. But the umbrella itself, you could go slightly Mary Poppins esque if you wanted yeah. to with your other animals so you change the end of the handle for your mary poppins s if you want to go your little parasol you could also go quite if you took the end off you could also go beach brolly if you wanted to as well oh, with your yeah. seats that we've already got in there there are so many uses that you can use the girls are impressed yeah, yeah. there are so I'm many really uses impressed. that you've got but remember it all ties in because you've got the daisy along the top as well the snippability of the daisy on its own is still phenomenal so you do that and take away the parasol this could be a simple daisy with the stem that you've got there. Colour it in your greens and colours. And that's just one of the stamps that you've got. £16.99, 520382 is your item number. We are busy. 15% of the stock already gone. 15% of the stock has already gone. 520382 is your item number. Oh, I nearly choked then. So I'm getting excited. Calm yourself down. It's a long old hour. Now, cup of tea. This is right up my street. This is a set of stamps where you can build your own. It is absolutely stunning. So, have you bought us the teapot in the past? Yes. Very long ago, but yes. So is it still available around and about in the ether somewhere? I think so. If I've, if I've, if, yeah, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> Let's go with yeah. So, the teapot, <laughs> I should have really asked that before we came live. Uh, but you've got the, I saw the teapot on there, I thought this works well, So this works so well together. For the sheer fact, let me show you the size of the stamps that you're actually getting and then I'll show you uh, some of the ideas and the um, cards that I've got here. It's all broken down, which, it, which is a nice way of saying you can be the artist. It's down to you how you want to put this together. It would have been quite easy for the girls to put uh, the spoon on top of the, uh, the cup and saucer, as it were, or put the roses on there. But then you're limited on where you can use it. With this, you have got as much scope as you want to go there. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, for the sheer fact, once again, plain and simple cards, yep. just stamped yep. out and coloured in, really work with this. Yes, definitely. I mean, you could throw a tea bag at it. I, yeah, like, you know a, tea, I mean? like a tea stand there bag, yeah. and just get really creative with a tea bag, <laughs> and then put your <laughs> put yeah. your teacup on there. I, I think it'll look. I think it'll look nice. Well, it would, like, and, and it's yeah. not. It's like it's kid friendly, and I mean that in the nicest possible way because everyone knows. All kids know a cup and saucer. They all know. Yeah. They all know a cup of tea. So if you literally stamp it out, so you sort of know like your, your beauties and the beast and your little chips. And your Mrs. Potts, the teapot, yeah. you could oh, go yeah. down that route as well if you wanted to, because the way the stamp is laid out, you could go in with your black pen around the edge and fill in the back of the cup if you wanted to, and just leave that tiny little cup, a uh, little, little chip out of it. Other famous cups are available. I have to say it, but I can't think of any. Uh, <laughs> so, the teapots, uh, the cup and saucers. Uh, but then you can also go in with your roses as well. But once again, you could use them as standalone roses. 
You could use these in the corners if you wanted to. Imagine this on the front of your envelope when you send your card. Or just on the back, and it's got that little hint in there. Mother's Day cards, Remembrance cards, all really work together. And once again, this could have been done in your journal, and you've just added it on with the sentiments that I've also got on the show as well, your letters. The backgrounds could be one of your mop-ups if you wanted it to be. Yes. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it could. Uh, yes, so, Adam. From, the, from, wow. there, from there, you can carry on. But it would also work for your great British tea parties. So if you've got, <laughs> uh, if you're having uh, uh, garden parties or if you're having tea parties out in the garden, these would make perfect invitations as well. There is so many ideas that you can come along with this. Even sending someone a little letter, a little notelet saying, Thinking of you, have a drink on me, just with like a little tea bag in there and a little handwritten note or little notelets. There is so many ideas that you can do once you get this home. £16.99. 259086 is your item number. Very busy once again on the brand new set. 15% of the stock has already gone here as well. Uh, and you're also getting eight stamps is what you're also getting on this. Right, there are your brand news. Very busy on those. Now we've got returning favourites on the show. Now, I've not seen these for a while, uh, but last time they were here, they literally flew out of the door. First of all, look at the price, £31.98. You're getting 14 stamps in total. 14 stamps in total, but why pay £31.98? I can make that price better for you. I'll put it on a little, a little freedom for you. You're £28.78 today, and these stamps are huge. They are absolutely Massive is what you're getting in here. Um, I reckon with these, whether you're a dog lover or not, these would work with anything you've already got in your collection. Definitely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. As we've said, we've got that. I'm going to take this one, Joe, because I only said yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like I need to maybe input slightly more <laughs> on this one. So yes, we have the uh, <laughs> we have the footprints that you could use alongside them. And I thought, you know, you could maybe put the little dog coming out of the teacup. <gasps> That That'd would be, be nice because you a teacup pup. Yes. I yeah. like that, Ross. Well done. Uh, so, but look at the size of the stamps that you're getting. They are absolutely huge. And I like the way you get the dogs in the different styles. So you can do different cards with them. I'll show you the dogs first and then I'll show you some of the samples uh, that you're getting. Uh, because the stamps are absolutely gorgeous but then once again think about fussy cutting stamp it out and you've got that beautiful butterfly design on the nose so stamp it out and then stamp another one and cut out that butterfly to give you that 3d element that you've already got in there uh, from there uh, we've also then uh, got the dogs and your little paw prints as well i absolutely adore these i, I think really you, really do you see like because there's such a wide range of dogs i think you can Regardless of what dog you've got, you'll probably see a little bit of your own dog in one of the designs. That's true, yeah. So it's like, because you've got like long hair dogs like that one, like Nina's doggy, Scrap, that looks like a little, what is he? A lot scrap, so. so. But he could also be like a like a spaniel or things like that with the fluffy ears. Ah, is, that, is, is he a little other rap suit? Yeah. He is, yes. He's oh, a little other rap suit, crossed with a poodle. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but look, once again, it shows how easy they are to colour in. Literally going in with a bit of pencil, you haven't got to go all out on these ones because the detail is all in there for you. The detail has been done uh, for you as well. Uh, simply in your black and whites, I adore this card. Look how beautiful that is. Really simplistic. But if you went to buy that in a shop, that would cost you a fortune. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. It really, really would. Uh, once again, look at that in a frame. You pop that in a little box frame, you are good to go. How beautiful. Or oh, shrink plastic. Oh, yeah. That's shrink oh, them down. Oh, you could make some little earrings. You could. I little could earrings. have little Delilah earrings. Yeah. 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 It would be beautiful. But you've got all these options. And you've got little mouse as well. Yeah. Uh, as, uh, just to sleep on top of the head. But imagine this now as a bookmark. Imagine this in your scrapbooks. Imagine stamping it on the side and cutting it out and using it as an actual tab for your book itself. For the back of an envelope. Stamp it, cut it out in the back of an envelope, and that is the bit that you lick and stick on the envelope, as it were, uh, just on the back. Absolutely beautiful. The circles we've also got on the show as well. Uh, there are so many samples, but I adore the way. You're not afraid of white space, are you? This is what I love. I absolutely love white space. I just think there's something 
you know, I spend this time designing, you know, these lovely designs and I think that it just gives it that, I don't know, that pop when there is a lot of white space. It really is. Uh, maybe you can use scrapbook pages. Yeah, that, this were my, that, that were my input to the dogs, were the scrapbook page, because my fluffy doggy is quite large, so it needed to be a large scrapbook page to get her face really, on it. It really works, though, doesn't it? It really, really works. So you can go from cards to scrapbooks as well and everything in between. Uh, all of this for £28 and 78 pence. It's very, very busy. A third of the stock has already gone here again. It was busy last time, it's busy again. If you're not a Freedom member, I would urge you to become one now. Um, I can't tell you why, but I know what's coming up. I did the voiceover yesterday. Uh, so I'd urge you to become a Freedom member. Um, 28 pounds and 78 pence, you can't go wrong. 14 stamp sets is what we're looking at. Uh, something else that sold out last time it was brought to air, we've managed to get it back, is this swan. This is absolutely stunning. And look at the size that you are getting in this. This works with the teak, uh, works with the umbrella because you've got the same daisy that's on oh, the umbrella. Yeah, yeah. Also works with the swan as well. Um, I love the doodles that you've got in the swan because you could take the swan's head up and literally just have it as like a little meadow. Yeah, it'd look gorgeous like that. Yeah, you could stamp it along the bottom of a, of a nice long box frame. Yeah, yeah it'd be That'd absolutely be really Stunning. Uh, but everything's separate, so it's down to you how you want to use all the elements that you've got in here. Let me show you some of the samples uh, that we've got as well. Uh, we'll only go through a few come conscious of the time. Uh, but once again, if you're thinking, well, the swans are well and good, but what do I do with all the other elements? Start turning it into cards like this. How beautiful is that? And then you could also go to this. Now we're sort of moving into the realms of mixed media because we're using other genres that's in there. This is stunning. But once again, very easy to do. Really, that were really, really simple to do. And I enjoyed scrunching it up as well. I stamped it and then I scrunched it up and I just enjoyed that feeling of, yeah, getting scrunchy. <laughs> <laughs> getting scrunchy. Getting scrunchy with the artwork. I, lo I love it though, but look how different they look. Brit's the same stamp. That's what I can't get over. It's exactly the same stamp. I adore them. I really, really do. Uh, last and final one, I might as well show them all. I uh, love them all. I really do. £15.99. pence. It sold out last time it was here. I've managed to get it back in stock this time. Uh, 876557 is your item number. £15.99 for three stamps. Uh, moving on down. Two more to go and then we'll go to demo. Uh, alphabet. <coughs> Excuse me. Your alphabet that we've got here. Once again, you are getting a full alphabet and you're also getting your numbers as well. This is good for your journals, it's good for your diaries because you've got things like uh, anniversary, birthdays, uh, to-do lists and it's also a readable font. Yes, it yeah. is and there's a little space in the middle for you to be able to do pop a little bit of colour or a little bit of your dry clear glue and some glitter on there as well. I love these. So if you just want to add that hint of colour, uh, you can see the colour. Let me show you the size of the stamps that you're actually getting themselves. Uh, so they are the size. So they're a good size. They could be a staple piece on their own yeah. if yeah. you wanted them just on the fronts of the cards. You've got that space each in individual letters to add your glitters, to add your colours. But once again, just going in with a few of your stamps that you've already got there. How stunning are these? Once again, lovely cards to do but everything really works. So the teacups that you've seen before. Uh, is that the Celtic lady dancing? Uh, that's our Blossom. We've oh. got a Blossom stamp and she's, she's like a mix and match one again, a bit like the teacup. So that's why we've popped the dress on. I like that's it, I love flowers. this. It really, really works. Uh, then going for your big birthdays, because you've got all the numbers, you can do all the birthdays that you wanted to do. Uh, I love the, once again, they would cost you a fortune out in the shops if you were going to go and buy them. Uh, simply cut them out, simply stamp them and just have them as names. Uh, nice for shows as well. Can you make to sell with these? Yeah. yeah uh, again, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. That, that sums out everything. There's nothing else to add on that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So you make can your money that. back. Yeah. You could make to sell with these. Uh, £27.99, one six eight five five four is your item number. Once again, another returning favourite. I've left my card all work there. Uh, this is the Celebration Circle. Now, this was made for a reason, wasn't it? For the sheer fact you've done all the sentiments and the circles so they all fit together. Yes, they do. I just thought it was a 
super, um, I don't know, just a super good idea to have this big punchy circle with your sentiments and then another one that would go just sort of like, I don't know, a bit like a signature across. I love them. Basically, the, I the idea behind it was if you're not into matting and layering, you can make it look like you've matted and layered without doing it by just, you could paint like the, or ink the outside of the circle in one colour, the inside in another colour, and it almost looks like you've, you've done that. You've done your mountain layering, layer without, yeah. you, without you really doing anything yeah. at all. Uh, with the circle as well, it's, a, it's a, a good old circle that you're getting. But once again, cards like this, I think this was one of the first shows I ever did when you bought the elephant, um, that I worked with you with. But it's cards like this that, I, that always stick in my mind. If you want to go, and if you're new to the world of crafting, things like this are easy, because you go with your thing with your water and just try your bleeding techniques. Yes. Yep. Yeah. All the work has been done for you in the stamps. The girls have done all the work for you. All you literally have to do is get it home and enjoy it. That's all you have to do. And if anything goes wrong, the snippability in these is still phenomenal. Because you can then cut that circle down and use it on other projects. And it's also going to work with every single stamp I've showed you on today's show as well. £19.99, pence, 591-765 is your item number. Right then, we'll set up for a demonstration. While we'll do that, uh, jump to the website. It's the quickest and the easiest place to go. Thecraftstore.com is what you're looking at on the website. You'll see everything that's already on there as well. Um, everything's on the show. Don't remember to forget, forget, don't forget even to shop by brand. Don't remember to forget. Uh, don't, remember, don't forget to shop by brand. There's more on the website as well, not just what I've got on my show. There is loads more on the website. So if you do like some of the stamps that you're already seeing, uh, shop by the brands because you've got the big butterflies on there. Uh, you've also got the, uh, the Dancing Lady that's on there as well. Ooh, nice little dancing lady. You've got the moon on there. Um, no, there's the dogs. Look, you've got the doggies on there. I like the doggies. Uh, the cameras, they would also work well with your teacups and your umbrellas and things like that. Uh, there's so many more things on the website, so do shop by brand if I was you. Right then, let's get to a demonstration with Anina. Uh, what are we up to first? Right, so I'm going to be doing this beautiful card. Um, with I'm a doily girl. Love a doily. Just I don't see you as a doily girl. I know, but I like it in this. I don't have doilies at home, but I have them in the cards. Oh, that makes sense. Yes, yes. Uh, so, yeah, I really like the doilies, and then there's a little pearl accent. So, um, I've done a few, you know, this is where I prepared earlier, so we're not going to see a lot of me standing and colouring. But I just wanted to show you sort of how we make this card up. So, in your, you've got your pack, and we're going to take the teacup. Now, I'm going to use Versafine uh, on its black. Now, I want to use the black. Normally, I like the smoky grey when I'm working on like a white card. But for this one, um, it just stands out a lot better. Um, well, pop it there. Right, so we're going to just give that a good press down. So, yes, we do it in the darker one so that it stands out more on the craft card. And I'm going to give that a good press down because I think... I don't know about you, Adam. Have Go you on. used craft card often? No, I'm, I'm just starting with watercolour card. I, I only stick to the one at the moment. I just feel like it's a bit more absorbent. So, you know, so okay. when you're pressing your, you know, you're using your inks, I feel like they're soaking a little bit more. Whether that's true or not, but that's what I'm finding. You so, yeah. So it gives you that quick look at that. A though. good, nice, crisp image if you give it a good press down. So then we're going to take the, um, the teaspoon um, and just swap that out. There we go, look. And it's got your little lines there. So you, all you're going to do is just line that up on top. So again, go in with the black. I try not to get my fingers in the ink because I've done it. Light. There's nothing worse is there than creating a beautiful card and then looking back and thinking, yep, there's the thumbprint. So right in the middle as well. It's not even hideable. No, that's it. You can't even pop a little ladybug over no. it, can you? It's so we'll give that a good, another good press down. And I'm going to do all the elements now. So we're going to go in with... Also, the spoon section has the little string for the tea bag. Yes, yes. Oh. It's already, it's, it's prepped. It's prepped. And then you've got your little... I've stamped that out separately onto white card. Then it's a bit punchy, you know, but it stands oh, out. Yeah. So then we're going to go in with the your tea rific. Just a bit of a pun. And we've got your beautiful in there as well. Oh, someone's having a good day in the office. There we go. Could you, do you think you could actually put a real tea bag on the end of that string? If you put a string on it? Maybe. You could try. There you go. Yeah. You got, well, you've got to try things, haven't you? Give it, go, give it a little go. 
So a bit of loose tea in an organza bag. Yeah, that. Oh yeah, that would be. Oh, that's posh loose tea. Well, loose tea. Some leaves. <laughs> well, you see, I have loose tea in my house, but it's only when the bag splits. Yes, me too. And then they float in the top, and you yeah. try and scoop them out. Really. It's no good, is it? No. Super strong. Right. So there you have your lovely images. And I would also, just as a side tip, if you're going to use craft card, use a very juicy ink pad. Because if it's, you know, if it's one of those that you're getting to the last bits, you're just not going to get a clear image out of it. Top and it's tip. not your stamp, it's your ink pad. pad. Right. So I'm going in with some Prismas. Um, and I've just got, I love these colours. I just think they're so, so super classy. It, it, it's all of your blue, it makes it look a bit like Ming esque. Yes. Sort of your Ming, that sort of yeah. blues and whites. So all I'm going to do, I'm just showing you one little row of this. Because um, you can really get, I mean, as a child, I absolutely loved colouring books. Maybe that's why I do my stamps so large. Do you think? Because you used to like colour? Well, yeah. The, but is it, um, another reason why it's good to have them large, for the sheer fact, if you do like colouring in, there's nothing worse than getting a, a beautiful stamp, but it's so small you can't colour it. Exactly. Yeah. You've got like, your pencil end won't even fit in to colour in, and you end up going over the lines and it don't look as good. But with these, at least you know you'll be able to colour them in. Yeah, you've got to have a, a nice amount of space for that lovely colour. So can you see how I've done that there? I went with the darker one first on the outside and then went in with the very pale blue on the inside. And where you haven't got any colour at all, it sort of shines through that white, so it looks like it's a shiny teacup. Mm -hmm. So when you've done all of it, it will come out shiny. And just, I mean, the this colour, the gold, really does stand out. So, you know, it's you've nice. got your gel pens, um, your gold paint, but to add a little bit of the gold to your teacup, again, it's just really, I don't know if you can get that. Yeah, we can see that. Shimmer. But yeah, I just think it's a really nice look. And to finish it off, just using a white pen and just go over the top. The Posca pen. Yeah, just, That's you can nice. see then you're bringing that little added shine. So I'm going to bring the one that I've done earlier because we have got two more demos. So we're wanting to um, bring a little bit of something for everybody. And I've just gone in with a pro marker. Okay. Um, and just to deepen that colour round the top we're just going to go back over one more time um, because pro markers although they, they don't come across really dark on your craft card you can still use them on there nice, um, right so we'll just go over with the posca oh i've done that i've already done it what i'm ahead done, eh? i'm ahead. ahead right so we'll add our little see this even says you're terrific on the bag so everything matches yes everything matches so we're going to pop that down Oh, oh, the right way, Nina. Been up since I've Even your little tea bag in shrink plastic would look cute. Oh, yeah. I mean, the teacup in shrink plastic. That would look plastic nice. Plastic would look lovely, wouldn't it? That would look good. Right, so we're going to start popping our elements together. We need to bring in, we'll swap this again. I'm dicing it here, look, though, with me. Should have brought some baby wipes. Do you want to, there's a, there's a jumper down there if you want to use it. <laughs> yeah. I quite like that. <laughs> right, we'll I'm go going get you some. Distress ink for this corner, and I've gone for the colour of tea. You know. Oh, have you gone tea? tea? Oh, I've gone tea coloured. They it's... don't just throw these show together, these girls. Yeah, brushed corduroy. Oh. So you know everything's matching, um, and we're just going to go in the corners. This little border, I did. I drew everything, and then I was think. I, I looked at it as the set, and I thought, ah, I think it needs just a little bit of something else. So this was my, uh, the last element to go in, and I love it. I think I will use this on a lot of cards. Well, you could extend this as well, I think. If you ink up just one of the strips on the side, I reckon you could repeat this quite easily. Yes, yeah, definitely. It'd look lovely. So, just going round the and edges. It really does match. It matches beautifully with the teacup that you've got in there. And if you're lucky enough to have the teapot as well. Yes. That teapot I did about four years ago. Designed that, if not later. Uh, sorry, if not earlier, should I say. Right. So, 
a third of the stock of one lump or two. Your stamp set has now already gone. If you want your tea set, a third of the stock has now already gone. Um, look at this, though, with your glossy accents that you've got on there as well. Absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. And I reckon as well, I know what you crafters are like, you like magpies. Um, anything you see, you keep. But things like your wooden spoons that you get, you could snap off the ends and just use the handles in replacement of the, the, the teaspoon that you've got Ooh, there. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. There we go, look. So we've added our uh, doilies, doily element, and then we're going to pop that in the middle. So for, for ease, I'm using a little bit of glossy accents to stick that down. Um, as another little tip, you know, if you're using your uh, glossy accents or your dries clear, you have got a little bit of time to move your card around as opposed to your card. I didn't realise you could glue with glossy accents. Yeah, oh, oh yes, it glues the fingers brilliantly. It does. So, what we're going to do now, I'm going to go in and make the tea glossy. Let's do it like the one I've got here. Yes, let's make the tea glossy. So we're going to go just on the inside there. You've got to love a bit of glossy accents. It's, I don't know, it's, it, it makes everything. It Do really glossy does. accents dry clear? Yes. Is that, and then you get the colour underneath, that's what makes it glossy? Yes. Oh. So okay. if you're wanting to add a little sprinkle of glitter in there as well, just a real pinch, just a pinch. Oh, that would look really tea. pretty. It's like a fairy tea. Little fairy yes. tea. Yes. So I'm just going to finish off by adding a little bit of the gold into the love hearts. And I think that's a really... Gorgeous card. I'm trying to avoid the glossy accents now, you see. So that's it. I am clumsy. So I would put my hand straight in there. Is there anywhere that there we, we could get more inspiration from for these cards? Are you on the socials? Are you on the... Yes. Oh, yes. They're at oh. Socials. Are you on the socials? I feel about 21. Where, um, <laughs> where, do, where would we find you for more inspiration? Facebook. I do a lot of YouTube demos and um, we're on Instagram as well. So all three, really. What, what, what do we search? Oh, that would be really beneficial, wouldn't it? Uh, look for Daisy B Crafts. <laughs> Daisy B Crafts, uh, and it is good. Their, their, their lives are amazing. I tune in every now and then. I pop in, um, you do. and you do get. I do. We it's spoke, lovely. It's I so do. nice. I throw myself in there. I have a little watch <laughs> of see what's going on. Basically, they just gossip for an hour. Is all they really do with a little card thrown in every now and then. Uh, but it's fun, and you are get so many inspirations and so many ideas as well from all the techniques, from all the stamps that we bought of you. Well, let me take you through the brand new stamps. Um, we'll get over and we we'll get over to another demo is what we're going to get over to. So what we're looking at here is we are looking at the brand new set of stamps from Daisy B. These are your blooming beautiful is what they are. Uh, you've got your wellies, you've got your parasol and you've also got your sentiment in there as well. Look at the size of what you're using uh, on these. Let me show you on card form so you can see the size that you're actually getting uh, and the size of the wellies. Uh, of these ones just here as well. Beautiful, beautiful inspiration, beautiful cards, even with the splatters that you've got going on there. Just in the black and white and a tiny bit of shading works really well. We are very, very busy for these at the moment. A third of the stock has now already gone of the Blooming Beautiful. Three stamps in total, but by Jove, they are big old stamps. 520382 is your item number, brand new today. Then we've got one lump or two is what we're looking at next. This is your tea set, is what we've just seen Hanina do. Uh, this time, you are getting your... I love this element in here. It sort of reminds me of cake fondant. You know when you see uh, you got uh, wedding cakes and things like that and you get little roses made of uh, icing? That's why it's absolutely stunning. That on its own would be beautiful on a card. But then you've also got the butterfly. So you could just use the butterfly and the roses element if you wanted to. But then obviously you've got the teacup, you've got the doily in there. Uh, you've also got your sentiments in there as well. All these eight stamps for £16.99. Shall I show you the size? 40% uh, of the stock has already gone. 40% of the stock has already gone here. 259086 is your item number. And you are absolutely loving the dogs. Wishes and Wings, two-thirds of the stock has already gone here. Again, already. It's been bought back by popular demand. 
Uh, you've seen the price, you think £31.98 I like, then you see the freedom price that you've got on this as well, £12.20 savings, so it's £28.78 and pence today, free delivery, and you're getting 14 large stamps is what you'll be getting, journaling, scrapbooking, it's entirely up to you what you're going to do with them, but I think you'll be reaching for them every single day, I think you're going to absolutely love them, even if you literally just love colouring in. Stamp and colour, there is so many techniques that you can learn when you get to these home. Just look at some of the finished samples that you're looking at here. 473110 is your item number. £28.78, a £12.20 saving if you're a Freedom member. Uh, and it's free delivery as well. So you really can't go wrong with this little deal. Been busy in the past, it's busy again today. The Swan is also busy as well. Um, check out the website, as says the circle of the alphabet, the whole show is really, really busy. Uh, but let's go back for another demonstration. This time, uh, we're going to our Josie. What are we up to, Josie? Uh, I'm going to use the Swan today. <gasps> nice. So I didn't get to use it last time, and I've used it a bit in between, and I, I like it, she's, she's quirky. So, this is, this is like this way. This is what we're working with. And oh, I've gone pastels, and it's, I'm not normally a pastel person, I'll be honest. Faze, you pastel gal. Whereas I like, I like your bright colours. So I've already stamped out my swan and cut it out just so that we can save a little bit of time. So okay. that's all I've done. But it's really simple because there's nothing really fiddly to cut out. So I'm getting my. Now, this is, I'm, I'm very new to pro markers. Dad were like, I feel like we need something, something different, something that either everybody can use. Like, oh, let's try pro markers. It didn't go well for me to didn't start it? with, no, because I, I didn't understand them. I couldn't get pro oh, markers. Okay. But now I'm like, oh, I can work with this. So all I'm just going to do is now you're best of buddies. Yeah. Now I mean, I'm definitely no, no expert compared to some people. With like Nina's really good. She can add like depth and all sorts I just like like bop it on like it's a Crayola to be honest but so I'm just going in other other crayons, other crayons are, are available yeah. I don't know any others but pro markers pro markers yeah and uh, Wilkinson's own Wilkinson's own do like a Wilkinson's own like all pens they're all good I've got way too many right so just checking I've got my right colors right what I'm doing with my grey, I keep moving it out and I know that they're trying to zoom in the camera. There. Right, so I'm just going to go around his bonds. Head. Head. Around his head. Around his bonds, <laughs> yeah. Go around his bonds. I'm really sorry. You do realise we're on the telly, don't you, Jess? You do know we're on the telly box. <laughs> we're, we're global. I'm, I'm very global big, I'm just I'm very big in Australia and you're, you're bumped. Go around his bumps. I'm That's really head, sorry. everyone. Go around, head. The, go around the swan's head. Please don't forget, I'm from Barnsley, so it, it, That's no excuse. It does come out every now and again. I've got no. I've come over all embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. Right. So I'm just going in, and it's it's really quick. So I'm just going. I didn't call it. Really quick. And I'm just using these colours because I've got corresponding, that's a big word for me, corresponding watercolours. Oh. And I'm going to do a very delicate, again, I'm, I like doing a big, colourful, bright splats of this one, whereas the splats that were going on this next one are very delicate. And that's, that's new to me, but I thought it'll work because the swan's very graceful and elegant. Well, it can be, otherwise, or you could turn it quite grungy, I feel, if you wanted to yes. as well. Do you know what? I think if I, at the minute, we're, we're so super busy and we're so grateful for that, but I think if I had more time, I'd love to work with things and make them grungy. That would be one of the, one of the techniques that I would love to have more time to work with. Because it's almost like everything's, nothing's in, like wrong. You can sort of work with anything that you want to do. Very true. So, I'm just going to go and add... Little this bit. is a stamp as well, as well as the teapot really, and the umbrella, I should have said this earlier, that would look beautiful if you stamped it onto calico and then um, sewed through it. Oh, yeah. What, like embroidery? Like, yeah, a little bit of embroidery, yeah. Oh. I'm throwing things a around. A little French knot in the middle of them flowers. A little daisy chain. 
You sound really professional about sewing. Do you, do you sew? That's my job, Joe. No, not professional about <laughs> sewing, I but I mean, do you actually oh, no, sew? I've, do, I've done a lot of shows. Right. I've done a lot of so, I've done a lot of sewing shows, and obviously you pick up the technique standing and listening. I'd an love. I would love to cross stitch. Like I'd, again, I keep saying I'd love to have time to do things, but I don't. Right. She, she's very busy. I'm very busy, but very I love. Busy. I absolutely love my job. And I get to do this. So I'm just adding, this is what Nina taught me. So because these daisies are going to be white, you just add a little bit of grey at the base, like so. Just a little bit. And then leave it a second. And then you go a little bit deeper at the base again, but not as far down as the first time. Little bit, little bit. You see, and then it makes it look like they're actually... Oh, that's good. White. And then, if you go in with a blender pen, I found this out, you can just drag it a little bit more, blend it like this, and it looks very like you've got a daisy. Well, this is nice. Look, daisy. Look, when you zoom in, it makes it look really good. I'm, my eyes are, like, not very good, so I can't see it as well. As you can on the telly. That's, that's that's Jimmy's job as well to make things look good. I know, and you're all very good at your jobs. <laughs> <laughs> you're all I very good. I produce well. It's, yeah, I produce. It's another story, but you know, we've got Ross today. He's the best in his price bracket. <laughs> you're all very good. We're all, you're all you all make a wonderful team. I want to say wonderful and fabulous together then, but that didn't. It no, didn't... say it. We love fabulous. I know, but I, I mixed the two words and it didn't actually come out as English in my head. Oh. So I'm glad that my brain could compute a bit quicker than my mouth. This is quite quick, though, of sort of bringing it together, isn't it? If you wanted to make a quick and simple card, you could just pick out some of the flowers or you could go real to detail and to town yeah, with exactly. the design that you've got in there. So, like, if I were going to possibly, with a little bit more time, um, I like to watercolour ombre. And that's that's something I can do. I can't definitely can't master the watercolor. Uh, sorry, the ombre in the Pro Mac. As yeah, I have had a try, um, and it didn't go as well as I wanted. But again, we're all learning. That's why I always say it like I'm I'm still learning with everybody else. Every time I come on TV, it's probably a different technique that I've learnt recently. I so we do forget though, you're still new to this, isn't you? In in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, I've definitely not been around very I mean it's a while now, but definitely didn't we used to manufacture stamps and I'd be like, I just don't get it. I can't I can't see how I would use that. What is it three years? Uh, yeah about yeah about I think that. it was a year I've been here nearly two and when we first worked together you just more or yeah, less just started just about a year. a year ago. So it must have gone up three years. Yeah. But now I, I totally get the bug. I do. Like I, sometimes I get itchy fingers. Like when Nina's crafting, and I'm like, I want to be crafting, and I'm not. I'm going to the post office or something like businessy. Aww. Right. So I've already <laughs> pre-done my mirror card. Just realised you can just see my face. Mirror card and that. So I've got this is where my 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 blodgy splodgy bits come in. Oh, and I've just realised what I need. That. There's been a massive insight into your life, Nina's crafting it, you're just in the post office. She'll tell you, honestly, I, I queue for hours going at post office and Nina's well at home making a dinner by the time I get home from work. <laughs> or like... She honestly runs around like a proverbial fly, but she's busy in herself and manufacturing and I just sit there and a bit of stamping, a little bit of colouring. Honestly, it's unbelievable. Faye's obviously been on, been on maternity leave, so I've had Dad who's been helping me, and he's been fabulous. Like, I really, really couldn't have done it without him. He's been like my little little, little worker bee. Oh, I said I'm going to him, buy him like some elf ears and stuff, because it, that's... But it's just been manic. It's bless been you. absolutely mad. What so did I've, you do then? Sorry, we missed that, because we were chatting. Oh, sorry. I've just used um, one of the sentiments from a previous set, because I wanted it to be a little bit more um, specific rather than the graceful. Because yep. I love the graceful, but I wanted it to be more personalised by saying, you are adored. Aww. So I'm just heating that up, she says. 
There we go. There we go. There we go, look at that. <coughs> I like this colour because I was searching around for it as silver and I couldn't find it. So I was like, let's work with a, a similar silver. So I've got, as you can see, I've gone very similar to my Pro Micro colours. And we're just going to get me a little water pen. Just, just, this is where it could all go. I'm going to stand back a bit. So we're just. Oh, I don't know why I stand back on that. I don't you know what? I actually saw you stand back then. I was like, my range isn't that good. <laughs> So, just add some, this one at a time up, Joseph. This does go everywhere, though, doesn't it? So, it's not going out. There we go. Ooh. So, just so delicate. Come on. I um, tried this the other day, and it was all up the wall. It was everywhere in the dining room. Everywhere. Do you know what? You don't realise. I don't realise. I do like, <laughs> if I actually get to do some crafting, this is my, this is my go-to. So, I do this. And I'll get home and I'm like, it's all on my glasses. I'm driving home thinking, are they purple clouds? Or is that just... I don't, you need a, a, a big old... A, just be careful. If you're doing splats, that's all I can warn. Just be careful. It was everywhere. Yeah, but it's good, though. It was fun. I thoroughly enjoyed Ooh. it, but I didn't enjoy the tidy up after. I just don't tidy up. Mostly because Nina's desk is a absolute tip anyway so I don't I don't bother tidying up if I've been on Nina's desk because it's probably actually tidier than when she left it. This is true Josie actually amongst her other jobs will tidy the desk. Oh, so apart from the post office she tidies your desk. desk while you're also just, sticking colour in. <laughs> just in case anybody actually thinks every aspect of, of stamp manufacturing is done by me there's nothing that we outsource it's all done by us so from Artwork to posting it out to printing your inserts, it's all done like in house by me. So oh. if you've got any complaints, please don't complain. I said never complain because you're and on your own by the sounds of it. I am. It's a, I'm a, I'm must a one be a woman union show. You can go to. I think so. I think there should be. I've just realised that I used an old piece of scrap card. And but it, makes, it just shows though, don't waste anything. No, we don't. We're no wastage. So I'm going to pop that on there. But no, we have so many lovely, lovely customers and they just, they're so joyful and we just, that's why we do as little crafty weekends where we, we do a card together and it's just, um, we're actually using the tea set at the end of this month as our like crafty craft along, crafty craft along. Um, and it's just, it's lovely and it, it really is nice. We've got like a lovely group. So if you're getting a tea set, where do we find the, uh, the, the, the joining along as it were? Uh, it's on our Facebook. Okay, so it'll be on there. And we go live on YouTube as well. Oh, so it's on go. both. So if you're going for the uh, teapot set today, one lump or two, yeah. uh, you can do that. Just keep your eyes out on yeah. the socials. Um, and you can you can sort of have a little go along as well. If you're thinking, if you're struggling for ideas, yeah. uh, you could go along and have a little, have a little go. Yeah, because normally Nina will do one or two. Might, if it's a big sample with it, it'll just be one. Um, and then I'll probably use it as well. So there's two, two ideas again, brand new ideas there. So. No, that's good to know. It's good to know. So, uh, so we're very busy um, and we haven't got that long left. We've only got about 11 minutes left of the show. Oh, I'm going to throw Nina on really quick. Wait. Wait for me. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do it to me. I want the, Nina's next demo is really nice. You'll like okay. it. So I'm, I'm rushing. I wouldn't have glued if I'd have known that I'd have well, that short no, on time. No, it's fine. Don't rush. Don't We've got ages. You've just said I had 11 minutes. That's not We ages. do, but don't worry. But I don't I think this card is, somewhere else. Is, is fabulous. So. Uh, Ross is saying because you go to the post office, you can have an extra minute. Oh, thank you. Thanks. So now you've got nine minutes. That's actual stressful times. Right, where have I just put that? That's what I want. Really quick. This is why as cards fall off, because I'm always doing it on a... I feel like I've got the... Dun, 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 dun. Other, other noisy clocks are available as well and other, on other channels. Big Ben. And... Like a ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I can see why they leave you to work on your own, to be honest. <laughs> I can literally see why they're like, yeah, go on, Joyce, you do all that. Go on, gets her out of the house, doesn't it? Gets her out of the house. <laughs> so... Walking around, making the clock right, noises. Right, so... 
There we go. You, you've killed me off today, Adam. This, right, so I'm going to move really quick. There are your swan cards, and if I... Oh, no, don't, 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 don't <laughs> So... Bless her. It's like, go now. No one will see. No one will see. It's like smooth. <laughs> right, uh, we are looking at the swan details is what we're looking at. £15.99. pence. Oh, she must be manic in the post office, running a muck. Uh, I bet pension days from when you're there. Uh, 876557 is your item number. £15.99. and pence. Just to show you the size of the stamp one more time. Uh, there is the size of the stamp. Uh, jump to the website. Everything's on the website as well. You can see all the stuff that's on there. We're still very busy for the dogs as well. Over two thirds of the dog stamps now have already gone. You've got your swan, you've got your alphabet on there. You've also got your circle sentiment stamps uh, with your circle. Become a freedom member as well for £7.00 and 97 pence than anything you buy. More than three things are across the month. Uh, freedom pays for itself, uh, to be honest. Right then, we've got about 20 minutes left uh, to go. We haven't really, we've got nine. Uh, we've, got, we've got about nine minutes left, so let's see if we can cram in another demo as well. What are we up to this time? Right. So, because, you know, time constraints and yeah, such, that's fine. Um, I'm not going to be stamping out the dog and the wellies, but I have previously stamped them out and coloured them. Not I'm just, I'll just show you how I'm going to pop this together then, really, and how I will be using the very uber useful, don't fall off, um, numbers. So... What have you used to colour them in? Sorry to keep chipping um, in. No, no, that's fine. So we've used, um, it's a bit of a, it's a, bit bit of a combination, actually. We've got some uh, Ganzai Tambi watercolours. Um, this is um, a beautiful, I did that with a, you know, the old palette knife on there. Oh yeah. It's very, very sparkly. You can barely see it, but it's like a, a unicorn sparkle there, paste. Nice. Uh, and we've gone for pro markers on Mr. Pooch. Beautiful. Or Mrs. Pooch. So, here we go. Let's take uh, that off there. So I had lined them up, but Josie's, uh, she's chatted. She's chatted too far, hasn't she? I love that one. She got lost. I'm excited about crafting. Right, I had to have a fresh packet at You've work. I had to. to hang my head low and ask for a fresh packet because oh. I said, look, I'm going on TV and people are either going to be 74 or 47 because, yeah. you know, that's all that was left. So uh, we'll go, we're going to, we'll stick with 26 because, you know, then I have two cards for Josie when she turns for her next birthday. This is true. Yeah. This right. is true. So you could do it a couple of ways. We'll pop them down that way. You How are you going to do it? and then just save it so she gets the same card later on. You can Oh, that's such a good idea. There. Can you see how we did that? So I've lined them up on the glass mat and then, and then took the... Yes, and then they're nice and neat. So we'll stamp... Again, we'll go in with the onyx black. Some Will there be more fonts in this collection, do we think, of the numbers and the letters, or...? I'd like there to be. Okay. We actually have some that are available on your website. Oh, do we? Yeah, we have the um, Amazer bet, which is basically the planer bet, but with already fancy bits added on. Nice. Um, and you have the flora bet, which is, well, it explains itself. It's a little bit more <laughs> floaty and floral. Oh, that would be nice. So if you're going for the flora bet, uh, that'd be nice with your teapot and your teacup. Yeah. You've got the florals on there as well. Oh, check out the website, craftstore.com. So we're going to go for On Your in the set. See, it's so handy, this set. You know, you've got, they've got the little, the little add-ons. So you've got On Your, then we'll go for a... You've the got the ordinals. Sound. The and your yes. I'm still deep in the phonics at home, so uh, everything's a... T and a h oh, and the, the thumbprint. Classic thumbprint. Classic. Yes. Got to fly over that. <laughs> well, uh, which would go perfectly. It would do. It'd fit lovely. Yes, and if you look on the website, we've got amazing bugs that are perfect fillers for those. There you go, look. Yeah. No stone left unturned. Remember, not only do you get the numbers, though, you also get the letters in there. So you're getting the full alphabet in there as well. Uh, you also get today on on your. Um, new, your birthday and anniversary is what you get in there. There you go. So you can see, like I said before, you've got a nice little area there that you can pop a little bit of colour. Uh, so I'm just using a brush pen uh, with a super nice fine nib on it to get in the middle there. 
and I just think it adds a little bit more and I did cut them out there's a card over there Adam with Buddy on the front uh, with the dog and Buddy they're, they're cut out I went for Buddy because you know it could either be your dog or your son like I named mine so you'll shout oh, my son on the field and a few retrievers will come running up they and all my come son. Together. Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> yes. The dogs will come back quicker than your son. That is a hundred percent. He'll still accurate. be running in the opposite direction. Oh, that's what they do though. So they're all stuck on. I don't know if you can see that. So they yeah, are so all stuck on there. That's so beautiful. Cut it so they're out. easy to cut as well. They, nice. Yeah, they were easy to cut, which I, I thought, oh yeah, this is this is fab. I the like dog that. set. Sorry to keep chipping in. I feel really rude. Uh, the dog set limited stock. Limited stock on your dog set now. So if you want your lib stack, remember you got that freedom price. It is now limited stock. We've got four minutes left of this live hour to go. Um, this is their only show today as well. The only Daisy Beach Giraffe show today. So if you want the dogs, I would definitely get them now before they sell out. £31.98 pence. if you're not a Freedom member. If you're a Freedom member, though, it can go to £28.78. £12.20 pence. Pence is what you're saving. 473110 is your item number. Right then, let's go. It's going to about to go. It's about to go. Technically sold out. It's now a technical sellout, so well done if you got it. Uh, it is a technical sellout. I will let you know if any bounce back within the next three minutes. Um, but well done if you got it. It is a sellout. And this is the kind. This looks beautiful, though. Do you like it? Isn't it lovely? So you've got your wellies. Because, you know, if you're going on a dog walk, you're going to need your wellies. You are going to need it, that's true. So you've got your wellies. And I think if I'd had a bit more time, we'd have had some boots in the background, you see a little paw print, you could really go to town on this card. It is stunning. There is so much more you can do uh, with these as well. Uh, let me look at the, let's have one more look at the brand news just before we say uh, goodbye to everyone. So you've got your brand new, uh, both of these are your brand new sets. You've got the teacup, one lump or two, or you've also got your blooming beautiful as well. Uh, I'll just pop some samples in just so you can see uh, some of the samples that we've actually got here that you can actually do. Uh, um, girls, I don't know who wants to take it for me, but sum up for me. For those people that may be sitting on the fence with these brand new collections, they're thinking, oh, I like the collections, but I don't know how would you use them, I don't know where I would use them. Uh, what would you say to those people? Josie can waffle for England. Go. Um, anywhere. You can use them anywhere. They're really wide range. They're really fun. Um, they're quite... They're elegant, but they're youthful. So for anybody that you're sending it to, whether it's a loved relation or a friend, or even if it's just for yourself and for your journal and you just love colouring, they're perfect for so many uses and you will get so many uses out of them. Yeah, I, I like it. Yes. I'm energetic about it. Whoa. They're brilliant. You'll love them. <laughs> you will love them. They, it is one thing. I I got some. The girl sent me some photos earlier in the week of some finished samples, and they are absolutely phenomenal. They really, really were. Um, and there's so much you can do with them when you get them home. Sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Five two zero three eight two is your item number. Uh, we're really busy for blooming beautiful now. Get it in quick because as soon as the hour finishes, you will forget. We're all like it. Uh, do you know when you're back? No. March. May. May. Fit. You do. <laughs> May. May. At some point in May, yeah. We've, I don't think we've actually got a date yet, but it's normally around the same time every month. So, they'll be back in May. New Early stuff? May. Uh, yes. Yes, definitely. Yes. I've already designed it. Yeah. Oh. New stuff, some firm favourites coming back, so you yes. might see things again. So it's well so worth can, having yeah. a little look. And remember to check out the website as well for full details. Uh, thank you, girls. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank always you a pleasure. I've had a lovely time. Uh, enjoy the post office. I will. Enjoy, I'm there every day. Enjoy the post office. And just enjoy colouring. Oh, oh, thank you so just much, Adam. I'll just house. chill out. Take some time out. Take some time for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> I will. Worth it. <laughs> uh, don't you go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for here in the wonderful world of uh, the craft store. I'll see you tomorrow. Nearly. Nearly. Nearly slipped up then, that's what you get when you're not thinking and you're on autopilot. Uh, Damo is up next. We're making pizzas. Ay, ay, ay. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments.
After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board will share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. For the past six years, Achanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing. We'll be the same Achanda that we've always been. We're, We're just, just getting a brand new name. Demonstration led, full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to The Craft Store, your home of everything crafts. Hello, good afternoon. Now, can I tell you that the studio smells absolutely divine? How do you fancy making your own pizzas? How do you fancy making your own omelettes? your own flatbreads? What about some nachos? What about some cookies? Oh, now this pizza is absolutely divine and it is totally homemade. We'll meet the guest in just a moment. But this is also the other really nice thing about when you're making your own items because you know exactly what's gone into it. And the speed of this fantastic pizza maker. It's Domo, by the way. So that's a fantastic brand. So this is your you heat it up basically for four minutes. You literally just turn on the plug. That's what you do. Turn on the plug. 
heats up in four minutes. Now, there's no oil needed, so it's beautifully non-stick. Uh, again, Stephen's going to talk through this in a bit more detail in a second. Uh, but you have got two heat settings. Uh, now, it's quick. It's really easy to clean, um, really nice and compact. And it also, can I just stress, this is an important one, comes along with a two-year warranty. Uh, so we are going to be talking about pizzas. We are also, if you do want to get ahead, going to be talking about making your own lemonades and juices because I've got the other one right by me here. But let me just go through our lovely little recipe book here. Okay, so let's see what else we can make. In fact, I'm just going to do this if I may, because it's a bit easier. Okie dokie. So, uh, you can make, here, here we go, the nachos. The nachos. Make your own nachos. Put some cheese on it. A bit of guacamole would be absolutely awesome. Uh, then, what else can we make in here? Uh, we can make omelettes. What about a nice Spanish omelette? I bet you're all feeling really hungry now. <laughs> In fact, I am actually salivating while I'm talking about this. What about quiche? Now, quiche, yeah, with your own bacon bits in it, or if you're vegetarian, you don't have to, of course. Uh, we've got the obvious one, pizzas. And it does even give you um, some ingredients if you've never done pizzas before. Although it's absolutely fine if you've already got pre-bought pre um, pizza dough. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. Lovely, I couldn't think of the word. Oh, nice. What about quesadillas? Ah, oh, marvellous. Right then, so without further ado, because obviously I'm not the expert in this. I'm pretty good at eating pizza, but I'm not the expert in this machine. <laughs> it's just said, you are actually, you're really good at eating pizza. Oh, she's teasing me now. We went, we, right, let me introduce you to Stephen first off. Right, hello, Stephen. Hi, uh, how you doing? You're right. <laughs> I am really good, thank you very much. Good. Really nice to be working with you. And you too. Yes. Yeah, we've not worked together before. No, we've just seemed to have passed like ships in the night. I know, I know. Um, so. But our, our lovely Meg is laughing in my ear because <laughs> she has seen me. Well, you know if you've been out for a night on the town and you stop off somewhere and uh, inadvertently eat two pizzas instead of one. But anyway, um, right then, so can you tell us a bit about yourself, Stephen? Yes, yeah, I run, a, I run the import company for Domo as a brand and we're actually the exclusive importers of the whole range of Domo and the pizza maker we're going to talk to you about today mm -hmm. is actually one of their best-selling products and our best-selling products right not only in the UK but actually internationally mm -hmm. uh, within Europe it's actually one of the top pizza maker cooking tabletop devices actually sold across Europe so Domo is quite new to the UK although it's a really really strong brand internationally my background, I've been in the industry since 2002 um, and our business as a whole set up and started off around coffee machines and we've involved working with brands such as Domo yeah. to develop unique products to bring to market and it's great to be bringing that to market with you guys today. So is this the first time we've had it on her channel? It uh, is, it's oh, fantastic and it's, it's a brilliant product. <laughs> so why have you not had it? <laughs> yeah, I know, well, we've got it now, we've got it now. Um, now you were saying as well that your whole family likes to get involved when they're using the pizza maker. Absolutely and the pizza maker title is actually called My Express. We nicknamed it the pizza maker because it's really great for doing pizzas as you can see at the front here. Oh, I love pizza. But it's so versatile that the whole family can get involved mm -hmm. and you know whether you've got dietary needs or whether you've got children that may like certain foods it gets everybody at the table cooking together and it's yeah. a great you know in this you know in the time we're in at the moment to have something you can class as a home social yes. with the family is fantastic and bringing everyone together getting them off their iPhones iPods or whatever else they're looking at it's great and they they've got something in front of them they bring to the table that they will enjoy because Absolutely. they've chosen it. That's it. And I know from my family, if we have to kind of cook a normal dinner... It's not normal. Oh, it's not normal. <laughs> it's horrendous because you've got, you know, I want one thing, my wife wants something else, our oldest wants something else, our youngest, who is the, uh, the passionate one, she wants definitely nuggets or sausages or something else. Yeah. And my son's sitting there going, what do I want? Um, so this, everyone gets involved. So all we do is at home is lay all the ingredients out on the counter. Lovely. Get either pizza bases or flatbreads, and we'll talk about flatbreads later. Indeed. Get them laid out, and then a bit of nice puree or tomato base, and then they go for it, and they put as much topping on as they want. And sometimes it's nice and thin, other times they get a little bit carried away, but it's yes. part of the fun. Absolutely. Now, let's talk about how quick we can cook here with our pizza makers. Okay. Talk us through from the start to finish. It very much depends on what you're using. Okay. So, uh, you know, you mentioned earlier on about pre-made pizzas for quick and convenience. Mm -hmm. 
If it's a non-frozen pizza, they can be cooked in about about eight minutes. Okay. So the one in front, as we see down the front here, that one I did just as we before we were coming on air. <laughs> yes. As you can see, the sweat beads. Um, <laughs> and that one took about eight minutes. But that is a homemade pizza base straight from scratch. Wonderful. If using frozen, obviously, you've got to allow a bit longer. Um, and if you're doing something like flatbreads, which, again, we'll demonstrate later on, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get you involved I in know. that one, um, <laughs> uh, they can take a couple of minutes. Right. And there's such a great way of getting a healthier snack. Yep. You know, because we all raid the cupboard, we all raid for the crisps, the chocolates, the sweets, because it's convenient. Absolutely. And actually, something like this can be put together in seconds. Well, shall we start with our nachos then? We shall. Yes. So, these are all on, so I will kind of, if I burn myself, I won't, uh, I'll be good. Don't worry. Now, so there's no switch, it's literally just at literally the wall. Literally, plug it in, turn yep. it on. The indicator on the top, so you have a red and a green light. Indeed. They tell you it's hot, you can see it's hot, but the outside is still touch safe. Wonderful. So I haven't left my fingers on there, it's fine. Okay. I'm not, Okay, Good so the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to find my baking powder. So for doing nachos, it's really, really easy. Um, and that heats up in four minutes, doesn't it? Yes, it does. The... I mean, I put these on straight away just, just to kind of get some heat through them, just as we started actually on air. So they are ready to rock. So put some nachos on there. And again, this is where the fun starts, because it's up to you what toppings you want to put on. I'm going okay. to put some, a few peppers on there. Oh. I'm going to give it a little bit of a spice where they've got some mixed pickles. Oh, I'm a spicy girl. I like my Ooh. jalapenos. And then on top of that, I'm going to put some um, sweet chilli. Yes, go for it. So you say, you're absolutely in the world of your own. You can put whatever you want on here. Masses of cheese. Yeah, and that's what we're going for next. We're going to top it off with a load of cheese. What about meat? Like, could you put some... Um... You can. You, you, you're limited by your own imagination. OK. Um, and, you know, with the cheeses, again, same sort of thing. It's up to you what you put on it. OK. You know, you can put... I've put blue cheese on them before. Oh, blue uh, I'm using, cheese? I'm using mozzarella here. Just sprinkle a nice bit of mozzarella. Yep. And because it's heating from the bottom and the top, Within a few minutes, you will start to get some really nice flavours coming through. So how long will the nachos take? They'll take about four minutes. About four minutes? About four minutes on those. So maybe slightly longer, depending again on how many toppings you've put on. Yeah. So the, but you can still quick, have a quick peek. Yeah. Yeah, have a little check. And if you do get any cheese stuck to the top mm -hmm. or the bottom, don't worry, because just use a, a wet cloth, damp cloth, Wipe it off. It's, wipe, it's a really high end non stick on here. Yes. It's a triple air non stick. So it is a really high premium one. Um, and they are so easy. I mean, ours gets absolutely hammered at home. And to be <laughs> honest, I'm probably going to end up taking another one when we move. So I'll have two of them at Gun the Guy at any one that time. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> now, let's talk about the sensibilities. Because it's non stick, you, yes. you've got to use your silicon. Yeah, tools. just anything non metallic. I mean, I've got one here that is just a plastic based. One, yep. but silicone, wood, it's absolutely fine. But anything non scratch, it's like any non stick. Yes. You wouldn't take a fork to non stick because if you do, your warranty's gone. Um, but no, we suggest with these literally anything non metallic. Um, and you've just mentioned warranty, warranty there. So, uh, two year warranty. Yeah, every product Domo do, they're that confident about the products, and it's one of the reasons we use them, uh, work with them, is the fact they offer a two year warranty. Um, Domo do all the, qu the quality assurance and um, quality testing of the products and they are absolutely religious on bringing products to market that not only look great but work fantastically well. So when you use it, you take it out of the box and use it and you're going to start to enjoy it and learn from it. And yeah. you know, a lot of the products we're going to show you today, so the lemonade and the, the pizza maker, it's up to you what you do with it. And mm. it's giving you the basic tools, but in a high quality format yep. that allows you to produce the foods that you want and yep. you like. And that's uh, what food's about. Absolutely. And what sort of temperature does this heat up to? It works up to about 220, 230 degrees. Right, OK. So, yeah, it's, it's the right temperature. It is designed, first function it was designed for was pizza makers. Mm -hmm. Hence why, you know, the pizza in the front, uh, that cooked in, say, about eight minutes. Yeah. Um, so it's it's pretty hot. You wouldn't you wouldn't want to touch it too much. No, but of, like you said though, on the top of it, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep, on top yep. there, even though that's cooking, yep. that's that's really fine. Excellent. Um, 
That's fine, because I didn't turn it on. Oh, no! Was it not on? <laughs> it's been on, but I must have knocked it off. So we'll have to wait for that one and come back for that one. Oh, okay, These okay. things happen, don't worry. No, it's live TV, don't worry. <laughs> Let's talk about, then, all the different lovely goodies that we can make in these pizza ovens. Well, shall we have a go ourselves? Well, we're, if we can wait for the... Minute. We'd like to see the reveal see the of the nachos. First. So, okay. you, so that needs, what we're saying, another just four minutes. There, yeah, I'll give it another four or five, because it just needs to warm up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, lovely stuff. Yeah. Um, so let's go through then. Let's have a chat together about okay. food. Yes. Love food. Uh, so you, you'll get the recipe book, will you, as well? We will. It just comes with two little recipe books, and in there gives you some great start. Why well, can't starter recipes? Yeah. Because you can adjust them. As I said earlier, you can adjust the flowers. You can adjust, change meat for soy-based products or whatever. Right. So whether you're vegetarian, vegan, you can, because you're making the product yourself, you're the one that's in control of the actual product and the ingredients. Lovely. So you make it to your flavour, your taste. Absolutely. That's the, that's the, that's the big thing. Cause sometimes you buy things and they seem to have all sorts of E numbers on. Oh, it's horrendous, yeah. 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 I mean, that's when we go on to the lemonade, I'll talk about that as well. But with these, it, it gives you the chance, if you, you like a cookie that's slightly sweeter or slightly more savoury. Yeah. You know, we're mixing food, foods now um, with sweet and savouries, with different acids and, and um, alkalis. And there's different flavours you can get out of this. So whether you're doing a cookie with white chocolate, dark mm. chocolate, milk chocolate. Yeah. However, and you can do a cookie. Imagine your cookie. There's a cookie. That We've got to size. There. I don't know if you can see that. Well, so the oh, size Oh, you've got it there. The you've got it in yeah, front yeah, of you. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. good. So, what, you make a cookie? You can make a cookie in there. To fill the, but the, wait, 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 wait. A super giant, <laughs> giant, giant, giant cookie. If you imagine the mug size of coffee you're going to need to dunk it in. That's, <laughs> <the way. laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh my gosh, right, they're doing a close-up. You can make a 30 centimetre cookie. Yep. You're talking my language here. Amazing. Oh my gosh. And pancakes you can make. Exactly. I mean, we use it primarily for savoury at home. Yeah. Um, but you can use it for a lot of sweet desserts. Amazing. Now, mm. I'll just switch this around because yep. then <laughs> let's have a little look. More than just a pizza, as we are talking about here. Uh, you can make uh, your nachos with the guacamole, and I've been flicking through here. You, obviously, your different pizzas. Uh, I love the fact you can do omelettes. You yep. can do quiches. Uh, you were talking about you did a Spanish omelette the other I day, did, which yeah, sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah leftover boiled potatoes. Just chuck them in, some meat, some cheese. Bit of ham, yeah, um, and then just whisk up. I used four eggs last time; it was quite nice and fluffy. Just put it all into a bowl, mix it all together, yeah, and then pour it in here. It takes about six, seven minutes, mm -hmm. and you get a lovely, nice crisp on top. Lovely yep. on the bottom, and it's lovely and moist in the middle. Gorgeous! Yeah. Right, should we? Should, should we, we see? Should we see? Now, now, here we they go. are starting to cook now. I had a quick sneak peek. Okay, so you can see they're starting to get the cheese melting. Starting to go. Yeah, you can actually. I can hear it sizzling away. I don't oh, don't! I feel jealous. Mm. That needs a little bit longer, doesn't it? It needs a couple of minutes longer. We yep. want to get all of those lovely, that lovely cheese, all oozy Absolutely. and wonderful. Yeah. Now um, we are busy for our pizza maker here. Right, we have got it on screen for you at fifty-two pounds and forty-nine pence, and it's on Flexi Buy. And if, of course, you're a Freedom member, you are not paying for your postage. Remember, it's non-stick, um, and both plates heat, don't they? So it cooks. They do. The heat at the top and bottom so it does actually heat literally through the food right and that so. makes it quicker to it do. does it makes it quicker but also you don't then get the kind of soft squidgy bit in the middle right which nobody really wants on a pizza or anything like nope, this. We want, we want it, it nice and evenly cooked through excellent so, yeah. uh, now if you've got any questions here for Stephen because like I said this is the first time we've had this fantastic Domo pizza make pizza maker on and it's a good size as well also, the other thing is, yeah, I'm just asking you about questions. I'll, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, but um, if you've got any questions for us, Stephen, you can send your questions to studio at thecraftstore.com. Still getting used to it. Uh, or you can pop it onto our Facebook page. One last thing, maybe, before we see the reveal, and make sure you're checking out your baskets because we are busy for this, is not only is it very practical, it's quick, it's super stylish. It's great. And actually, uh, you've got the one there for storage as well. Yeah. Because actually, you can store it upright. You can store it on its back. So when, I won't do these. You've got one over there. If you close the lid and lift it up, you can see it's actually quite thin. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take up much room in the cupboard. And yep. that's a really, really vital thing, especially in modern kitchens these days. Excellent. So, but yeah, this really looks great. And people are quite inquisitive when they see it as to what is it? Yeah. But it the great thing cool. is when we are in our friends and family round, mm -hmm. hopefully in a week or so's time, yeah, um, it's quick. You just take it out of the cupboard, heat it up, Grab whatever you want out of the fridge, yep. flatbread on or pizza base on, it's mm -hmm. not that difficult to make, 
put it in or even just chuck an omelette in there and it's done. So you're not kind of rushing around thinking, oh my God, I've got friends coming around, what have I got? I've got yeah. nothing in, haven't had a chance to get out, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, it's really, really quick and convenient. And also I can testify that this is nice and lightweight. It is, yeah. That yeah. was excellent, lovely. Yeah. Um, and as Stephen said, you can pop it away in a cupboard nice and easily. Take a little peek, we'll you see. You ready? Shall we have a look? Oh, they're still going. That's they're about done. right. Is it? That's that. That's, that's how, how I you would like do it. it. Nice stuff. And of course, if I grab a plate. So the great thing about, as you saw earlier, I put it on parchment paper. Yeah. Best way to do it. It's not quite as easy from here, but. Be careful. There you go. I'm just going to close yep. that down so I don't. Okay. There you go. And then all you do is grab a nice spoon and a couple of. Heaps of oh, look at that oozy cheese with guacamole. That is amazing. And you can sweet chili or you can salsa. You know, you can do lots of different things. Yeah. Oops, there. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so this is just one of the things that you can be making. What else are you popping on there? Salsa. Bit of salsa. Yeah, bit of Latin oh. spirit. There you are. Oh, and that's all for yourself, Stephen, because none of us can well, have it. I have a funny feeling I might be quite it. popular after this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely <laughs> stuff. So that is brilliant, Stephen. Um, so yeah. two payments then of £26.25. and pence. Item number is 024121. Getting very nice and busy for this. I cannot express to you the um, gorgeous smell that is in this studio. I am absolutely salivating. So you saw how quick and easy that is. Uh, it heats up in four minutes. You can do your nachos, your pizzas, your omelettes. Amazing. Okie dokie. Uh, now, 024121 is your item number. Now, obviously, we've talked about the pizza maker. I do want to mention this um, lovely lemonade maker. Okay, so we've also got this on the show. because I want you to go and find it before we have a little taste of what's in there. Um, so if you want to go for this, it's two payments of £28. Uh, two, yes, two payments of £28, or you can go for it outright. But how nice, because hopefully the weather's going to be changing soon. How lovely to have your cool, ready-made lemonade. Um, but you can put all sorts in it. I know a lot of people love to put fruits in. You can see my one has got some fruit in here. You can put watermelon in, strawberries, oranges, lemons. You can make your own iced tea. Uh, what about your mocktails and your cocktails you could pop in here? Uh, so I just wanted to show you so that you can get ahead. Uh, we'll be seeing this a little bit later on, but there you go. So it's uh, £55.99 or two payments of £28, two four zero five seven six. And again, if you've got any questions that you'd like to ask Stephen about the lemonade maker, uh, please feel free to send your questions in. But I believe now we're going to make some flatbreads. Yes, we are. And I'm going um, to make some with Stephen. Do you know the one thing we didn't talk about? What course, didn't we talk about? Cost. Oh, yes, please go. Yeah. So if you imagine you go into a certain supermarket and you buy a pre-made pizza, A, you've got the toppings on that they tell you yes. you should have. Yeah. You also have quite skimpy portions of what you want to have on your pizza. Yeah. But also you are paying probably four or five pounds for that mm -hmm. pizza. To make pizzas like that will cost you... Realistically, one of these under a pound, homemade. It really, that's ever and so good. Actually, if you think we're feeding a family of five for five, maybe six pounds because we like some extra toppings and different yep. toppings. Nachos, you're talking a bag of nachos themselves or tortillas yep. and the toppings are your choice. So again, you are only talking probably about one pound, maybe one pound fifty to two pound for something, a dish like that. Oh. And it's, it's great. You know what's in it. Absolutely. It's delicious. So, oh, yeah. so very good point here. Okie dokie, so let's... So flatbreads. Uh, yes. Okay, Talk so, me through it. I'm going to attempt. First of all, we have a flatbread. Yes. So have you got a plate there? I have got a plate, so okay, don't you so worry. Okay, so pop your flatbread on a plate. Hang on one second. Excuse me, ducking down. Apologies. Right, right. so pop it on the plate. So yeah. I've got, given you there a bowl of tomato puree. Right. So a nice thin spoon of tomato puree on, on there. I eat this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the day. first cooking show where actually you've been able to eat. Yeah. That we've done. I've, I've done with uh, your colleagues and things as well. All right. Because normally it's just us doing it as the, the, the guest. Nice. So once you get a nice good even spread on there, I've given you some pickles there. You can either put those on, you can put some meats on. Oh, pickles. That's entirely up to you. Yeah. And on... Do you go right to the edge? 
I do, yeah. yeah. Mm. Why, why waste it? Oh, good point, good point, good point, good point. <laughs> and then... Oh, pickles. Mm. Pickles. I'm going to put some pickles on mine. Let's go. Oh, I love gherkins. Are just we going all over or just in the middle? However you want it. Okay. These are exactly how you want. Because everybody knows at home I hardly cook. However, I would use this pizza maker. I certainly <laughs> would. Oh, nice. And then the last thing to go on top, which I believe is in my fridge here, is... You got some... Cheese? Have you got some cheese there? I've got some cheese. You That's just have to watch the packet branding there, but let's get oh, some cheesy me cheese. Popping cheese out everywhere. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then the last thing you do is just, just a handful of cheese over the top. Cheesy cheese. As I say, oh. you can put meats on here, you can put... You can put prawns on it if you want a fish one. There's no reason why not. A fish one? Yeah, why Ooh. not? Ooh, what like bit like of mackerel or salmon? Salmon, salmon would be delicious on this. Salmon would be amazing. And then just very carefully, because obviously bear in mind that is hot. Now mine's hot. It's okay. on. Yeah. <laughs> and then just lay it on in the middle, and drop the lid. Okay, dokey. I'm just being careful. Obviously, we'd be careful at home. Okay. There you go. And just drop the lid down. And how long will this take? A couple of minutes. A couple of minutes. Yeah. Meg's just said in my ear, you look so happy. Yes, I am. <laughs> this is just divine. It's, it's so a shame divine. we can't have mojitos or something like that, because we'd just be here all day. <laughs> yeah, we would be, wouldn't we? It'd be really cool. So again, let that, uh, let that cook for a few minutes. But you're seeing how easy it is to work with. Yeah. It's so easy. And how long did that take? Hardly any time. Yeah, and I know we prepped a little bit, but it's whether you buy a tin of puree or buy yeah. some fresh tomatoes, make your own. So yeah. it is also really good if you are in a rush for things. You know, kids yeah. have gone back to school, etc., etc., and when they come home, maybe they just want a really quick snack. This is ideal. You've met our children then. Say that again. <laughs> You've met my children. <laughs> <then>. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, we, we, we need one of these here in our kitchen, I tell you what. We really do. I think this would get used all the time. Let's come back then to um, cleaning. I assume that we wait... Oh, well, this is an obvious thing, but wait till it's totally cooled down. You wait till it's, it's still... Leave it with some temperature in it, because okay. obviously the warmer it is, the easier it is to release some of the food, especially cheeses. Okay. But majority of the time, a white, well, sorry, a wet cloth, mm -hmm. straight over it, let it dry, just then dry it off with a, with a, um, a tea towel just to kind of clean off any, any burnt residue. Okay. And it's ready to go. Are there, any, are there any don'ts to this machine? The only real don't is, or two don'ts, is no liquids. Okay. Um, and no metal utensils, because that will just scratched non-stick and that goes with any non-stick pans or yeah. whatever equipment so whether it's a, a sandwich toaster or a grill or something never use metal utensils on non-stick okie dokie and um oh it, it was in my head then what what was i going to say oh it's gone that's really <laughs> annoying when i'm thinking it will come something. back I'm it, sure. it will come back so what what are we thinking sort of three four minutes for this no probably less really if you <gasps> lift yours up you can start to see it's already cooking there all right here we go Oh my gosh, the cheese is just so ooey gooey. I know. Oh, it's so nice. I love it when you can see the steam coming off it it's as lovely, well because you just know. I'm going to leave that just a little bit longer. Yeah. There we are. Uh, so very, very nice and stylish. As you can see, the the only thing you have to do is plug it in and it starts heating up. That's excellent. Right. So just while that's doing its thing, it's yep. not. We're not far off though. We're are not we? far off. Don't so we'll have to it. keep coming back to it and excellent. have a quick look. Right, so uh, two payments then of £26 and 25 pence. We are really busy for this. Uh, 024121. It's just ideal. It makes everything so, so easy. Uh, another quick mention then of our lemonade maker. Again, so you can... Uh, uh, have a little look at this. So, um, Stephen, could you talk us around the lemonade maker? Of course I can, yes, yeah. Well, my lemonade came about um, purely and simply because the owners of Domo, um, a gentleman called Women His Wife, they are, I'm trying to be very careful, I said the over 50s, but they're in the over 50s category of triathletes. So they're very much into their health. Yeah. And they came about this product and and they got fed up with buying bottled water and they got fed up with buying you know, drinks that they didn't really know was in it. Yeah. And they just wanted something that's really refreshing. So they came up with the concept of My Lemonade. And the lemonade title is a little bit misleading because actually you're restricted by your own imagination again. So, for example, in this one, I've just put some watermelon. In this one, you've got blueberries, raspberries and strawberries. And you could use your oranges in yours. My wife uses lemon in hers because she likes a nice lemon water, really, really fresh. And it's so easy to use, it's so clean, but it's not overpowering. But the best thing is, 
you know what's in it again. Absolutely. There's no E numbers. There's none of those sugars and those saccharines and everything else they put into them these days to make them last for 10 years. Yeah. Um, and it's so easy to use because all you've got is, realistically, a bowl here okay. with a tap. Yeah. Very simply. That then sits onto the base unit there, which is the motor. The motor then turns the paddle. I don't know if you can see that there. Okay, yeah. So you can see the paddle rotating. That then just stirs the fruit just gently with the water, mixes it beautifully. So it gives you a light, refreshing drink. Nice. The great thing about it, we're coming into the summer months. Yes. Extension cable straight out into the garden next to your barbecue. It's absolutely perfect for that. Have it in the kitchen. The kids help themselves. Because all they need to do is put a glass in front, turn the tap, and then just turn off. Aww. And then they have got a fresh drink. Now, there is nothing wrong if you wanted to top it up with a little bit of cordial for children. Mm -hmm. Just put a little bit in there. It's fine with it. Yep. Just not, you're not having that vast amount of sugar that they would have that makes them run around in circles for yeah, 20 minutes. Absolutely. <laughs> Love that. Um, now, apologies if you've already um, asked this. I just was aware that while we were chatting, our lovely little um, flatbreads were doing so. Uh, we've. we've Made sure oh, everything's all right and it's not burnt, so it's all right. So there we go. But um, and you'll be able to see mine in a short while, and I'll probably eat a piece as well. Um, but yes, um, does this also have, as I said, apologies if I missed it, um, a two-year warranty as well? It does. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's again. This is this is Domo's confidence in the products they produce. They don't just bring a product in from the far east and rebrand re it and bring it in. What they do is they test it and test it and test it to the point of destruction. So they know that when we bring products in and we design them, that they are fit for purpose okay. and they last, you know, far exceeding two years. You know, two years is a minimum we'd expect a product like this right. to last. And, you yeah, know, there's nothing really to go wrong with them. You've got a simple motor underneath. Mm -hmm. You have your on-off switch on the side, which is on any of the machines here. Um, and then you tap. And cleaning them, as I showed earlier, that just lifts off. Brilliant. So it's nice and easy. Yeah. So just lift it off, rinse it out, let it drain underneath and uh, upside down in a, in a sink or on a draining board, and then you're ready to go. But don't put it in the dishwasher. Don't put it in the dishwasher. No. Now, one of the things it does come with is this. Ooh, what's this do? Now this is actually a, has two uses. The first use is you can use it to plunge and squash the fruit so you get more flavour, more juice yep. out of the fruit. Yeah. So you push that down there. The other is certainly on a hot summer's day, mm -hmm. fill it with water, put it in the freezer in the morning, oh. by lunchtime, that is nice and solid. That's a good idea. And then you just leave it in to chill the water. Yeah, that's so cool, isn't it? Yeah. Can you put ice in it, though? Or you can, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's, you can put lots of things in it as well. Like Go on, then. Don't <laughs> gins, them off. rums, um, <laughs> you can put vodkas in it. So when the kids have gone to bed, you can, as adults, you can have a bit more of a switch out the... Um, the juice, so to speak. Yeah. You could leave the fruit in there and make yourself a nice cocktail. Oh, that's and mojitos wonderful. in there. There's lots of different things you can do with it mm -hmm. because it all it's doing is just mixing the water or the uh, adult water yes. um, with the fruit or with whatever, whatever flavour you put in there. I so. love that idea. Um, I was going to say to you as well that you know because now we can meet people outside. Yes. As long as we, you know, if we've got an extension lead. Both of these can be outside in the they garden. They can be, and yeah. uh, you know, they can be ready to use. You can just leave them on, let them run. These are great to leave on. You know, we leave ours on in the office all day or take it on home and leave it at home all day. Yeah. Um, pizza makers, obviously, you've got to be a bit more cautious because it's a hot cooking device. But yeah. yeah, yeah, by all means, they're ready to go. And even if you haven't got it on, they don't take long to put together and turn on. It's, well, that's what we like as well. Ease, <laughs> it's ease. So for your lemonade maker, which is also getting really, really busy now, perfect time of year to get this, uh, two payments then of £28 if you want to spread the cost, uh, or £55.99 pence if you want to go for it outright. 240576 is your item number. This is this has come out. I, like I said, I just I'm going to get a knife. So this is we haven't swapped anything out. This is what came out of that. I was just worried it was going to burn. So let me get. Hopefully it's not too hot. Am I, what do you want me to do? I would break it. Just tear it apart and share it. That's the best way. Hang on. I want a cheesy bit here. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. I'm going in. I'm salivating. I'm not joking. <laughs> oh my god.
I'm going to scoff this. Here's freedom. included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Still eating. It's really good. <laughs> so nice. Oh, sorry, I'll get some tissues in a minute. Um, now, Meg's saying, did I enjoy making it and eating it? Yes, I did. Now, I am renowned for not cooking. Renowned. This, I would totally be using this on a daily basis. Yeah. <gasps> it's like when you've done a late night here. Yeah. And you get home and you're thinking, <laughs> and if you haven't had a cooking show on. Yeah. <laughs> and you get home and you think, oh, it's 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, you're thinking, oh, I'm hungry, but I can't be bothered to get the oven on or get yes. the saucepan out, do some pasta or whatever. Flatbread. Most mm. people have them in the cupboards nowadays. Absolutely. Kids love them. Um, so easy. I what can't about, really. Um, can we do toasties? Yeah. There's no yeah. reason why not, yeah. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Or eggy bread. Yep. Oh, I'm just As thinking As I say, the world's your oyster with these. It's, it's, yeah. And it will cook it really quick. Yeah. That's the thing. And there's no noise as well. So it's not like the ping of the microwave is going to wake anyone or clattering that's the dishes. True. and It's mm. really, really easy. And there's no noise. Oh, amazing. And it's still, that's on, that is on now. <laughs> <laughs> and that is still safe to touch. That's good. Yeah. Lovely. Well, so for anybody just joining us, because we're halfway through the show here, um, do you want to tell us a bit about you, your background, and the company, Domo? Yeah, well, Domo's been going for about 50 years. And we, or myself and um, my partner, my wife, and my family are the UK import distributors for Domo for the UK. Yeah. And I came into this industry in about 2002, working with a major brand and built my career up and then actually started working with TV shopping right. quite in the early days. And, you know, I then set my own business up in 2017 and my wife joined us more recently. My, my parents have been there and we built the business up around quality products and service. Mm -hmm. And we came across Domo fairly soon after we started the business and just fell in love with the brand, the, their ethics as a, as a brand, but their quality. Yeah. And their quality is fantastic. You know, we, we have a, um, a network of retail partners in the UK and we get very, very few problems. Mm -hmm. Minimal. I mean, it's nothing. I I've, well, Having worked for a major brand and been through all the problems and challenges you get of launching brands and products, we get very few. I right. mean, it's... it's it's not even one one handed, literally. So the product quality is fantastic, but it's down to the guys in Domo. They test and test and mm -hmm. test to destruction. So, and they warranty the products for a two year warranty, mm -hmm. um, which we work from the UK. So you don't have to go to some call center somewhere else. You come straight to us. We look after it. We deal with it. If there's a problem, we can talk you through it or we will replace it. Right. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, now, how long does the pizza take to cook? Pizza's about eight minutes. All right, so let, what we can do is we'll get it on then and then yep. we can chat some more about okay. the machine. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm doing it a little bit kind of cat-handed here, so apologies. Don't worry. So I'm going to do it. Normally, I would actually do the pizza here and then do it onto the Domo. But I'm going to do it just the other way because put it on there so the pizza base is done. There's a pizza base I made slightly earlier, so I'm going to have to work fairly quick, get some tomato base on yep. the pizza oh, is it still on now yes this is on <laughs> yes. right. yeah i will check yes it is on <laughs> yep and then just give that a nice rummage round and that's you know i wouldn't recommend putting your hands in here normally it's only because i know what i'm doing with it but i would do it a bit more puree oh, on there. yes i think so ne and need a nice tomato base you do no. need a nice thick tomato base it's the foundation of the pizza so and you can make the base as thick and thin as you want. So, and then we're going to put some nice peppers on here. Yeah. See, my favourite toppings for pizzas. Yep. I've got to have 
uh, obviously the tomato base. I, I'm, I'm not a barbecue base girl. No, no. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Well, I'm not a girl, but <laughs> <laughs> well, last time I checked anyway. <laughs> uh, I absolutely love loads of onions, oh, red I onions. Do. I need black olives. I like spicy meat. Sorry for any vegetarians and vegans. Uh, spicy meat, spicy sausage. Uh, I'll even go for a bit of ham, uh, but I have to have double jalapenos. Double jalapenos. I have wow. to have double jalapenos. This is what I have. Um, so, uh, uh, my director's just said, you've got more toppings than you have pizza. Yes, <laughs> and this is the law. This is how it's got to be. <laughs> so what have you been popping on there? Oh, I've got ham, I've got uh, peppers, I'm just putting them on some um, pepperoni, and I'm just having to look around to see what else I've got hidden behind me. Have you got any cheese? Are you putting cheese I'm going to put cheese, cheese on last. Oh. Well, nearly last. Oh, cheese goes last. Nearly last. Okay. So grab a spoon. I have to say a huge thanks to your colleagues here Aww. because they've been absolutely fantastic in helping me prep. That's all good. <laughs> they've been brilliant. So thank you, you guys. Oh, we appreciate it. I know everybody appreciates it. Lovely. So there we go. Okay. So hopefully they're going to enjoy some food if we're allowed to afterwards. Uh, cheese, cheese, cheese. And again, you can mix the cheese. Put whatever cheese on you want on yeah, it. You all four cheese pizza. Four cheese, five cheese. Put some smoked cheese on it just to give that a little oh, bit of a I like kind of Swiss out sort of flavour. I liked your idea of a bit of blue cheese. Yes, that's mm. lovely. We well, can put if you've got um, had a roast or something the night before. Yeah. Why don't you use some roast beef on it? Yeah, that's the idea. Roast beef that. and chilies. Absolutely. Absolutely lovely. So I've kind of gone a bit mad on the cheese. I'm going to close that up, but I'm going to look at it again in a few minutes. Yeah, that's fine. When I'm looking at it, I'm going to add some more ham. Okay. And a little bit of topping on it. That's the topping. Okie dokie. Do you know what I found? What? What's that? Jalapenos. Oh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I could eat literally a whole jar of those. Maybe we I should do some nachos again. I'm coming to work the next day, but, um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's now cooking. So all it is, just let the lid go down. And, yep. and as I say, that is, it's hot, mm -hmm. but it's still, I'm still touching it. I know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. yeah lovely. So if someone does come in, yes, it's going to be, oh, that's hot, that's Warm. on. Yeah, yeah. But it's not going to cause any harm. So. Okay, now we are so busy now for our pizza maker. You've seen how much fun we have been having. The fact that you can, you, what you're putting on is your ingredients. Um, it's, look at this, it opens, it looks so smooth as well. Look at this, um, totally non-stick. Um, and the lid stays attached. You don't, you don't have to find anywhere to put the lid. Um, it heats both sides. Top and bottom, it? yep, yep. So you get a really good even cook all the way through the foods. Yeah. Yeah, and it goes up to what did you say? It's about 230 degrees. About 230 yeah. degrees, but it means you're going to be able to make your omelets, your pizzas, your flatbreads, your nachos in record speed time. 30 centimetre cookies in record speed time. <laughs> you loved that, didn't you? Yeah, I love that bit. Absolutely. <laughs> Quesadillas, you name it. Spanish omelets, well, just normal omelets, whatever you fancy. Um, but it is a fabulous machine. It looks stylish. You can see when you've finished using it. Although to be honest, this is the sort of thing I would leave on the side because I like the look yeah. of it and you're going to use it more then but if you do want to store it look it's very very lightweight it's nice and slim very portable um, I just think it's so such a cool product heats up in four minutes there's no fancy buttons you just literally plug it in great for families great if you've got that extension lead and then you can take this outside as we're meeting people in the garden so you can dine al fresco but we are really really busy Again, we'll show you the recipe book. Let's have a little look at what you can make. Let me get this the right way round. Okay, so we have got, and seriously, I'm going to demolish that at the end of the show. Uh, we have got nachos. You can do nachos in here. You can do your omelettes. You, quiche. Oh, I love a good quiche. You can do quiche in here. There's your pizzas. Uh, there's your lovely quesadillas. Obviously, we've done flatbreads, which is nice and healthy. There is your, see... That needs a bigger mug if it's going to be a 30 centimetre size cookie. Yeah, I think we'll have to adjust the settings on our coffee machine on that one. I think so. <laughs> there you go. Pancakes you can do. Um, and you can experiment with your own recipes. So the only no-no is just don't put a liquid in it. A liquid or, yeah, metal utensils. A metal um, utensils, But going yeah. back into what you were saying earlier, families, it's so important that we get kids to eat the right things. Mm. And if they're choosing their foods... Yes. They're going to eat it. Absolutely. And it's a great way of getting them involved in the kitchen safely. You know, and all I do is literally loads of little pots out. Mm -hmm. Everything's laid out for them. So there's a little bit of prep work from our side, but it's all laid out and it's ready to go. Nice. And all we do is add it. Yeah. So. 
Uh, we are so super busy now. I think you're all well gel because we get to eat this in here, but you will be soon if you uh, go for your Domo um, pizza maker. Super busy. You can spread the cost as well, so we're trying to make it as affordable for you as possible. Two payments of £26 and some change. And if, of course, you're a Freedom member, um, you don't pay your postage either. 024121. Remember, it does have that two-year warranty uh, because Domo really, really believe in their products mm. here. Um, how is it doing? It's really good. I'm just going to add some extra toppings. Okay, so, let's do it. Right, you ready? So you can see that's all the way halfway through the cooking process. Oh, you can see the steam. It's lush. Look at that cheese melting. Now, being a meat person like myself, oh, yeah, I am. I'm just putting some nice bits of Parma ham on top. Oh. And I'm going to be quite generous with this because the crew have been working really hard and I'm sure it won't go to waste. <laughs> And there then you just go. A couple yeah, of nice bits. Salivating, it's beautiful. And this is a homemade base I've used on there. Yep. And also, when you're actually oh oh, bit of rocket. Yep. There we go. That's a nice bit. And then just close the. But okay. again, you can see I'm doing this in reverse. Yep. This is quite not the natural angle for doing it. But even I can put my fingers underneath mm -hmm. safely. Yep. Because there is a guard here that's an air guard uh -huh. that actually stops you going, your hands near the, the actual cooking that's plate. That's good. So what, you're just leaving that for like one more minute, are Probably you? Probably about another two or three minutes. About another yep. two or three, about another two or three minutes. Yep. Lovely stuff. So, uh, so again, details are on screen, 024121. Um, if again, you've got just enough time to send in any questions, if there's anything else that you want to know about, send your questions to studio at hachanda.com. Oh, let's pop this up. You will get your ingredients book. Studio at... No, I've said it because I was thinking too much about <laughs> pizza. Darn it. How, this is going to... How long is this going to take me to get right? Studio at thecraftstore.com. <laughs> Yeah, five years, just the five years. Studio at thecraftstore.com or pop it onto our Facebook page. Um, shall we? Because I know... So you need another couple of minutes, do we? Yeah, I can put some nachos on if you'd like. Uh, with, yep, with jalapenos this time, how about that? Say that again. With jalapenos. Okay, that sounds good. Yep. That sounds good. So, I put a little bit of parchment paper underneath. Yep. So, leave that one on. Again, some good generous portion of nachos. Now, on this one, I'm going to layer it slightly. So, to get the, the cheese all the way through, <laughs> a little bit of a sprinkling of cheese on there. And I'm going to put... Do you know what? I'm going to put some pepperoni on there, just to add something a bit different. Oh, absolutely. So we're going to do it as a, as a double layer, double stack. And the great thing is then everybody gets a nice share of the, the fillings, the toppings. So there we go. So, and let's get rid of some of the juice out of there. I really like um, chilli beef as well. Oh, yes, that's yeah. nice. But again, you don't have to put meat in here. So if somebody is a vegetarian, then, you know, the world is your oyster on these things. You're in control. Mm. You're in absolute control of it. Um, and I'm going to make it a bit spicy with some sweet chilli. Oh, yes, lovely. This I'm one's going to be a nice, all goopy my favourite ingredients that I would pop on here. <laughs> and then I'm going to put a bit more nachos on top. OK. I'll just level it out a little bit. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Oh, doesn't that look oh, delish? And what else should we put on top? Salsa? Or should we oh, we're really going for it with cold. this. In this fact, is a fantastic nice mountain. This is brilliant. And a few more jalapenos oh, on wow. there. Oh, wow, this is going to be spicy now. <laughs> Why not? It is Easter after all. Uh, We've just got Easter. They're all, uh, they're all getting really jealous in my ear because it's right. like, oh, so hungry. And a uh, lot of cheese now. You've got to finish with the You've cheese. You've got to finish with the cheese. Yeah. And again, this is a, this is a mixed cheese I'm using on here. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to use quite a lot of mozzarella because there's nothing better oh, than pulling mozzarella. one out and the whole lot comes with it. Yes, And yes, everyone looks yes. at you going, I wanted that. Bit. I'm jealous. <laughs> nice. So there's loads of lovely cheese on there. And all I'm going to do is just drop the lid down. Excellent stuff. Oh, my goodness. We are so, so busy. Right, should we check back on the original pizza? We can. Yep. Oh, look at the steam, look at the steam, look at the steam coming off it. Does that uh, need any more? Probably needs a couple more minutes. A couple more minutes, that's But again, all right. if you look at it, the flavours, I mean, the smell. You, I know, it's is divine. That's quite really fortunate nice. here, actually. <laughs> Should we have a look at the fronts as well? Because you've already done for us. Um, we've done our lovely flatbreads. Yep. You've got another pizza that's there. Uh, look at that. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. We're all so jealous. We've got the nachos. 
beautiful. Yeah. Right, the phone lines are absolutely on fire. Your fastest way to order is online at thecraftstore.com. Um, so do check out your baskets that way. Here we are. Our fabulous pizza maker, uh, but not just for pizzas, as we've been seeing. But you will get to choose your own ingredients. And let's talk about cost again, actually, Stephen, yeah. because, we, you know, if we order, I'm surprised, actually, at how much takeaway pizzas are. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's the only chance we've had to eat out for pretty much a year <laughs> yeah, now, isn't right. it? Yeah, um, right. You know, and it's so quick. You know, you saw, everyone says about pizzas being delivered is, is quick, it's convenient, but it isn't because they're so busy, they're actually taking 45 minutes to an hour anyway. Mm -hmm. And they're also quite tight with the toppings because uh, you know, you've mentioned it the same as I have. You like a proper topping on a pizza. I you do, I like really lots nice. of toppings. And you, you want to know what you're putting on it as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and for a pizza like the ones we've made here, you're probably talking a maximum, even if you're using things like Parma ham, probably only a couple of pound a pizza. Mm -hmm. So you're feeding a family of five, in our case, for £10. Wow, that's well, good. Well, imagine trying to order out five pizzas. Mm -hmm. How much would that cost? Yeah, oh, I don't want to think about it, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, and nachos, the same. You know, you could do your nachos as a starter while everyone's munching through those, the pizzas oh. are making, that everyone's chosen their own yes. toppings for. And also, isn't this a nice gift to give to people? Oh, it's great, yeah. Yeah. And my parents use it. And, you know, my mum's got... My mum's a massive baker. She loves cooking, mm -hmm. and um, as you can tell. And, <laughs> you know, she's a great cook. But something like this is fantastic for them because it's quick and convenient. My dad comes home from golf or comes home from working with us. Yeah. And just something quick, so easy, Friday night snack, dinner, That's it. job done. Brilliant. So remember, it heats up in just four minutes. You can make your pizzas if they're like your fresh pizzas in about eight minutes, slightly longer for your frozen pizzas. Yep. But you'll get to know your own machine as well. You will. And again, depends on the thickness of the topping. Yes. Because that will also have an impact on mm. it. Um, I've just checked the nachos and they're cooking nicely. How's um, the pizza? Pizza. Yeah. You ready? Hey, look at that's bubbling away. That's fantastic. Yeah. You can see the heat and you can see the fact it's cooking from the top as well as the bottom. Yeah. And that gives you, you know, there's nothing worse than you put a pizza in the oven or you, you know, and it's just moist in the middle or it's watery in the middle. Yeah. With these, it cooks it all the way through. Let's have another look at that pizza again. Yes, Let's sir. have a little look. Yes. Oh, look at that sizzling. Look at the cheese. Look at the cheese. Oh, I'm so excited. This is just too good because we don't get too many cooking shows on this, on the, uh, this channel. On and it. so I love it. <laughs> I love it when we do. Amazing. How are the nachos? Right, one sec. We'll come to those. Oh, they look They're good as well. They're ready to go, really. Yeah. That is nice. Yeah. And again, if you like the nachos slightly darker, like we've done at the front, yeah. just leave it in for a few seconds longer. And because there's no, you don't need to mess around with any switches or dials. Yeah. You just lift up the lid, quick peek. Yep, that's nearly ready. I like it. Needs a bit longer. Fine. Just yes. close the lid down. So now, uh, with the nachos, did you put down the baking parchment just purely so the cheese doesn't get all over the base? Yeah, it's something that Domo have always recommended. And, and actually, I find it a lot easier because you're not, you're you not messing around. It yeah, out, you yeah. it straight out. And it actually look. I think it just adds to the aesthetics. That's a great word to say. It is very good. <laughs> this is very good. It just adds to the, the aesthetics or the look, whichever you want to say, of nachos because they're a messy food. Yes. And to have it on parchment just feel just adds to that. It makes you feel like you're back out at a restaurant. Exactly, yeah. How they serve yeah. it in a nice little basket, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Fabulous. Right then, two payments of twenty-six pounds and twenty-five pence. As I said, we are really, really busy for our um, pizza maker here by Domo. You've got that two-year warranty. So many different gorgeous, scrummy items that you can be cooking: um, omelets, pancakes, quiches quesadillas, uh, we've done flatbreads, yeah, the cookies. cookies. I was gonna, look, when you get this home, please, please make a 30 centimetre cookie and pop it onto our Facebook page because I, wanna see. Well, I want to see. If it tastes delicious, this. put it in a box and send it to us. Oh, yeah, that would be even better. <laughs> and, of course, then with the cookies, again, you're choosing what you're putting into yeah. it. I would probably be, I like um, white chocolate and raspberry. Ooh, that white sounds White chocolate nice. and raspberry. Mm. What about you, cookies? I'm very boring. I like a milk chocolate, I'm afraid. Milk chocolate yeah. chip milk, But I that. like a milk chocolate where you kind of bite into it and the chocolate just oozes out. Oh, yes, that's nice. But again, you've got total control on how, yeah. uh, how long before you take your um, cookies out. Absolutely. Shall I take the piece for Yeah, let's do it. So. Okay, have you got a plate there? You're all right. Yep, there we go. Wow, that looks so awesome. Oh, it's just gorgeous. There we go. And again, you can always garnish it if you want to. Yep. But that is ready straight. And that is, if you, you know, take it out, put it on the, on the table, and everyone can just grab a bite. Yep. The next one's ready. It doesn't take long. That's amazing. And that's fresh, completely fresh. 
So. Excellent. So the nachos, they're done, are they? Voila. Yep, they're oh, done. Oh, yes. And Don't worry if you can't take those out, because we're nearly at the end of the show, so we could always sort again, that out. That's the other reason for the parchment. Yeah, that's so really So it does great. make it really easy to take out as well. And again, like I've done over there, you can always add more jalapenos, or you can add scoops of salsa. Lovely. I can hear that cooking sizzling away. Oh, it's all the cheese gorgeous. right through it. Right then. Uh, work. We haven't to got say. too long left. So do check out your baskets with our pizza maker. Uh, two payments of £26.25. Item number is 024121. Along with the pizza maker, you might also want to go for your lemonade machine. But of course, not just lemonade. You can make iced tea, mocktails, cocktails. You can put in any type of, well, all sorts of different fruits. So it could be watermelon. It could be, oh, we can see we've got orange in here lemons, strawberries, um, you could, uh, he'll talk to us in a, uh, Steve will talk to us in a second about um, the extra equipment because you've got that, look, see the blue thing there, you can put that in the freezer and then you can pop it in the next day. Ah, oh, there you go, Steve's on it. Yep, I'm on it. Okay. Are, we, are we all right to go? Is this all right? Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm just waved at by the camera just now. tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> okay, so very simply, this acts, uh, you can fill it with water. So just unscrew the lid, fill it up with water, pop the lid on, pop it in the freezer. Yep. And then the next, or whenever you're ready to use it, you have solid ice in there. And it just chills it right down mm. to a nice temperature, especially on a hot summer's day. So as it's rotating here, that's in contact with the water and the fruit. Yep. So it's just cooling it down, chilling it. It's not going to be ice cold, so the kids are going to hurt the, their yep. teeth, but it's just going to be a nice, chilled summer's day afternoon drink and what have you got in yours over there what fruits i have these? got watermelon in this side yeah but i've put everything in here from pineapple as well fresh pineapples i've put well, oranges lemons in them berries you can you, you literally as many fruit as you like in there you've also put mint in one before oh yeah and yeah as i said to you earlier mojitos yeah indeed and it's delicious in the summer's <laughs> afternoon um but yeah you can put you could put your fruit in there you can infuse some gin or something in it because it's it's just gently rotating and mixing the fruit with the liquids um easy to clean very easy to clean so all you do is very simply take the lid off yeah you also take then the central part which has a nice little handle on it Fabulous, yeah. Okay. And then that just nice and easy lifts off and then just give it a really good wash out. Um, I tend to leave the tap on, so I'm rinsing through. So I've got an echo from there as well. Yeah. Um, so it just rinses through there. If you wanted to, you could put warm soapy water through it mm -hmm. and let it rinse off. Let it air dry upside down and then just quick wipe round. Nice. And then just very quickly, because we're really running out of time, just pour yourself a glass for us, show you how easy it is. Okay, so glass under there, and then just turn the tap, and then you have a wonderful fresh, and it has got a hint, I can see the coloration oh, there, careful. it's just a hint. <laughs> it does, I can see that as well, look at that. And I'll do the melon, make sure I'm underneath it this time. <laughs> Gorgeous, nice. And there's your watermelon. Oh, beautiful. Right then, uh, so two payments then of £28 for your Domo lemonade machine. Remember, you've got that two-year warranty. 240576 is your item number. But, of course, our star of the show is our pizza maker. Oh, and here we go. Here it is. Details once more coming onto the screen. So this is um, Stephen's only show today, so do check out your baskets. And... I am absolutely salivating. Just look at all the goodies that Stephen has cooked during this show. It's not bad in an hour. It's an absolute feast, this. It's an absolute feast. So I've also made my own flatbread, and I think, you know, it'd be rude if I don't just take one more bite, just one more bite. Um, Stephen, thank you so oh, much. Oh, thank you, Alex. It's been great. It's been great. <laughs> it's been really <laughs> I'm going to go for a lay down in a minute, I think. <laughs> Bless you. All right. Right, I'm going to very quickly, because in my ear they're going, you've got to do a menu. <laughs> do check out your baskets. It's been a really fun hour, actually. So delicious. Thank you once again, Stephen. We'll see thank you really you. soon. I hope so. Look forward to it. Thanks so much. Lovely stuff. Cheers. Okay. As ever, don't go anywhere because we've got more coming up after this short break when I'm going to scoff all of this. Oh, next then we've got Celebrate. I like the name. Followed by Craft Yourself Silly, 
uh, and it's their eighth birthday. After that, so easy, sashiko. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals. And then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, we're the team from Daisy Bee Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. We decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie, hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Oh, 
you know something? It smells absolutely fantastic in this studio. It really does. Did you enjoy that pizza show? My word, did you get your pizza oven cooking? Oh, I'm just looking over now. It smells delicious. Anyway, it's great to have you company. Welcome to the craft store. I hope you're well. Uh, beginning to get a bit cold and rainy outside, so it's nice to have you inside with us. And we have got some amazing deals on this show. We really have. We've got some beautiful sets of papers and some ephemera and some chip Board, all going together beautifully. We do have some options as well for you to buy. And we've got the gorgeous Zoe with us as well. How are you, Zoe? Hello, I'm really well. I'm doing better than you, I think. <laughs> I think. Just to let you know at home, yes, got a bit of a bad back, if you didn't know. Uh, but Zoe has a bad back as well, don't you, Zoe? So oh. I can't really say anything. Oh, this sounds <laughs> Tell the bearers of people our bad backs. <laughs> oh, but yeah, but mine, mine's fine. It's all right. Send in your bad back. Bad backstories to <laughs> us here at the craft store. Uh, but we're all right. We're both upright and we're going to be with you for the next hour. So I hope you're well. Zoe, what we've got to uh, look forward to in the show? OK, so we've got the main collection, which is Ocean Bliss. Yes. Beautiful collection being brought. Um, this has just been released. So it's new to England. Um, yeah. It's come from Celebrate. Celebrate is a South African company oh, okay. based in Jeffreys Bay. Um, so we can see straight away where they've taken their inspiration from can't yes. wait yeah. fabulous inspiration beautiful pieces of work yeah they certainly are and do you know what i like about this is what i like the colors i like the yeah. colors that we've got in here so we've got those beautiful blues but we've also got some really nice terracotta pink colors in there as well yes really really nice you know with the sea anemones and the coral it's, you can see where really you know they've got such beautiful inspiration over there and brought it to us but these are just they're lovely i mean would i normally put pink and blue together and cream, I probably wouldn't. But no, but they work really well. They work they? very well. This is something that Celebrate have down to a T. Is their their colours? You know, they match the colours really, really well, and they, they bring something. This is like a whole package. This that they bring yeah. to use everything. You've got Ooh, your ephemera, that. you've got your papers, you've got your sayings. They bring it everything in these paper packs. We're just going through the 12 by 12 paper pack at the moment. It is double sided, so we're just going through them to show you the different elements. Some you can use for scrapbooking. Some you can use for your card making. I've got some lovely samples by Zoe to show you in a moment's time. Oh, my goodness, 20% of the stock already gone. I knew you guys would like this. First of all, look at the price, $22.99. That is for the whole set, $22.99. If you want another paper pad, if you're looking at these different papers as we're going through them, uh, there are 14 double-sided sheets. You can get an extra pack just for $9.99. You might want to add that to your basket as you check out. But look at that. You've got all the ephemera in there that you you can cut out and use. $22.99. We're not stopping there, though. That's your 12 by 12. We've also got some uh, fabulous... Well, we've got some chipboard, but we've got this acetate here, Zoe. Yes. Where would we use that? So that you would use if maybe you're doing a shaker card. Yes. You'd use that. Or if you're doing a box, you could use that as well. Or if you're using a window, you could put it in part of a window of your scene as well. And you've got all the different alcohol pens as well that can yeah. go over it and that you can use against it and it's in white which is really different to the normal black I which like stands out so much more yeah doesn't it could you cut that could you cut into it maybe and use them as all separate elements if you yes, want to definitely yeah? you can do it. yeah, Good yeah idea. You can do. now we've got the chipboard as well down the front so this is something else that you could use i think that looks great as it is but you could yeah. snip into that yes that's what i've done and that's what's on quite a few of the samples that we've got here they've been Cut into and all it is that you don't you don't want to break any scissors or anything because it's it's pliable chipboard as well so you're not going to blunt your scissors and all you do just as if you were die cutting if you're cutting some um, die cuts out you're pushing yeah. them out and then you just trim around them yeah Pre love very that. much like that works really well with your inks and your sprays works Excellent. really really well with yeah them. Uh, looks nice on their own just there with all the papers lovely sample there from zoe um there's more though there's more in this collection oh my word you've got stencils as well and embellishments so this is absolutely flying out the door 22 pounds and 99 pence what you're seeing you're getting everything right there 102047 it's a beautiful collection it's something to look forward to to get delivered directly to your door and then you can start playing with it remember if you want to add another paper pad you've got the opportunity to do so it's at the bottom of the screen 022878 is your item number but I really do think that is a fantastic deal do be quick because it is absolutely flying out I'll show you some more samples later on but I do believe we've got to get down the counter Zoe we do because 
because we're so busy, I want to show you the different options we've got available for you. Um, now, we do have a smaller option. Um, now, this one comes with a 15 by 20 paper pad, and it's got 26 sheets in total. You also get your chipboard there and a stencil, 15.99. Again, a great price. Um, on top of that, you also have um, some little beautiful stickers at the front, and then you've got the ribbon as well. So let's go through the um, paper pad because it's well, we've got different different papers, and it's a different size, Zoe. These are different sizes, so they've been scaled down to work with maybe your A5 cards or your A6 cards. So they, they've been really, really scaled down nicely to work with those, and with your mini albums. So if you're yes. doing like um, Paula's, Miss P loves. The mini would, album. Yeah, that would be an excellent, yeah, an would excellent look idea. look really well with those, you know, cutting those bits out. It would look lovely. fantastic with that. There's some lovely designs in here. Now, let me just show you. These are double-sided, uh, so you can choose which side to use. If you want to go for a couple of these, then it might be an idea at 15 99 each, because then you've got, clearly, quite a few um, pieces of, well, it's card, isn't it? Not yeah. paper. Uh, pieces of card to use within your projects. Also, along some of these, if you have a look on some of them, it might not be that one, it might be one of the ones that you already put down, but there's actually sentiments, you know, running along that gutter pit, that oh, gutter right, piece. Yeah. So there's sentiments running along there as well. Ah, so if this was fabric, that would be called the salvage. Oh, no, 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 it's the, um, the blue one. one. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, that's my fault. Sorry. <laughs> actually, you could use what? Yeah, you could. Do you know what? You've got Ocean Kiss there. Oh, you, you could, could use that, actually you? cut that out. You could actually cut out the Celebrate as but well. But what they do on there, can you see with those colours, they're yep. telling you what colours will go with it. So you Brilliant. can match up. They're giving you the colour matches, which is really good. Love that. Those are the sentiments there there that you can cut out and use separately. This really is a fantastic pad. It certainly is. And when you've got the double-sided elements as well, if you turn it the right way, Janice, you'll see you've got lots of different strips there. Now, I know that you've done a card before... <laughs> where you've cut out these similar something similar to this in strips yes and then placed it diagonally on a card i remember you doing a demonstration like that that is the herringbone technique that's it which was brought to us by the lovely sam calcott yes. made a surprise that's it so if you go onto youtube you can see that it's called the herringbone technique with um mixed up craft now this is interesting because this looks like you can cut them out and decoupage them up, those different images on yes, there. Yes, I have decoupaged some of those up. Um, obviously you get two sheets in it so you can, you can decoupage it up. Um, but if you're wanting, wanting to get more sh um, packs, you can decoupage it even more. But Ooh, look at those animals as well. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful with the sentiment stamp yeah. in there? Or maybe some doodling. Absolutely wonderful. Love this pack. £15.99. You get the paper pad, well, we're going to call it a card pack, really. And then you've got your um, stencil and you've got your... Um, I can't think of the word. Chipboard, that's it. I don't know why that evades me, chipboard. I never, I never want to call it chipboard. Because I think, when I think of chipboard, I think of something much thicker yes. than, than that than and that. not as pliable. We'll have to think of another name between us. They do call them in America, in America, in South Africa, Erin calls them chippy. Chippy? That's chippy. That's easy for me to remember, the chippy, definitely. Oh, I'm hungry now. Uh, 818172 is your item number. Yeah, you've also got your stickers and your ribbon in there, as I showed you earlier. So all of that together, 818172, just £15.99. I told you these were going to be good prices, but you wait till you see what we've got coming up next. This is absolutely fabulous. Love this. And it's at a superb price. It's a happy hour deal. Saving 90, uh, 18 pounds, almost half price. Um, so 19.99. That gets you the 12 by 12 papers. We'll run through them in a moment. You've got your chippies. Do you like that? Like I it. Remember that. Yeah, your chipboards in there. Um, and then you've got your stencil, and you've also got your ribbon and your ephemera in there as well. So this is an incredible deal. And what we like about this, because you can start instantly putting together your scrapbook pages, or maybe something that you could put into a frame, for example, on the wall, at that price, because it's nearly half price, then it might be worth going for two. Do you know what? Mm. If you can, I would do. I think, I mean, these are always catch people's eyes i remember we we have been to celebrate it's been to hochanda or the craft store yes before <laughs> and this caught everybody's eyes and it was yeah. a real you know it's very very popular this one and because of the colors and because of the um it's a bit different isn't it yeah. you know and it's a bit it's sort of it's quite whimsical and quite 
Um, Celestial. That's the there's one. A good, there's a good word, you know. Check you out. Day. Oh, I'm no. impressed. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, let's turn that around that way. <laughs> These are double-sided as well, by the way. Uh, I'll flick through the paper pad now so you can see that because it is full of absolutely beautiful sayings and tags. You've got elements in here that you can cut out. You can scrapbook with this. You can ink onto it. You can put... Two, I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous, just as it is. Stunning, Use these with it? your die-cutting machines as yeah. well. So lots and lots and lots of elements for you to start to choose uh, to, to play with. I can't even speak today. Um, but you'll see here, I love this geometric mm. pattern down the bottom. If you were to cut that out and then maybe make a DL size card with that particular pattern, but bring them forward, <gasps> that would look really that good. That would be really nice. Yeah, I like, like that. that idea a lot. We like that. 19.99, my word, we are getting extremely busy. Do you know what? When we came in the studio and we were having a look at the collections, we were like, oh my word, this mm. is going to be a busy show. And do you know what? We saw into the future. It is a busy show. Uh, do check out your baskets and get what you want. Uh, don't miss out because this will be going back up to the price of 37.99 at the top of the hour. And we want you to get that at a superb deal. And it is remarkable. Uh, maybe you've purchased it before and you need more. Uh, if you want to, there are extra paper pads down the bottom of the screen at 9.99. So that will get you your 12 by 12 paper pad. Now, um, as before, we've got another option for you, and this is the um, smaller size pad. This is your 15 by 20. You're getting the chippy. You see, I can remember that. See, I... Easy. Uh, your chipboard there. You've got your pad, and then you've also got your stickers down the bottom, which are great. In the pad, you've got some lovely designs, and one would say maybe, Zoe, some manageable designs as well. Yeah, very, 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 um, you know, these are, I just think... We can only tell you the quality. We can't. You can't feel the quality, but we can feel the quality. Yes. And it's beautiful quality, and it works really well with your inks, as you said. But these are all, like you say, manageable designs. They're not ones that you going to struggle to use. You're going to struggle not to use them, if you know what yeah, I mean, yeah, because absolutely. they are. You just want to get in there and get playing with them. And you get so much for your money. You can make so many cards or memory books, because those, those are really popular at the minute. They certainly are. I'm just, I was just looking at I just find that. I, I could stare at the moon all night. Uh, which is a good thing, because usually it's there all night. Um, <laughs> but that is absolutely beautiful. You put a sh bit of shading around the back of that moon, and that's going to make that pop out. It really is, Maybe yeah. put some embossing powder on there I was well. just thinking that, or some yeah. glitter spray, definitely. Yeah, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Or actually just cut it out and have it hanging down like on a collage or something yes. like that. Um, again, you've got those lovely tags in there. Let's get that the right way round for you. Um, so, so much that you can use. £10.99, pence. it's an excellent price. And you do get the three domed stickers i thought that said doomed stickers then and and in my head i was trying to connect it with the moon we're not doomed at all <laughs> they're domed stickers and by that let me just carefully lean forward there you go look at that if i hold them that way you can see that they're slightly domed not doomed <laughs> domed <laughs> and you've got them now there you go there's that moon on there Love those. Uh, £10.99, that is an excellent deal. Um, pop it into your basket. We do have more ha happy hours for you. I cannot speak, but I will get there. We've got more happy hour deals on the website. Take a look. So all at discounted prices just for this hour and this hour only. And then you could add different items into your basket. And of course, if you are and you're getting overexcited and everything's going into your basket and then all of a sudden you get there and it's like, oh my word, it's over £60. Well, the thing is you want everything, don't you? So this is what we'll do. We'll divide the cost into two interest-free payments over two months. How's that? And that means you get everything. It means you get your cake and eat it too. But it's entirely up to you. And to tell you how we do that, here's our lovely Catherine Sturrock. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. 
This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Right, well, I've got some news for you, my word. We have got, well, less than a half. No, it's sold out. <sighs> I, I really thought we'd have some by the time we got back. Look at that. We've sold out. Right. You can get the 12 by 12 on its own. So everything else, and I have to do this live because I don't want you thinking we've got these available. The 12 by 12 is now available on its own. That's what we've got left for you. And it's still at a superb deal. So I don't want you thinking the others are available. Well done if you've got the full package, but this is an excellent deal at 9.99. Don't miss out on this. We don't want this to sell out. 022878 is your item number. You know, people are going for this though who already have bought the set that we've just had. Yeah. They're also adding these to the basket as well. Brilliant. So shall we get demonstrating? I think we need Let's to, do don't it. we? Yes. Don't we? Brilliant. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to look at this one. This is a bench card. And I have to say, I have taken um, Sam's vision for this. This yes. is, you know, Sam Calcart. I've taken that one. So I, I do apologise, Sam. But uh, I thought it was a brilliant card. So this is a bench full card. Now, all the papers that I've used have come from the smaller of the two packs. The, is it the mini pack that we've got? Uh, 15 by 20, yep, we yeah. do still have that. It's brilliant. Now I've just really roughly put some um, ink on here so, you, so I don't have to do it here. Uh, I've cut all my pieces down so if you want the measurements you just need to go onto YouTube. Am I okay to say that? Uh, yes, yeah, yep. of course you can. Go onto YouTube and look up um, Benchfold Tutorial and you'll see it there. So I've, what I've done is I've coloured, I've put some ink, some distress ink, around especially on the spines as well that you're going to see but everything else is going to be pretty much covered up so if I just show that perfect there we go we can see that it's going to be covered up but you still want some color in the background okay so I will very quickly stick these on um, if you've got something like a window die yeah that would be brilliant if you had a window die because you can put it on the front but if you haven't in with the set comes a lot of um like sayings and sentiments yes. small sentiments yeah. and we can put that those there instead it okay. just so happened that i got a, a um a window but if not like i said put one of the sentiments on and that'll look cracking i mean in the 12 by 12 you've got lots of different sentiments and elements that you can cut out and use as well so if you're going for the paper pad on its own get to the page where you can see all of the different elements like this and you can cut them out uh, very easily with your scissors, not an awful amount of fussy cutting. With the words as well, you can just cut straight across, for example, with a craft knife. And those elements you could also use within the demonstration that Zoe is putting together as well. Yeah, and also on the big pack, the 12 by 12, you actually get a bonus um, page of fussy cutting, and that's with all your different animals, and that's on the back of the front page. Okay. But if you're a bit savvy and you're a bit tight like me, you can actually... I've cut out, I think you've seen a card that I've cut out with the, what they've said about Ocean Bliss. There it is. So that's using just the front bit, the, actual, the name of it, can you see? I've just cut round and I've used that. just the name of it. That's brilliant. But then on the back of that page, yep. in, the, in the pack, there's loads and loads of extra fussy cutting. Um, oh, there's, whales, there's, there's whale, there's a uh, turtle, octopus, there's Ooh, quite a lot. I'll find that whilst you're demoing. Okay, brilliant. So just these on. oh I've just put that on too too early you're not seeing me do this at all <laughs> everyone look that. away at home <laughs> now look back there we go okay so I'm just gonna this is just the um, the bench fold that I'm going to put in but I've got the um, this is for the stand so I'll put this stand in first yeah if I just open this card you can see can you see down there there's a stand okay that it rests the bench on so the bench goes in and it sits on it nicely like that. So that's what I'm doing at, the, at this minute. Now on the front cover, or it's the back cover, I think it might be the front cover or the back cover. Um, I've just found this, Zoe. So you've got lots of elements that you can cut out. Yes. Lots of little card toppers. And that's on the 12 by 12. So you've got that as well so every single part even that bit there would make a really cool cool card topper um every single bit of the front cover and the back cover take a look at it because mm. these are things that you can use um and cut up individually 9.99 for that paper pad 
It's an excellent deal. 022878 is your item number. Okay, so I've just put the stand in. So I'm just going to put some glue on. This is for the bench to come in. You can see the colours work really well. If you're into your blues, these are brilliant. But it offers a new colourway because yeah. of the, the coral and the pinks into it as well. But they're not bright, for want of a better word, garish pinks, are they? This, everything's subtle. I, I know it's from South Africa, but it reminds me also of, like, Californian colours. You know, like yeah, Monterey, definitely. down that way. That kind of really nice um, beechwood style effect. Yes, yeah, so we talk... Now, all I know about America, because I've not been, I've not been properly, um, and my brother lives in Chicago, so I'm not very good with the geography. You're kind of talking like, is it um, the Hamptons, that sort of thing, or is that's that... over in New York? Oh, so that's is it? The okay. East Coast. Uh, the West Coast is California. Then you've got Monterey down south, Santa Barbara, and all of that malarkey. Oh, nice. Have Where... you been? Yes. <gasps> yeah. Oh, nice, nice. It is. It's beautiful. Would you go again? Absolutely. I'd Absolutely. love to go. San Francisco is my favourite city. Is it? Yeah. Have you been on the trams? Yes. Have you done the tram thing? And I've rang the bell. Ding <gasps> How did you manage that? Oh, I just got to the front and went, can I ring the bell? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ma'am. And I, ding, ding. He didn't let me pull on his brake, though. That was, that was, yeah. That wouldn't have been a good idea. It wouldn't have been wise, would it? I went to Alcatraz. Was that interesting? Because I think I'd love to go there. Oh, amazing. I, I went there a couple of times and I was lucky enough to meet, um, because they have volunteers working there that used mm -hmm. to work there when it was a working prison. Right. And uh, I met one of the guards and he was at a doorway and I was like, oh, what's up there? And he says, oh, it's out of bounds to visitors. And I went, really? Oh, I've come all this way and I'd love to go up there. So he took me up there and it was all the, um, the, the, the hospital where, wow. the, where the bird man of... Alcatraz was up there, who never actually kept birds, but he was, in, in reality, but he was up there as well. But it's, it's, in fact, I'll post some pictures later. It's, it's, wow. re, it's really eerie. It's a, do, you, do you get a sense of sort of, a bit of foreboding? And, oh, absolutely. Really? Oh, yeah. There was a bath up there. It's not a very nice thing to talk about on a Saturday afternoon, but there was, <laughs> there was a bath up there where they used to put the, the, um, the prisoners, the inmates, um, into in the ice cold because they used to have that kind of therapy it was very cruel so lots of oh. not nice things went on there but it was oh. a very interesting place to go very interesting Ooh. but yeah i've been a couple of times i'd love to go i would love to i've got my brother in um napaville just outside chicago oh. um and it'd be lovely to see them i see them we we talk on skype every couple of weeks so yeah you should do save I'd up to. and when we can travel again Go to Chicago. I'd love to. I'd absolutely love to. Now, what I've done here is I've, made, I've cut a window out from my own personal stash. Yeah. And then this paper in the back is from the 15 by, is it 15 centimetres by 20? 15 by 20, yeah. yes. And it's only one part of a piece of paper. It's not a piece of card. It's only one part. And I've just cut out a tiny amount. And you've got the rest of the car. But it's um, a lighthouse. And you'll find in across all of them... There yep. are lighthouses in all of them. I'm using a big lighthouse for my scrapbook page later on. And they just scale so well up and down. Oh, yeah. In the, in the 15 by 20 centimetres, not inches, by the way, um, there's that big lighthouse. That's good. They say if you're going to have one, have a big one. That's what they say. Um, <laughs> and you've got that lighthouse there. Again, in those lovely muted colours. Normally we see lighthouses in dark blue, dark red, bright white. But there's something about the colour in there, that pastel effect, that's really attractive, that would go with lots of colours, vintage-style colours that you've got at home. Yeah, I think, this, I think it makes it quite a timeless collection, really, doesn't it? It's not dated yeah. at all, this. I'm loving this collection. And you've got your octopus on there, you've got your sea turtle, you've got your whale in there. Um, is that a bird or a shell? I think that's... It. I thought you were going to come up with Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Uh, but what's nice about it is that you've got the lines around here, Zoe, so you can actually fussy cut and it shows you the lines so you've got that equal uh, part of white going around each of the images. Uh, and I think that's really good. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I really appreciate those lines. Yes, They're yeah. really, really handy, to be honest, because I'm, I'm not a great fussy cutter. Um, 
and I never quite know, do you hook, cut right up to the image and into it or do you just leave a tiny bit around? So yeah, those lines are fantastic. There's also, on some of the sheets, there are some round, um, I don't know what you'd call them. They're not, obviously they're not stickers, but they're like round elements. So this one here. Like that. There we go. And they've got the, the, the black around as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these, they're just, they're absolutely brilliant. They create a really different effect. So you've got those, you've got three different, um, I forgot what they're called. I was going to call them rubber rings and they're not. No, they're not. But they're not boys. Life savers? Life rings? Life rings. What are they called? I don't, oh, I've set everyone off now, haven't I? I think it's a lot. I think it's a lot. It's a, it's either a life ring, a life, it's not a life ring. <laughs> it's not a life raft, but it could be if you could sit on it. I think it's, I think it's, I think it is a life. Email in. It's studio at thecraftstore.com. I had to think there. I, I don't know what they're called. I'm really sorry I've stumped everybody. I can see it time. now because they're normally in it and there's like a, they're in a green box. Yeah. No, it's not a rubber ring. Anyway, email in. We need to know, need to know. But anyway, you get three of those. Yeah, they're brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and they're really good. I've put those on the, um, on the demo life card. Ring. I think it's called a life ring. Life I think ring. it's a life ring. But email in, please, please. We need your help. Well, I do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> also, on some of the um, sheets with the ephemera, you also get these ones as well. These are perfectly circular. And yeah. it tells you how big they are. So one and a half inch, two inch, ah, or one okay. inch. And then you can use your dies on them you know nesting yeah. dies and they'll cut out perfectly really really well and there's quite a lot of them as well apparently it's a life ring or a life boy b-o-u-y not boy as in a boy boy otherwise it'd be a life girl come on uh, it's because it's buoyant boy so you always called boy b-o-u-y i think my producer just made that up and i just said it <laughs> <laughs> might be I have no idea how. I come away sometimes so confused. <laughs> so this is just um, this is one of the things that you get in the pack, but unfortunately, I don't think it's going to you're, because you're getting the twelve by twelve, yes. aren't you? So it's... this won't be in it, but there will be in the other twelve by twelve pack, which is the Stargazer. They always make sure that they put lots of different embellishments in there. So, for example, here I've got some um, shells. They're not real shells, but I've got some shells. I've got some metal embellishments, and I've got some of this, um, which. You, just something you expect to yes. see. In the, I'm not quite sure. It's, I'm not sure, quite sure what they call this either. It's just that. that well, it's stuff. netting, isn't it? That's it. That's yeah, it. It's netting, netting, netting for when they go fishing. Yeah, yeah. So um, they they give you loads and loads. And what they all fish catching stuff. That's what we'll call it. Fish catching stuff. I like it. Now, in any pack that you get any um, of the the proper bulk packs that isn't just the paper you always get these sorts of elements so what you when you buy from celebrate you know that you'll be getting see and these are proper me metal they're not plastic so you know that you'll be getting really decent embellishments every time you buy from celebrate yeah it's like a staple part of their package yes it's what they you know they put this in could you move that card more central into the mat there i do go. that don't i i I think I, it's because I do it at home when I'm working and I, I end up with a tiny bit just off. I think it's when, when you're at, it's like when you start to add your paints and you start to mm. add your glues. That kind of always takes up the right-hand side or your left-hand side of your craft yeah. mat, doesn't it? Depending on whether you're right or left. So it's a natural thing. So now I'm just going to put a bit of 3D glue gel and I'm going to put these shells down. So you get quite a lot. I mean, these bags are full. You do also get, when you get the packs yeah you do as well as getting things like this you always get a pack of uh glitter but really fine glitter yeah so that'll work really well with the edgings of your cards like you know phil martin's trick yes now if you manage to get hold of that full kit then you will have what zoe is using at the moment we sold out we were very very busy we do have the 12 by 12 paper pad and that is also very, very busy. It's a beautiful pad, it really is. And it's timeless. And by that, I mean the colours, the images. 
it's timeless. So it's not a fashion thing. It's not like the fashion colours of this year. It's timeless. It's stylish. And that's what I think everyone is going for with the paper bags. It's something they could perhaps use later on in the year. They could perhaps buy a couple, for example. But you've got lots of elements. This is just the front cover. But you've got all of those toppers. You could use those if you want to. Um, and then you've got lots of different papers that will flick through in a moment's time. But that's what we're really busy for at the moment. 999 022878. We'll uh, take a look through that in a moment's time. So, Zoe, you finished project. Look at that. Yes, there we go. So we've got that one. This was the one that I brought to the show, and then we've got this one, which I've just oh. finished now. Doesn't it look lovely? Do you know what they could be? It could be like a little market stalls on a on on, on a key. Yeah. You know, cool. or little shops, like little a surf shop shack, maybe, or like yeah. a. Yeah, that would be amazing. You know, there's a fisherman's yeah. something or other. Down the fisherman's wharf. Yeah. That's in San Francisco. Fisherman's wharf. There you go. Uh, right. Now, let's talk about the 15 by 20 uh, paper pad that we've got for you. You're also getting your stencil and your chipboard as well. And your stickers and your ribbons. Remember, they are domed, not doomed. They are domed... <laughs> Stickers. Let me just pick these up to show you. Uh, so you can see there, they are slightly domed and they're self-adhesive. Uh, so all you have to do is take that. Don't stick it to your skin. That just gives you an idea. There you go. Is that upside down or is that me? It is. Let's put that round that way. That'd be better. Uh, but they'll look good on your cards and on your projects. Your ocean vibes. Let's take that off. Hands are looking a bit dry there. Sorry, everybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was something I needed to do before I came into the studio. Um, I love this size paper pad. It's manageable, isn't it? It's going to be great for your scrapbooking, uh, great for your journals as well. And in fact, you could start to create your own journals with these. You could pop a couple of holes at the top and tie some string through there if you want to. Um, I love that image. Who would have thought? This, I think this is what it is, Zoe. It's the flowers and the sea life that don't normally go together but work so well. They do, don't they? I think and I think when you see that whale, I think there's a certain amount of peace and calm and yes. serenity. Yeah, and that comes from the flowers mixing with uh, yeah. the whale. Double-sided. Uh, so again, you've got, I think you've got two of each design. So I'll turn that around so you can see there that beautiful whale. Then you've got that lovely shack style finish, or it could be the boardwalks that you're walking on. Uh, you've got some lovely map style designs in there with that lovely green. Then you've got your anchor. I like that, which is really nice. And then, of course, you can cut down there and cut down there. Um, and then you've got your zigzag patterns. And then let's just go through a couple of more designs for you. Don't worry, that's not a blizzard. That is the end piece of card. Oh, no, it's a white piece. You get a white piece of card in there. I thought that was like a, a, a filler. You get a white piece of card in there, so you get your blanks as well. Uh, let's turn that one around. That's your decoupage. You can start to cut those out and maybe put them onto the white background. That's a really good idea. Uh, you've got lots of little sayings and card toppers for you to cut out. That could be your sea scene. Maybe add some flowers to that. It's a very surf-esque style um, paper pad collection. I really do like this. Very busy though. £15.99. Doesn't surprise me. You get your chipboard and your stencil as well. And that's your card. You can either Cut that in half or turn it the other way. And look, you've got all of those elements to use. Fantastic deal. 1599 818172 is your item number. Right, we've got a happy hour deal for you for this hour and this hour only. Um, I put a picture of this on Facebook and already half the stock has gone. Uh, it is a sensational deal because what we're getting in here, you're getting your, oops, you're getting your 12 by 12 paper pad, which is just there. You're also getting your chippies, which are there, so your chip boards. You're getting your stencil and you're getting your ephemera with now this is something I didn't see um, and Zoe's just pointed out if I just lift this up I think these are all attached yes they are okay brilliant um, on here we've got the stars so you can embellish those we've got some really if I just move my finger there really tiny balls like um, it's almost like sand but they're very very fine if I open that out you can see those you get, you get quite a lot can you see those all those fine balls in there. And let's open this out. Um, and then you've got your beads in there, oh, which are really God. nice. And then you've got all of that metal. Let's pop this. Can we turn? Yeah. Let me open this that way. There you go. You've got... Do you know what? I'm just going to take this off. I'm just going to pop this down a moment because I'm really excited about this. Let me see if I can get this open. Yeah, it's like treasure. My word, look at this. 
So you've got you've got some stars. You can make some necklaces and earrings out of these. You've got your moons in there. Uh, you've got your stars in there as well. My, and these are these are are they metal or plastic? I think they're metal. They're metal. They are. They're metal. These are amazing. You've got some flowers in there. Love that moon with the stars. They're included. All of those included. That's an incredible deal. Nineteen ninety nine. Um, but it's only until four o'clock. So um, my word. I th do you know what? It's worth it just to get those metal embellishments. They are brilliant, especially if, you, if you're making jewellery and things like that. I'll try and get them all back in, I promise. Uh, but let's just pop that back on there before I ruin all the display. So your happy hour deal is only until four o'clock. And just to show you a couple of really nice samples that Zoe has put together using the embellishments, using the different ways of cutting out the paper pad and then sticking it all together, making that scrapbook page, which is lovely. And here's another one as well. So you can have lots of fun with this, the beautiful pages uh, and lots of different ways of cutting out and using um, your texture paste on here and your inks as well. 684677 is your item number. Very busy for your happy hour deal. Doesn't surprise me. It's only 19.99. If you want to multi-buy, then you're more than welcome to do so. Just remember, this is a happy hour deal all the way up until 4 o'clock. You can get the paper pad on its own. I don't know what I was going to say there. On its own. Uh, 9 .99, uh if you want to go for the paper pad on its own. Uh, 228631. I promise I'll be able to speak properly. By the time, I don't know, I get to go home tonight. Because we broadcast all the way through until 10 o'clock. Yes, we do. That's our last live hour. Right, so let's go on to the... So I'm just trying to put all the metal embellishments back in because I just think they're fabulous. I really do. Uh, right, so we have got your 15 by 20 centimetre paper pad. Uh, and again, with this, you can still make and create some beautiful cards. Here's a lovely sample uh, put together by Zoe. You can see there. And that's just cutting out elements, isn't it, Zoe? Yeah, it's just using bits and pieces. I mean, that's essentially just using almost scraps, really, isn't yeah. it? You know, what you've got left over. But there's so much, I think there's so much detail and there's so much detail when it comes to the ephemera. I mean, every inch of the page is used. They couldn't put any more on if they tried to. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you're getting so much for your money. It's a, it's a superb deal, it really is. And with your paper pad, you also get your chippy. I like that. It's like um, it's almost like a, a geometric style mandala. Yes, yeah. I like it. Yeah, we do like that. So in your paper pad, double sided again. So you've got your double sided sheets in there, and you've got your elements to cut out. Maybe use for your cards or your card toppers, your scrapbooking, for example. We love that moon. Isn't that brilliant? Bit of shadowing around that moon will make it pop and stand out. Some really nice patterns and interesting designs that you can use, cut out, or just use as your background, or maybe use the die cuts. Uh, you've got some words as well that you can cut out. So that's really Really good so you've got lots of different uh, sentiments that you can put together and lots of different uh, card toppers as well they are all double-sided some beautiful patterns on there for you to use and borders and different designs so take a moment to go through your paper pad have a look at what's in there and have a think about what you're going to do with it when you get it home and if you want more than one because this really is an exceptional deal, then now's the time to do that. £10.99, pence, saving £5 on that deal. That is amazing. That would go really well with your happy hour deal. Now, we have got your heartfelt for you now. So let me just... You are getting some chipboard, a uh, stencil and your embellishments. We just don't have them here in the studio, but you're getting all of those included together. Um, and that makes it a superb deal, doesn't it? Absolutely incredible. And I really like the colours that have been used in this. Um, you've got some really nice vintage designs. Let's just go through this. So we've got some really nice um, sepia colours and pinks and greens, for example. You can see there the different elements that you can cut out. These are um, double-sided. Love those butterflies. Love that pattern. And then you've got your ledger-style uh, paper at the side there. So you've got two of those. Remember, these are double-sided. Look at the wings. And look at the butterflies. So you've got all those different elements that you can cut out. This is an absolutely marvellous deal. $19.99. You get your stencil, your chipboard and your embellishments as well. My word, I would definitely treat yourself to this. This is absolutely beautiful. If you've got some MDF storage, you could perhaps use this to um, cover your MDF storage, but it'd be great for your scrapbooking and card making as well. And even down to the back cover, you've got all of those different elements to use. This 
It's fabulous. Love this. Uh, 652981 is your item number. Now we've got one more collection for you. This is the New Beginnings. Now this is a happy hour deal. Oh, some fantastic. Oh my word, look at that. 1499 saving five pounds so in that you've got your stencil you've got your chipboard you've got your is that a 12 by 12 paper pad 12 by 12 paper pad you've got your domed stickers not doomed they're domed um and then i do believe you've got some like ribbon and string and stuff wow you embellish it that's an amazing deal 14.99 if you want some inspiration there you go look at that all coming with you uh, alongside that 12 by 12 paper pad so if you're thinking oh i just need some more stuff in my craft room i need something for projects and inspiration you've got it right there and the um incentive to buy well you've got five pounds off it's a happy hour deal for this hour and this hour only 20 minutes left of the show we are with zoe any questions or if you've got any designs you want to send in or you want zoe to see them then please Please send them in. It is studio at thecraftstore.com. Right, Zoe, what are we having a look at? I thought now? we'd do a quick little scrapbook page, if that's okay. okay. Yeah. Um, I, I noticed, I saw on social media that we used to do a lot of scrapbooking, and it's, uh, things go in waves, don't they? Go in and out of fashion, yes. that sort of thing. Um, but there was a lady that was saying, you know, can we do more scrapbooking? Can we see more scrapbooking, please? Because it sort of tailed off a little bit. So I thought, I'm going to do a scrapbook page. So I've got one of the 12 by 12 um, papers, and then I've just, I've already put my pads on there, so you can see, look how big that is, the lighthouse is. Ooh, that's that's a, a big one. Really big size, isn't it? Yep. There are other sizes smaller, graduating down smaller than that, but that's a really nice size to get started with. And these pictures are taken from last year's holiday. We managed to get one in Wales, in Patheli. So these are pictures with um, my daughter and my mum and my stepdad. Oh. When we had it, we, I've even got a picture of when we got to the top of Snowdon. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, we did well. <laughs> I, do you know, I froze when I got to the top of Snowdon. You can then, you, I don't know, have you been? Yes, I have. So, you know, you climb up to the top. Yes, I do. I was literally, I was holding on to the steps. You, you, there's nothing to hold on to, no I rails. Know. And I'm going there and I got to this circle at the top and I just grabbed on it and I held on for dear life. Oh, and they were like, let's take a picture. And I was, no, no, I'll take the picture. I, I did exactly the same. But I'm, I must admit, we didn't hike up. It was bad weather. So we went upon the little train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got to the top and the weather was terrible. So going up to that mound, it was it was scary, Mary. It was very windy when we went as well. And I was just, I'd, I'd had enough by that point. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy walking. I love going out walking, but I'd had enough. I was terrified because yeah. of the weather. It is scary. We and went for a walk once out in the Lake District and uh, we thought, oh, what, let's go through that gate there. And we only had like little trainers on and a, a flapjack in a carrier bag. And three hours later, we were at the top of the old Manor <gasps> Coniston. No! I was absolutely shaking. And there was a school group up there. So I got on my hands and knees and I crawled over to them and I was like, please help me down the mountain. <laughs> And they did, bless them. They did. We were singing songs as we went down. I was crying and they were, they were really good. I have to say, I was pretty much the same coming down Snowdon. It, I was walking down and the wind just whipped up, you know, as it does. Yeah. And I just went, I, I just literally, I went straight on the ground and I'm, I'm not moving, I'm not moving. So my stepdad had to come back up and get me. I was, I'm not moving, I'm not moving. I was absolutely terrified. Aww. And these are the memories that you can relive now by making a scrapbook. Yes. You can relive these terrifying memories. <laughs> relive the horror in a scrapbook that you make. <laughs> <laughs> We're not cruel at all. So you can see with everything, if I just bring these into, into the screen, so you, into the shot so you can see them. I can't pick them up now. These are all bits of ephemera that I've cut out. You get a lot of these where there's a saying, and it, you know, with this one, it's an ocean breeze puts the mind at ease. Aww. There's other things like everything's better in the sun, soak up the sun. Uh, there you go. There's another one. Life is better in flip flops. Now, I, I agree. just had an idea. You know, with the lighthouse there, you yeah. could have that triangular shape coming out of the lighthouse. You know, with the light, <gasps> yes. and then you could put certain elements of your photos in there. I like it. Or with a piece of string. Yep. And then the piece of string could go to somewhere where you've been, and the other piece of string come down. Oh, that's I an like idea. That. On these, on the 15 by 20, 20, and on the large ones as well, have a look on them because you get a lot of these. So they're sort of bits that you could just finish off a card with, or just add a little bit of um, something to with your card or, or your scrapbook because there's loads and loads of things available on there oh, for yeah, you to put nice. down. 
that you can one see you're yeah, yeah, the you? one you're using there yep. is on the 15 by 20 it's at the top so think about this differently when you get it home and what Zoe's done she's cut it out if we turn it that way and then it becomes that uh, nice bit of C uh, or frame which works really really well or you could use that on the side you could use it anyway really so yeah explore the pages and see what you've got in there to use because there are some fantastic designs there's some lovely there. designs isn't there and they really do use up the whole of the paper or well card as I should say yeah, they, they give do. you every inch that they can give you they do so I'll just put this one on here And what I like is that all those packs, you can actually mix and match the packs. So if you've got one pack from Celebrate, yeah. you will be able to mix it with another pack. Because everything, what the, the whole bumper collection of what you get in, the whole, all of that stock, all of those products, it's not just in, say, one of the, it's not just in, say, the Ocean Bliss, it's in all of them. So it'll be in the Stargazer, it'll be in the New Beginnings, it will be in the Serenity as well. Yes. And don't forget, you, with, with the paper pad, the 15 by 20, you're also getting those dome stickers, you're getting the stencil, the chipboard, and you're getting the ribbon as well. Um, so it really is a cracking deal. I think, um, well, in the, in Celebrate, you've got Erin, Erin Brutton, yeah. and her husband, and I am ever so sorry, because I know that they're going to be watching, and I'm really sorry, I've temporarily cannot place your name at the moment I've been thinking about it for the last 40 minutes and I cannot place your name Aww. but Erin um, does a lot of the classes yeah. whereas her husband and it's I think it's quite unusual to see a, a male designer yeah. um, you know and this is this is all done by her husband her husband's the designer for all of this oh, wow. and he's really got you know in, what does he, he must go out because he lives in they live in Jeffreys Bay uh, which is very famous for surfing and then you just must be able to just see so much, yeah. you know, there's so much going on, isn't there? Just to be able to sit there sort of and, and watch what happens from very early in the morning. Yeah. Everyone comes onto the beach, people go onto the surf, they come home, maybe light a, a fire if they're allowed to, barbecue on the beach. Yeah, it'd be really nice to see, actually. Now, I think that comes across in the papers and the colours and just the softness and the serenity and the peaceful. No. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Mm. So all I've done is I've just taken one of the pieces of ephemera and I've just offset it because I want it just to catch the end of the page. There we go. So there Look we go. At that. That's what we've got. And then I can you can just keep going. I actually quite like that. I don't think I really want to do much more. So I've managed to decorate this with the swirls, the sea swirls, and then we've got bits all over here. And I'm not a scrapbooker, so I'm really happy with that. Yeah, I think that is absolutely fantastic. I really, really do. And scrapbooks can be put in scrapbooks, or how about putting it into a frame and putting it onto the wall? You can still do that, because our photos stay in the drawers too much, don't they? We want to get them out, we want to make them into pieces of artwork, and something like that. With the scrapbook, it gives you the elements to, to, to have a look and just bring those memories back. Right, let's give you a reminder. You're 12 by 12, 9.99, uh, very popular. 14 sheets in total, and with those 14 sheets, you can make some beautiful cards, as Zoe has done right here. Absolutely beautiful. And the different elements that are in there, you can quite easily cut out. Let me make sure I've got that the right way around. Yep. Uh, and you can start to make cards. You've got birthday cards, wedding cards that you could put together. Use this in your scrapbooks. Use it for uh, die cutting machines as well because they make great background papers as well. And when you've got the elements, if I just pick up the paper pad and take you through it, uh, you'll see that you've got large areas to work with. Even the front cover, you've got all of those different card toppers that you can work with. You've got divisions in the pages and also down the bottom of the pages where you've got little items there's those life boys again uh, just flicking through these these are double-sided as well rich in color but they're so gorgeous to use you've got large elements in here you've got smaller elements as well so you can mix and match with the other items we've got on the show for you absolutely beautifully designed uh, if you do want to go for your 12 by 12 999 022878 is your item number now uh, we have got the 15 by 20 on the show the 15 by 20 fabulous designs and with this you get your chipboard and you also get your stencil as well uh, you've got elements in here that's going to allow you to cut out and start to create 
different designs. So you've got those lovely elements there. You've got nice ombre style uh, sheets so you can make your own sea scenes if you want to. You've got those lovely elements. Remember that, use that as a uh, frame if you want to. We've got the turtles in there and the whales and the octopus. You've got your lovely lighthouse in there, all using those gorgeous colors. And then if there's a strip down the bottom, let me turn this the right way around, you've got your sentiments on the bottom to use as well. Uh, excellent value for money, $15.99, not just for the paper pad though, you also get your stencil and you get your chippy as well, your chipboard and your embellishments. So you get your three domed, not doomed, your three domed stickers, there they are. And then you also get your ribbon as well. So that is superb value for money. Right, Zoe, we have got about five minutes left on the show. Are we going to try and get another demo? Challenge in? Zoe. Fantastic. Let's Brilliant. Let's do it. What I've done is I have gone ahead, I've cut everything up, but I've gone ahead and just put my matting and layering down. So it is literally just me cutting and sticking and putting things into place. So what I wanted to do was I want to, I've got this that's going to sit in the middle, but I want to distress it so it looks a bit sort of weather beaten. Okay. Is that how you craft at home, Zoe? I know you come in here and you demo and you get everything prepared, but do you normally prepare everything and then go right and then put it all together no i just <laughs> no no last night i was i was at my desk last night and i've been at my desk for the week just cutting i spent actually what i did was i spent one night where i cut absolutely loads yeah. and you know it was really nice it was absolutely chucking it down outside and i'm inside in front of the tv with my blanket around me and i'm cutting out all the you Aww. know the ephemera yeah and it was really good if you you know sometimes you want to craft but you don't know what you want to do yeah. you don't know what you want to make yeah and you've got you know the, the inspiration isn't flowing so all i did was i just sat there and i just cut and then for the following days i've got loads of stuff to use then so that's yeah. you know if you're not sure how what to do when you get started start cutting your ephemera out because you will use it yeah and you'll you know the more that you've got the more that you're going to use so get as much cut out as possible and then when you're ready for you know to make a card then everything's there for you now with this all i'm doing is i'm just trying to just roughen it up and just sort of make it look a bit aged so i'm using my scissors and all i'm doing is just rubbing down the scissors okay. and rubbing down that paper and it's just going to rough it up so i would say cut it into cut it to the size that you want yeah to begin with and then do this don't try and um do this and then think oh i've, I've not cut it down make sure it's cut down to begin with okay don't i did this just yeah yesterday and thankfully my dog's white so and because he was sat under me he was sat like in between my legs at my, at my desk and he ended up with all these on oh oh it's all right he normally ends up with glitter on and all sorts of stuff what he, dog have you got again an old english sheepdog that's it brian yeah. brian the old english sheepdog and i tell you what my mum i was talking to my mum the other day and i said you know he's been i'd be lost without him you know oh. especially over lockdown and when we because yeah. we lost one of our dogs she died we had another gym, uh, old english sheep dog and she died oh. and my mum said i said to me you know i'd been i would have been lost without with this boy without you know lockdown oh. and she says i think you've been there for me but have been lost without you oh. when maddie went his yeah. friend went so oh. but he's, he's he's 12 now and he's a bit poorly but you know what it's like he's got a new lease of life oh bless him and he's just acting like a puppy sometimes his body won't do what he wants it to do you know he can't go running upstairs but and he started doing this thing now where he wants to be hand fed and my mum comes round um and he, he will ha she'll hand feed him Aww. she'll sit and hand feed him it took a half an hour to, to feed him yesterday and i said this is ridiculous who which who's the dog wagging you know i think you're the dog's wagging the tail she was like oh but look at him he's just he's just hungry and he just wants to eat I said, he's always hungry and he always wants to eat <sighs> But I'm just as bad. I've taken to, uh, at um, breakfast time, I've taken to getting the bre my breakfast and he always wants a bit of what I've got, which yeah. is usually my cocoa pops. And um, I've started doing his own bowl now. So we sit together. I sit on the floor with him while he's eating it. And we oh. sit and have our breakfast together. Oh. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to put a knot in this um, ribbon. Yep. We've I'm got not a minute and a half, Zoe. Brilliant. I'm not good with... Um, with bows i'll be honest with you i'll never i'll never make a decent bow but all i've done is i've just double knotted it so it create comes like that and then i'm just going to put it on like that and i think that looks really good oh, i'm happy great. with that i like that i'm happy with that so i've just put the um i've just aged this paper as well just 
put a little bit on there. Bit of double sided tape. Yeah, there we go. Jobs are good. One. And you can see, I, I love what they do with it. You know what you're going to be getting. You'll get, you know, you'll get so much from Celebrate. You know that you're going to get some beautiful papers. The ephemera is going to be gorgeous. And you know that you're going to get ribbon with it as well. Well, you do need to get hold of it because we've only got 30 seconds left of the show. We've got about three minutes left of the happy hour deals before they go back up to the price from when they came. So we've had absolute bargains on the show and, and some done. fabulous demonstrations from there our go. Zoe. There you go. Look at that. Speed crafting with Zoe. <laughs> Zoe, when are we going to see you again? Going to be a little bit while because um, I'm going to be taking a bit of time away. Okay. Um, but hopefully within the next couple of months I'll be back. Excellent. Well, we look forward to that. Thank we look you very forward much. to that, Zoe. Uh, and thank you so much for today. An absolute joy thank you. as always. Please do check out your baskets and go and have a peruse at the happy hours before they go back up at four o'clock today. Right, craft yourself silly, celebrating eight years, yes. Uh, we've got that coming up next, so easy with Sashiko, and then Studio Light, say it with flowers. It's Craft Yourself Silly's eighth birthday, and join us when we're going to launch the Fabazine number six. Twelve fantastic projects, as always, you can see some of them here. We're also launching the button fabazine as well, which is one you can see up there. So really excited. So join us for our one day special on the 9th of April, 6 p.m. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia. And along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers. And that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. Did you know you can continue watching The Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques, from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passementry. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas.
I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows. For the past six years, Achanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing. We'll be the same Achanda that we've always been. We're, We're just, just getting a brand new name. Demonstration led, full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to The Craft Store, your home of everything crafts. Good afternoon. Now, this is your final call of the one day special and what a busy one day spe special special it has been. Um, but we are now limited stock. That's right. So it's tension. Will it last the hour? Will it not last the hour? We will see. Um, now, um, what we're going to do. Um, so we're celebrating as well. Um, eight years of craft yourself silly. That's what we are. Have we got your mic, Kaylee? Are we all right? No. We haven't. No. That's all right. I'll just I'll keep talking. Shout, shall I? No. <laughs> we'll get your mic sorted out. But what we can do is go through uh, what you can get. So you've got your one day special, which is literally everything that you're seeing on the counter. You're also seeing these lovely projects that you're going to make because you've got your Fabazine number six. And in that you can make 12 projects. And in Fabazine limited edition of the button magazine, Fabazine, uh, you're getting nine projects. Lovely stuff. Now, for everyone that buys in the UK, you will get these pair of scissors. It's a while stocks last that are worth twelve ninety nine. There you go. It looks really good, doesn't it? You're not paying for those. You're not paying for those. Um, so details are on screen. Shall we show you the projects then that you'll be able to make from? Yes. Yeah, shall we break it down? No, we're still not. We've still got mic issues. It's been a day. Now, if you do want Fabazine issue six on its own, this is also limited stock. OK, so there are 12 projects that you'll be able to make in here um, and we can show you. I love these. This is a gorgeous little scrunchy pouch bag. Love this. Next, you'll be able to make. Here it is. <gasps> Oh, he's, he's my favourite project out of the whole set because he's just too, too cute. He's our dragon, our lovely dragon. Next then, we've got our pouch. Um, and this is really nice because it's sort of for your first aid. I can open it up in a little bit. Uh, next project. This is the travel bag and it's got a really lovely fancy zip. And you do get the zip in with um, everything with the magazine. Lovely. Oh, now I love this picnic bag. And it's like reversible. So, I'm, yeah, you can see... Oh, uh, no, there isn't any more. <laughs> okay, um, so we've got our reversible bag. This is the set of feather bookmarks. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? And uh, next, we've got our elephant holder. He's an MDF holder. And of course, you can see very nicely, he's holding that pair of scissors, which you're not paying for, which while stocks last, you will get those pair of scissors. Nice. And then we've got this beautiful bag. And again, I reckon you could reverse this bag. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, you can reverse this. I have had a nod from Hayley. Then moving along. Here you can make a crazy panel. So these are all the projects that you can make in Fabazine issue six. And last but not least, we've got our beautiful birdie um, that you can free motion embroider over. Okie dokie. So, uh, if you would like to get your Fabazine number six, £44.99 is the price, and you've got a £5 saving. Now, that £5 saving carries over um, when we go for the complete collection. 507468. And just look at everything that you get. So, we've seen all those fabulous projects. 
but you're getting your skeins of thread, you've got the binding, you've got, uh, there's the straps there, there's some elephant D, um, MDF, you've got your templates here, L look at this. So you literally get everything that you need to make those pr um, lovely projects that we've seen. And you get that big, big fabric panel um, that you cut up into all of the different projects. 507468 is your item number, but your Fabazine number six, that is now limited. Next then, we've got our button, limited edition Fabazine. Uh, this one has nine projects in it. Am I fixed? Yay! Yay. Okay. <laughs> I can help you out now. That's good. Hiya. Oh, technical issues, technical gremlins, issues. never mind. Right, so um, yeah, do you want to chat about the Fabazine yeah, so the button Fabazine one? button one, what we've started doing is doing special edition ones which are all focused around one thing. So the, the last one we did was denim uh, and this one we've done is buttons and these are usually um, limited edition because there will be something in that kit that I can't get again. Right, okay. So that's why we have a limited number of them. So um, this one is a fabulous kit and you, oh, that's in the old one, that's not the button one. But never mind, we'll move on. That, yeah, um, that one's in the Fabazine 6. <laughs> the go. button one's got that big panel, which is your hummingbird. Oh, right. OK, we'll start We're with starting the starting from here. So right. you get two batoonies, you get the large and the small. So the large one is your bee, and the small one can be either hedgehog, um, bat or spider. You okay. get one of those three. Um, and then alongside that, you are going to get your hummingbird panel. Mm -hmm. This one's a fantastic one to do, and you get loads of buttons left over from this as well, right. which coordinate beautifully with your calendar, which hopefully will be the next one. It isn't. It's a bigger button. There you go. Okay, we'll come back to the calendar then. So you've got your necklace, and if you are canny with your buttons, you will be able to get two of those out okay. as well. And then we're going calendar next. So for this one, what you can do is... Um, you can use any of those leftover buttons from your hummingbird panel because you'll notice all the colours are very similar to what's on your hummingbird panel mm -hmm. and you can use those buttons on there as well. And this works by um, creating fabric covered buttons yep. which you can then move around to denote which day of the week it is. It's so cool. And that calendar will then last forever. Wow. Doesn't matter what month it is, doesn't matter what year it is, that calendar will last forever. Yeah. And you just move the buttons around as you wish. So um, I know that was a one that people were really interested in, so we're going to come back to that. And um, there's 31 of those self-cover buttons in there, and mm -hmm. they're a really good size as well. You're also getting the tool yeah. to cover the buttons with as well, so you're getting an awful lot within there. Ah, wonderful. Lovely stuff. So, oh yeah, then we've also got our uh, Yorkshire yeah, so buttons. Yes, this is a sunglasses pouch. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to do. Yorkshire buttons. Oh, you've left the thing. It's okay. I'll work it out. Um, so this one's a way of kind of weaving little bits of fabric in a circular, um, on a circular loom, which then you can take off and make into Yorkshire buttons. And I know we've got a lot of finished samples of those kicking about, but there are going to be. Um, videos for all of these projects on our YouTube on Friday. Right. So that means that anything that we've missed out during the shows, you can catch up on there. Cool. And then we've got like our crossword. This is fun. Yes. So I really like this one. And uh, you're getting 34 buttons in there. One to fill every single one of those white squares. And we've given you a kind of suggestion in the booklet of what you could put down. Mm -hmm. But... Um, you could put anything you like on there. Yeah. Um, and there's, there's five letter words, six letter words, and seven letter words on there, and a couple of four letter words as well. So you can kind of, you know, spread things out and make it match up with everything. Indeed, names. I'm liking and, that. You know, fun stuff. Uh, right, then, oh, this is one of my favourites. Yes, so this is a tote bag. There's actually some really long handles on that as well, although they've just pegged it up at the top there. And um, this one's really fun. Catherine had a really good idea for this. She, she said, all of those clothes that you've ever owned where there's been a, a spare button on it, take the spare button off and put the spare button onto there. So then take the bag with you everywhere you go. And if anything ever falls off your clothes, that's you it. Put it straight back on. I love that idea. I think that's <laughs> fabulous. Right then, so that is your limited edition buttons fabazine. Nine projects there. Um, two payments of £25 if you are going to spread the cost. Look look how much you're getting in this. This it's is incredible. Huge. We've had to get yeah. a bigger box for this one. Yes. <laughs> There's that much stuff in it. Now, breaking news. I feel like I should shuffle some papers. Right, with Fabazine, issue six, 
On its own, we have technically sold out. That means all the stock is in baskets. If any happen to bounce back, we will let you know. But you've got such good value for money there. Um, now, remember, there's a £5 saving on your Fabazine issue 6. There's a £5 saving on your um, button Fabazine. That carries over, so obviously that's £10. Then you get a further £15 saving on your complete collection one-day special. Um, but remember, it will be going back up in price at 6 o'clock. However, green is on the screen. It is limited stock. Now, this works out at £3.00. 81 a project. Lovely stuff. All right, two payments of 39.99. Item number is uh, 728446. Now, we've also got some happy hours uh, that uh, I don't think you've seen yet. Well, no, you haven't because we've just launched them. Here we go. Right, um, we've got your quilting cotton bundle. Yes, so this is exactly the same weight as we print all of our panels on. So if you are wanting to be sneaky and use up some of this to make some of the projects go further, like the picnic carrier, the um, Mobius one-piece bag, yep. um, the scr scrunch pouch and the ouch pouch could all be kind of doubled up if you've got extra fabric. Lovely. All right, £18.97. Hey, you've got a £20 saving on this. Uh, 980682. Now, it's dispatched from the 14th of April uh, because it's sold out on immediate dispatch. Right. Uh, we've also got the poplins. Now, these are also on a pick and mix, right? So you're choosing any two colourways. Uh, so you've got your pinks, blues. This one is the natural. Purples or the greys. And you're going to get three metres in total because right. you're, you've got one set of um, three half metres okay. and then you've got another set of three half metres. Excellent. So you're getting three full metres into one. Well, three metres in total but just depending on how you pick and mix your colours. If you do pick and mix them um, uh, two of the same, I'm yep. try my best to oh, yeah. get them cut as one continuous piece that. for you. Very nice. Uh, the purple. Yep, that one is now limited, so pop it in your basket. £17.98 pence with an £8 saving, 790603. And then last but not least, we have got the calico. Uh, you've got three metres of the calico here. Uh, good weight, really good medium weight there. 11.98, £3 saving, only up until the end of the hour, 340799. Uh, as ever, you can give us a call, 017336020, or go to, thank you, Jimmy, the, the craftstore.com. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I think we've all been caught with that one. We have, I was too busy eating my flatbread earlier on that I, I just went straight into the just wrong name. automatic pilot. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right. Right, I'm going to hand over to you, Hayley. Okay, so we're going to have a quick look at the dragon. I know we've got a lot to get through still, but we're going to have a very quick look at the dragon. So, this one's quite simple in, in terms of its construction because a lot of your pieces, um, like the arms and the legs that I've got here, are just two pieces which you are putting face to face, like that. And then you are going to take a quarter inch seam allowance and you're going to go all the way around that edge. Once you've gone all the way around the edge, you're going to flip it right side out and you can see one side has got the um, pattern on for the scales and one side is blank. So the scaled side is going to be the what goes on the outside, so that's his, his little arm coming in there. Um, and the plain side is what's going to go underneath there. So all of these are jointed. Um, and we'll come to how you put those um, limbs on in a second, but the things like the ears there and the wings, they're made exactly the same way. Just two pieces, um, stitched round, flipped inside out, and then pressed flat. The only thing I've done that's different on the wings is I've added a little bit of stitching to make the... Um, to, to kind of make little veins within, or little kind of bones within the wings. So yeah. that's what we've added on those. Um, and that is essentially it. When you put the um, ears in, it tells you in the instructions just to kind of create a little dart. Can you see just the little darts that are there? Yep. Yeah. Where I've sandwiched that little ear in. Cute. And then when you come to put the wings on the back, all you're doing is sandwiching those in the seam. Yep. Yeah. And that's, that's it. You can attach everything together in one go. Cute. He's right. very cute. So, next section we need to do is to put the body together. So, what I tend to do first is sew the tummy panel on. So, I'll go chin to bottom and then the same direction on the other side, chin yeah. to bottom. And then once they're both in, then I'll take the whole thing to the sewing machine and sew 
round to complete that last tail bit. Obviously, these will be inside out when we do them. Mm -hmm. And then round the head to complete that bit. Just be a little bit careful when you come round that inside bit of the head that you don't kind of um, catch this little bit in as well. Because sometimes you can catch that. Oh, the other thing you can sometimes do yep. is have it so that the raw edge of that is actually sticking out. So just okay. be a little bit careful when you come to that point to make sure those things don't happen. Then we need to attach the um, arms and legs. So where is my hole? There it is. I put a hole in already. We've got um, little joints in here for you. So we've got, a, you get a set of eyes to put on the face, but then you get uh, an extra four sets of eyes. Okay. So by set of eyes, I mean uh, one of those black pieces and the little catch that goes on the back. Yes. What you would need to add into this is you need to add in these discs. So you get um, four discs this size, which are for the legs, mm -hmm. and then you get four slightly smaller ones, which are for your arms. And the way that these work is you pop um, one of the discs over the top of the eye there. We put, I'm just going to take a little bit of stuffing out of here because it's going to be a little bit easier. And I've just stuffed this with old fleece. All right, that's so good. So you way can to kind of recycle fleece to, to use as stuffing because it's polyester and it would be washable if you decided to wash it. So I'm going to push that through there mm -hmm. to hold that in place. Let me just get that thread that's caught on the top down. That's it. There we go. So that one's in. And then I've got a hole already in here. They're marked on your uh, pattern so you'll know where to put the oh, little good. holes. Yeah. And you just want to make a little um, hole with a seam ripper and then you'll be able to push it in. So then I'm going to pop that into there. I'm going to add the other disc. So you want to make sure that everything's pushed right as far up as you can possibly get it. I'm mm -hmm. just going to flip this inside out a bit more so you can maybe see a little bit better. Yeah, there that's we go. Good. Um, and then we're going to pop that other disc on. And then lastly, we're going to put that on. And it'll just snap over mm. the first couple of those ridges. Yeah. And then that means it won't come back off on itself and they'll stay attached. Yeah. Once you're to that stage, you will then stuff the rest of the stuffing into here and sew up that leg. You'll do the same for the arms. And then once all of your arms and legs are on, you can add the last of the stuffing into the back and then sew that off with a ladder stitch as well. So that will be your complete dragon, like the one you've got over there. Now, I've Where'd chosen oh, not to stuff the ears and the wings on mine. This is a sample that a tractor's done. She's decided to add a little bit of stuffing to hers. Yeah. It's entirely up to you which way you go with it. I love it. Um, but very, very cute. I absolutely adore it. It's, the, it's also the way he looks very demure, just yeah. how he's bowing his head. It's just so... Oh. Oh, just, he's, a, he's my favourite project. I mean, shy that's Dragon. Stuff. Shy Dragon. He's a shy dragon. Although, maybe don't be fooled. <laughs> you, know. he's, you can move him, though. That's the thing. Look, he can walk That's about. why we really like kind of working with these joints at the minute, because I think it gives them a lot more personality when you can yeah. kind of move the limbs about. Oh, I love him to bits. Uh, now, I have news. I have news because issue six of our Fabazine. Come on, you stand up. Uh, we can get some back. <laughs> You just I do. Have a chat, I do chat talk. Amongst yourselves. I really do. <laughs> I do have a little chat to any. Not that I have lots of teddies. Um, right, we can get this back on extended delivery, and it'll be from the 20th of April. Again, just to give Haley more time to get all the bits and pieces sorted out. Um, so you're getting all of those fabulous 12 projects that you can see. We've got some out here. Um, so we've got our bag. Oh, in fact, I said I was going to show the bag, didn't I? The inside, because so I think this is really fabulous. Here we go. He's our, he's our little nurse. So you could be popping um, masks in there, all sorts. I just think that's great. Like, it's a nice little... Um, you can pop plasters in there. It's really adorable. So this is our little ouch pouch bag. It's a nice size for glove boxes and things yeah. as well. Because oh, we're, we're all allowed out on days out more now. Yeah. So it's a really nice size for glove boxes or just popping in a bag, that one. We've tried to keep it as compact as we can. Great stuff. Uh, so we've also got, you know, be able to make your... Uh, we've got the scrunch bag, we've got a runner, we've got our elephant, uh, which is a scissor holder, uh, quilt backing, we've got the bag. Um, I just think it's brilliant. There's 12 projects. It's so nice to see them all out. Two payments of £22 and 50 pence, I think that was. £5 save, and remember that one carries over into the big collection. 507468. 
Now, we do have some of the projects as individual kits. However, you know when we've brought, broken it down in the one-day special, £3.81 compared to £12.99. But if you do just want a little fleet of dragons, that is a really good question, Meg, saying what is the collective noun for, uh, for cars, dragons? isn't it? Fleet? What, a fleet of cars? Or a flotilla. Ah. Uh -huh. Don't know. Oh, we're good. we'll see. We'll see um, if there's... I think it needs to be something that sounds more fiery. And magical. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Jimmy just said a flame of dragons. That'll do. That'll That's do. what That'll we're going to go with. Yeah. We'll All right. just invent our own words. Yes. <laughs> uh, Twelve ninety nine. if you just want to make the dragon itself. Oh, Meg's <gasps> just found out it's called a thunder of see, dragons. That sounded more... Yes. Oh, spicy. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, 239041 if you want to do that. Um, now, um, phone lines are busy. Please go to the website at thecraftstore.com. There's going to be a pause every single time. Um, <laughs> over to you, Hayley. I was just glad I don't have to say it. <laughs> but apparently, in my little kind of VT that they have where you, they let you know about our up and coming shows, apparently I'd said the H word the H about. Word four times within one 30 second VT and they couldn't edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to, I had no, to do a what, new one. What they could do, what they could do is every time, you know, like if you say a, a naughty <laughs> word, kinda... they bleep it out. What they could do though, is instead of that, you say that Just word. stick a logo on the face. Yeah, stick the craft store <laughs> logo on. Yeah, that would work. <laughs> We've redone one, so it's yeah. all fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, what we're going to do is we're going to have another quick look at the um, perpetual calendar because this is a fantastic project. It's a it's quite an in-depth project this one, um, and these are um, kind of the the star of the show for um, the button one because these are your self-cover buttons. Yeah. And once you get the hang of these, they are absolutely brilliant. Now you're getting 31 of the buttons. Now if you go and kind of price these, there are for a set of four or five of this size you're looking at about five pounds mm. and that doesn't often include the tool okay so um there's there's about 31 35 pounds worth of buttons and tool there before we even start on the button one wonderful so what we're going to do there's the finished one if i just quickly show you that and um what you're going to get on your panel is you'll see there's loads of little spots that's upside down there we go loads of little spots like that yeah you need to cut those out to their exact size you don't want to be any bigger you don't want to be any smaller goldilocks right in the middle just right right and then we're going to create our buttons so we're going to take a fabric uh pop it on top of the tool there take the what would be the front of the button and push that in and then we're going to flip it over and just check it's in the middle. I haven't pushed that quite far enough in. There, there we go. So you can see there, there's a little kind of um, knobbly dot yeah. where the thing was made. Okay. That is actually the center of it. So I can see that that is actually off center. So I can take that out. Which way do I need to go? I need to go that way a little bit. Adjust it and just pop it back in. Give it a check. Is that better? That's that looks really better, spot on. Isn't it? Yeah. It's like I've made 31 of these already. <laughs> <laughs> And then once that's in and all the way to the bottom of that, because um, this, this piece here is rubber. This clear piece is rubber, so it's quite flexible. The other piece is a really solid plastic piece. Right. And that one is so you can push against it. So once it's in there, you're going to go around tucking all of these um, edges in. And I'm just going to make sure that I've got those all the way in, tucked right nice and tight against the... Um, the metal that's going to make the front of the button. Can you see there? I'm just tucking all those pieces in. What you want to try and avoid is any kind of big folds. So it is worth spending just a minute just pushing all those in nice and tightly. Once you've got that, you're going to add the back to the button. Now, as I said earlier, it's worth just at this point having a check where your writing is because ideally when you put your backs on, you want that loop on the back to be going left to right. Yeah, and that's good point. because of when we put the um, buttonholes in. Yep. You'll not need to add any additional um, stabilizer or any pins or anything to the back to hold these buttons in if you keep that going left to right. So I'm going to flip that back over and then I'm going to pop, make sure I've got it straight. Yep. And then pop that on top. And then we're going to add the little pink cap. I doubt I need to get off my seat and push. 
Okay. Because you, it is worth getting um, a hammer for this if you maybe haven't got a huge amount of finger strength or even standing on it works. I've not got a good thumb today. I'll just, oh, there we go. That's popped it in. I just needed something to spread spread it across a little bit. No, I know what you mean. Can I even use my scissors as a hammer? <laughs> Careful of your fingers. No, I cannot use my scissors as a hammer. <laughs> I'm just going to stand on it. Just chat to Alex for a second. Chat to Alex. We'll this is a good technique, it. to be fair. To be fair. There yep. you go. Look, we'll just show you the... Um, did we call it a perpetual calendar? Yes, because it works forever. Nice. I like that. It's so pretty as well. The panel itself is really gorgeous. We're going to come to that in a second and how that goes together because um, that's a really... It's, it works the same way as um, some of the advent calendars mm -hmm. work. Yeah. So um, once that's all pushed in, then all you need to do is... This is a flexible... Uh, mold so you can just pop it Yay. out and then you've got your button such a professional way. finish it, with they this do tool. give a really yeah. professional finish on these and they are super cute so we're now going to have a look at putting the calendar itself together okay so i've got the panel here and we showed you quickly in the previous um one how to put the folds in and also remember those um it looks wonky when you look at it it looks wonky because you've got these big gaps in here but if you fold to let me just pop that that way there's some really faint lines on here mm -hmm. and if you can just see in this corner because you've got uh two lines on there you've got the inner line yeah and then that outer line as well you want to fold to the outer line so you're going to fold to the outer line on this piece and then when you kind of offer it up to the set before you're going to take it to that same line and then what will happen is you get that continuous pattern all mm. the way through and it just works beautifully now remember if you've got buttons left over from your hummingbird mm -hmm. they will work with this as well great so you could add you know additional kind of embellishments to it if you want to so the way the buttons stay in is the, by like this little buttonhole so we showed you um at i'm gonna say eight o'clock six o'clock nine o'clock one of the times yeah. we showed you how to put the buttons in was okay. it eight o'clock last night or eight o'clock this morning oh i can't remember yeah, have a we'll look at all so of them many. on rewind <laughs> we'll yeah so many and um, and what you're going to do is you're going to put that buttonhole in and then once your buttonhole's in you are going to take a seam ripper and then take that excess fabric out of the middle so that you can obviously put the button in place oh that's not a very sharp one let's see if i've got another one in there oh there's a yellow one yeah this happens to every single one of my seam rippers what i leave them near the iron oh bless you be <laughs> careful <laughs> yeah i leave them near the iron it's very very reckless of me right that's a better one look now, if you are worried about uh, going through where you've put your seam, um, your kind of top of your buttonhole there, a really good tip for this is to just put a pin in. Now, it needs to go in like that so that it's sitting kind of yeah. with the metal piece on the top because then if I go in like that and just push forward, it stops mm, automatically good. where that pin is. Really good tip. So if you're, if you're worried about going through it, then that's a really good way to do it. If you are not as worried, I would just kind of go in and out and then push up to get it away. Yeah. So that's my buttonhole in. Let me grab my button and then we can pop it through there and they'll all stay in place. Let me give it a wiggle for you. Cool. There you go. Wiggling. <laughs> Great TV, that. <laughs> I, Good wiggle, wonderful, it? yeah. <laughs> Best demo ever. Um, so you can, you know, they, they will stay in place for you. And then what you can do is, as soon as you get to the end of the month, whip your buttons out, move them back around to the start on the next day, and away you go. Lovely stuff, and that looks so pretty, doesn't it? Right, we've got some happy hours if you are just joining us, and we are super busy for these. First off, we've got our calico. Now this has gone limited. It's a Big, big three meter piece, medium weight, um, but uh, it's limited stock. It's 11.98. Item number is 340799. Then we've got our poplins. Now here you've got a choice of colors. So you're getting 
two sets of three, if that makes sense. That's what you're choosing on your pick and mix. Uh, but we've got the colour bundles. First off then, you've got three half metres of the pinks. You can choose three half metres of the blues. Then the naturals. Purples are literally hanging on by a single thread, let me tell you. And then you've got the grey, so you're choosing any two. Uh, yeah, but I'm standard, Meg, standard. Yeah, purple and... Oh, I might do purple and blue today. Yeah, I might do that. <laughs> We're always talking about colours. That, that was 17.98 for those. And then you've got your quilting cotton. Now, this one has also gone limited. Um, you're getting three metres of it. Uh, this one's dispatched from the 14th, I believe, of April. You've got a £20 saving only for the next half an hour. Uh, it's £18.97. pence. Item number is 980382. But now we need to talk about the one day special. Just look at all of these goodies. So many wonderful items. Right then, so in your Fabazine issue six, which you're gonna get, you'll get 12 projects that you can make. And we've got literally everything that you need to make the project. And here we go, this is in our Fabazine six. This is our scrunch bag. Next, we've got our wonderful little dragon. Our ouch pouch. This one's the travel bag. You do get the zip and everything. Yeah, yeah. This is our picnic bag, which I How love many the fact. Left? For Jimmy is saying, can he have one at the end? Yes, yes. You can. Uh, to be honest, I'm surprised they lasted this long. I was expecting to come back to the last show with like no zero to maybe one muffin. Mm. Yeah, so, one each. Yeah, one each. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. Here are the <laughs> feather bookmarks. Love them our excellent uh, scissor holder. Don't forget those scissors you're not paying for. Um, and then you've got your bag. And then uh, the lovely panel. I love the geometrics of it. There's more, isn't there? We've got a few more projects. Um, then you've got your fabulous quilt backing. And then this is our hexagon little placemat. And last but not least, you've got the, what did we call it, embroidery? Embroidered doodle. Embroid doodle, right, there you go. So those are the 12 projects in Fabazine 6. Now these are the projects that are in the um, Fabazine, the button limited edition one. We've got our batoonies, nice to see these back again. And then we've got that beautiful hummingbird. I just love the fact that it's co covered in buttons. You're getting so many buttons with this. Next, you'll be able to make a fabulous necklace. Oh yeah, you might be able to make two, depending on how many buttons you, you decide to use. Like that, yeah. You, there's another sample that's down on the flat bit. If yeah. you uh, use them like that, you'll probably get two. Excellent. Then we've got a glasses case holder with the Yorkshire button. We've got a crossword. Uh, next up, there's the calendar. And last but not least, we've got that fabulous tote bag. So it does have really large handles. It's just how we've had to hang it up to get a shot of it. So all of those projects then, what's that? So how, that's like 20, no, sorry, 21, 21 projects. 21 projects Amazing. It works out at £3.81 per project. And you literally Remember, get everything you need. You don't have to find anything to go with these. No. You get absolutely everything you need. So if it says you need a zip, the zip's in there. If it says you need uh, bias binding, it's in there. So, yep. you know, it's it's all good. It's all Lovely. good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> and so behind me, you, we couldn't even fit them onto the screen, but the, the panels that you get here... Yeah, one of them's dragging along the floor. I know, they're really big, <laughs> but all of your projects are on there for you to cut out. Wonderful. So I'm just going to do one more little bit about the calendar sure. yeah, yeah. first, just because obviously we've, we've put the buttonholes in, we've created the buttons, and now it's time to actually get it put together. So when we're looking at putting it together, what I would definitely advise doing is sewing from the top and coming down because um, then you can keep that fold on the top, the one that's kind of feeding into the machine on the top, and the one that's folding the other way uh, is underneath and that's automatically going to go through the machine. So the tricky bit is on the top where you can see what's happening and you can help feed that through. Yeah. I would have plenty of pins in this. I would have pins at every kind of intersection um, just to keep everything nice and straight and it's just long straight lines to keep these in. Now I used a variegated blue thread on mine but you can always change threads so if you've got bits that are more blue and then bits that are more white 
you could change and switch between them if you want to. Yeah. Once that's all sewn in, then you need to cut off the excess. There's a little bit on this side, there's a little bit on this side, and there's a bit on the bottom here, which is all excess that you need to take off. And then the final job is to bind it. So with the binding, you've got obviously a huge stack of binding in there. Mm -hmm. You need to fold that in half, press it with the iron, and then I'll just scooch this down and do this corner down here again. You are going to pop that either side like that. And then when you get to the corner, you're going to turn it like that. Mm -hmm. So you can see that kind of triangle shape forming. Yep. And then fold both sides down. And I would do that one at a time because then what you'll get is you'll get that really nice mitered crisp corner there. And do that. Put all of your pin, all of your binding on or use clips if you want to. But get that all in place first mm -hmm. and then start stitching it in because I find it um, a little bit more difficult to stitch as I'm, you know, kind of turn it as I'm going. I would prefer yeah. to put everything on there first and then come back and stitch it all in place. Okay. So, and there should be probably about maybe 10 centimetres of binding left. If you've still got it folded in half, what you can do is cut whatever piece you've got in half and then take those halves oh, and yeah. pop them in half again like that. And then when you get to the top of your calendar, when you're adding your binding, you can just add, um, well, they'll have to go in that way because obviously your binding's going to go either side of it like that. Yep. So you can add those in as you go around at the top and then you can always just flip them up and um, secure them with a tacking stitch to keep them upright so you've got something to hang it with Yeah, as well. I like that. Nice. So that one is done. We're going to quickly do the elephant again because I know the scissor holder, everybody's getting the scissors um, as a gift with purchase because it's our birthday. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can pop this together. So you have three pieces. You have a front and back. Oh. Yep. Come on, you. There we go. A front and a back. And then you have your three bits that go in the centre, two shorter ones, one longer one. And then you have your base as well. Now, I would definitely um, start to put this together before I decorate it. Sure. If you want the insides to be covered, do those first. Okay. Other than that, everything else afterwards. Right. So, what we're going to do is that this, the way I designed it to go together is different to the way that Patty's put it together. But I think there are benefits in both. So, if you want completely flat front and back, you're going to take the smaller two... Let me just move these so I can get everything in the right place. Right. You're going to take the smaller two and put them up at the head end. Yep. And the longer one, pop that there. Um, a little bit of glue for these because we've made them so they're kind of a really easy fit because we thought people would be decorating these. Yeah. And uh, would want a little bit more wiggle room. So let me just get that on there. And that one there. Come on. There we go. That's it. That pops into place and then slide that down to get your last one in. Once they're in place, you can then take it to your base. Definitely stick these first. Yeah. And then, bosh, there you go. Right, bosh. So, But if you want to decorate it, it's kind of quite nice to be able to decorate it while it's like that and glued and it's still a little bit flat and easier yeah. to handle. Now, Patty's one, which mm -hmm. um, has got the scissors in it over there, that one has been done slightly differently. Can you see on the head there, there's the little pieces sticking, sticking out. out? Hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can turn it. Have there a you pivot. Go. Right. So what she's done is, we didn't realise these were exactly the same size, but oh. very cleverly, she's yeah. put them through like that. And what that does is it gives you uh, six places to actually you know, either hang more things yeah. or um, if you've got you know, extra bits and pieces you want to add on to there. Uh -huh then she's kind of uh, found something that we didn't even know we had. So she's put them together like that. So you can add, uh, maybe you've got bobbins that you want to add That's on there. Cool. Maybe you've got things you want to, yeah. you know, decorate it with or hang it off of it. Mm -hmm. Then you, I can absolutely do that. And the same works with that piece, the longer piece, which goes through the bottom. Ah. So you've got options on how you put yeah, this together. Precisely. But I would definitely say, uh, de if you want to do the inside, Decorate that first. Yes. If you want to do the outside, maybe put it together in its kind of format without the base, decorate it, and then whack it all together. Wonderful. No Thank problem. You, <laughs> um, now, if you do want the individual elephant, 
It does come with the... Oh, does it come with the travel pouch as well? It does. Ah, excellent. Uh, then that is uh, £13... So no, it's not. Sorry, 60 I don't even know where, where I got that figure from. £16.99. pence. So you can see you'll also get the zip and the vinyl um, and that little bit of binding for the travel bag. Um, 16 99 but again, can I just stress, if you're going for the one-day special, it's only £3.81 for that project. Then the... Is yeah. that um, the pouch that you just said with yeah, the, about 15 the, minutes. the little zip? We'll, we'll see if we can squeeze that one in as well. OK. Right then, we've got our calendar. If you want to go for this, it is twenty nine ninety nine. But once more, just to reiterate, it's only £3.81. That's a massive difference. £3.81 for that project in the one-day special. And, of course, you get everything that you need to make it. Lovely jubbly. Um, now, the one-day special, though, most of you are going for, I'm not surprised, right, it's hanging on by a thread. You're going to be able to make 12 projects from your Fabazine Issue 6. You're going to be able to make nine projects from your limited edition button Fabazine. And I just love that you get virtually everything that you need. You've got skeins of thread, you've got binding, you've got zips, you've got MDF shapes, you've got templates, you've got... Um, how many buttons i don't know i was going to say a billion <laughs> but like that might be exaggeration no, there are loads of buttons when you get your pack there's bags and bags and bags of buttons just keep coming Wonderful. out there but what we've done is we've kind of put them all together in their sets yes so um the bag obviously uses the uh, pink ones mm -hmm. so they're all bagged together ready to use for that project Good. the ones for the necklace they're all the kind of um Neutrals. horn and natural colored ones yeah. they're all bagged together ready to go for that so you've got everything you've got your numbers for your clock mm -hmm. as well you've got your clock mechanism those three little kind of blue things you can see at the back they're your templates for your yorkshire buttons yeah so th there is nothing that you will probably need to, yeah. to do this. There's just everything. Just literally a needle and thread, really. Yes. That's and it. some time to sit down and do it. That's right. <laughs> All right, so it's hanging on by a thread. Uh, fastest fingers first, limited stock, 79.98. Remember the savings, £5 from Fabazine 6, £5 from the button Fabazine. So that's £10 plus a further £15 saving. You can spread the cost to payments of 39.99. Item number is 728446. Here's the website, so you can see all of the individual projects if you just have got, like, you know, just one specifically you want to go for. And don't forget our happy hours. You've got less than 20 minutes remaining now to get your happy hour deals. And again, just a very quick reminder that if you um, make your purchase, you'll get your fabulous scissors that are worth 12 99 And just double-checking, is that just for the one-day special or it's across the show? I think it's across the lot. Excellent. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Good. Okay, I'm um, handing to it's you then. It's across the lot. Yeah. So I'm going to use the posh new scissors to cut out the plastic. So you've got um, PVC plastic in here and obviously waterproof. However, when it comes to you, because it needs to be folded, you might get these little crease lines in it. Yeah. Now, if you want to get rid of those, you can iron this, but please don't put your iron straight onto the plastic. You'll melt it, won't you? You'll melt it. So you need to kind of sandwich it between either two layers of cotton, either quilting cotton, calico, whatever you like. Yeah. Uh, just sandwich it between two layers and give it a quick press and that will flatten that back out. So what you need to do for this pouch is for your first job is to cut out the right size of um, the PVC. Yeah. Now, the right size just happens to be an A4 sheet. Okay. So that is the same size as your booklet, or you can get an A4 piece of paper and just uh, lay it on and cut that out. Now, what you don't want to do is uh, obviously put any pins into this because um, it just looks like a plain bench, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to put any pins into this because I'll just use a scrap piece on the edge and I'll show you what happens. If you pop pins in this, it's, it's not like fabric, which is woven. So the pins in the corner there. If I take that out, yeah. can you see You've I'm left it. with the little holes and it marks it. Yeah, I don't want that. So you don't want to be doing that. You want to be using this with either clips or you can use masking tape. Okay. You can. There's lots of different things you can use to, to make it work, but you don't want to be using pins with this. Yeah. So um, the first step is to put the zip in. So what we're going to do is, uh, I should have cut this down first, but... 
we are going to put the zip in and we're going to stitch down this side. Now you'll notice I've got the zip on top of mm -hmm. my design because this is a de like a decorative zip and it's got a, a nice edge to it. It's not something you're trying to hide or cover up. Yeah. It's not something you could hide or cover up because you've got a see-through yeah. pouch. So um, we're going to keep it on the top and we're going to keep it nice and decorative. If you have a look at the one you've got there, I think I've got I've top stitched it in as well because if you've just got one row of stitching on there what will happen is that bottom bit will kind of be quite flappy so you can see you've got parallel lines there top and bottom now i know you've got to do a little update i'll let you do that okay. and then i'll explain something that's quite technical about right. working with this type of project okie dokie because we have now sold out of the one day special thank you very much it's all in baskets um Thank you. That's all I could say. Now, we still have issue six available, uh, so we'll just pop that onto screen. Lovely. All right, back to you then, Hayley. OK, we've actually got five, which is the one behind me. Four, which is over... No, that's the denim one, and there's four as well. So we have got some of the previous ones as well. If you've missed any of the previous ones, I think all of those Oh, you issues... mean the Fabazines? Yeah, the free... Yes. Yeah. I just call them number five and number four. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, four five denim um, is what's behind me right. if you're wanting any of those projects so um, we're going to put two lines of stitching on there and that's going to hold that first side in now this is a um, an eight inch zip which is about 20 something centimeters um, if you want to cut this down a little bit further you can because if you are going to stitch this in what you'll find is the first side is dead easy to get in. Right. Your second side is a lot more challenging because you have to wrap this around. We'll open the zip and I'll show you. Right. So this one is onto here. And then you've got to stitch your next one in. And to stitch your next one in, this has got to be wrapped. You know what? I am just going to pin this just to illustrate a point. So... But obviously you wouldn't pin yours because some clips. of, yes, use some clips or some masking tape or some uh, double-sided tape that you can kind of peel back off later. But I'm going to whack a couple of pins in just so we can show you what I mean. So that's stitched onto there. Mm -hmm. When we're coming to close that pouch up, as you can see, we've got a kind of a pinch point at the top there and because this isn't like fabric we can't just kind of scrunch all of this extra piece up out of the way so what you need to do is kind of sew as far as you can okay. in one direction stop and then come at it from the other direction the, to get the last bit so it's a you. little bit more technical than putting in a, a normal zip and that's not necessarily because it's a decorative one it's just because of the type of fabric you're using if it yes. if it was if it was fabric you'd be able to just scrunch that up out of the way mm. whip right to the top fold it back you can't do that with the plastic yep. so it's definitely worth spending a little bit of time on this and even tacking it in first if you think you're going to find that too difficult then your other option is to just narrow the width of the bag mm -hmm. so that when you're sewing you're sewing off the edge of the zip okay and that will help you a little bit as well if you're struggling with it so once that's in what you'll end up with is you'll end up with a tube with um, a zip in the middle so let me just pop again a couple of pins in this so we can illustrate this one really quickly so there's one and there is a second one right so now we've got a tube with a zip in and at this point I need to decide where I want my opening to be because obviously that mine's kind of central mm -hmm. on that one, but you could roll it yeah, up towards to. the top so you've got a, a zip at the top and more space towards the bottom. Yep. Or you can have it centre. You can you know you can move it to have where you want it to be. Yeah. If you wanted it to be right on the top, you could literally have it right on the top. Absolutely. It's entirely up to you. It makes no difference in terms of the size of the binding that you need because that's just, it's exactly the same. You've essentially got a circle there, so no matter how you fold it, the distance is going to be the same. So let's pop ours into the sort of middle there. And then when it's at that point, you just need to kind of crease these corners here. So just give them a little push yep. like that just to start hold. See how much it's kind of sitting a little bit flatter than this other side. Yeah. If I just turn it around so maybe you can see 
There you go. So this side's really quite kind of open. And then the one that I've pressed is sitting a bit flatter because I've given these a good little, little squeeze down. And then again, you're going to take your uh, bias binding and that should be folded in half before you start because mm -hmm. that will help you as well. And then to just tidy up those corners, what we're going to do is open it up, tuck that over. And at this point, if you're having a problem and you're getting kind of corners sticking out, we'll maybe just take those corners off to a little V. Yeah. And then pop that back over like that. See those are just popping out there. Can you see, see those popping out? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That means I would actually open that back up and just trim those off to a little bit of a V and that will stop that from happening. For We've you. had a question, Hayley. Oh, uh, this is from Claire. Hello. Good afternoon, Claire. She's asking, can you use wash away tape or fabric glue instead of pins or clips? Um, yes, in theory. Yeah. Um, I don't know how it reacts With to the, the uh, plastic. Right. So I would probably cut your template out that you're going to use and there will be a couple of scraps. So I'd probably test your glue before you do That's that because idea. obviously all glues are different and it's worth just giving it a little test before yeah. you do that. Anything that's, and I mean, what I tend to use with this is just a double sided. Right. Uh, a low tack double sided because once you've got that first row of stitching in and that's secure, you can take that off yeah. and then, um, you know, you can do your second row of stitching. So, yeah, I think it's worth a try, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can see that's your, your binding going on there. And then all you're going to do is sew those as straight edges all the way across the bottom yep. to hold that binding in place. And that's going to complete your pouch. Excellent. Like that. It's re I, like the, I really like the decorative zip that comes yeah, with well, that. We try to bring you something different yeah. every time. I love it. And, and 12 different things I did. I know. Every time. Bless you. <laughs> um, now... We have some news for you because we can get some more of the Complete Collection One Day Special. Um, on We've had to shuffle some buttons, yeah, off, haven't we? <laughs> that's what you're going to do. Now, the dispatch date is going to be from the 20th of April. However, please check out now because this is going to go, be going up in an hour and 10 minutes' time. And I don't want you to lose out on the £15 plus £10 extra saving from the two individual Fabazines there. So we're going to go through last time here all of the lovely projects that you're going to be able to make. So from Fabazine 6 we've got the scrunch pouch. Yeah. Next then we've got our lovely little dragon. He's my favourite, favourite, okay. favourite. Yeah. Um, then we've got the ouch pouch. Uh, then we've got our travel bag that Hayley's just shown you. Our lovely picnic um, basket, if you will, picnic bag. I love, I love that it's double-sided. There's not anymore. It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> People have been eating them as we've gone through. Yeah, muffins don't come included. That's because Jimmy is going to eat them all. That's why. Right, next, we've got our feather bookmarks. They're so decorative, aren't they? Love yeah, those. and you're getting three of those. There's only two in that image, but you are actually getting three. Excellent. Uh, there Bonus. are some of the beads included, but Patty's put a lot of her own stash into this one and really gone to town. Yeah. But I think the nice part of it is that they sit on the outside of the book. Yeah. So you can see them kind of all of the time. It's lovely. And then we've got our fabulous elephant. I love how he's been decorated up. You can decorate him how you like. Don't forget, you'll be getting those scissors. You're not paying for those. They're a gift with purchase worth £12.99. Next one is our beautiful bag, which I, you can reverse if you want to. Yes, absolutely. You can turn that one um, inside out. Or if you want to make two, if you've got some plain fabric, like the, the um, happy hours that we've had on, then you can back it with a plain fabric mm -hmm. and uh, make effectively two bags out of it you would just need a little bit extra bias binding okay good stuff we're still going on um this is our crazy paving lovely little runner i really there's like one that. that heather's done that and it's really really beautiful yeah. she's done a, a couple of different ones where there's different ways of kind of putting it together and it, it looks really really nice nice and then we've got our quilt backing with our birdies still going here's our <laughs> Uh, lovely hexagon. So English paper piecing yeah. this one. I mean, you can sew on your machine if you want to, but we've designed it as English paper piecing to make a little kind of table mat. Yes. And then last but not least for the projects in this one. So this is an embroidery doodle. Embroidery doodle. Embroidery you know, doodle. doodle. Yeah. I find that hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the projects in Fabazine 6. Then moving on to our limited edition um, button Fabazine, you've got your batoonies. 
So you've got your big bee and your little, it could be a hedgehog, a spider or a bat that comes Excellent. in. You've got your hummingbird button art. So there's loads of buttons on this and you will have plenty of spares for this That's one good. as well. And uh, next, we've got our necklace, button necklace, yes. which, like you said, you can make in two ways. Po yeah, possibly you can make even two out of it, or even, you know, add some more to your stuff. Once you've learned the technique, yes. you can make loads of these. Absolutely. Then we've got our Yorkshire button. I didn't get to this one, and I know we've only got two minutes left, so it's not going to happen, but the videos will all be up oh, on uh, our Craft Yourself Silly YouTube. Lovely. Um, so then we've got our crossword. And there's, you're getting all 34 buttons to completely fill that if you want to. Good. We've got our perpetual calendar. Yes, which means it has no date and it can be used forever. <laughs> I love that. And last but not least, we've got our tote bag, which, as you said, it does have... Um, it does have big, great big long handles. Yes. You can destroy the set now, so you can go for it. I suppose um, I can. And you've also got your clock, which comes with all your little letters, and that extra long spindle as well. So that right. means you can put quite high decoration on there yeah. and not be worried about catching your hands. Good stuff. All of that then, these are some projects that are going to keep you really, really busy. Um, remember, you can spread the cost, two payments of 39 at 99 We're having a nice last look at everything that you're going to get and all the projects that you're going to be able to make. Um, you've got that £15 saving, but an extra £10 saving is added onto that, um, carried forward from the two fabazines individually. Item number is 728446, but it will be going back up at 6pm. Oh, yeah, and for the extended delivery, it's going to be dispatched from the 20th of April. Uh, when do we next see you, Hayley? Uh, I'm back on the 22nd. We've got magic ink. Magic ink? Yeah, disappearing ink Ooh. for embroidery. So all of your stamps yeah. are now embroidery stamps. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah. Do make sure you're joining Hayley then. Don't go anywhere. Next then we've got So Easy Sashiko, or Sashiko, I'm not sure. Uh, then we've got Studio Light, that is the launch of another one day special followed by the English Stamp Company. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Hi, we're the team from Daisy Bee Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps.
I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journey, join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. Uh, good afternoon, I hope you're well. Uh, we've got a marvellous show lined up for you here at the craft store. We have all kinds of different shows from stitching type shows to painting to mixed media we had pizza earlier on i know i didn't actually get any though i'm a bit as the kids say down here well gel which means i'm actually really jealous i didn't get any pizza anyway uh, it is great to have your company and guess who i've got with me go on guess see if you can guess actually uh no it's not no uh, another guess no one more guess you got it right, it's Rosella. <laughs> how are you, Rosella? I'm fine, Janice. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm really good, thank you. Really good. <laughs> uh, it's great to have your company, and I'm really looking forward to this show because it's something a little bit different, isn't it? What have we got to look forward to? It's Sashko. Mm -hmm. So, Sashko, Sashiko. Um, I, I tend to say a Sashko, and the eye becomes a little bit silent. However, I don't speak Japanese, so I don't know whether that's correct or not. But it is a, a wonderful form of Japanese stitching. Very, very old. Now, there is a bit of history to this, there isn't there? Is, yes. Um, and that's something that is really nice to know. Whenever you're stitching with anything that's traditional, it's always nice to know the origin. So can you tell us a little bit about I, I that? I can. So um, back in the ooh, distant past, so around 17, century um, Japanese peasants well farmers fishermen that sort um, they there was an order that they had to wear only navy or grey clothes which is fair enough that that indigo fabric was quite easy to get hold of and um, obviously they they didn't throw their clothes away they mended them and so what they would do is they get little pieces of linen little pieces of cotton and they would stitch them on top of their clothing um, which is actually called that's the burrow bit is the building up and then they would stitch them with tiny little stitches called sashko which means little stabs so is it's it? little tiny stitches and a fun fact is that those stitches couldn't be longer than a grain of rice janice wow didn't specify which rice when i read it so <laughs> whether it's basmati pilaf uh, who knows? I know, because some rice is longer than others, absolutely. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, it? It is absolutely beautiful. And you can see here, they actually do look like little grains of rice. But because the size of the stitch kind of needs to be the same size, that's where you get these lovely patterns starting to form. And it looks so neat, doesn't it? It does, but actually, if you look really closely, because I've stitched that one, um, it's not the same size. Is so, it not? No. So when you're stitching it, don't get hung up on the same size no. because actually, as a whole, that looks okay. Yeah, I think it looks and fantastic. It's, it's the contrast because yes. you've got, and you'll see that with the other fabrics we've got on the show as well, it's the contrast between them. Now, traditionally, uh, the work of Sashiko, Sashiko? 
sashiko, yes. Uh, was the white on the blue or the indigo? That's right. But you can use red. You can use any colour stitch, really. You can. And on the show, we've got so we've got the navy fabric, the white, the, the ecru, and then we've got the threads. Then according to those as well. Um, but it, it's so recognisable, Janice, and it's so easy to do and very, very quick, of course. Now, the kit we've got here that you're looking at, 629866 is your item number, is your starter kit for £32.99. So we've got the four templates in this. We've got the needles. We've got the fabric. We've also got the thread. And then we've got the pencil. Now, this is interesting. It is, and it's great, this mark. And we will have a look in detail. But you can see there that you've actually got lots of different colours within that. So if you're using the navy fabric, you're going to be able to use the white or the yellow. If you're using a white or an e-crew fabric, then you can use the blue, the green, the red, etc., the brown. So it means that you can use them on lots and lots of different fabrics. Now, this is like the, uh, the pencils at school that you push up, you change the colour by twisting the end, and then you wouldn't have it out that much, would you? You'd, 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 you'd pull it back a little bit. And now I actually can't pull it back. Yes, there you go. So you could just have it out. Uh, so Slightly, if you want to. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, you need it at a certain length to get through the template as yes. well. Uh, let me see if I can change the colour of that. Oh, it's a yellow. There you go. That's, that's a little bit better. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I, I apologise for laughing, but, you know, sometimes you just can't help it. Um, so it's a great... It, it, it's a great little kit. Uh, six two nine eight double six is your item number. Now this will make a forty by forty standard cushion cover, something like that. Uh, yeah, it, it absolutely, absolutely would. Um, but it's it's a piece of fabric at the end of the day, so you can make lots and lots of different projects with it, Janice. Well, it's but a big piece of fabric. It's, it's, I'm it's, talking it's, inches then, not centimeters. <laughs> no, it's a large piece of fabric. I think you've probably got enough there for the front and the back. Yes. Oh so, yeah, there you uh, go. Look at yeah. that. There you go, that does not so look 40 by 40, I suppose is if you folded it. 142 centimetres by half a metre. Right, so I guess if you just folded that, you could make that 40 by 40, I don't know. But you, you know, roughly fold it a little bit more. Anyway, uh, you get a substantial amount you do of get fabric a substantial with amount. that. You certainly do. And it's beautiful fabric as well. I'll fold that up uh, a lot neater. Now, the needles that you get, you get a collection of needles. So yeah. do we need different sizes? So um, these are embroidery needles. And we'll talk about Sashko needles a little bit later. So you've got a selection of embroidery needles here. And embroidery needles have a large eye, so it means they're easy to thread. But then they've got a sharp point so that they can pierce the fabric. Okay. So they're designed so that you've got a choice choice there, in, uh, depending on what sort of thread you're going to use, whether you're going to use the slash curve thread, aren't they useful for other threads as well? Excellent. What a great starter kit. Now, the templates themselves, just to go over these again, can you use these as a repeat pattern or is that the pattern, like the design here in the hoop, let me just show you that, that you would just you would have that as a pattern or could you start to join them up no them, I think. absolutely um you would you would make a repeat pattern on that and then at the nine o'clock show janice i thought yes. we'd have a bit of a play with those because that's nine o'clock and we're allowed but no we've got to be sensible at five okay uh, who said that <laughs> who's who's who said they're saying we didn't say that in in no uh, no, we didn't say that in prep, so um, if you want to be daft now, you can... <laughs> let's put it out to the audience, shall we? Because it's, would you like us to be daft or would you like a serious show? It's entirely up to you. We could do half and half if you want, you know, half serious, half daft. You could email in and go, be daft now or be a little bit more serious. So it's entirely up to you. Uh, email in, it's studio at thecraftstore.com. Right, let's move. Oh, and don't forget, uh, yes, you do have that thread. We've also have some other colours of thread available for you as well. So that's just, we're calling that your starter kit because it's, it's got everything that you need. And then you've got a template bundle in here. Now, we can see that we've got similar templates to the starter kit. We've got this lovely design here. And then, can you tell us about the one in the middle? Is that a border? Yeah, it's a border, right. Janice. So it's it's straight lines, basically. And, of course, then you are going to repeat those straight lines as well. But it just makes it really, really easy. If you do want to do maybe um, squares, concentric squares, something like that, yeah. you can line it up, whether you want to do straight lines as well. This is perfect. And then you've got the templates within there, the Sakura there, which is the cherry blossom. 
you've got the weights and you've got the waves. They're lovely, aren't they? They are beautiful. Now, someone who's a complete beginner, we take these templates, we will take a fabric pen or pencil, for example. The marker pen that's in the starter kit. The marker pen we've got in the starter kit. And we would mark that out and then we'd use that to then stitch over. Yeah, that, and that's it in a nutshell, Janice. That is as, as complicated as it yeah, gets. Yeah. So, yeah. And because it's nice and easy, I think it's going to be nice and relaxing as well to do the stitching work. And it doesn't have to be decorative. You can put this on some clothes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, most definitely. Because, of course, that's where it originated. Yes, yeah. But, yeah. Um, in fact, funnily enough, I was uh, Googling, as you do, and I was looking at some clothes because I make quite a lot of my own clothes, yes. uh, especially in lockdown. And on the way here, and I'm thinking... What fabric have I got that I could do? Because I'd seen a dress with a sash coat top and I thought, I like that. Ooh. And I've got a pattern. I was just whether I've got any plain fabric, so I might have to just go and have a look in the fabric stores, see what we've got on the website. Yeah, do you know it would be a lovely idea if you've got um, jackets or shirts or dresses or anything like that, just to get that lovely pattern. And because it's, there's something quite satisfying, something quite pleasing about it, because they... It doesn't matter if they're not the right size, but because they are of a size yep. and the pattern is on repeat, there's something just quite natural and pleasing about it. Do you know what I mean by that's, that? And they are mostly geometric as yes. well, so I think that's naturally pleasing to us, isn't it? That's, yes. that's, we can see that pattern. And like you said, they are repeatable as well, so that's really important as well. And they, they have meanings as well. And uh, I'll, as we go along, I'll sort of uh, I'll share with you the meanings that I've found for them. Oh, excellent. Is that the daft part of the show? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, that's a great deal, isn't it? £26.95, saving £3 on that. Um, if you are going for the starter kit, you might just want to get the two uh, or the bigger uh, template that we've got individually for you. So this is a good choice for you. You want the starter kit, um, so why don't you go for this as well? It's £6.99 in your basket, and that's your hemp leaf. And then the border is available by itself as well. So if you, again, if you're going for the starter kit, you might want to add this to your basket as well at 7 dollars With that starter kit, remember, you do get that fabric pencil as well. Um, and you get all four of the um, templates, of the four-inch templates. So it's just an idea. It's different ways to buy because we like to give you variety and we like to give you options and choice as well. Now, we've got a little kit for you here, and this is lovely because we get fabric, we get the pen, we get the thread, we get the needles, and all of this comes together to make this beautiful, well, I'm going to call it a pinny. It's a pinny, yeah. It's pinny. a pinny, isn't mm -hmm. it? And has that got a pocket on the front? Yeah, I don't think it has, does it? Just the just embroidered. You, I guess the, you could make it into a pocket. Absolutely, you could put a pocket on the front there, most definitely, because you've got to have one in your pinny, basically, because otherwise we're going to put your hanky. Well, it, yeah, exactly, yeah, you need to put your hanky somewhere, <laughs> and, and maybe, well, you wouldn't put, put your scissors in your pinny, would you? Ideally, no, probably. No, probably not. Probably Chocolate? Definitely, as long as you don't get too hot. Yeah, well, crack, yeah, crack, this is true. You don't want your chocolate melting in your <laughs> pity, do you? Uh, now, uh, so, oh, boiled sweets would be good in their packets. That would be okay. Definitely. I don't think they'd melt. Depends how old they are. They get a bit sticky, don't they? <laughs> I like a st I like a sticky boiled sweet. Well, it depends if you can get it out of the wrapper, though, doesn't it? Well, that's true. That was the only way I used to eat rock from Skegness when it went old mm. and soft. That was nice. Anyway, uh, we digress. But we're talking pinnies and what you put in your pinny. I know Matt, our floor manager, is looking at me now thinking, Janice, just get on with the show. <laughs> and you're quite right, Matt. I do thank you for that. I do need to just get on with the show. <laughs> 17 pounds and 99 pence. 739 is your item number. The pen that you get included, is this the sort of pen that um, you can iron away? Wash away. Wash away. Yeah, wash your ball pens. Love that. Excellent. Uh, so that's included. £17.99. I think that's a lovely little project kit. And it's it's quite a quick project as well, Janice. When we start stitching, you'll see exactly yeah. just how quick it is. Yeah. And don't forget, with that template, you can take that template, you can use it on other projects as well. Yeah. So we've kind of given you something to get you started with the fabric, but you're getting the template in there to continue using. You've got that £3 saving on that. 73904 each item number.
Now we've got a tote bag for you and this is lovely. I'm just going to lift this up. I like the size of this tote bag. Uh, so you get everything you need to create this, don't you? <laughs> you do. And I love the fact that you say, I like the size of this tote bag because I actually made that tote bag. Did you? Yeah, I did. And I didn't read the instructions. Did you not? No, I didn't. So I actually cut two sets of straps. So your tote bag at home, because you will read the instructions, will actually be a little bit wider than that. <laughs> well, do you, do you know, so I'm just, I'm going to put this on. I'm going to put this on gingerly but I'm going to put it on there you go do you know why I like that I'll step back so you can see the reason why I like that is because it's 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 close here so you've got that safe haven't you so when you're walking along the road like that yep everything is safe sometimes when you've got a lower bag it makes it a little bit more sort of like oh hello that yep. bag's open yeah this is nice and safe it's close to you you can put a little press to dot press uh, press stud on there <laughs> if you want to but I just I like it and, you know, I could be just wearing a regular white T-shirt, but now it's, it's an outfit. It, it? it is. <laughs> I learnt that's what the models do. <laughs> they don't know whether I'm posing or whether it's my bad back. It's a little bit of both. <laughs> but I, I, was, I, I noticed that. I am actually stuck. <laughs> I thank you. I'll shuffle back to the counter. There you go. But do you know what I mean by having that size bag? Absolutely. And just having that little pattern as well, it is the kind of bag that will give you a little outfit. Uh, right, so the kit itself comes all lovely packaged for you. £17.99, 739048 is your item number. Uh, and there you go, there's that tote bag. So that's the size it should be. It is, and actually, Janice, if you look at that, they further embellish there. So you're oh, getting yeah. the wave template with yours, but you've got the lines on there. So you would use that border rule if you wanted okay, to put the lines up idea. there. I like that. That's busy by itself, actually, that yeah. border rule. Um, OK, well, that is a lovely kit. And I do like that tote bag. Oh. I really do. It is like a proper outfit. Uh, right, we've got some threads for you. You might want to get some more threads because you're looking at the starter kit. You're buying that. You might be buying some of the other kits thinking, do you know what, once I've used the thread that I'm getting in those particular kits, I want to do some more. Um, because what we're doing is we're giving you a platform and then you're just going on with your craft. So £14.99, we've got some options for you. It's You get three of the same and this is your e-crew. If I get the white, which is also available and put it at the side, you'll be able to see the difference. There you go. So e-crew is more of a... A, a creamy beige. Yeah, yeah. yeah like an, an off-white. More like a, a natural, not yes. bleached or anything yeah. like that. Uh, 40 metres on each one. And you're getting a blue as well. There's a blue option on there And there's there a blue as option well, as well, that's right. If you're getting the white fabric. And that is the blue option just there. So you've got three options and you get three of each and the £14.99. 250296 is your item number. So it's ecru, navy or white. Uh, so there's your navy. And there's the white, nice and bright. Uh, 250296 is your item number. Now, we do have some needles for you. Uh, so we've got three packs of needles. Why do we like these? We like these, Janice, because these are actually Sashko needles. So they're considerably longer yes. than the embroidery needles that we looked at earlier. So um, traditionally, you would use a long needle because you'll see as we're stitching that you actually put lots and lots of fabric on that needle, then you pull it through and oh. smooth it. So you, you've got the choice. Again, these have got a large eye to thread and they've got a sharp point to pierce the fabric. What you've also got in the centre there, it looks like a little sieve for jewellery or something. Um, it's actually um, a Sashko symbol and you put that on the on your middle finger oh i see the picture and, now i get it uh, that's right and then on the inside of your palm so that when you are if it's a stiffer fabric that you're pushing through you you've got something to push against whilst you're stitching as opposed to traditionally you'd have a symbol maybe on a different finger wouldn't you you'd take your hand away yes. you push it through whereas this it's it's there within the sewing so the technique isn't necessarily going up and no. then down and then up and then down and then up and then down, it's the technique of thread, 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 pull along. That's right. I see, well, can't wait to see this then. Uh, right, those are your needles with that um, interesting thimble just there. Uh, 177493 is your item number for that. We'll have to think of another name for that thimble because it goes on your finger. A, a thim, a thing. Well, it goes in your palm. A who? It goes in your palm, doesn't it? It goes in it? your so palm. It's a, perhaps it's a palm ball. 
It's, it's a palm ball. I like that, a palm ball. Uh, right, Rosella, what are we going to have a look at? OK, let's just have a quick look at the uh, starter kit here. So, um, this is this is what you're getting. And I always, when you've got a kit, I just get very, very excited when you get a kit and see what's actually in it. So, uh, let's just open this up. Let's see what happens. There we go, from the bottom. They're lovely package, don't they? So if you want to give it as a gift. Absolutely, and easy to post. So perhaps you are sending it as a gift, you know, for a present, then just pop it in an envelope, be good to go. So the first thing you've got is the four templates, and we'll look at those in a little bit more detail. What you have got is um, it mentioned a cushion that you can make and actually there's a little design idea there of actually making the cushion with all of those four templates, all different templates on there as well. Um, so you, get the, you then get to play with all of them, don't you? Then what we've also got in there is we've got the fabric and you did actually open out the fabric. It's nicely folded. I'm going to leave that in there. You opened out the fabric, didn't you, Janice, to show us just how much yes. of that you actually get. And you're getting a lot of that. If I was going to make the cushion, I would make the cushion front with the blue fabric, the indigo fabric, and I'd use something that I've got in my stash for the back of the cushion or maybe a, a ready-made cushion back, something like that. But look how much so actually Janice I'm looking at that and I'm thinking um you could probably get three cushion fronts out of that couldn't you yeah you probably could I, I suppose we could actually work it out but yeah you could use a different but, backing yeah absolutely um it's a good good size fabric so 40 80 120 yes you'd easily get three 40 centimeter cushion fronts from that yeah be so a good idea. I, I would do that like I'd that. Have nice color as well sofa. it is a beautiful indigo color isn't it mm. yeah and then what we've got and we did look at is you've got then and get them out the needles so you're going to use these needles for all of your embroidery projects so whoops um, they've got the sharp points there and these are just an embroidery or cruel needle that you're going to be able to use um, I've actually got mine open nice little pack these because they pop open and then okay I haven't done, done this one <laughs> but let me I'm just gonna open that because this is my set there you go and then they prop up so they're nice and easy and accessible, which is really oh, important like that. that they're Very not all good. over your table. And Rosella, then, what's yes. cruel? Cruel is just type of embroidery. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then I'm stuck <laughs> to the table here. So I am going to use mine that's already out. So you've got the the, the pen that I can hear Janice is playing with. I, <laughs> well, it, it just reminds Very me of being... Very satisfying. <laughs> it reminds me of being at school when you had the pen with all the different yep. um, colours. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody should have one of those still, shouldn't we, in our pencil case. And then what you've also got is the white thread with it. Now, you're getting 40 metres of thread. So you use this as it as is. It's not uh, divisible at all. You don't split it like we do stranded cotton. You use it as it is. But 40 metres is a huge amount of thread. And traditionally, the white thread on the navy represented falling snow. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that? Yeah, oh, I that think that's really, really special. So that's what you're getting in your starter kit. So actually, a pair of scissors and you are good to go. You don't use a hoop with sash co because of the way we stitch, which you'll see in a, a minute. Um, so you don't need anything else except, except a pair of scissors. So if I just get that unattached from the table and okay, put it out of the way. Um, when you get your thread, because you've got 40 metres of it, you do not want it um, getting all tangled up. So um, you open it out. Now, I've tried to do this before and it went hopelessly wrong, but we'll try again. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to release it from the binding and then you're going to open it up. Now, I always try and do this too quickly, which means I don't... Oh, look at that. We don't get it in half. And then it's going to split... Oh, it's all working so well. It's like making spaghetti. <laughs> My dad used to do, um, you know, hold his hands up to wind you on. Yeah. I thought um, you were just making the spaghetti. <laughs> you used to hold his hands up. You'd be surprised when you passed around. <laughs> <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is joined in the centre. And that's the two ends are joined. So I'm just going to cut those. Let me just, there we go. Cut that off and get rid of that. And that side of it. We don't want that. What we do want is a couple of little pieces. So let's have one. I'll go take one from this end. 
And why is this thread different from regular cotton that you've got in your stash at home? Um, it, it's the thickness for a start. It's the way that it's woven, Janice. Yep. Um, and it's great because with Sashiko, you can either use a single thread of this or a double thread of this. Okay. And it, it, it sits nicely, um, particularly when it's washed as well, because you're using um, a, a washable wash out pen, wash water erasable pen yeah um then you're going to wash it anyway and it, it washes really nicely and it's, it kind of puffs up ever so slightly so all i've done now is i've tied my thread up like that i'm going to cut one end all it's the way through it's really good quality it's almost like I, I mean i've not got my glasses on but i can see <laughs> it's almost like when you see it close up like rope yeah, you know absolutely. the way that it's um the way that it's twisted it's twisted yeah. round it's beautiful and then all you need to do then is just then pull one of the threads out. So if you're going to use a double thread, I'd leave it at that length. If you're going to use it singly, then I'd just cut that in half. But what it does mean is that then it's, it's nicely under control. And it is just such beautiful, beautiful thread to use. And of course, you're getting lots and lots of it. So um, the only other thing that you might want with your starter kit and having done this a couple of sashko shows i preferred using these and these are the long needles so um just because when you, you're stitching with a regular size embroidery needle you can only get so much fabric on and because I, I want to progress a little bit on this i like the longer needles on this you've got a very long one um, you've got a couple of different sizes so depending on what fabric you use you can use a different size needle but because they've got the large eye on there let's take the end of my thread it just means that it's so much easier to actually thread and of course you could use a needle threader on there as well but it is that easy to thread they they really are and i'm, I'm not sure um in terms of if you sort of compare into a perlay cotton, I think it's probably around about a size eight, something like Did that. Did you just say helicopter? No, I said perlay cotton, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said this is the same size as a helicopter. <laughs> same size as a helicopter. And I was like, mm. is that a new terminology for measuring? But it could be, couldn't it? Is how many helicopters would this be? <laughs> well, you know, the little helicopters fall from the tree. It, you know, the little, yes, yeah, the yes, one. yes, uh, absolutely. It's the width of a small helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then let me just show you tracing a design and then we'll come back to you, Jan. Yes, and you, you might have recovered from helicopters <laughs> and things was, by then. That was a very polite way of saying, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> have we had any emails saying this is the time? Not that I'm aware of, so. <laughs> oh, the producer will just check for us. <laughs> um, now, let me let me use um, let me use this particular. This is one of my favourite templates. Is it? Why? It's Sakura, which is cherry blossom. And do yeah. you know in Japan, Janice, they have a cherry blossom festival. They do. And they lay underneath the cherry blossom trees, drinking sake, and generally having a rather oh, nice time. And isn't it beautiful? They have oh, some my. gorgeous areas of trees. I, I, I just want to go. I really do. Mm. Um, so, colour-wise, now, I, originally I was only using white on this until I discovered yellow yesterday. And I thought, actually, you know what? Yellow shows up really well on navy. And all mm. you're going to do, you've actually got little holes for fingers there yeah. to keep it in place. However, if you mo move it out of, um, out of line, it really doesn't matter no. because it's so easy to line back up again. Could you stick it down with something like washi tape if you wanted to? Um, you could do, but to be honest, the designs are that quick to trace. I don't think I'd bother. No. So this is the yellow that I'm using now. And if I just take that away, you can see then just how bright it is. So, oh, no, I can see just how bright it is. Can you see how bright it is on the camera? Um, I, oh, we're, get, we're, we're coming in. We're Are getting coming a in? little bit, oh, it's a nice, little bit closer. Nice. I never thought about it on yeah, the camera. Yeah, there you go. In real life, it's really bright. Yeah, there you go. So you've got that contrast there. Yeah. And that's enough for yeah, you to bright. then follow it. Yeah, in you studio. Can see, yeah yes. absolutely. And so all you would do then, Janice, is just continue. So I've taken it away. But look, it's really, really easy just to line back up again. And you're good to go. Go back on there. I love that. It's, 
again, it's the simplicity and the ease of use. Yeah, it is. And just whilst we're on this particular design, so um, I actually managed to get two of these templates. I don't know why I managed to get two of these templates, but I did, and I was really pleased I did, because also... Oh, wow. Ink. So um, use it, it's a stencil, basically, at the end of the day. It's a stencil, isn't it? So I thought, actually, use, I've actually used fabric inks on this because I thought it would make nice bedding, wouldn't it? And then what I'm going to do then is stitch it. But, I love yeah, that. isn't it a nice idea as well, isn't so it? So how did you, did you just use it like a normal, regular stencil? Mm. Yeah, I used the... a brush and just the stencil brush. through it with That's ink. That's beautiful. And um, like you say, Rosella, if you wanted to stitch over that, you can do well, I add beads to it add beads to it i thought actually it would also look quite nice if i then offset the stitching so that the, the actual physical stitching was slightly off um so basically have a play i mean you know that's what yeah. it's all about isn't it is about enjoying ourselves and, and having a play but i thought actually as a piece of fabric that was really stunning isn't that's it? fabulous mm. that that looks really that looks beautiful i love that and remember with your stencils yeah you can use them with your inks so in your starter kit that we've got for you've got four of those stencils so we're using these for the 